All right. Um, let me tell Van that I'm streaming now. Give me one sec. I will just give you the URL. Damn, there's actually no way to give you to copy the stream URL from within OBS. I have to like. I have to like actually go on, go ahead and uh, go to Twitch, go to my dashboard, go to my channel. And now I give the URL, all right. So I haven't made my character yet. Is that too loud? That's a bit too loud, maybe. Let me turn down the sound to like, Seven. All right, so no character has made, been made yet. So let's see if we can uh, start by seeing which character I even want to play, because I don't even know any of that. Actually, I'm going to turn the sound down to five. Yeah, that's a bit better, I think. Um. So this is like... Wait, that's so weird. He just pulled them, pulled them up in. This is like a crescent blade, but the way he fights, it's like he's using a short sword. What's going on? Oh wait, is this a double-edged blade? Huh? Oh wow, this is already pretty weird. You would think that like. A Crescent Blade class would kind of have long range, but this is like a super close range. It's almost like Sun and Moon. Alright, so Berserker. Peripetic? How do you even pronounce this word? Hero who cherishes freedom and would rather die than break his word. Huh. Why does the sword look a lot smaller in the video when he's holding it? Alright. Great sword melee summons and nasty. So I guess you can summon clones like like Striker. Which is okay, but that's just that's just animation. I don't think it really matters in combat. Um, I'm trying to figure out like what the combat style really is. Oh, now th that's a summon. Okay, that's weird. Why would a greatsword class be able to summon a wolf? Huh? And the way he moves doesn't seem like he's using a greatsword. He seems like he's using like a small sword. Like that's so weird. These huge ass weapons, but they move in such an elegant way, <laughs> where it's like you're using a really thin weapon, like daggers or something. Uh, but none of these are really helpful. What is this? Alright, so I can see some ranged attacks there. Kind of have like this sword spinning around. Okay, this does seem a bit more ranged. So that that is that you can definitely tell is kind of like a mid-range class. Hmm, that's weird. Are you so far? Is this like a kite class? Is this like Wu Tang from Swordsman? Well, he also has to engage. All right, I'll try and call Wally. Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm watching the stream. All right, yeah, I'm just trying to take a look at what the classes really do. So the bar, yeah, this is definitely to... a mage. Yeah. What's up? What you say? How do I trying to uh, disable the uh, 
Twitch sound on the Twitch app. Yeah, so you have to mute it. Yeah, I don't know how to do that on mobile. Mute your phone. <laughs> You know, your phone has a volume button. Oh, I I, <clears throat> I always thought that the... Uh... Wait, can you say something? Yeah, what's up? Oh, I always thought that the uh, media output and the Discord output was the same thing for, for phones. Damn. How, how long has it been since you used the phone? Well, I like used the... I used like the 2014 phone for until like a, a month ago, not even a month ago. Hmm, but it's still Android, right? So. Yes. I feel like if it's Android. Well, I just I never called you on. I I rarely <laughs> ever called you on Discord using the phone. Yeah. How's my phone? How's the phone sound? I mean, the phone sounds fine actually. But why are you on your phone anyways? Uh, I'm on the other PC working. Oh, I tell my I work today. Out. Damn. Yes, but my manager is out, and there's nothing really to do, so I'm... Alright. Well, that's fine. Alright, okay, so, like, let's take a look, then. So, Bard definitely seems like some sort of mage class, and it looks like it's almost entirely long. Bard range. has a healer and mage sub it, it, even, it even has, like, the mage uh, long-range ice ball, whatever, skills. Like, uh, it seems spell like sword, which I'm playing... Spell sword, which I'm playing, uh, is also essentially a mage, but it has a dash, at least one dash. Uh, spell sword, I don't know, might be like Wu Tang, because it has some engages, but also some long range skills. So I, I wonder believe you can play it either the, long or short range. Yeah, I wonder if it's kind of like in the vein of Wu Tang from Swordsman Online. You know, where no, because Wu Tang is supposed to be a chip class, a sustained chip class. Um. I mean, any class could be a chip class in this game. We don't know that yet. And especially if it's long range. Usually usually long range classes in like combo games are chip classes. Mm. You know, like like even on Ranger on BDO is technically a chip class. Yeah. Until, technically. Yeah, you know. So it's just that the damage is fucked on BDO, but... Well, the, uh, the, the, the you just don't take damage from Awake Ranger anymore. Yeah, I know, it but is, I'm just saying, it's like, kind of like, in that the concept. The gear is fucked. The gear is it fucked. Yeah. But the idea is kind of like that. So... Right, so, Summoner. Could... What? Go ahead. I would just skip the dialogue on this game, by the way. It's just generic ass... Uh, is Usha. there, like, is there, like, voiceovers? <laughs> There's Chinese voiceover. Oh, alright. Yeah, well, I'm not it really here to do the, the story anyway. I'm really here to just take a look at the uh, PvP. So. Alright, so, Summoner, I guess... You can, like, have a... Head out? Is, is this, like, Venomancer? It seems kind of like Venomancer from PWI. No, I'm pretty sure there's a player tanking. Wait, really? That was a player? Yes, that was a Reaper class player. What? I thought so you I thought you summoned. summoned. I thought you summoned one. Well, okay, they well, haven't shown you summoning anything yet. No, but you see the fox pet. Like there's there was a fox pet there. Okay, well it's not in this scene, so I wonder if it's like temporary. It's probably it's clearly not the focus of the class because they still haven't shown it. No, they showed it in the first yeah, scene. Yeah, see that's a player, so there's no, that, no, no player. but that's a, that's a pet. Like right there. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the fox. They yeah. show it for, like, one frame. Yeah, like, right there, as well. So clearly not exactly, like, the most important part of the... Yeah, so I wonder if it's more like a temporary class. summon, rather than something you keep out all the time, like Tamer. It must be a temporary answer. summon. But this is also, like, another range class, it seems like, with some support abilities. And then Reaper, which I guess... is Sorceress. Okay, so it has... Oh, wait, oh, I guess it has ninja step. Uh, I guess you can stealth engage. You can stealth engage. I guess... I assume you can go back to that shadow. Yep, I knew it. I guess they don't They're fight back, back. <laughs> even in stealth, but... 
Um, what is going on here? What the fuck was that? Are you just like fighting them while you're in stealth? Can they like can, do they not fight back? Can they not see you? Is that OP? Like what? Like they, like they just don't fight back while you're in stealth. Yeah. Like it, in, like in PvP, just... are you just attacking them while you're stealth? Well, it brings next brings it to a next level of a stealth for I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. I guess I play Spear Master or Berserker to start off with. Those two seem kind of like the most uh, melee basic standard. Standard. But I don't know. Spear is so weird, though. Like, why would you be? Why? Why do you have like a hook and pull, like Sun and Moon, when you're a spear? Like, I'm pretty sure if you're using spears. Well, you know, how whaling, you. you know how like whaling IRL works? Mm. I don't mean like cash shopping. I, just, I mean <laughs> okay. like literally capturing whales. Okay, yeah, I life. see that. Yeah, uh huh. So, like, you, you shoot a harpoon and then you reel it, you pull it back. Uh huh. I know. I should be how it is. So, you think it's kind of like that? Must be. I guess I can see that kind of being the case. But, uh... I don't know, I guess I'll just go with Berserker then. I don't even know what the Summon Mirror Image is though. Like, how is Summon Mirror Image somewhat different than Summoner? Where, like... Damage through summons. Like, that that's pretty vague, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I don't think customization really matters. Nope, I just want <laughs> this one was the default. And let's just go with a preset. Actually, all of these presets are kind of weird. What do they even have for preset anyway? Oh wait, this is kind of like BDO actually. It's actually um. You can actually adjust it quite a bit. Hey, you see that? There's actually quite a bit of adjustments you can make here. Okay, you can look absolutely retarded. <laughs> okay. Still an no, upgrade over no. your normal face, so it's okay. No. No, but like you know how on BDO, like it lets you adjust individual parts of the face. It's kind of like. Oh, kinda, I think that's nice every. Time. I think that's every game now. Mm, no, I don't think so. I think it's only BDO so far that I've seen where you can do this. Polys? I actually have a game from like two thousand seven, something that lets you edit the polys themselves. That being said, it was like a Java game. Right, but does it show up for other people? Oh yeah, it shows up for other people. People would pay money for you to edit like super mean polys. It's it was actually like it would be tied to a um actually to like an individual component of your character. You can swap out components, and uh, people would you know commission or like sell custom. It's a pretty good game until they made everything like super. As. Oh, if it's that simple, then uh, why isn't that game more popular? Uh, I guess. Gotcha, gotcha. And they made they made the priest pre made gotcha character. The what? They made so you know how I said it was customizable. Uh huh. Well, some of the characters are not customized, but they're locked. And these lock characters just became more and more power creep to the point they couldn't actually play the custom. Well, too underpowered. You know, that that just kind of defeats the whole purpose of their main appeal. Exactly. Then. But they just exactly. like exactly yes, but beyond the lock characters, 
the locked characters were anime girls. Okay, but like, why, you, why not just let them design their own anime girl, you know? Like, all the life. I think people would want to design ah. their own anime girl. Oh, yes. You take your anime girl wife, or you take her legs off, and you replace it with a... What? Nicole leg. You take her the legs off? Is that they're... The lore is the reason why they're customizable is that they're all actually just human shaped robots. Or robot shaped robots. Yeah, but I don't think people care about the lore when customizing their I character to look like tape. anime girl. Well, no, the, the, the anime girl is just to be like the core of the character. And then you can put robot parts on it. Damn, what is this? Yeah, I wouldn't scene? read this lore. It's kind of just Eric. Speaking of how uh, did you watch the their new anime? Nope. They posted it in VG. They got a lot of very big names. They looked very good. So this game has an anime now? Why are people who make games trying to make Anime shows well, all no, of it. No, no, not this game. Not and this what? game. It's a Hollow Life. What? Hollow Life? I didn't hear that. Yes, they made an anime. <laughs> I, they made an anime of, of opening of their character. No. No, I haven't heard of it. But, uh. Probably not really gonna have time to watch it, though, to be honest. It's like a movie. Sage might have the game's only floating sword. The game's only floating sword. Float grab. Oh, float grab. What the hell is a float grab? It's a grab that's a float. Damn, this, uh... Early intro. It's pretty long. I wonder if this it's is different for each uh, character. Um... It, your character is always the one that arrives late to the show. To the <laughs> I guess it, it. I guess it introduces every class. Can this that Uh, I your character is the main character. I don't think there's a novel. I know, but who was that on? The uh, classic, the classic guy holding the uh, the thing, whatever that's called, the gourd. I don't actually even know what class that was supposed to be. No, but like it's the opening scene, the same for every class, I guess, and then and then you join in. Yeah, you join in last. Yeah, I guess that's a generic story then. They didn't even bother to make a different scene for every class. I'm just I'm just curious how long this opening scene even is at this point. It's it's really fucking long. It's not even close. Like, this isn't even halfway? I think it might be halfway at this point. Did you watch the whole thing? Yes. I usually will watch cutscenes and read uh, lore until a point where I decide to what to stop shit. <laughs> I don't want to watch it anymore. I guess, but isn't that everything then? Yeah, they usually end up just being dog. Uh, but see, lore is what you make of it. You have to use your own imagination. You have to uh, complete it yourself. So even if the lore is bad, if you think it's good, then it can be good. Nope. <sighs> I mean, people write fanfics all the time to make things better. I'm assuming this is the uh, end, because the credits, or, or the name of the game appears. And usually that means it's where Yes, you, there's some the more cutscenes after. There's more cutscenes after. 
All right, so let, let's just start with action mode. Wait, I didn't even get asked. Wait, what? I guess that must be because you skipped it. Maybe. Damn, people are saying Kek W on Twitch chat or on uh, the in-game chat, like they're on Twitch. Yes, I saw a lot of Taiwan number one. Yeah, maybe I need to um, block the chat. Just block. Wait, why is the tutorial in Chinese? I mean, I can see Everything there be an argument for the uh, voice line to be in Chinese, but why is the tutorial in Chinese as well? <laughs> Do you mean the ch uh, dialogue? It's, <clears throat> it's no, I mean better the in Chinese than dubbed. No, I mean the is tutorial. It? The tutorial was in Chinese just now. Oh. oh, I didn't notice. Like it says, press F, and that was in and that was in Chinese. Oh, that's that's a really weird decision. Hey, they probably just didn't bother. I guess let's save some money for localizing and hiring voice actor. Also, pressing F works for scrolling quickly through quests until you have to accept it. You can only accept it by cut it. Wait, what? What you say? You can mash F to skip quests, but you have to click to accept. Oof. I guess they made that terrible on purpose. <laughs> another uh, another cutscene already? Yes. Remember how many cutscenes were in Swordsman? Just skip them. I actually don't remember how many cutscenes were in Swordsman. Yeah, no, this is also a really long cutscene. Were there a lot of cutscenes on Swordsman? Yes. <laughs> what if you and just... the tabbing is just as bad as it was. Uh, but at least you can just press, cl just click the button to uh, accept, I guess. So you don't necessarily have to press F. That, uh, that's pretty low gravity. But you can't double jump. Interesting. So... Yeah, I just click everything. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the story is. I just... Hey, Sprint. Doesn't look like it. Double tap to sprint. Double tap? What? Double tap to sprint. Doesn't work sprint. I guess I haven't learned the skill yet. So I can only, no, I can you only have do to this. Press WW. What do you mean? It doesn't work for me. Bro. I guess I, I guess it unlocks this. Yeah, skill I haven't, haven't learned the skill yet. What can I say? Alright, I'll just uh, skip the generic quest. Where, what am I supposed to do now? Honestly, I think an MMO would be better if an NPC did all of these quests and your character is just one of the random soldiers in the back. <laughs> I mean... And then when you... And then the dialogue is just like, why the fuck are you asking? You don't need to know this. Just follow the great leader. I mean, that's kind of a meme, but... Well, that's kind of how WoW works, because the, the, the WoW story is about the, the NPCs. Your character is just a hero. Uh, um, yeah, but I don't know, like, this isn't really good in terms of uh, teaching how to play yet, though. I feel like Elyon, at least, when they start off, it kind of, like, integrates the game mechanic into the open They tutorial. want you to read the generic Wuxia story first. Which no one's gonna read. Well, no, people read. That's the whole point they make it. If nobody read, then MMOs wouldn't need story. And everyone was just, uh... I have not heard anyone unironically. I've never heard of anyone unironically. Yeah, but that's just you. Oh, hit him, hit him. You're supposed to hit him. Press tab. You will lock on. Also, your first two skills... But I action combat. Why do I need to log on? You can press tab to switch with. It's, um, it's action, action, it's a weird action. Well, I can, like, 
turn around. Cabbing, for example, for, will let you um, see what buffs they have. I have to see what buffs they have? Do you not read people's buff bar for the... Um, what? There's, bu there's buffs in this game? Well, no, because in an action combat game, there shouldn't be. you shouldn't have to read the buff bar. It doesn't make sense in an action-based game. Like, the whole point I mean, of action game. This isn't really... This isn't really action. But, but it like, is, though, because I can miss my skills. You see? I mean, yes, but also... <laughs> I, I haven't seen me myself dodging. Oh, I think there's a force death here. Wait, Q and E is just the auto attacks. Uh, so you don't. Okay, so by the way, this game's bind key binding is absolutely terrible. When you if you try to click the skill, um, it will just cast it. You need to right click to move the skills around onto the bar. But yes, your first two skills are just mouse re left mouse and right mouse. And you do not need to bind them at all. You can just oh. drag them off your bar to make sense. Why are you also the bar? What? Is oh, that you can your right charge, mouse? You can charge up this skill. Is that your right mouse? That's interesting. Yeah. That's my left mouse is a mana restore, and my right mouse is. Uh, so basically, your. Also, it's really fucking weird. Uh, but the first bar, you know, your Q E R Z, there's actually two more hidden slots. It actually goes from one row and six columns. But down here. But you need to enable that. You need to enable that in the settings themselves. Wait, but are you supposed to that, use all of your skills? Because how can you play it in action combat if you have to? Have like eight more skills. To use. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Shift one, two, three, four, five. Uh, control one, two, three, four, five. No, but here's one, two, three, four, Alt, five one, two, on this three. side. Yeah. Yeah. So that... yeah, you can use you can use as many skills and then shift Q E R S. Oh, so that's so that's control not viable. Then. That's not viable. What do you mean that's not viable? You just have enough. You just have enough. No, key there, slots. there isn't enough key slots. You have Q the Q E R T maybe. And then one, Q two, three, and... four, and then five, maybe, and that's no, it. No, no. Q and Shift Q, for example, are two different. No, skills. but that's not viable. Why not? Because that's not action combat. You, 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 I mean, you press that would be like Shift Q. You have to press. We have to like. Uh... Well, no, you press. You press Shift Q on BDO, though. No, you don't. Yes. Block jump. No, but that's yeah, so it's just... no, but Q is Q is a skill, and Shift Q is another skill, but it's not like like you can't yeah, bind so Q... Shift Q to a skill though. That's the difference. Yeah. So on this game, you can bind Shift Q to any skill. Yeah, but then that's not action combat. It. Well, I mean, this game is kind of fake. Act. So then it's better to play this game in the classical. I'm sure a lot of people will. Because like on PDO, you can only bind Q. And then whatever key you rebind Q to, the shift Q also becomes that key. So that's so that's like that's how PDO. If you want to make that this if you want to make this distinction. And yes, this is the part where the furries attack. <laughs> the furries attack. This is a skill shot, and you need to lead your cannonballs. Why is this even part of the game? Like the game, the game hasn't even started yet, and they're already introducing completely unrelated niche mechanics. Like, is like, is this? Are we even going to see this in the actual game? Yeah, I think for the large scale, probably. For the large scale. Yes, one of your guild is just gonna have to be on cannon duty, I guess. It's just like PDO. Yeah, but I don't see how that's like good mechanic though. It's not. Like on PWI, you have a bar pulling a catapult, which I guess is fine because they, like some people like to, to build rotate. Tank, so yeah, but they still have to rotate. Like you can still do skills on the catapult. Yeah, and I mean that's that's also just some people's class, this place now. Like some people build their class to tank. So that so that kind of fits into the game mechanic itself, but like I don't see how anyone would build their class around being a cannonball user. Like no, you just it's it's like BDO cannon teams. You just don't have gear. Yeah, but I don't see how that's cannoneer. a build though. Like, 
It's not a build. Yeah, so that doesn't. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't. That doesn't integrate really. You're not. You're playing a. It's essentially a mechanic that completely does not integrate at all into the rest of the game. That yeah, being said, saying, snake though, like it should integrate with the game. Snake kicking their cannon team was a big part of why they were just useless. Though. So. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? Snake, the guild kick, got rid of all their cannoneers, slotted in more geared casters, and resulted. Lost every siege where cannons would have made the difference. No, yeah, but why did they kick their cannons to team? Because B kills like a ten. What? But I thought uh, B... Snake was a known good Snake. guild. Snake is disbanded now. Wait, what? How did that happen? They dodged. They dodged Cho for a really long time, and then the first time they ran into Cho, they got absolutely farmed. But I thought Snake was a known just... good guild. You know. No, they're they're really bad now. They just fell completely apart. How is that even possible? Well, they have really bad internal chemistry. Like snake members shit talking each other in guild chat. Well, that's not good. Like even while BR the entire server was shitting on BR barcode for um, mapping, they were still like a guild. They like form ranks around each other. Wait, this interface and then is they came really out cluttered. Uh, it's like it's a very customizable interface. I will give them that. You can change the shape of your skill bars. You can position them anywhere. Like I screenshot it before. I put my gauge straight on top. Of my, my gauge and HP are straight on top of my character. So it's kind so of like BDO, I guess. I don't. It's it's more. It's actually more reminiscent of FF14. What? I mean, it's also reminiscent of VDO, though. Yeah, sure. But it's, it's more customizable than VDO. Yeah, well... I mean, you can't you can talk to me about games I never played, so... Alright, um... So the exact strike value is placed on the edge of the sword. If skills like Wind Clear are performed, the strike value increases when charged with Cloud Ripper strikes are used. It's a combo meter. You charge it um... with skills and then you use it with other skills. This tutorial description is really useful. I guess surrounding phantoms is the number of summons. Ah, uh, but what the hell is this? Are these like challenges? Wait, no, no these, these are, are achievements. Quest targets. No, these are achievements. Oh. Heroic record, heroic biography? And I get plus 10 what? Wait, what? What do I get plus 10 of? Huh? Achievement points. I can't possibly achievement <laughs> points. Achievement points. So they can't buy stuff with that. Sure, it must be useful for something. It's inconceivable they would add features that no one ever uses. No, that. It's not really inconceivable. One sec. Where is, uh... Here. Here we go. Oh wait, that's bad. Damn, my overlay doesn't block the Twitch chat at the right, uh... <laughs> at the right size. Oh. Alright, fuck you can it. Resize. You can resize the... Or just resize your overlay with alt. Yeah, like... but... But that's... That's only gonna zoom it in, though. Like, if you have a you can... size that's, like, small to begin with, and then you make it bigger, it's gonna re reduce the resolution. Or else I need to go into stream elements and then increase the uh, original resolution first. I, you know, your chat box does not need to be the most high resolution. Yeah, it does. That's, like, the most important part. How else are you gonna read the text if it's low resolution? Oh, okay. Received the list. So I can just post down the achievements, because I don't really need to see what achievements I already received. Like if, like if maybe... Oh, wow. The fuck? 
There's a lot of shit here. Yes. So the quick bar one, two, three, four, five lets you control the quick the um shape of your quick bar. So for example, your quick bar one is currently one by what does that say? One by eight. I guess yeah, so. So your yeah. quick bar one is currently one by. If you want it to be like a more square, you can put it to like two by something. Two by oh. six, I believe. But I guess you can't track individual by... squares like on video. No. Alright, I guess that's fine. Effects bar? Wait, but... Additional effects. I don't even see a place so... where I can just disable this this thing, though. Other than, like... I guess I can press that, but if I just... want to turn this off completely. What the heck? It's anchored. You can't turn this one off. Achievements are very important. What can I you're, say? You're forced <laughs> to see this. Wait, can you- wait, hold on. Can you actually not turn things off, though? Wait, but you can't turn anything off. Like, like it's easy- you, like you can not. only move it, but you can't turn it off. Well, I just piled them all into the chat box that we're never gonna- And just yeah, not then, look at it. But then that's, like, worse than BDO, then I feel like. Like, at least on BDO, I think they just found it in I think they just find it inconceivable that anyone would want to UI completely off. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Oh, but wait, hold on. You can do maximum length for display duration. What does that do? Filtering, uh, auto fade, auto fade. Maybe you can make it auto fade in. Bro, what? This doesn't make any sense to me. Visibility zero. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, okay. So, so what I do is I change it so that the auto fade delay is like two seconds, and then I go. What? Wait, what? Okay, well, that I guess this is kind of buggy, whatever. Oh, now you can double jump. I guess I must have learned the skill after doing the quest at some point. If be if SMO was anything to go by, that is probably... Invincible. Damn, you have to manual loot. Oh, uh, yeah. Manual loot. God damn it. Looting is the worst part, though. Why does it, it say invincible? What? Woody. It's probably like no, no, no enemies. Uh, it's probably more like undefeatable. But why does it have to say that every time I kill a mob? It's telling you that you're you're chaining kills. Is it though? Kill streak. But I mean, technically, aren't I always chaining kills? Because if I get killed, I would be dead. So it's a... okay. Well, now it says annihilate. I think they says that if you one shot. Really? What if I grind? You know, like what if you attack two just... at the same time? Is, does that affect what it says? If you're grinding, you'll probably just constantly have spam attack. Well, see, now it just says combo. No, it doesn't say anything at all. Oh, because you're killing... I think it counts those little mobs that spawn when you kill those mobs. I think they count them as, like, minion type. A different type of... Like, not as worth as much as the full mob. <laughs> what do they... I mean, what do they call that? There's no name for it. Great. Ads? I would say they're ads. Yeah. Alright, I mean I just don't I just don't get why it even needs to say that. If that's like an actual mechanic that affects how you play the game or if that's just flavor text that you can to just be able to turn off. 
Go to the Raging Sanitarian Stone Giant and collect an ultimate great yellow soul stone. What? A soul stone? Is that trash though? Or is that actually something important to the game? I wonder. And I guess I can open this one. Oh, I already get 6 inventory slot. Alright. That's not bad. I do I have level 19? What level even am I right now? Oh, I'm level 3? Yeah, I'm level 3. Novice. Alright, that's fine. I guess the mobs are just... I don't think I'm really at any threat at this point. But what did I even get? This is a quest item. Why does it why why does it have to be an ultimate grade? Yellow soul stone. If it's just gonna be a quest item, it could be called anything. What's so ultimate about it? Um, Alright, I guess start by healing some people. I'm leopards. Alright. Few more generic fetch quests. Well, not even fetch, you just go to the place, press the button. But you can explore more of like the combat at this point though. So far, I feel like I spend less time fighting than I've spent talking to NPCs. Okay. Alright, defeat the Chieftain and search for a missing Spear Master Fighter. So, what do my skills do? Like. Like, what is this? And it takes edge. I guess edge is like my mana or something. Either mana or stamina. Actually, no, it's not stamina because I can run. It doesn't consume edge. Where's the stamina bar? Is there even a stamina bar? Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to learn this skill. Wait, how, how are over... What just happened? Wait, did I learn the skill or... Damn, this, this UI though. Okay, skill, okay. I feel like it's trying to show too many things at the same time. Like, I like how BDO does it, where like hide certain elements of the UI at the start, and then slowly introduce them to it over time. I guess that's kind of useful from a learning perspective. Because mm. right now I'm not really sure what I need to focus on here. Like it said, I, I need to learn a passive. But I don't know where it went just now. Or was one of these two the passives, maybe? And then left click to learn and drag this to the quick bar. So this is a new skill. Okay. Hmm, so my summons are just here. Interesting. I think. So did that just like summon things that uh auto attack? Or what even happened? Because that mobs just aggroed me for no reason. I'm wondering if I had something to do with the summon I used. Okay. And I guess this is an iframe. What do the summons even do? Like nothing? 
Oh, okay, so it kills them when it disappears. It does damage when it disappears. Interesting. Uh... Huh. Not really sure where to place this class right now with that mechanic. Alright, so we just have to kill the... We have to kill the Devastator Chieftain. But where is that? Is it this guy? Oh, it was that guy. It said that that was their leader, though, not that was say their chieftain. What's up with that? Mistranslation, I guess. Guys, or maybe two different teams translated it. So I would have imagined the mob would pull the name of the mobs, or the quest would pull the name of the mobs directly from the database in game, rather than having it to be translated differently in two places. Now the question is can kind of auto path. And it looks like the answer is no. Which is pretty annoying. I don't even have a keybind. Where's my keybind? Let's see here. F interact mount uh, action quick bar quick bar quick bar quick bar quick bar. There's four quick bars, five quick bars, six quick bars, seven, eight. I hope these aren't all your skills, because that would be pretty kick. If you all of these are skills, I'm assuming some of them are going to be as consumables. Because there's no way you can play action combat if there are all skills no <laughs> way you can play instruments okay none of these are what i'm looking for though quick slot quick run no no quick run all right fuck it Okay. Where are we going? Oh, hey, I can fly now, at least. Okay, well, it's kind of just like a pretty awkward float. It's not really fly. Destroy the Devastators. Cleans the area of negative chi. Damn, they call these zombies Devastators. They just look like generic zombies to me. But I guess I must not have been following the lore. Not only do you have to kill five mobs, you have to walk around the circle five times. Then you have the battlefield, let that stun. Eliminate remnants of a rune. Okay. Let's get this done. See what the situation is. Oh, the second formation. Is 
there's multiple <laughs> formations. Light beast. Are we talking to so many NPCs? Just asking what the situation is. Alright, well, at least I get a weapon. Or no, it's not a weapon, it's a fucking mount. <laughs> Yeah, at least you can fly in this game, I guess. This is like the fucking... Blade Master mount from Perfect World. Okay, well, and, and you can accelerate, so... I guess that speeds things up. Rather than, uh... Having to walk on the ground all the way here. Kind of nice, though, to be honest. But not sure if I really want to be flying everywhere. I hope this game has some sort of fast travel. Like both video and out there doesn't have fast travel. How do I get off? Key? Alright. Okay, let's just skip the cutscene. Trying to get some PvP here. Um... We're running the boat now. What is that? Item acquired. Rain brood. B to bag. Oh, it's a quest item. Ah, oh, it's just a quest item. Oh. Oh, I guess the fire burns you. That's, uh, that's good to know. <laughs> I guess we're in, like, kind of a main city now. Because I'm seeing NPCs. They're like, uh, like weapon dealers. Actually sells you stuff. But why are there mobs here? Like, this can't be a safe zone, so... That's really weird. Like, there's just randomly mobs. Even though this place kind of is like... What, what was that? What the heck? What, what even was that? Who even hit me? Like, it's playing peaceful music. Like, we're in a safe spot. But here we're putting out fires and there's just zombies walking around randomly. But the NPCs are just standing there selling weapons. <laughs> Pretty, uh... Interesting scenery. But I'm assuming this is, like, meant to be some sort of battlefield. I just don't know why you would be selling weapons in the middle of a battlefield while your city is being invaded, though. And everything's on fire. But maybe that's just what they like. Wait, now I can't fly. What the heck? How was I, how was I flying earlier? With jumps. Why is it so far that all of my skills do less damage than just holding down this skill? Oh, I have to, oh yeah, I have to sprint in order to fly. Damn, that auto pathing look ugly as fuck. 
Like, this thing is 3D. And it kind of, and it kind of like moves in such a jerky manner. Why, why is that in 3D? Why is it like this? <laughs> Damn, this thing really just be like 2D, like a line. Like how they do it on BDO. Can I change that actually? Do they have different settings for that, like on BDO? I'm, I'm gonna guess they don't though. There's no way. Oh, there's just too many things in here. Alright, oh, fuck it. Let's kill this, I guess. Oh, shift to emergency land. W space. Yes, I'm wrong. This wasn't a city at all. This is just some super weird battlefield that has a uh, really. What's up? Hey, what's up? I see you are at the best part. Yep. I can confidently tell you the particular remark. What did you say? I can tell you now that nothing particularly remarkable happened. <laughs> you mean like in terms of the story or in terms of the game itself? Yeah, pretty much. I see. I mean, nothing in remarkable in general. Well, you know, you have to start off the story calm, you know. You can jump right into uh, a bunch of conflict. It has to build up into the climax over time, so maybe that's fine, though, you know. But no. That's why every generic MO starts with your village getting it, because you actually get straight in. Yeah, well, you, you are a villain. You, well, no, like, you start off with a village being attacked, and that sets the, like, the, the, I don't know what they call it, the reason for you to take action. And then... You start slowly learn, and then like it, it gets into a more calm place where you learn your things, and then eventually it get, the, you enter the climax again. Like you don't start right away. Right, I, I'm not a story writer. I don't know what these things are called. More canon. I just know, like, you need, like, a reason to do what you do, and then you need, like, a... You need... The character phase. needs a motivation. Yes. Yes. Because a character who doesn't really want it not drive the story. So even in Nero Manga Sensei, the, his, even though the character's motivation was just to fuck his sister, it's, it's still something. What? Okay, then. I guess that's the type of anime you like watching. No, it actually is. <laughs> I go for the. It, it's it's fine. Jerk. You know, it's it's fine. It's fine to admit it. No, I just read that somewhere in. Right. I see. Right. What well, keys to open my any gear form anyway? of, any form of motivation. Where's my gear? But that's why you do the Malazan route and just don't introduce it. And immediately jump into the history of the world. Or rather, what's going on in the world as a whole. But maybe that's not very mainstream. Like, Well, Malazan is really good and considered, like, really considered a quality to writing. It's just a very dense book that you're not expecting. You're expected to have to read it with a PDF guide. Uh, with a well, PowerPoint. Next. Just because something uh, is good doesn't mean okay, it's, it's like popular though. That's the it's thing. good for us. You well, know, like story reading is great in a book reading, but story reading oh, in a okay, game yeah. is horrible. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't ever want to listen to 
I, I what a prime reason for me not reading a stories a game's story is if they just tell me. Yeah, because like everything when is you just have worse, a like when you have a game, you have so many ways of showing me. So why tell me? Exactly. You know, like, 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 let me live a... the story. <laughs> don't don't just read the story. If it's a book, kind of then yeah, it's only word. It has to be words. In your yeah, shower. That's kind of what I felt like in this game. Yes, you're it's a wizard like, now. You had no idea what you were like. You it was just just reading. You have no idea what's going on except for if you to just sit there and read all the text. You have like meteor like. shower, Wayne. Guess you're uh, you're you're a I, suck mage. That's like, why do I have meteor shower? <laughs> It's cause it's cause all routes end in rerolling. Hold up. Mage. Wait, so this so this actually has two cooldowns, which gives two stacks. Yeah. You're supposed to but, cast it twice. You, but you do realize that like every skill I found so far in the game all seems to do no damage and they're all on like 30 second cooldown. Yeah, well I mean right now it's holding on RMB has done the most damage for me, but who knows? So it has two cooldowns, but you can only use it. You can't use it two times back to back. You, can, you have to wait one second between uses. And that's like GCD? a forward dash, I guess. It's not GCD, though. It's the no, only there is no GCD one skill. in the game. Because every other skill other I can just spam. Yeah, you can use other skills. You can use this skill, use another skill. Yeah, so I can do this and then do that. Yeah, it's you kind of like to weave that. it. Yeah. By the way, I absolutely hate how game characters just go straight to like a standing position. That's one thing. Character posture is in motion thing that BDO does. I mean, I don't think people really pay too much attention to that in an actual combat. I pay a lot of attention. Maybe you're spending too much time the, attention to motion rather than how to fight your In the actual, when it, when it comes well, to actual see, gameplay, I will literally... When you're playing Suck Ranger, so where you're just play sitting play. at render distance shooting people and you can pay attention to stuff like no, that, that makes sense. Gonna have, that doesn't happen like that anymore. <laughs> like, when you play Suck Ranger, you look at your mini-map. You just play by mini map because everyone, everyone that wants to engage on you can engage on you from render distance, anyways. Yeah, yeah. No, I honestly like I wanted to like this game. Joe never I fails. Went wanted it. to reroll Suck Ranger, by the way. He said it's so easy, so brain dead. No, never. look at the guys. <laughs> yeah. He he rerolls like every freaking week. The okay. guy. Um, I mean, some people I just like he's... playing rerolls. You know, they get bored of playing he's one a... class. I, I can tried to like that. this game. Uh, tried to like solo. I I, I couldn't. I tried Why? to. It's... I I I had the same openness as I did with Elion, and within the two hours, I couldn't. Man, like, it honestly, like, I could not tell the difference between this game, Blade and Soul, Revelation Online, or Aeon if I didn't see the intro title. Uh, Blade and Soul. If you mean. I don't, I don't really know. Felt I mean, the, mechanically, Blade and Soul is a lot more in that. You know it is, but I'm just talking about like the genericness of the MMO yes. itself. I mean, Blade and Soul just felt bad it was in like the first 20 levels. That's why I quit it. Every UE4 game looks the same. Yeah. There was nothing that, that's, that like, Elyon it actually kind of stood out to me as being different. Like even just when are we going to just get Minecraft? Not... Honestly, dude, just get, give us my competitive MMO Minecraft. Hey, Van, what's up? With mechanics. What do you mean? There's already a competitive Minecraft. You can PvP on Minecraft. Yes, but you, you don't have full Minecraft, MMO... Do you don't have full MMO kits. No, Minecraft is only fun when you stream it. With... Because then you have, like, story developed. <laughs> Entire... Okay. Story arc. And then you're still at work? Well, I guess you get off in like two hours, maybe. Well, I'm still at work as well, technically, but like, what do I care? My manager's not even in. <laughs> and there's nothing to do now. Everything else, I can move at a snail's pace. If I'm oh, you get off in one hour. Then gets off at 4 p.m.? Damn. You, uh, Wally, you didn't play this earlier? I thought you were playing it. I did. I oh, okay. played like two hours. Yeah, I went Berserker. Yeah. I don't know. Berserker seems like it uses a sword, so it seems standard. But I don't, I don't really know what to make of the class right now. It's like I said to other people. This I had the lowest possible expectation. 
this game and it didn't even meet that. <laughs> like it's not. I can't call it horrible, but it's. Just I mean, I don't see. I don't think the black. game's bad. It's we haven't really it seen anything yet, so. I usually I can like I, I I can usually tell at the beginning of a game if it's gonna last or not. This game's not gonna last. I mean, not, just wait I for mean, the inevitable really... free to play. Like I don't think you can tell from the beginning of the game if the PvP is gonna be good or not, though, because it doesn't show you the PvP right from the start. Yeah, like like no, Elion, like... it does, like Elion, it looked good, but then the PvP was kind of meh. So. Uh, see, like, that's where I think we're different. Is I think the Elion PvP was fine. I, I think it needs some. Uh, it could use some a little, little bit of love, but the the core of it is something that you can expand off of and it can actually um, have some longevity in. Like for me, this game just feels too much. Like just like it's just a reskin. There's no in depthness to the combat that doesn't like open up your skill tree bro it literally looks like a mobile game skill tree well if you're so it's a chinese game I mean, then mobile games are the number one most popular genre in china and that's exactly why i see it. this looks exactly like a mobile game because <laughs> you have to realize when people so when you basic. have to wake up at like five and then take like a three hour bus ride into the city because it's so overcrowded that like 30 miles out, there's still no space. You have a lot of time to play mobile game. Yeah. And it, it makes sense to me. Like, I understand where this game comes from and why it is, but I can I also see why it is it is, but it's, it's why it's also not going to last. By the way, in, in my... In the Western oh, Vance also going to go Berserker because Battle for the Heaven anime. I never watched that one. My cousin told me that her place in China... The um, if you wanted to buy a reserved parking spot, it costs as much as a house, as the house itself, as the apartment itself. It's like you stack 80 floors apartments, and then you can't really have 80. Which is kind of weird, like, because you take a look at Japan, which is like a hundredth of the size of China, and they've already, they've got a lot more efficiency when it comes to their space usage. Well, no, they just, you know, don't have vehicle. Yeah. And no, they, they, just, they, everyone takes trains. Yeah. Right? No. There's public transit. Oh, well, oh I, that's, that, that's because of the whole, the whole communist thing. I guess you just wait. You can just, you can just fall car. off the map. What happens when you fall <laughs> they off? They just, they just let you fall off the map. Well, you just die. die. Yeah. You fall to your death. Yeah. What the that's fuck? fine. That's fine. <laughs> But why would they let you do that? So you can have Epic knock people off cliff to do their gravity kills montages. Like, Bro, but... well, like back hilarious. in the WoW <laughs> days when you like when you took over other people's minds and then made them run off cliffs. See, I, I did not expect that because usually games don't let you just jump off. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the worst things to do. That was so funny when you're in well, uh, that way. Like it's or, absolutely uh, it? priest could Wait, do. Are you supposed? Do you have to run back to your body now? Mm, I don't... I don't think so. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I think you have to run back to your body. No, I don't your think body... so. Or is that just spawn immunity? Yeah, that's spawn immunity. Yeah. Or, I think it spawns that's stealth, fine. actually. But, damn, I, I... You know, usually there's an invisible wall there, so I didn't think I would actually die. Because this is like yeah, so... a safe zone, so... So, like, on Dark Souls, you, like, a lot of... A lot of range montages. Sniping people on the cliff and then causing, and then causing them to fall to their death. Yeah, well, I don't know if this is just gonna be a thing in actual oh, PvP or like, is this just this place though. We don't know if there's world PvP yet. So, is this the highest in, setting? Uh, in World of Warcraft, there was white mages or uh, priests had an um, ability where they could take, they could uh, take control of an uh, of an enemy character and then you take care uh, take control of them and then jump them off the cliff. <laughs> I mean, I think that's fine. I mean, that like, might be broken, though. I like... It's just like one skill instant KO. Vegetation? Oh, wait, this is all the same thing. I think... Well, yeah, that's think just a position. That's just like Tong um, headshot, then. You, you can't be close to the edge. Yeah. Within a certain run distance. And you can't yeah, have... Headshot a is an instant of... death. 
Yeah, but I mean, uh, there's a reason why headshot is like not instant though. Not instant death. I mean, PTNT's headshot was pretty instant death because he had gear. Yeah, but this is like we're talking about battle arena. Nobody cares about overall and SMO. And honestly, if you looked at SMO only from an open world perspective, it would also be a bad game. But that's it was a dog shit game for open world. That, that's why. That's why. S, that's why you can look at the games. That's from it's just like looking at what it is right from the start. Like if you if, like artifacts. If, Okay, you know work. what? The number one reason why I think this is a shit game. Number one what? reason? What? The cash shop actually works, and they want you to spend money because anytime you spend money in the cash shop in the beta, that cash money will be reset for you for when the game launches and you get 10% more. And yeah, that's kind of bad practice, yeah. I, I can see that. Yeah. That right so there in just words... is a fucking giant cash grab. That's all this game is. So it's going, yeah, it's going to be there. We don't know if it's that's the, because the publisher made that choice or if it's the developer made that choice, though. But that's just standard practice in giant for Chinese games, though. What, to have it oh, so they it? spend money in a closed beta? Like, that's going to Well, they want you to be able to, they, they want you to be able to beta test the cash shop. And give, then give everybody 50,000 free money to beta test it. Why do you actually have to spend real money to do that in a yeah. fucking closed beta? I do think they should probably give out free money. Like that, uh, like when I saw that originally, that was like, dude, this is some scummy ass shit. But then again, I don't know. I don't know if that's like the publisher who made that choice or if it's like the developers who made that choice, though. I don't like costumes, by the way. That's I mean, we only panic. have like a few generic ones. But it's not like I think all your visual should be transmogs. Oh, GameForge what? is publishing this. Yeah, it's GameForge. What did you notice? Oh, yeah, because you played Steam. I, yeah. But see, there's like no um, you can't dye your outfit. Like there's just different reskins of the same outfit, which is kind of weird. You would think that. Well, I guess if you want a different dye, dye mechanic. Buy it. I guess if you want a different die, you just buy a new outfit. I know, but like that's <laughs> weird though, because you would think that in a game like this, you should at least have die mechanic. That's like pretty basic stuff that games always have. I guess they figured that uh, letting people buy new outfits and comes out. Yeah, I don't know. It's just there's just so many weird things here that I don't like. <laughs> Like the fact that they that oh. like it just I just couldn't believe that. Like yeah, come spend our money, come spend money in our in our closed beta one. If you spend money in CBT one now, you and you, and you get like ten percent more. You're you feel a lot more obliged to keep spending, keep playing. Exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, I guess if you spend money, money. Your money, you get at to buy the game to like pre-order the game and get access. Then you're probably rich enough to spend money on the costume, you know. Wait, do you get cash shop currency from buying the pack? I th yeah. think so. Yeah, one of the packs you do. I believe the hundred dollar pack you do. But actually, I haven't gotten any money though. Yeah, you didn't did you buy the hundred dollar pack. Yeah, I did. How else am I going to get four keys? Wait, the hundred dollar. How else am I going to get four keys? You only well, get four keys just... from the hundred dollar pack. If you, oh, like if I you said, buy the $40 pack, you don't get any keys for, except for yourself. And if you all buy we the, had to do was <laughs> wait for the inevitable... All we had to do was wait for the inevitable free-to-play swap. Yeah, because all I did is I, I went and I bought the game to Steam so I could do the beta and then I re refunded it before I hit my two hours. Why would we wait for the free-to-play swap when we can play the beta? Free. But then you don't get a... Uh... You don't get to see how the game is before everyone else. Well, that, that's what you enough. need to do in order to be good at the game. I got what? to see enough to say that I'll never play the game, so I don't <laughs> care if I'm good at it. <laughs> yeah, but that's the meta though. If you want to be good at the game, you have to get in all the closed betas before anyone even plays or even get into the Korean version. It's so you already yeah. know the mechanic and can wreck people. You know the mechanics, you already know what the best ruins are, you already know what the best build is. You already speed know how to run, cheat, live like launch. Speed runs. Yeah. Yep. 
And then as and soon as people already start know, catching you're up, prepared, you're prepared to do a Faru's maps already. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're I, already like two that's times what you have to do. of anybody else on the server. But then as soon as people start catching up, you just uh, quit, you know, and then say you're you were best player. Yeah. But now and no one can yeah, uh, quit on disprove a w. that because you already quit. Yeah. Yeah, quit it's when foolproof. you quit while you're ahead. It's foolproof. Oh, it's so shame. I wanted to like this game. It looked really cool from watching it. Well, well if you want to like it, maybe you'll like it. Who knows? No, I can I'm, Wayne I'm refund at this snobby. point. Or? Why would I refund it? I haven't even finished playing it yet. Or I mm, haven't even played, played it more yet. Than two hours. Well, if you decide that you don't like it, you refund it at this point. Well, no, there's a strict no refund policy. I oh. believe. Except on Steam, I yeah. But that's a Steam. Yeah, that, oh. that, that's Steam. Steam refunds any game within two hours. It doesn't matter what the publisher says. That's the Steam thing. Well, if you buy on Steam, you don't get the beta keys for your friends. So. That's why they... I guess you just wasted $100. How did I waste $100? I haven't even played the game yet. Because you'll probably be playing by yourself on launch. <laughs> well, people don't no one, better... no one really play game these days anyway, so it's kind of it, it is what it is. If like while well, Wally just uh, works if, for twenty four hours a day. If cooking and cleaning alone doesn't make me like go till like whatever mission, then I would play. What do you mean cooking and cleaning alone doesn't make you go to a mission? Well, cooking, cleaning, and then wasting time in between. I just have a fucking cleaning service, man. <laughs> it's... I, I don't... Trust them. <laughs> also, I don't... Trust them. Yeah, see, I've had my cleaning lady for the last, like, four years, so... Damn. Pretty much ever since I moved into this house, she's uh, a f or an ex girlfriend's friend's mom. Are too rich for Wally though. Dude, so. it's fucking. She, 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 I don't. She doesn't charge her. Uh, she doesn't charge me much. I only pay her. She comes to my house once a week, and it's forty dollars. Damn. How long does she does it take? But Wally uh, is... About two hours. So you, she's only making twenty hours, twenty dollars an hour. Yeah. Not left fifteen dollars an hour. Cost. Well, it's cash. Yeah. That is probably but, that's probably why it's worth it. Wally is too. Oh yeah. That. But like the thing is, I don't have her do a ton of stuff. Like all she really does is she uh, does all my floors, does all my bathrooms, and then <laughs> does my dusting, and that's it. Like I do like my my day to day, like cleaning my dishes and. And that kind of stuff, right? But it's just like the deep cleaning shit that I don't want to do. It doesn't Wally, uh, wait, Wally, do you like do deep cleaning every week or what? No. Damn. I just. I also don't know. No, I do. Put stuff. I don't know. To be honest, like, she doesn't really have that much to do because I also have a, a Roomba that does. The, like, I got a Roomba that goes to every day. <laughs> oh, that's pretty easy. That's not, that's yeah. not too expensive. Though. Wally can probably buy that. But I think Wally lives in a three story house, though, so. It's gonna be hard for a two room stories, to cover all, store, a all three stories. Two stories, a landing, and a um, garage. I mean, the garage, I'm not gonna clean the garage. No, I, I, because that's exactly like I just have my Roomba with my Roomba mop in my big areas because I've got all hardwood. So yeah, it's just, I have I, all hardwood except floors, uh, except staircase. Yeah, so that way, like, you can, get, like, do those. The, the Roomba with the Roomba mop for my main area, which is like 90% of my floor, does everything great. It doesn't do it perfect, but that's why when I have her come by once a week, she gets all the corners, moves the furniture, gets behind the furniture, shit that the, that the robot shit can't get. What am I supposed to do here? Press F to talk to Bai Qian and then start your training. So I have to copy and perform the Berserker sword technique. You have to demo, demo any. Oh yeah, so you're gonna have to go to. Uh... So I have to talk to. 
This person begin the test. Yeah, that's it. And then imitate the movement. Around, I think. What is this? Wind cleaver? Three times? Oh, this is different than the Spearmaster one. Wait, which one? Which oh, yes, of course. Is, is it going to tell me what skill he's using? Yeah, it just tells you. It doesn't. What's that skill that's blinking? <laughs> I, I don't know. I the think I removed it. Blinking. That was from like R, my RMB and LMB, and I, I removed it's that. LMB or RMB, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but, but I think I removed it, so I don't know which one it is. So that's. So it's this one? This one? Yeah, LMB. Oh, okay, so that's where it says. Uh, but you know, it wouldn't help. It wouldn't hurt if it like just told me the entire sequence right now, so I don't have to like look at this. So it's this one followed by this one followed by Q. You know, I don't have to do that. Yeah. For me, I just had to target attack dummies a bunch of times. My training thing. It's kind of weird that you're training you these skills now, rather than when you actually start fighting earlier. But like, was, was that well, supposed to be like a combo? Or why did he? Why did we do these particular sequence of skills? Like, I guess if you press L, like if you hold down R and B, I guess that's like a combo. If you hold down L and B, I guess that's another combo. But then, like, why this followed by this followed by that? I don't know what the significance of this skill was. All right, well, let's, um... You have to hit K? Follow the instruction to complete the basic attack training. Auto yeah, you attack. gotta hit K and then go to, like, that special word. What? I guess it's gonna teleport me to the island. Oh, okay, now you're going into where I was, okay. You were just to learn closer. this particular skill. Edge is a resource. Wait, why did they call it Edge? They could have just called it Chi. Just it's it's just Chi. It's, it's like you're Edge. You're ed, you're an Edge Lord. That's why. <laughs> an Edge Lord? No, but in Chinese, it's just Chi. So, just call it Chi then. <laughs> they were they, like they already used Chi in like translations. Wait, what? And attack the wooden snake three times. Wait, what does it mean when it grays out? Strike is an important resource for performing the core action of Cloud Ripper. Hitting the target while performing Wind Cleaver can recharge Strike. So that's the middle mechanic. Try and continuously attack the target and recharge Strike. I don't know, Wind Cleaver is just R and B, so... Look, I can see it going up, I guess. Yeah. And then what? I'm at 100. Wow. Amazing gameplay. And I hold down the button to charge. It charges for more longer. The charges can increase and strike can be consumed. The charge level and strike can increase the strength and range of skill. So I guess if I have strike charged up, I can consume this to do more damage. Yeah. So or you can. It looks like you can get, decide how much you consume. Like whether you do like one charge, two charge, or three charge. Yeah, it does seem like it. But when is the time to use Wind Cleaver? What was this about? What was the edge That's thing just about? So your LMB is what you use to charge your RMB, and then your... And it also charges my edge, I guess. Yeah. And then, so you've got your two different resources. Your RMB resource is off of your center, and then your other basic skills is off of your edge resource. Yeah, that's what it seems like. But also, but I can still use this, even if I don't have any charge. So I'm guessing it maybe it does less damage or something. Striking an important resource for increasing the power, uh, and increase, and I guess that's done. 
leave the arena, I guess. Well, you can you can click on different dr uh, drills and try them. Like there's all those different you can go to. Like Should DPS try Master. So if you go down one, yeah, there's like other different, all the ones that aren't grayed out. Well, I guess I'll try them. But... Okay, so phantoms are a combat method that can be used by berserkers. The phantoms will attack the target automatically after a time. Consume an edge and perform to create phantoms. Sorry, sorry, I already know that. I already saw that I can do this. When a phantom appears, perform. Uh, oh. Stop talking. What? I wish the um, the the uh, voiceover would stop talking so I can read what it's saying. It's kind of because it's kind of distracting since I can kind of understand what it's saying, but also I can't. I can't really. When the Phantom appears, perform Phantom Storm and set the Phantom's position so all Phantoms attack your target. Shortly after performing Phantom Storm, you can perform Phantom Storm attack by pressing the button multiple times. Phantoms are going automatically in this lesson. Wait, so... That's what, that's what this new skill does. When you do this, oh, you can you can make it attack a target. So that so that's yeah, if you keep pressing Z, it does the, like that does that their big attack. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting, I guess. So you kind of have to like. So this is kind of very heavy resource management. It seems like you're already having to manage two resources, but you also have to manage your phantoms as a resource. Like the phantoms itself is also a resource. I think that just probably comes part of skill rotation, though, right? It'll Maybe. Timing. Maybe. Because it seems like... Uh, I don't know if it's reset here, but when you leave, it seems like all my cooldowns were like 20 to 30 seconds. So, like, yeah. I didn't really have anything to do other than LMB and RMB for most of the fights. I would like, blow all my shit and then just LMB, RMB until it died. Well, if it's fast uh, time to kill, then... Maybe use this one combo someone, so then the cooldown being long doesn't really matter. Or it could just be a slower paced game. Fair. But, oh, uh, well, 30 second cooldown is pretty freaking massive. Yeah, that is long, so that's why I'm, I don't know, like... This isn't even like half my skills, so maybe there's more skills to create phantoms. And maybe you have to, like, I don't know, kind of know how long it takes for her phantom to disappear and all. So, basic action of creating phantom, controlling the phantoms. Yeah, so control, into this, and then into combo. Alright, that's okay. Well, that's actually pretty useful to know. It would, it would say, I wish if they showed this in the storyline that I wouldn't have to do a bunch of walking to NPCs here and there. Yeah, I feel like this whole training area here like could this have is been the most useful written part. into the storyline. Yeah. Like right now the storyline is kind of useless. Just, you just go here, press F, go there, press F. Yeah. <laughs> Zero depth to it at all. Activate to be fair, I've seen style. very few uh, stories that are actually, except for FF4 Dark Knight class story. Because that storyline actually forces you to come to with the fact that your main, you, you, the story main character, are actually the most terrifying one. Wait, what? It makes you come to terms that you are the most terrifying monster? Yes. It just makes you, it, it, the story makes you relive all the characters that you've killed up to that point. <laughs> what? It, it makes you have to face the fact that despite being you know, the hero for justice, you're, you've actually 
single-handedly killed more people than any of the bad guys ever have any of them yes <laughs> yeah. well i mean sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good what can i say so what the hell is sun shooting style i'm so confused did i learn this skill that sounds like it should be that sounds like it should be an archer skill because holy wait how do i it says activate the sun shooting style but how do i activate it i'm so confused Activate it on the first Astral Blessing level. Have I not learned Trophy this yet, or skill what's going on? First Astral Blessing... Yeah, so the first Astral Blessing level is down the very bottom of the Oh, so I haven't learned this yet. Sun Shooting style. Yeah, so I guess you can't Wait, do that yet. But why, why is this course unlocked then? Why am I able to even do this course <laughs> if I haven't learned the skill? That... What? That should just be locked then. <laughs> Or either that, or maybe in the course thing, you should have all skills unlocked. Like, I don't know, either one would make more sense. <laughs> Alright, I go see. Kung Fei. See, how come here I can't fly up? See, like, I can't fly here. Why can't I fly here? I can only jump. That's weird. Why can't I? Why can't I fly with the sword while I'm here? There's certain places I found that you were like you're just gated. You would you weren't able to. So you're not able to fly here, even though it's like perfectly fine. But you can jump off to your death. Yeah, it's like <laughs> uh, I got to an airship at some point, and I wasn't able to fly on the airship. Which is really I mean, that makes sense. Does it make sense though? How does like what's wrong with flying inside an airship? Like I wasn't even in, I was on the airship. Like there's no like there's no in. Like it was like a boat <laughs> in the air. Bless you. Well yeah, if you if they let you fly on the airship, you fall off. Well no, because of physics. The law of uh or object in motion states in motion. No, because you're in the atmosphere again. Well, no, it's like if you jump on a boat, you go with the boat, you don't just fall off. It's yeah, you maintain, your, you maintain the, uh, the velocity imparted to you by the boat, but you also take uh, yeah. the air resistance from flying through the air while you're no longer getting um, horizontal momentum from the boat now. Why are you just getting? I, I don't. You, I don't know. I think you're supposed to dodge. Me. I don't know. I was trying to explain physics, so. I, didn't yeah, really I, I got a question. I got a question for you, Wally. If I'm hovering on my sword on a flying airship, should I not fall off the airship because I would technically not be moving with the airship? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so that's why when you if you try to fly on an airship you should be falling off. But I can still hover on my anyway. I can still hover on my sword though. Yeah, you can hover <laughs> on your sword. Well in real life you don't fall off. In real life if I, if you were flying on top of a flying thing and you weren't maintaining your own momentum, you would fall off. If you wouldn't fall off then parachuting this parachuting as a thing would Exactly. Well, what do you mean? Like, if you if you were to jump what is, what, on an airplane, you wouldn't fall off the airplane. No, I'm saying is that let, let's say, for example, if you had a hoverboard. If okay, you had a hoverboard, if you're if you're riding a commercial jet and you jump with your legs, you do not generate it up yes. enough vertical yeah. motion to. But if you were back, creating your own to... lift, like you are on that flying sword, then you should technically just. Oh. Oh yeah, then, then you that's generate fine. enough lift where you stay in the air for longer than uh, take for if you stay in the air for a sufficient amount of time that the airplane, the airship behind below you would have moved on. From. Yeah, but then I guess that's uh, fine. with relation to your loss of moment. No so this is my dodgeball now. Yeah, yes. it's like eight seconds. Cool it's it's really long. Usually they give you two dodges. 
Yeah, it's like eight seconds. I think it's like eight, eight or ten seconds or something like that. Yeah, it's it's very long. I wonder why it's so long though. Can you block in this game? I don't think you can block either. No. But it's I not like SMO where you have dodges and blocks, kind of like. But well, but the thing is, take a look at your skills. I haven't seen any of those skills so far apply uh, CC. Well, I mean, it says uh, this one affects unconscious, makes you like people unconscious or something. I guess that's a stun. Like then consciousness. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so there, the one skill has a CC. So really, if in your entire kit, if only like one or two skills have CCs and they're on thirty second cooldowns, you don't, I guess, really need dodge for more than like ten seconds. Like maybe, <laughs> but I guess I don't know. <laughs> it all depends on whether this game will end up being a damage trade. But Van was saying that uh, he was reading people's comments and they said that the game is more combo than damage trade. So who knows if that's true? Well, or not. combo, I said more yeah. optimized damage trade. Yeah, combo just means you need to do well, this skill mm. after this skill after this skill to do max damage, as opposed to just doing one skill. But that wouldn't, I don't as know, I don't call that combo. Like, I think you, I think for it to be called a combo, you have to CC your opponent to a point where they can't fight back. I think then that would be a combo. I think a more, I think a more accurate term for this game would be, like you said, it wouldn't be combo, it would be rotations. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's just skill rotations. Like, That's what it looks like to me. Like BDO and even has when I was combos. watching, yeah, BDO has combos because it's like CC and just CC. Yeah. Into where yeah, like I was watching some of the ten v ten in this. The I think it, it looked like it was. Yeah, it's all, they're just standing and just shooting shit at each other back and forth. That being said, Elion is basically also damage. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's the thing, right? That, that's another problem. Oh, I see, I think uh, Elion, I think, is going to get a lot more once you like. The ruin system really affects how classes work a lot, where like they have it so that if you do a, a certain type of attack, it'll apply another CC. Or if you land a certain CC, you can extend that CC by an extra two seconds. You know, things like that that we didn't See, really get to play with that were in the high ruin. That affects, it, I mean, I, I think that ruins affect CC too much for my. I mean, it does. So you don't but... get like a consistent matchup. But the thing is, you can just break CC like every, what was it, like 15 seconds or was it 8, something like that? 8 seconds? 8 seconds. So, 8 seconds was CC break. Yeah, so like... 8 seconds CC break I feel like is, CC would be very, not, not very useful. reasonable on a game like video. 15 seconds CC break is a bit too long a game with damage. Well, see, the thing is, I think like the, the CC break, 15 second CC break in BDO is good because you're not using that CC break to consistently mitigate it, but you're going to have those times where it's like, oh, fuck, I fucked up, and you get CC'd, and it's like, boom, okay, I'd like to use it there. But like, I don't think it should be one to be used every single fight, like every single CC engagement, you can CC break it. Well, that's that's the thing on Elyon, though, you can basically... Yeah. Yeah, uh, like, and that's where I, I like you, ha like you it, have to it, fuck it, up two times back to back really quickly. And and the thing is, after you CC break, you can't even follow up. Like you can't even be like expect someone to CC break and then like trick them into breaking it and then follow up with another CC because they get CC immunity. Which you can breaking. do that on BNS. That's it's I, that's part I really like about BNS where it's and Swordsman actually where uh, you have layers of mini game. Guaranteed. See, I was finding that the my gameplay in uh, Elyon was actually doing rather well because once I got enough skill points, I had two skills that were a that was able to almost half health somebody. So and just then, damage, but that's just damage rage. No, but the, but one of my damage skills was a CC. So that what I would do is I would fire out the CC, get them to break it, and then I would follow up with another CC into my damage combo. Do about half to three quarters of their life, reset the fight, and then go again from there. Aren't they? Doesn't the damage? Doesn't the CC break? Hmm? Hmm? Wait, what? Didn't the damage? Didn't the CC break on Elia? Yeah, afterwards, or did it do what, do what afterwards? CC immunity. Yeah, Not yeah, get CC immunity. Didn't... That's the thing. Yeah, so you what would happen is that you would get them, they would break, and then I would just keep on chasing them again, and then set up my second CC for after. 
because the fact that there was no, there is no massive healing in the game, that you can, it's essentially the same as BDO, but just in a lot slower pace. But there is it, it's not ma like massive healing though. What? Well, no, only missing. No, well, well, like yeah, if, if you fight anyone running uh, protection runes, they just permanently have shield. Yeah, but those shields don't do that much though. Like I was having no problems. I was having no problems one v oneing people on my mystic. And now that well, was mostly me being aggressive. Playing. I wasn't even playing like I wasn't even doing heal. I, I had one heal skill. And that was my damage shield. I didn't even need any other. Like I didn't have my AOE heal. I noticed else. that Mystic was extremely over too. It's a CC resisting. It's a. It's kind of suck magey. Yeah, it kind of was. But Elementalist, Elementalist has a wombo combo that they were actually be able to one shot people with, if they were able to CC them after the CC break. It's like it like was the insane. CC break is fine if you had if it was a, a mini break game rather than get up and now you have CC immunity. I think it looks really it's really it would be really good if it was like you CC break and then the other person guesses I don't know the direction in which you CC break and follows up in that direction with with well, a roll catch. Like SMO, basically. Almost honestly, awesome. kind of yes, yeah. like SMO, and honestly, like. Well, Quo didn't play SMO, I guess. So. No, I didn't play SMO. But like, like Dark Souls, because uh, where you can roll catch people as they come up. That being said, peer to peer connections do not make for a good. Did Quo play uh, Dark Souls? I played a bit of Dark Souls. I never it, the combat always felt too clunky to me. Yeah, the, the combat one? was clunky three in Dark Souls. Or one? No, um, one I played was... one, two, and three. I mean, yeah, it's, it just, it's, it's not exactly that fast combat, but it has its Yeah, it, 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 it's not bad. Like, it was good. I, like, I, one game I actually thought did a better uh, combat was For Honor. I thought it was a really good combat. Yeah, that's like a um, dedicated PvP game. Stuff, yeah. So. Well, it did seem good, but everyone's not playing it, so... It's because Ubisoft fucked it up so bad. Really? Yeah, oh, isn't Ubisoft yeah. facing like really bad uh, PR right now? Cause... Yeah, they're facing horrible PR. Like, Ubisoft is, is no, they're known for not making games good at launch and then making them good two years later if they actually have a player base can still stick around for that long. So it's for and Honor. That's what now, for Honor. It, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a great game now, but nobody plays it. You go. That was the problem, uh. is that when it first launched, it was buggy as fuck, shit was considered retarded OP, and <laughs> it was a complete shit okay. fest. But two years later, they balanced everything, they brought in some new classes, they actually made it to the point where they improved the netcode to the point where you could actually not deal with desync and shit, and there's no problem. <laughs> well, and, the, like, well, the bad PR I'm hearing about is what how doing here? they... Overwork the employees and then. Oh, so we have kill these mobs. You... That could be true too. I don't know too much about that. Um, but like Ubisoft's always had a had a record for that. Like the same thing with Division. Like look like the Division was horrible NPCs. at release, and the game wasn't good until Division 1.6. And funny enough, a Division 1.6 had like twice the player base of the base Division at launch because the, the game became that good. Mm. But I guess... Well, I guess no one... Well, that leaves us with Naraka. What can I say? Yeah, but Naraka looks a lot better. Yeah, Naraka uh, looks amazing. Oh, I guess he turned into a mob. Well, why is there so many, like, weird mechanics that probably doesn't really matter? <laughs> Yeah, that's it's just all fluff. You know, you know, this reminds me of this one skit that someone did where it says more game mechanics doesn't make the game better. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like the, 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 the entire experience that I have for the two hours of leveling, it just seemed like a giant waste of time. That's all leveling process. Well, no, like, I feel like the leveling process should in some way 
make you teach you about the game. Uh, but yeah, you should that... integrate with the game itself. There's a couple of things that the leveling process should do. It should introduce you to the game world and how the game works. It should give your uh, characters a story-based objective. Like, you know, you want to save the world, sure. It's a pretty decent generic objective. It should give you, like, a cast of NPC supporting characters that you actually care about. And make you realize at some point that, yes, you could fuck it up. Like, lose your friends. And, and like, explain the core story... systems of the game. And the, and the game should, and like, yeah, the game should teach you. Like, that whole training so. area, that could have been done, integrated into this whole storyline. And through, like, boss, like, little mini fight. Yeah. I mean, I guess Eldian is kind of better in that, but... Then it's Any, exploring Most afterwards. games are better. I think any like, most games are better. Like this is just this is probably about as bad as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like literally, the questing has nothing to do with game mechanics and anything, and it's just storytelling and really bad storytelling at that. It's oh. it, to be fair, wuxia, wuxia genres do not give you much room for to go out of the. It, it, it's but it's not. It's got nothing to do with. Like the genre, it's got to do with how the the creativeness like the of the devs is. to be able to in integrate all of the components you need in order to make a game functional. Like like Based all the things that we much... talked about. Yeah. Based on how much they just talk, you can tell they didn't. No, it's literally they, they the just cheapest. they wrote a story. They they wrote the story in Notepad and then they just copied and pasted it to the character. No, they got it off like fan, some Chinese fanfic. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. Or you <laughs> know that? To... Um, oh. Did you know that? You know light novels, right? How they're a huge industry in Asia. Yeah. Yeah. So in China, most of the sites, most of the platforms where you can get fish, like exposure for your novels, are owned by Tencent. And they recently made it so that Tencent oh. owns all the work on your on their website. They can do whatever <laughs> they want with it. They reduce the amount of royalties authors get, but authors are now responsible for 100% of any legal fees that they run into. Oh, that's the scummy ass fucking practices. But like, Holy what shit. are you gonna do if you're a Chinese person writing a light novel? You either publish on platform or you, or you don't. I mean, I guess at all. Yeah. But then, but it's, like, the balls. it's like, I feel like if they want to focus more on the PvP, maybe they can just not make it based on story at all. You know, oh, I feel exactly like every, it, every right? MMO nowadays, it feels like it has to do a story, even if the story is bad. Just, I guess that's that, what people okay. expect Like from I said, MMOs. it's okay if a story is, exists. Like, you can have a good story, but it, ha it not a book in a... Like, I don't want to read a book in a game. Yeah, which is exactly yeah. what this, like... It's to, exactly to what every MMO story is. But then when it's yeah. like this, like they, might, they might as well just even, not do a story. Even the fucking Gathering, the Gathering class on FF14 has a fully voice-acted storyline. But, like, like if you take a look at Elion, though, like, a lot of their shit in that game, they didn't really shove it down your throats. Like, everything was pretty streamlined for uh, the level uh, it, was, uh, it was It was very... It was streamlined to the point where the, like... The roleplay aspect was just gone. Yeah, you were just going from one place to another, doing one, two, three, four. They even made put all the quests in one place. But that's also yeah. great for speedrunning. But there, there, was, there is no real... yeah, but uh, you just don't give. Like you might as like, well they, just they, jump straight into dungeons instead of that but, game is mostly focused on PvP though, and you can tell that it's mostly focused on PvP. Yeah, because they don't give a shit about because like who cares about the story? The, the, yeah. the, the your main story NPC, that girl, like goes away after level thirty. Basically. Yeah. And Which is it's fine. more like for, for like a story like for a game like that, it's fine. You don't. And then, anyway. but I think that's the way that most MMOs need to go because, like, let's be honest here, I, I, the majority of people that are playing MMOs that are PvP based MMOs, they're not there for the story. They don't give a fuck about the story. Nobody really cares about the story. They're there yeah. to get leveled, to get PvP, and let's get the fucking PvP happening. Let's cut out the bullshit. Don't make give me this long fucking reason why this game needs to exist like cut all the bullshit out and let's just go yeah well i, mean, I wouldn't kind of mind like, by the way if they made a malzan mmo and one of the arcs is just like a five six hour experience of this retreat that 
an in-game, uh, like an in-universe army. It's essentially Napoleon what? fleeing from Moscow. <laughs> medieval. I guess, I guess they want you to experience have, like, an entire arc the of <laughs> main characters. No, it was like a really long, desperate retreat. It was very impactful. Because at the end, they all end up... They, even though they did everything they could, like, they all end up to cross it along a 300-mile road. And everyone died. Well, that's a pretty terrible way to it. I no, but I'm, just I just mean like yeah. when it comes to like uh, GP MMO, like they should just cut out the story, just, just go straight into the battle. But it's just like yeah. when people think MMO nowadays, they think it has to be a story. I don't think they anyone think like really the, like people does make PvP MMOs, but it's like they're still kind of ca targeted towards the casual players who are like not well, going to PvP though. That's the thing. Like, well, that's the, people associate MMO with RPG. And tabletop is making a huge comment. And that's where I think like there we're now at the point where we can delineate. Okay, guys, an, a massively multiplayer uh, skill system combat game that has mass PvP doesn't need to be an RPG game. And that's kind of where Elion, like that's the direction Elion's kind of headed. But I don't think it like, is yeah. though, because gear still matters so much in Elion. Yeah, but so what does gear have to do with an RPG game? It doesn't. That that's why it shouldn't. But well, that's what I mean. It's that, like you can still have an MMO RPG style game like that, where like BDO and these stuff, without having that RPG part. We we don't need to have that role yeah. player. So Here is Koyo the RPG means, part. I think by RPG Koyo means story, but by RPG Wayne means gear. Yeah. See, RPG is role playing. Role playing means story. Well, it means... Here is a huge part of RPG though, progression and all. But so. no, I don't think so though. Like, pro a gear progression isn't tied to role playing though. It it is though. How like, so? You, like, if you look, like, there's no, like, that's the only thing in role playing games. Like, that's that's kind of like a common thing well, in no, any RPG game. Whether it's single is player you, or multiplayer, there's progression. But I think that we're distilling. You're you're taking the wrong context out of the the direct translation though. Role playing, you playing a different role. That's all a role playing game is. It's I mean, that's you that's what the, the persona name of a different character that's what the name it, means but that's not what the genre does though that's where i think that we've we've delineated what that genre is supposed to be too much in our head as a role-playing game um mmo experience it needs to have a story it needs to be story driven it needs to have gear it needs to have this it needs to have this yada 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 so on and so forth but we're seeing that more and more now that a lot of the people that are into the PvP aspect of these MMORPGs don't give a fuck about the stories. All they care about is gear progression and combat. And so if you can distill it where you can have the gameplay loop of good combat and good gear progression without all the RP, waifu, fucking roleplay bullshit, then a lot of people are going to be a lot happier for it. And I think that's one of the things that you're seeing why Elyon is just so successful in KR is because it doesn't have all of the fluffiness and all the other crap. It's just, okay, I want to get gear progression, I want to get stronger, and I want to be able to kill people. No, but I don't think people care about gear either, though. I think it's the more it's the more casual players who care about the uh, grinding PvE dungeons for, for gear progression and ultimately not PvP. So... Like, I feel that, that, like that's, that's kind of the same, it kind of ties it together. If, that's, well, you're you're getting two different experiences of gaming, man. Like, if you can get one that can do both well, that's fine. But we're seeing that that's not really possible. Like, you take a look, there's that, there's a reason why Final Fantasy XIV is so popular. It's because people are able to get those cravings filled with a game like Final Fantasy XIV. They don't care about PvP. They just care about the RP and the story and... And that Final Fantasy is practically oh, yeah. Final Fantasy is instance to the point where like it's just different game modes and of in from a hub. Yeah, it's not it's, even uh, you don't even have the same skills. The classes aren't even are only tangentially similar in between PvP and PvE. PvP uses fixed. Stats. Well, like how many people actually even play the PvP in that game? It's it's it's, it's enough dead. to win trade. 
Yeah, that, that's just that like it's it's just it's just enough to be sustained, but it's by no far the the core. Uh, people of the game. do play the PvP when there's a new mount. Bound. Yeah, but then like yeah, then that, once they get the new map, they like there's still elements of that in uh, Eldian as well, though. That's the thing. Like yeah, but, the, but, but, but I don't think you can have is, a. They've done is that Eldian has done the polar opposite of Final Fantasy XIV, where they've done just the more base PVE elements it needs in order to sustain itself, and then focused everything on PVP. Well, I don't, Whereas... think, I don't think it's differentiated enough. Like I'm thinking, not, like when I look at Naraka, that would be kind of like the differentiation I'm looking for. Where it's just but that's a MOBA. PvE, it's I mean, sorry, yeah, not a MOBA. It's, PvP. A, it's a battle royale. That's a, that's a battle royale game. But it doesn't that, have that's to be. That's a total though. difference. It doesn't no, have, it doesn't to, have be, to be. So. But the thing is, is that you can't make a skill-based game like that and then have gear progression in it. And yeah, have well, a that's balance. what I'm saying. You shouldn't have gear progression. But then in the game like Elion and stuff, that's part of the drive is to get the gear progression. So you can get stronger. Yeah, but then that's By like... the way, I can tell that um, this game is really not engaging Wayne because we're talking about theoretical game design rather than the game. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, exactly. I mean, PE oh. is just isn't engaging in general, though. So... It can be, though. I, I, I will break out the 50-page PowerPoint for 14 the I mean, you can do a 15 page PowerPoint, but I don't. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be engaging for me. I think that the games are uh, like it, it's a good thing when games like Alien try not to do everything. Yeah, yeah, you have limited resources. I do agree. Like, if you're going to go for story, that story is incredibly draining because you potentially have to have completely unique assets for different parts of the story, and they're never yeah. that are never used again. Why they just end up being single player RPG. Pretty but much. The and... ideal RPG I have in my head, I realize after thinking about it, it's just a single player RPG, and then after you complete the single player, you play it, you play out. Yeah, but I mean, to have gear and progression in general, I feel like it's already based on a single player. Like, leans towards that single player uh, route. The, the PvE. Well, like, uh, when yeah. is Naraka coming to... out for real, by the way? What? Uh, I don't know. There's another CBT happening this year. This That's year? All right. The game looks per feels perfectly playable. Are that, wait, what are you talking about right now? Naraka. Oh, Naraka? Naraka? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the game does seem playable. Wait, is there a China? Is there an Asian server you can play? Uh, I have no idea. I, I just know that it's there's another beta coming out for it because I just saw a Twitter post uh, the other day about it. The, the game is fine. Yeah. No, they just have to make a few more cosmetics for the cash shop and drop it. I guess, I don't know, maybe they feel like there's not enough mechanics? Either or... that or like... <laughs> I don't know what they're I'm, I'm, I'm happy with them taking time and making things fleshed out more than trying to cash grab. Like, yeah, but... Uh, with a battle royale, you don't have... It doesn't have to be. It's just like the thing is, is that these the battle royale genre is just so diluted right now. Like, like if they it, were to flesh another, we hope that they make another game mode. You know, that so doesn't have to be a battle royale game. Well, battle royales are, are it's a, it's a great place to start because all you you don't need to worry about anything other than other than mechanics from player to player. It is, There's but then... Else that you really need to worry about. But then, at the same time, people will see it as another generic Battle Royale game, rather than... Yeah. Well, it's like, not, a lot of people it will see... melee mechanics. I know, but a lot of people will see that it's Battle Royale and just not think about it. It's like Spellbreak. Like, a lot of people will see Spellbreak as a Battle Royale, even though it's inherently different from something like Fortnite or even PUBG. Because it's a projectile yeah. shooter, rather than a uh, hitscan type shooter. Yeah, so. and on the other hand, it's like, Naraka is melee... Yeah. It's rather a melee. Yeah, but a lot of people will like this this part it's just for being. That uh, being said, right bows now. are kind of OP. Like remember when we were on the other Yeah, but I I forgot that, that you can actually just... block all hits. With what? I forget. By, by attacking. <laughs> oh, oh. You can you actually can attack the mid -air. Yeah, you can actually do it. That's do, that's do that. pretty good. That's fair. Yeah, because I was seeing some of like the good plays when the guys are using the bow, the other guy would just grapple into melee attack and then the bow dude was getting fucked. Yeah, I don't think Bo can actually beat 
melee. But the thing is, if you're a god of aiming fair. and get head like get headshot every time, I mean, it could be pretty OP still. Are you talking like the repeater crossbow or the longbow? The longbow. The longbow is a sniper okay. rifle. In like if you get yeah. a headshot with it, yeah. almost like it one shots. It does I was, one I was shot. talking about the uh, the repeater crossbow. Yeah, the repeater crossbow is pretty the... shit. The repeater has like no accuracy. But it's like it's like those one one hit one kill, or if you're just like a god at aiming, then it could be. Uh, or strong, if the enemy you know? is engaged fighting someone else, you just shoot them from. Just spray at them. <laughs> you um, you just do the Viet Viet Pong. Just hide in the tree. And you know what was actually well, a lot of fun for a fighting game that had a uh, pretty interesting um. Uh, PvP, and I, I honestly, I, di I didn't even buy this game. My freaking kid bought this game when I started playing it. Was that uh, Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Striker? It's like a four v four, uh, fighting game. It was actually a lot of fun. Oh uh, yes, aside, I and mean, just because it has a Naruto theme does not necessarily get that. No, oh, yeah, like, 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 they, I'm gonna I, tap I out of the stream. Assume. By the way, I'm gonna do what? Tap out of the stream and just talk on Discord because there's no point being in the stream. I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, you're, since you're just get, I mean, you're kind of just gathering herbs. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to watch me gather herbs. No, I have to go to the mailbox. I'm, I'm, I'm level ten. Mail out some. The, this is how engaging the gameplay is. Your two viewers are wanting to leave you already. I'm level ten. <laughs> But actually, I think, I think stream, no matter how, no matter how interesting your uh, game is, if you only have two viewers, you do not build that interactive feedback loop that will keep your stream going. Yeah, I think Wally's still <laughs> doing. That's, no, I'm watching it. Uh, oh, are you? It's like yeah. uh, it's it's why like the whole VTuber industry they debut formally rather than just starting to stream. So that on debut, you have a bunch of shit already prepped to talk about, so you can get that feedback loop going. Yeah. By the way, Coil, look at, in our Discord, look at the VTuber Sims channel, the, the uh, animation they commissioned is actually, like, sick. Which one, uh, the, the, the last, latest post? It's, the channel's called VTuber Sims. Yeah, but are you talking about the last video, the Hollow Live video? Yes, Hollow Live alternative. And what is this? Uh, so this is lore for their streamer character, their stream character. Basic. But see, the thing is, it could be like, like you don't know if this is going to be like for honor, where it's just bad at the start, but then the PvP itself turns out to be good. So. The PvP is already well, bad in China, so... Is it bad in China? <laughs> if it's bad at the start, then you it doesn't get the momentum it needs to be no. popular. Yeah, but it could still be good, though. Like, SMO was bad at the start. But the PvP no, it, itself it, it, is it's, good. SMO was bad at the was... start, and then it stayed bad. Well, no, the PvP is good, though. That's the thing. Only I in was arena. watching the videos. I was watching videos, and it's literally guys just standing there doing skill rotation. Like, yeah, it's, it's it's PWI without DC. I mean, PWI, uh, you have an excuse of you know this is a fucking uh, you know the tab target game. You you're not supposed oh, see, to. I already, I already have. It's not, a, even though PWI has. I have a second CC. After two uh, hours of playing, you have cooldown. two CCs. <laughs> this is a CC. <laughs> on a thirty second cooldown. <laughs> Wait, it's like forty five seconds actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, 45 second cooldown. <laughs> That's 45 like all cooldown. that is that is an alt tier skill on any game. Yeah. <laughs> and the CC's for six seconds though. Okay, well Roar Roar of the Pride CC for seven point five seconds. That was like what, ten second cooldown? I yeah. don't remember B. Well, PWI CC so much were, CC breaks though. See PWI's had PWI CC were so fucking long. Yeah, the there was like genies. a good CC break game. Yeah, because you had so much. It was it was a resource management game, and you had so much resources. 
Yeah, but they did it better than Elyon, though, because it's not like a global CC break. It's like you have to know no, specifically which CC you're breaking. That's yeah. fine. That's what I, Lost I think, Ark is like. I think new games these days, they have too many different CCs. PWI, for, for the longest time, was Stun, Freeze, Seal, Sleep. What else? That's it. Do they? Does Elyon have too much CC? I, I don't think so. I always have thought CCs should be very uh, limited. So like, it, it seems like it's like, okay, I, I've got Either my one it's... chance to use it and then I gotta take advantage of it or, I, or if I scoff it, I'm kind of fucked and I gotta be on the back foot. Either you have very limited CCs or you have a lot of CCs and equally many opportunities to break them. Yeah, but like you take a look at BDO and like every second skill is a CC and no way to break them. A uh, BDO supposedly is supposed to counter that by have, giving you a shitload of protections. But that's also why you, you look at a skill that doesn't have both protection and CC, oh, it's not viable to use. Yeah, you don't use it in the game anymore. Well, no, because it was supposed to be designed such that no skill had both protection and CC. Yeah, yeah then they, 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 they throw that book out. Well, I'm just yeah, going to assume they that's very that now. I'm just going to assume that's They realize thing. it's not. Every class is I'm just gonna assume that is the thing. It's you, you can't play the game without protected CC. Oh, you can't. I it's mean, so dumb. if you're succession, you don't have protected CC, so Succession Ninja didn't get that up core skill update. Yeah, but you still have Smoke. Oh. Smoke so is I still think a protected the, CC. I think the game is still the same. Isn't smoke screen, uh, smoke screen a protected CC for succession? Well, it is, but you don't use that for. You don't that's not really the thing. go for smoke stun. <laughs> it's it's a very it's a very awkward skill to go it's, for. It's You're not. Still it's going for it's, it's not, but it's also something that you have to know when to use specifically. Yeah, but the thing is, if you Block. use it right, you're using it to be able to counter their incoming and stun them, so you can potentially counter engage. You can as long as there is block. Wait, what are you talking about, Ben? You can as long as there is block. You can what? What they're doing now is CCs with gaps in protections. So technically, Sage coming out of CC without e buff is coming out of iframe with e but without e buff is unprotected but with desync it's just oh and then you've got you've got range classes which are protected when they provide ct like awaken stage has meteor is retarded yeah and and same thing with mages well pre-nerf meteor which is the meteor that we have now i guess i finally got the fucking fly that was in my room the only reason i got it is because it's so starved and exhausted it can't fly away anymore Oh, I, okay. Did I ever tell you when I, I was a kid a at summer camp? When I was at summer camp, um, there was a fly buzzing around the table. I, I think I peaked in life at that point because I just reached out my hand and I smacked that fly onto the table. Somehow. Well, I guess it was probably it was, a, it was a lucky shot, but... I, I, have don't, I think that was... It gets pretty bad in uh, in the summertime. It's a it's a fly it's an anti fly gun that you fill up with salt. Oh. And you sh and you uh, it and it loads. You... It, it kills. It, it shoots flies out of the air. <laughs> it shoots salt into the air and that shoots. hurts the fly. How? Are you it using like fly. kosher salt? No no no, it dude. It, it's the air gun. It just shoots air, I guess, and that's how it kills the fly. Oh, you said salt gun. I thought it shot out like <laughs> salt. <laughs> <laughs> like I was thinking, what is this? Some kind of shotgun using kosher salt so that the pellets hit the fly? No, you know, it, it, it could actually work. It's uh no, what is it? It's a pump action, uh, salt gun. So like you put like table salt into it, and then every oh, it time does you... shoot us. Yeah, it does shoot salt. Then I was right. Wait. Yeah, it does shoot salt. So it, sh it shoots table salt. But then you're, you're just getting salt everywhere in your room. Dude, it, it shoots like, like, like barely. Like you're not even gonna see the salt. It's so little amount. But it's, but it's there, and it will corrode your furniture over time. Like, you, like how like salt the corrodes the street. Yeah, but salt only corrodes the street when it mixes with water and oxidizes. Yeah, you're, There's you're, moisture in the air. You're not getting enough. You're not getting enough 
salt in onto your uh onto Dude, your you're talking like with... five granules of salt. <laughs> Do you have to is that easy to aim? Yeah. It, it shoots out like a shotgun. So like you, it's hard, it's hard to hit them when they're like flying, but when they're on the wall, dude. Oh yeah, bro. Like I, I'm I'm freaking surgical with that thing. But then you can just use uh, one of those electric fly swatter. But why would I just thing. shoot it with the? Yeah, but I can just get target practice. That's a at unique. The same time. You have to do. You have to use the uniquely American solution <laughs> of just shooting it. I'm Canadian, okay. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Yeah, uh, Google bug assault. Bug a salt. <laughs> like I it's bought it at my freaking American. Uh, I bought it at my uh at my hunting store I go to. Oh, what dude, I, I am so much, me? I am so much more redneck than than any Canadian should be that's you're so redneck i thought you were american until like 30 seconds ago <laughs> when you confirmed you were connected also korean <laughs> that's pretty funny wait what what even is going on in the story right now uh who knows i skipped, who I skipped too much Really uh, uh, there's some but... uh, really shitty animations happening and you look like a ghost and now you're gonna walk through a portal that's all you need to know you're walking from the afterlife <laughs> damn i guess we're a ghost now but look, actually, actually, the uh, dash is a stun when it lands, and that one has a uh... like you can use that twice. So it's stun. You can stun people two times back to back. Church wants me to donate to the market. So you know, <sighs> it's not bad so far. And actually, this skill does a lot of damage. The uh, the, the summon skill. If it wasn't for such long cooldown. But right now, it seems like this LMB RMB is the DPS. Yeah, and then your other skills are just kind of hit them once and then wait an hour for them to come back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's kind of bad to have like to be forced to use some URMB to DPS, but I don't know. I feel like you LA on, what? LA on kind of few DPS to some URMB a lot of times too, so I don't really know if that's. Yeah, I kind of felt that too at the start, but once you get your 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 skills fleshed out, it wasn't so much. It was more for just resource management. Yeah, everyone on Elion just takes that one skill for resource management, right? Which one? Yeah. Skill? Why is there a one well, every class skill? Would have a Wait, which skill? Uh, well, my time? I was playing Mystic, so my LMB skill was the heal, and well, either the heal or fine light, and then the, your right. I put the missiles on my right mouse and inspect it for a uh, resource regen. I assume no. that's what everyone did. No, I did. Not... I did. My right mouse button was uh, the the AOE poison. Because oh, that you was used my the toxic. Yeah, because dude, that actually each could stack be... of that. Dude, because each stack they stacked on top of each other. Oh, they stack. I thought it was like FF14 style, just uptime check. No, it, they, they actually stacked. Well, nothing I've faced so far, uh, you know, in the beta has lasted long enough. But yes, if it was a boss fight or a PvP. It so that was part matter. of my 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 PvP strategies and was helping with That's... damage. I'd go around try to CC and then when I and I'd continuously be spraying that at them with my LMBs. So I'd always yeah, have one or two stacks And you only regen mana. And then you only regen resource with uh Alan, uh, with fine life then. Mhm. Mm I mean this background I mean, music fine, is then. pretty good. Because I also had, there was a, I forgot Pretty what that I have. I think I had, it was in one of my green, um, my, one of my support runes that had it so that I regen energy every 10 seconds. So I didn't need to have a supplemental energy, uh, 
skill. Oh, I was full red slot because that's all they gave me during the class. Yeah, I did that, and then once you started buying the ruin boxes and shit, I swapped all my reds out for greens. Yeah, greens. of course. I I would assume that uh, for mystics, uh, we would or, heal, heal. Yeah. So I would they, assume would for just... mystics, we would just all go green blue. And yeah, I, well, know, uh, I think it might be green blue or green, potentially green orange for PvP. Orange is super strong for PvP. Enough. I don't, One I, of I don't the, know. I orange don't think you can impress me too much. I don't think you can fill out more than one tree, and then this you will just be at secondary and tertiary trees at best. Yeah. So well, there's PvP, no point filling out two trees anyway, because you can't do no. the last one. Like the, for, for the PvE, final one, it was points. green, but for PvP Mystic, unless you were a support build, you were you should you were supposed to be going control, because you had the mixture. Control worked for both healing and your damage output, because I mean, anytime you CC, it increased your damage, and anytime you also had the chance to CC, it, it would proc another like dot or something like that. I forget. I have to look at the tree again. I mean, it increases your damage, but then they just break the way this break the CC immediately. So, like, you're not—I don't know. Like, even you're gonna really get to use that damage. So, boost. with my Mystic build, I had two nukes. I had my one LMB, and that was that would change. And then all the rest of my skills were different forms of CC. So, I would just fish for CCs until after I know that the CC break was done, and then go for my nuke. I wasn't doing damage training, I just had the two set for damage and everything else was CC with a mobility skill in my LMB. If anything, BDO would be, if if every BDO, if BDO PvP just looked like the tournament, like Kuno final, Kuno fights, that would be a really good game. If BDO just looked like the Kuno fight, what do you mean by that? If BDO PvP looked like Kuno fights rather than mage ball fights, then it'll be really good. Well, one well, of the biggest. Yeah, but so, still have to remove. I think one of the big issues that I've seen in video lately that that's yeah. really been pissing me off is that it seems that the hit none of the hit areas match the animation. Oh yeah, no, you notice that hugely in the new PVE because the circles are the hits are bigger than the circles. Wait, what are you talking yeah. about? In BDO. What do you mean that like, the Smash the animation? Wait, what are, what are you talking about? Like the sides of the animations aren't where the actual damage or CCs end or start. There's invisible hits on a lot of yeah. things. They, they, they don't match to, on pretty much every class. What? No. <laughs> okay, take a look at uh look at the knockback or the, the, the float on Serpent Ascension. Yeah, on Ninja. That. That, that one seems it, fine to me. Dude, you can be standing outside of the skill animation and still get floated on that skill. 10 out of 10. Mm, when when was that changed? I... Because that I was just, never the case. There was actually in one of the matches, uh, I'm pretty sure it was one of the Ninja matches, you actually saw that when... when I think Grass Beetle wasn't anywhere near the surface. Honestly, I just... That's that's could just be sync. Sync. Could have been desync, but it was he was so far out, it was insane. That's a, so, no, but I, that has to be desync because when I use Serpent Ascension, in fact, you have to actually be close. Like, if you're at max range, you the flow doesn't land. It's hard to then, tell between desync, just shit net code, and, and and that's the other issue is that you combine that with the desync and the shit net code, and it, it just oh, yeah, the desync is probably the biggest issue with BDO and and followed by uh gear check resist. And resist no, and, no. Things resist. Thank you. No, I think gear is bigger. Like, what's the point of having all these good mechanics like uh, super armor block when all you need to do is just get more gear and then it breaks it instantly? But then what? Yeah, but this, uh, that's debatable though because gear actually has to be earned. Like, you have to actually go and get the gear. Like, these things. Oh resist. yeah, you have to go and find the right Pinoy to grind. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so much earning. S. Well, even now you can't Pinoy anymore. I don't think any. I don't think there's been anything since they. I'm pretty sure Wayne. I'm pretty sure they never caught Wayne. But he doesn't. I, 
play well, they, anymore, I, so. I only did that for I that one period of time. And I never got caught. Well, now you're gonna get caught. Because uh, well, this cares? is on live stream. <laughs> With what oh, yes, viewer, you... which is me. I don't know. Well, all they have to do is uh, pull off the board. Oh, fuck. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, they're gonna go account. through them. I mean, if you if you if they actually went and did all of that, they they earned they earned the ban. They earned it. I guess yeah. they have to earn the ban. So I can be a drunken master or I can be a slayer. I guess this is how I yeah. switch between uh, which playstyle I want to play. Well, yeah, tank and DPS, right? That's what it looks like. <laughs> so I drunken guess this, master is tank. But it looks like you can actually switch between them, so you're not locked into one. No, you can swap between them, and you can swap gear sets at any point in time. You're not, you're not then what's locked the, anything. What's the whole point of the astral points, though? I mean, it looks like he's just going a line. You just go here, 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 here. Then eventually, I guess you can branch off here. Uh, I guess it's like KFP. But even further down, here. if you keep going down, then it starts really branching out. I guess so, yeah. Uh, do any, does here. any MMO dare go as overcomplicated as Path of no, I don't think anything is going to go as complicated as Pass. Like, Pass is so fucking convoluted that, like, I wanted to play it. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> the question is, I, how, no how did I, I earn guess. Astral Points anyway? I don't even know how I got that point. And it, wait, and it, has no, and it has no effect in PvP? <laughs> wait, what? But this has no effect in PvP, so what's the point? PvE game, bro. Yeah, like, none of these has any effect in PvP. Yeah. So I can just ignore this mechanic completely. Now I feel like I get those big parses and top DPS now. I don't think yes, most I'm people sure really Wayne cares about that. For that. No, they're playing the new FF14 expansion. Which is what? Which actually looks fucking sick. Damn, I just get four skills instantly, I guess. Wolf's Journey. What? This is a support. Yeah, you can turn into a wolf. <laughs> yeah, you get to turn into a wolf, and you can get you can be mounted too. Somebody else can ride fucking. you. What the yes. fuck? Yeah. Fucking furries. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is that in the game? Yeah, and you got a sword in your in your mouth. <laughs> You're running around <laughs> with your sword in your mouth. <laughs> Why is that Dark Souls boss? And what is Sith. this? <laughs> Eat the world. Reduce damage by fifty percent for six seconds. Oh, it's um, it's invoke. It's a tank oh, skill, I guess. Yeah, it's invoke. But wait, but They're I thought I, but I thought I'm. You're playing... literally a barb. Yeah, but I thought I'm playing uh, berserkers. Yeah, Radio, you probably get some shared. You know, I mean, you're active. Uh, is that activated? No. Switches... You probably get some shared skills. Huh. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, what the hell? Reset the charge of Meteor Shower? And oh shit, double Meteors. Imagine double Meteor <laughs> Blitz on BD BDL. I already have double Meteor, so I guess I get quadruple Meteors. Wait, this is a I style. Mean... Wait, this lets me change styles, I think. Is it like sets on SMO? I'm not sure, because it has a 58 second cooldown. I can't tell. <laughs> Oh, and I guess I can remove crowd control. Yeah, and you make some aim, um, removed or immune to CCs for six seconds. But what does it cost? Everything. <laughs> Fifty Come seconds. On. Okay. That was... <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it costs anything. It's just. Come on. Be, the, come on. The, 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 the end the game reference was good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, I'll give you that. But it um, shit? no, it's it's it has a fifty second energy charge and two stacks. Wait, I can so I can break CC two times in a row, I think. Yeah. Right. It's fifty seconds charge like. and I can break it two times in a row. Well, right? yeah, but you don't even need to because you're immune from CCs for the next six seconds after you use it. Wait, so is this like more and... broken than Elia? Looks kind of like it. 
makes the target immune to them. Can you put? Can you apply that to somebody else? It would. That it sounds like, like it, it from what you just said. No, but it, I don't. I don't think so. No, because it it, it did it to him. Because it says self it individual. It. Yeah. Might be a poor translation. Yeah. It just no, like a really I bad think I think self individual means it has to be to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Just, so uh, self means to yourself, and then individual means it's not AOE. I'm... Okay, That's well, let's see. It makes sense. I think... Oh, no, because this one is, like, a range. So I guess it's single target, then. Yeah, single target, 20 meter range. And then the, right. the one beside it was, like, self and a 10 meter radius around you. I can do that, apparently. Resets the charge of meteor shot. So, I don't, I don't get how this works. So I can... I have two styles I can switch between. If I'm in this style, when I use this... What the fuck even happens? What? I think I'm supposed to like switch between the two styles? In, as a part of the combat itself? I, I, it could be set swapping on BD, uh, SMO. Return of the Wolf. Okay, cuz look. Let's say I do Meteor Shower. What? That's not what I try to do. So if I do Meteor Shower, so this one resets the charge of Meteor Shower. So if I do this now, I get two charges. And now I can do this. And then I can do this. And then now it goes on cooldown. So I guess that's kind of, I, I think that's supposed to be like a combination. You, I think you're supposed to do Meteor Shower first, and then into this skill, and then into that skill, maybe. If that's how it's supposed- if that's how it works. Where the hell am I going? Actually, what the fuck? Request help? I guess it's you can. It's getting just... so fucking hot now, by the way. Turn on the AC? I have all my windows open instead. Uh huh. Why not turn on the AC, though? My AC is off to save electricity. Though my giant two See, monitor PC is running 24 7. I, I guess if you're that frugal, there's no way you're gonna hire someone to uh, clean the house for you. Nope. So, there you go. Yeah, I think you reset the charge, and then you're supposed to use this. And then you can do, do damage like that, and then it goes back. I think that's how the thing works. It's like a combination every 60 seconds, which is kind of weird. Yeah, the quill is pretty had, long uh, in this game. We had snow yesterday. What? <laughs> when did we have I'm not that? Not even joking. <laughs> I, I had snow yesterday. What the in fuck? Calgary. <laughs> it, it, our temperature range went from twenty degrees to two degrees in, in the, the course hell? of the morning to the afternoon. Bro, I actually don't know where I'm going now. Go to the terrace of the hanging cloud. Yeah, in cloud rise. I thought there was that three area that was that was lit up. Yeah, that's three. Yeah, but this is the terrace of the hanging sword. Oh wait, in cloud rise. So the so in cloud rise. So this is cloud rise. So where am I right now then? I'm in my school thing. Oh. Oh no, I'm not. I'm in the school thing. Okay, I get it now. Oh, okay. You gotta get out of there to Cloud Rift portal thingy. Yeah. So I have to go here. To the portal. Except where did I put my marker? Oh, wait, there, there we go. Oh, wait, no, here it is. I'm... I feel like it's only on BDO where your LMB RMB kind of like feels more fluid. Whereas all of these games, 
when you press out of your RB, it kind of like just locks you in place, I feel like. Well, BDO well, I... has an incredibly convolute, uh, in-depth LMB. If you read the, the LMB skill descriptions are in fact the longest skill descriptions in the game. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> and here, you're not really pressing LMB, you're actually pressing 1. The only thing... And it's well, you, that it's those first two LMB. skills, you do not have to um, unbind LMB. Yeah, you don't have to like, bind them because if you by go, default and if, if you press control and you go into mouse movement mode, you now need to re-slot your LMB and RMB skill. Yeah, it's only for mouse movement. So. Yeah. But so I... that's where like it's not really like your LMB is meant to be an LMB. It's just LMB just a keybind. But yeah. Yeah. I feel like partly BDL being so fluid is one of the reasons why it's so popular though. Like a lot of these games don't really feel as fluid as BDL. Yeah, nothing plays like BDL. No, nothing does. It's it's amazing, but it's also complete shit because it's amazing. Like it, it it's a double. Because it's sword. amazing. What do you? Well, because of the fact that it's so fluid, it's so fast paced, it's all of those things. That's also it, the reason why you have so many issues. It doesn't yeah. have the infrastructure behind it, uh, nor the focus on actual gameplay. That I mean, it doesn't have to be. It can needed. be fluid without having to be fast, though. Yeah, but you've got. Oh yes. So, the deck code is written for like 5 MS, which means it's unplayable in the other region. Well, it's not unplayable. It's the reason why we get the issues that we have. And on top of that, like, I, I still don't think the game is very well optimized. Even yesterday when I was in Node War, dude, I had freaking people rendering on Practical top of me. PvP. Like it, like not what? to what mention when it? you see... Not to mention when you see Jemadai and you're in dark room, and you're in dark room, and people just keep dropping, looks looking like they drop onto you because the I have to... they're on the roof. And yeah, they're just clipping through the roof. I have to even though they're not actually clipping through the roof. From its PvP, legendary top splendor player plays cheap Chinese MMO. Bra. Who is I mean, that? Dante <laughs> said that. Oh, Dante. But I mean, technically, Swordsman was also a cheap Chinese MMO if you think about it. It just this so happens that they far. have good arena mechanics. And yeah, like this is like a cheap Chinese. Like this is by far the definite cheap. <laughs> what is cultivation? I feel like it's just it's the interface is just too, too many crowded. excessive. I'm just not able too to figure out what I'm supposed to be looking at here. That's a theme of. Chinese web design in general. The people say it has to do with the information density in the language itself. But yeah, kind of how like five characters can tell you one character is here. like yeah. and could sometimes the one character could be like an entire sentence yeah. given content. But I don't I don't see how that has to do like with if, language. Like if well, well that's what because there's so much yeah. Because they they can come they can in within like that amount of character space they can fit in so much information they just fill end up filling in like a lot more more and more. Well, no, that that's Whereas not the thing. For us, it feels like it's, it's just word diarrhea everywhere on our screen. I mean, that's why you're supposed to go with the opposite because you can be so efficient. You don't have to fill you don't have to waste so like fill in everything. Like you can space things out and convey the same amount of information. So that's actually it should be the other way around. Like, it's almost like in English, if you spread things out, then your website just becomes huge. Whereas in Chinese, I guess you can kind of... That may be cultural. Have a much smaller website, so I don't think it has to do with the language itself. Maybe cultural. Oh yeah, when you read a Chinese book, everything is... kind of... Uh, written in a way. Uh, they... So, when I came to... When I was in America, my high school... Uh, English teacher who used to like write editorials for the New York Times. Very venerable, very knowledgeable, venerable old man. He would penalize us for words he thought were excessive. Whereas they, they encouraged the absolute opposite in China, where you're asked to fill out as many adjectives as you can. You're supposed to write more and more. You're supposed, they ask you to write more, uh, floor, with more flourish and fluff. 
so that it looks, you know, it looks more, it looks better. This will be a true test of his will. How long will he last? Um, where, where, where are you? I mean, however long it takes to make, <laughs> get up and though. make a grilled cheese while the chest, while the quest dialogue goes on, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of which, okay, I, I will stay on data, but I will run to the store. I mean, I'm pretty determined to figure out how to begin the PvP though, so... PvP isn't until way later on. 30 plus, what I heard. Well, I'm already level 13, so 30 shouldn't be that hard, right? Well, in the uh, Chinese version, you can hit 30 in about an hour or two. Damn. Well, it's already been two hours, and I have still level 13. Yeah, What's the, up with that? The, progression, the progression in this version is way toned down compared what? to what's live right now. How much slower? Uh, like, like, retarded slower. God damn it. Like, they're, like, uh, the one video I was watching is just like, yeah, like, everybody in China was saying that you can be level 30 in, in a matter of an hour or two. Start getting into PvP and stuff. Like, but he was at, like, five hours and he was only, like, level 15. <laughs> I watched Shaky PvP play for six hours and still couldn't PvP. How, how what level did Shaky get in six hours? Okay, it's that's just that might just be shaky brains. No, that's that's the alpha. Like it's the way oh, okay. that the alpha is right now. I guess I, I guess I'm just like doing the dungeon for the quest now. I don't even know how I got here. I think it's also probably because they use like too many terminologies that's like specific to the game itself rather than just generic terminologies, you know. Like just say China dungeons or just say instance. But it's China, bro. They gotta do the things their own way. Like no, China loves the um. We just having that extra flourish, level extra level of excessive flourish. You know what this game actually reminded me of when I, I first remember. started playing right. it. Do you, do you guys see that? Uh, uh, what was that? The, the Great Wall movie with Matt Damon in it? Like how? Like do you guys remember seeing that Chinese movie where it's like Matt, Matt Damon goes to the Great Wall and like. There ends up, the reason why the Great Wall was built is because there's hordes of monsters on the other side of the wall. And they have to like, what? fight together with the Chinese, like with the, with the Chinese royal emperor's army. It was the, some... No, I've never seen that one. No, that, that movie was apparently, it managed to flop everywhere. Yeah, it was, it was like, The Chinese horrible. didn't like, it, one, it was a bad movie. To uh, the Americans were just not impressed. The Chinese were like, uh, well, no, the Americans said we're talking how you can see the Gula uh, guard towers in the background. They forgot to like airbrush it out. And the Chinese yeah. just pissed off at the generic, like, white, sa great white savior plotline. Yeah, and, 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 and so, so bro. this game looks like it was made from that movie. <laughs> <laughs> it totally By the gave way, me that vibe. <laughs> the Discord, uh, the Discord overlay on my phone is blocking the menu button on my Reddit. I mean, that's probably fine though. I need, I need my overlay. You, you don't need to browse Reddit. Yes, I do need to. <laughs> nah. Reddit is overrated. <gasps> Fuck Reddit. <laughs> Fucking Dante Koi is right. Chinese even had to do the common yeah, cold their own way. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know about that. One. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Koi is right. The Chinese even had to do the common cold their own way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's uh. Wait, this is server settings. Okay, I actually have to hang up. Edit. Wait, see, oh, my, my RMB chart is actually a stun, though, I think. Maybe. Maybe that was maybe that was from the RMB. Wait, let's see. Cloud Ripper. Uh, wait, it doesn't say it's stunned. That's weird. Oh, but the skills have different effects on PvP and PvE, though, so I don't, maybe it is kind of like Final Fantasy. In that and BDO, to be honest. BDO doesn't have different... I mean, I guess, yeah, for the CC. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, do you even speak Chinese? Yeah, I do. Why do you ask? Well, buddy just got fucked up. That's, uh, that's just unfortunate. But it is what it is. Wait, I can't... This is an unskippable cutscene. God damn it. Are we really doing unskippable cutscenes now? Hey, you have to see the hard work they put into that clip, okay? <laughs> like, you're just not doing them justice if you don't watch it. How rude of you to, like, not take the time to see the hard work that they've done. But this is this pretty very sure this generic, is generic, like animated basic, with Game pasted. Master, though. <laughs> like, it's not even, like, separately animated like a movie. It's animated as in-game asset. Yeah, speak Mandarin. No, I know. <laughs> I know, I'm, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> when did I get this outfit? I don't even remember. Damn, I'm still in level 14. So... Where am I going? I guess this will go down. I think all this time I'm still in the dungeon or an instance. Yeah, I think this, you this are This whole too. thing is the instance. How does the combat yeah, I'm feel? Sure you are. Um, I mean the combat. I don't know. The combat just feels pretty generic. Kind of like I feel. I don't know. It feels like the same as Elion actually. But. It doesn't Less look like smooth. there's as many target tap tar target or a tar it's not force as smooth target. As I don't know, it feels about the same as Alia for me. Or maybe assassins just weren't as smooth, but like I, I don't know, I guess I can kind of like move around in the pack. And have like this charge skill. The the only the weird thing is that like all the cooldowns are super long. Like, it certainly doesn't compare to BDO, but inherently, it's not objectively bad right now. Like, it is true action combat, it feels like. And I can kind of, like, attack and move at the same time. So, like, that's not really bad. Just don't know how useful that's going to end up being. Especially with how weird some of these skills are. Yeah, but if you just down. press tab, like press tab right now when we focus. Yeah, I could, I could target them, but. It's kind of weird how you can see everybody's health bar as a separate thing on the screen. Yeah, the UI is kind of clunky, that's for sure. The UI is just loaded. Too much stuff. But also, maybe it's not bad. Like, what am I supposed to do here, though? Uh, I think they're telling you to open up your pet menu too, to get your pet. Why? They're gonna loot for you. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm assuming so. That that just seems to be the, the, the go-to system now. Pets are only there so you can get loot. <laughs> Pets are only there for pay to win. Yeah. Pets are only there to start the return. And then EA with more boss spawn and start blocking hits. Bro, well, like this UI doesn't make sense to me. Hello? Hello? What's up? The, the, uh, it wasn't lighting up for me. Doesn't this look like a mobile game UI? Right here, this screen? Does it? I, I don't really play mobile games, so I don't actually know what the mobile game UI looks like, to be perfectly honest. I, I just look at so this, this looks like, like a screen that, that was TE in like what BDO. What are you talking about? This is a screen you would see in BDO? What? Oh, in BDO. mobile BDO. In mobile yeah. BDO. Yeah. Uh, it's just how it's very clean, simple, not much going on, and you don't really know what the fuck you're looking at. Sufficiently Being clean and simple is good, though. But I, but it's just, I mean, clean and simple is good, but I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. 
I, I don't know. Maybe like I'm not saying the right word. It's, there's just something that very plain looking usually about mobile games. It like looks everything. like it was optimized to be shown on a six inch screen instead yeah. of a 30 inch screen. Like, you've got real big icons with big letters and then not much else anywhere else. And it looks like it was made with like accessibility as default. I don't know. Maybe that's that just might be just a trend. Oh, okay. Oversimplification? See, yeah. See, see, that's, that's what. Thing. Well, no, not oversimplification. But Think this screen here, they, like, <laughs> look how much space there is on this screen that they could okay. they could even give you a, like a little tip on what the fuck you're supposed to do while you're on the screen. Yeah, that's well, that's the thing. Like, it's bad in terms of tutorial. Like, I guess you're supposed to feed the pet, but it's not really clear what feeding the pet does. Like, available so key. I just got my pet. Congrats, Sasu. But have you figured out what the pets even do? <laughs> no, like, like it just says available so key. And then the highest pet energy value for this level is 8,000. You can get pet energy by feeding your pet. Once you reach checkers, you create lots of useful items and you can them at the crafting menu on the right side. So this but then is essentially like... a fairy in BDO system that actually has to eat shit to level up. Like maybe, but like... I guess... Uh... Oh wait, I can feed it the equipment as well. It is like fairy. Oh, literally a fairy. It's literally the fairy. Yeah. It's a way for you to grind up like useless drops because they, for some reason, we start designing games with the expectation with that a majority <laughs> of, of having this useless drops. You can use food to level up skills. Food gets from gear you don't use. Yeah, click on skill level of Marvel. So, Marvel. Imagine if gear passive. was just. And then Marvel there. Increase speed for favorite points. Increase the maximum number of favorite points that can be won by defeating a boss or killing other characters. Like, what is favorite points, though? Like, that's the thing. <laughs> like, it's just like... you It's like you explain something <laughs> with a definition, and then you use another <laughs> word in the definition, and then you have to explain <laughs> that word in the definition. <laughs> and it just goes on forever. <laughs> what? Like... Wait, so... So now, I, so now I don't know what favorite point is. And yeah, also, hit that. hit that plus icon to level it up. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that was a plus icon. Bruh. That, I did not notice that was a plus icon. That looked like just a generic tri like uh, square or something. I'm confused with <laughs> the astral thing. You can switch between healer and DPS. I don't know what the astral thing really is. It it's, even says it doesn't work in PvP. So I'm not sure if like. No, I think she's actually has to do with your the, skills the or not. Specs versus the. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, like this thing, aspect. right? But I think I think you are supposed to choose which one you want to specialize in. But what I don't really get here is that like, if this isn't used in PvP, then what's the point? Of having these two specs, though. Ah. Like, is there actually difference in skills between ah. player or drunken master? Like, Excuse like me. if I switch. Okay, so let's see if I switch here. Bless you. Thank you. PVE game. Yeah, that's pretty weird decision. But let, but like, let's say if I switch to drunken master, does any of my skills itself change? Wait, but it does. No, it does change though. Like I have this skill now. Drink up, drink. Like these are completely new skills that was that I didn't see before. And then I can switch here. Oh, okay. So So yeah, it's two complete so basically it's like I guess BDO. Oh actually you don't play BDO, but it's like um It's like wow, where you've got your different talents. Like your different trees, you can either be like protection paladin, retribution paladin, yeah. or holy paladin. Uh, I mean, I guess the closest analogy 
It's like on PWI where you have Blade Master and they can use different weapons to activate different trees. But except you can only pick one tree. Because you can't really switch this in combat. So then I guess so in skills, like this is where really you choose which tree you wanna use and specialize in. And then in Astro, this is like just additional stats, which is kind of completely separate from from these ones, but you just are able to switch it in here as well, as well as in well, K, for some the, reason. Uh, the bigger options, like Huben, does that give you, in your Astral, does that give you like a new skill? Let's see. So Great Fire, increased damage uh, to enemies in Radius. So that's not a skill, that's a passive. On hit, there's a 5% chance, that's also passive. Uh, reduced damage from enemy, that's also that's passive. So these are all passives, I think. So you don't really get new skills. You just get passives that help boost you in PvE. So I think, like when you think of this, is you just think of which tree you want to specialize in in your K, and then N is just the PvE specific bonus that you can use to enhance the thing you're specializing in. And it's just weird that for whatever reason you can also switch in N and you can switch in K. So that that might be a bit confusing. Make the click. What? I don't even know if we're uh, gonna play this game yet. And besides, I'm not leading a guild. Leading a guild is hard work. Um. So what? Should I just level this up? Or I'm I'm assuming I should actually save it up for some of these later skills, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't just be putting everything into this. Cause I, cause I might, uh, some of these might be useful, but then I don't know when I unlock them. Like then there's, there's understanding. I have to gain full understanding to unlock the next pet, pet level. But then like, how do I get mysterious parchment? I guess. Too many items, names. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it's just, you have to. When they could have just streamlined it down. You have to un understand this, to understand this, to understand this. Chase can lead it? Yeah, Chase is the uh, best skill leader, so he can uh, join well, his Well, he can't get defense. kicked instantly from a guild if he is the GM. <laughs> That's big that brain. Mean true, he's... very true. Big brain. Now, no one else is going to be in that guild, but you know, it's <laughs> technically... I have a gift pack I can use. What gift pack? Not that. Oh, so these are so these books are gift packs. No, they are tidbits of fluff. If you yeah, mean the lore fluff. books. Really? Yes, but they they are the game counts them as gift packs. What? Because you can click them and open them. Yeah, no, but you, see... open, you use them and they acquire you. It's some sort of like knowledge type shit that you can. Acquired. Well, the difference right. is on Elion, the, there's also oh. these exact same thing. These yeah, are like is. the tidbits of lore, but you, when you collect them, I believe you get a reward, actually. All right, see you later, stats. Dante. Because... Um, I think you actually have that in Lost Ark, too. You know, where you go out and collect, try to like explore and collect things. I think... I, mean, I think bad, for if so. your game like, is no. going to be PvP focused, everything needs a purpose, as and it has to be streamlined. In uh, uh, Lost Ark, there are collectibles, though, right? but those collectibles actually give you more skill points, so they're highly sought after. Yeah, but like every MMO kind of like tries to integrate everything. That's like Naraka is the uh, most streamlined because it's just PvP. The, Yes, it's, so. it's, I mean, it's not even an MMO. But yeah, it's it, oh. <sighs> But I don't think anyone will make it one because MMOs just has this thing where, like, you're, you expect... MMOs to have, have to have a mechanics. level of bloat to them. TBH, but I don't think, as far I think as systems... As, as far as the systems go, um, RuneScape was a very good MMO. I know, like, it was, it was immediately like that. 
like it was it's immediately obvious that two bro- two copper and a tin making a bronze a piece of bronze makes absolute sense instantly and see, you still is, retain that immersive element but the thing is it's i quit the... uh i quit runescape because uh you have to use uh runes to cast magic so maybe not oh they, they i think i think they removed that actually See, I've always wanted to create an MMO shooter where you have gear progression, but the gear progression is kind of like tied to not how hard you hit, but to like better control of your weapon, better type of ammunition. So in a way, it would be like on the utility your stats. Shots. Yeah. Is it, well, we if anything, there? though, that's utility stats. If I've ever experienced them, are you literally more OP than damage stats? Because it just I, changed the way you play. Uh, like, I don't know if you see in a game like that, though. Like, so, like, things like in, like, a shooter, what you could do is you could have, like, weapon sway. Where all innate weapons have certain amounts of weapon sway, weight, all of those things that, uh... I think there's dungeons in this impact game. Impact it. Yeah, there yes, is dungeons. there's dungeons. And I guess dungeons Actually, is the group dun- activity. But I think, like, open world questing, I don't think it's group. But the problem with most... RPG shooters is that you get the bullet sponge issue happening, which ends up being no fun. Where it's essentially you're just continuously shooting the things down over and over and over and over and over and over and over again isn't until it just they finally like, die. Like, is, well, like, isn't that like Rust still? In Rust, you have like. Um... But Wayne, going just, back to what you said about like open world questing. It's different. You like, know what? Yeah. It's funny because one of my fondest early memories of PW was actually at, uh, so it was uh, in like the level 30, the lake place and doing those 30 mob kill quests, except, you know, with quest gear and white name gear, uh-huh. it took like forever. So you'd be clearing them with people and talking to them. And that was actually pretty good. Did you guys ever play Guild Wars 2? Maybe. For like... Wow. Yes, we did, Wayne. We won the one for like 20 minutes and then decided it wasn't for us. No, Guild Wars 2 was actually pretty good, though, I feel like. Yeah, it was, it was not bad. Just... I so, just, but but none, of you guys, none of you guys wanted to play it, so the I didn't see it. And it wasn't standing out that much to be playing it alone. Is one of the best PvE experiences I ever had because you never, you never really ended up picking up quests. Like, you had like your main story quest that you had to go do for the storyline. But everywhere you travel with that main story quest, side quest would just pop up. And it'd be like, kill X amount of these in a certain amount of time. And if you did well, that's it, you the would most win the quest. Standard, that's the most standard zone-to-zone questing that is in every I, MMO. No, but you didn't even have to go pick up a quest. There was no quest return. There was no quest pickup. It was, it, they, it, they're just events that happened while you were progressing the storyline more or less and then when you got to end game Mm -hmm. it was world quests and world events where you were going around and there was shit happening all over the place where there was like invasions happening so you had to go fend them off and you had to go to other other areas and help these other npcs who are trying to get uh the the quest would randomly generate because all the npc was trying to do was get from place a to place b and it would give you guild wars Uh, he is describing the quest system in guild wars 2 yeah. Uh, well, we so just hopped into like Arena a... right away, so... Yeah, oh, that's we just went thing. in. Saying that that game probably has one of the best systems for it. Somebody's at my door. Why do you take damage when you walk into water, though? Oh, you're is, drowning. Is it because it's cold? It's because it's yin-born water. Oh, it's poison. <laughs> it's, a, it's the poison pool, basically. That's okay. So, so poison Dark that you lose HP had... as soon as you walk into it, I guess. Dark Souls 3 had like three poison zones. Because apparently uh, they real they thought that... Um, they thought what? Blight Town. They thought Blight Town from Dark Souls 1 was such a memorable experience that they replicated it three times in Dark Souls 3. Wait, was it not a memorable experience? It was a very memorable experience for how shitty it was. Because the original Blight Town <laughs> could not get about 15 FPS. <laughs> it was badly, it was like a very large volume. And I think all of it loaded at once, and it was for a PS3. 
and the console could just could not handle it. This is fixed on PC with mods, but you can't use mods on, uh, you know, the console version. Yeah, I really feel Guild Wars 2 had one of the best PvE experience ever in any MMO date. Yeah. Late game, I would absolutely but... end game, I would say Final Fantasy, but, you know. It's Final fine. Fantasy's early game was very questionable. It's fine, we're not here to PvE horrible. though, so... Well, they streamlined down the 100 quest marathon from Realm Reborn to uh, Heaven's Word. Okay, so these are yeah. instances, but you have to I go to play the Final Fantasy. Porno. Uh I had to I had to swipe to get uh, some level seventy because I couldn't I couldn't do the whole from start to play with my friends. It was just it was it was so boring. Well, see, who knows? Maybe maybe this game will be good later on. You know, <laughs> that's that's why you can't. I just these games Final Fantasy. I just enjoyed the tryharding. In but, PvE, honestly. Yeah, but I also feel like if people like enjoy the later part, they should just cut out the early part. Collect but, reward. Well, the story. See, yeah, like in, uh, in Final Fantasy, that's the one case I'll say no, you can't do that because Final it's Fantasy a Final is Fantasy. known for story. Like, you can't have a Final Fantasy game that doesn't have an um, uh, a great story behind it. Like, you just wouldn't but be doing that being the said, justice. coils. Okay, but then you the also coils. skip the story. So what's the difference to you? He skipped the story. Most people don't. Exactly. Like I understand why the story is important in a game like Final Fantasy. I personally don't care, but I can see why that that has to be a part of the uh, the, the core part of the game. Because Final Fantasy, man, like. The old yeah, the on ending. The only critique I have generally is that the on ending coils should have been main story because that's way too integral to the story for it to have been an optional raid content. But you know, that's minor picking. Yeah, but the story isn't important to me in a game like this, so I feel like they should just skip it. No, so... exactly. And I completely agree with and you. So, and so, and so inspiring as well, to be honest. That's yeah, that's that's the part either. where I thought Elion. Yeah, like I said before, the your. Story companion NPC just fucks off after level thirty. Yeah, but gearing isn't important to me either. You know, there isn't really a game targeting See, that for me. The one thing though I I like about like so in in the case of Elion, I would say that gearing isn't important. If they if I could get every, everything and I could just make a specific build I wanted to try out and fight with and play with, that would be great. And I think that it it, it wouldn't do the game a disservice. But Without gear, there has to be a way of being able to differentiate one berserker player from another berserker player. Like, yeah, sure, I, you can. You just make this. You make the <laughs> class so. You make the skill ceiling so high that just by casting one skill, you can tell which player it is out of the entire world. Like on that anime. I mean, what do you no like? Uh, what what are you talking about? I mean, it, like just take any shooter for example. You can clearly tell who's better, even though everyone uses the same gun. But yeah, but that's a shooter. That, 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 well, it, you, this, it, the it, same it thing can happen diff, in any like, game. It's just make in an the skill MMO, floor MMORPG, higher. having uh, guild uh, build variety has been a, one of the core things of MM. But that's uh, not build skill. Variety such as League has some level of build variety, not a lot, because there's an efficiency question, but some. But there's I don't no skill level because you can't do because you can't do certain builds unless you have them uh, you grind long enough to get all the stuff you need to do those builds. Like you can't be like on an MMO, you can't play like Divios with swaps on swaps on swaps unless you had that level of economy to work with. So like you have to I grind for everything. So I didn't complete the instance exploration quest. Wait, what? I did the instance, but why didn't I complete the quest? See, it says go through the Heavenly Ridge Pass, which is right, Matt. Enter the Yamu City in Wuzhou. On practice difficulty, which I'm assuming is drill. And complete an inst exploration. What? Wait, so why didn't I complete it last time? Do I have to do it again? I'm so confused. Maybe is it repeatable?
But what is an instance exploration quest? Like, well, what what counts as that? Right, here, here, click on the quest inquiry. No, that's just that's just makes me world chat. See that it's just oh, posted on oh, the chat channel so other players can uh. help you. <laughs> like, like you can, just, like it's so, like you can just automatically ask for help. Like that's just the level we're at. Oh now. my god! Like, there's a button you click that asks for help for you. Like what is what? But what is an exploration quest? All right. Well, let, I guess I guess I'm just doing this again. Like, what do I have to like go here? Maybe. What's in this corner? Is this exploration? <laughs> what is going on? No, this is just back to the beginning. I'm just back to the start. Oh wait, and I and I have a new skill actually. What even this? What is this? Wait, assume the stance to block an attack. Wait, Did they ever teach you how to block? No, but you'd it, think they would tell that block. to you earlier. Wait, this is block actually. They... But it takes edge to block, so I can't block forever. That's fine. But see, when blocking, I'm actually immune to CCs. Wait, so it's Q block from BDO. It's like warrior block. Actually, this is more like. This is more like uh, Infinity Counter. Because, like, it looks like when I block, and then if they attack me, I immediately counter attack, like that. So that's actually more like Infinity Counter counter Ready from SMO than, like, an actual Q block. And it also creates a Phantom when I do that. So uh, it looks like it matters a lot to create the Phantom, because then I can use C to use the Phantom to attack the target, and that's why I get more damage. So that's kind of like an integ integral mechanic of this class then, rather than just something you do mindlessly. You just you, like, you want to get the block, and then summon it to attack. But that only summons one Phantom, so maybe that's not really... That good? I don't know. Uh, so what is the exploration? Nothing's back here. Do I have to like kill every mob? Maybe? Like maybe I didn't kill these mobs last time? So now I have to do that. Oh, instance? I believe I read that you need to... There's you need to clear all the mobs and all the bosses if it were in a dungeon. Yeah, that's right, Wally. I remember hearing that too. What, what if I go here? It's kind of like <laughs> wow with the mob limit. With like the minimum mob count. Okay. Wait, why why do, why is this part in the instance? Like there's just this, this huge lake in this instance. Go for it. But there's like nothing to do here. You just hang out and go for a swim before you uh, keep going, bro. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, wait, but there's an invisible wall here. <laughs> okay, then. Now, do you want to chill by the pool? I can have a drink. Wash the blood off. Back at I her. mean, I guess it adds to the scenery, maybe, but why are you able to even go here? Isn't that like behind like some corn crack in the corner too? Like you're not actually ever gonna be able to see that. No, I mean it's pretty visible. Like it's on the path. Like if you go down here, you know? Like you're just walking, maybe you come down here. Jump a bit, you know. Now you just see this? I mean it's pretty good if this was like the part of the open world, but I don't see it being too much value in an instance. Oh shit. What? I have, I just, I guess the local um, store is selling 12 rows for only $5. Oh, so I think I'm just lost. I went the other way. I'm supposed to go this way. What is 12 rows for $5? Um, 12 bread rows. One kilogram of bread for five dollars why is this still here 
How do I get rid of this? I have to press that. Bro. Okay. But like I thought I was supposed to go there to explore, you know, like you can just kind of see here like there's this uh, path off to the side So it's kind of it's kind of it's it's nice, but it's just useless. Why did they spend time designing this? Maybe like maybe see that. in the higher level like this is the drill level maybe in the higher level There's gonna be people hiding there <laughs> Wait, oh, yes, you, can, you can kind of say that about the whole game <laughs> What do you mean about the what? <laughs> why did they even yeah. bother designing this? Why, 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 why do you have to do them like that? <laughs> why you gotta do them like that? All right. All right. So so I'm back at the same place as I was last time. Now uh, the question is, what do I have to do differently this time to complete the quest? What is this guy doing? Is he shooting a laser through his fingers? Ah, it's this unskippable cutscene again. Even any CGI in this game? Or has it all just been rendered within game? I think it's all rendered within game. Which is fine. Like, I don't mind if it's rendered within game. Sometimes if it's rendered out of game, it kind of looks unrealistic. Because the graphics doesn't match. Or it's just not that yeah, realistic, I, but it's I, out of place. That's one of the things I loved about the Final Fantasy game when they did the CGI render. Like, really cool to see the shit they did. Oh, you like the CGI render? In the Final Fantasy games? Oh yeah. Like that was one of the cool, like the very first su times that you learned the summons to be able to like uh, summon Bahamut and shit, and you got to see their like the summon animation. That was pretty dope. GG man. Oh yeah, no, those were actually good. Like I played like what the Final Fantasy four all the way up to ten, all the way through. And those are some of the best RPG experiences I've ever experienced, to be honest. Like, that, that was good storytelling. Okay, so I completed the sneak Before attack on again. the headquarter. I guess I didn't get the chest last time. Or did I get the chest last time? Yeah, for a game. Like, the, of course. Well, there's better uh, other mediums for better storytelling. But for a game, it was... I, I don't know of any games that had better storytelling than that. So then you have this. So I'm like at a different part of the instance actually now. Oh, so you didn't complete it before? No, I did complete it before. But I don't know why I didn't complete the quest. Have you done this part before? Like I entered the instance, complete an instance exploration quest. What is an instance exploration quest? Complete instance exploration quest as per the cultivation store menu. By clicking on the cloud symbol in the map on the top right, cloud symbol on next to the mini map in the top right. Let me kill these mobs first. Oh, here? That's a cloud symbol. That's not top right though. Huh? What top right? What? I only see a cloud symbol on the top left. When can, uh, kill all the mobs in three bosses. I did that though. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, this time I'll make sure I kill all the mobs. The red circle near the map. 
I, I only see this. Like, this is... Overview of tutorial, game mode, and instance progress. You can find out about the game content here. The red playing time. This closes the map. This opens the map. The big map, but it says the... I'm looking for the mini map. This is like changes to map size. This is doing mobs and bosses. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing. I'm pretty sure I did kill all the mobs. Unless I missed like one. I'm just trying to complete this thing here. Cultivation. How many bosses exploration. did you kill? Uh, like four, I think. Or maybe, I don't know if all of them were counts as bosses. All right, we'll, we'll make we'll we'll make sure this time. Let's see. Okay, so these ones are all dead. There can't be any one here. Bye. Unless there's hiding on top of the mountain, but I doubt it. <laughs> all right. Kill these ones. Kill these ones. And then get these ones. Gee. What's up? Sounds very convoluted for no particular reason. Is e either that or I'm just missing something obvious, but who knows? Could be anything. If you're missing it, then. Well, actually, you know what? You miss a lot of things in TV. Bruh. I feel like... I, I can't tell if that's supposed to be an insult or not. <laughs> that was definitely an insult. <laughs> yes. Well, Bruh. no, it just points out a matter of fact way that... Wayne's mind is not really on the TV. <laughs> okay, so I killed them all and that's 70, 72%. So, there can't be anything here, right? Although, we can actually go like all the way back here. For some reason. How far can you even go? I can go all the way here. <laughs> Wait, why are you able to go here? The map isn't even rendered properly here. <laughs> Wait, why are you able to go here? Is he just gonna jump down and die? Oh, no, invisible wall. Excuse me. <laughs> what is going on? Why am I able to go here? Uh, Wait, can again? you even Wait. get back up? How do I get back up? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? You're gonna that, have to do this all over again now. <laughs> that's that's actually fucked. Are you kidding me? Wait, did you clip out of the map? Wait, that's fucked though. No, he jumped off a cliff and you can't get back up. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is this shit? Oh man, that's way too funny, bro. Oh, okay. So, how do I... What do I even do now? Is there like a stuck mode where you can teleport back up? You can, it's the same your suicide mode. You have a button you have on SMO. Uh, you can respawn. I press this, I guess? I don't... I don't know what that does. Seriously, yeah. wow, dead report. Okay, I returned to the previous Dragon Star. Okay, so I'm still in the instance. Okay, that's... Help, I run into a problem in the quest. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? So what happened? There's a chest here now. Yeah, at least I didn't get stuck. <laughs> that would've been funny. No, it wouldn't have been. <laughs> Alright. So 
so there's that one mob there. And then we have to kill the mutated soldier, yeah. But I'm pretty sure I did kill all the mutated soldiers though. As well. I guess I go down here. I guess I kill all of these ones. Annihilate times three. Alright. Um and then what? I have to I have to get out of the water though, or else I just die. So okay, so that one is I guess there was two here maybe I missed. Did I miss these two? I don't think I did. Right, where else? Here? And then I just have to get, get down these ones. Okay. Um, so I have to pull these ones. Maybe pull these ones as well. What is that guy doing? Is he like sh shooting laser beams from his eye? Or is that supposed to be some sort of animation that tells me he's targeting me? Actually, kind of uh, hard to is tell. Is he glowing? It says if his eye is glowing, it means there's a dangerous mechanic in front. Uh, it looks like a laser beam coming out of his eyes. No, it's... You know. You know, as you do. As you do. Like, I don't know, maybe he's Superman? No, glowing eyes is just pretty normal. And I'm actually affected by negative chi. Glowing eyes is normal. Eye laser beam isn't normal. There's a huge difference. I feel like. Okay, so I killed all of the mobs here. And now I'm killing the first boss. This is now the second boss. See, you see this? See this eye laser beam. What is this? Oh, you got the reward, Sasu? Alright, let's see if I get the reward this time, because I feel like I did kill everything last time. So unless... I miss something again, hopefully I get the reward this time. I have to have everything I have. Okay. Wait, I actually got EXP in level 15 now. Here's the two treasure chests. Unlock a few more skills. Q, E, R, Z. Sorry, it's starting to be a lot too many skills. Alright, what is. Maybe I should do the thing you say, make it like shift Q. Um Keybinds. Where's my keybinds? Hook bar. F1s. Oh wait. There's F keys. Hmm. Is it worth pressing F keys? Or should I make it shift? Let me try making this shift These are good Q. for like utility skills, but not for combat skills. Yeah. Shift's usually better. Like I make this shift Q, shift E, shift R. Let's try it like that. Learn. Okay, I get a new passive. So right now I have the sun shooting style. Wait, a fan who can be created a solar rider. Isn't this technically better? So I can do scary sky. If the charge of cloud ripper. So that's my RMB. 
Process damage to the target. The damage is increased up to 20% depending on the number of strikes used. What does that mean? Nimbus guess... strike. Nimbus strike. What's up, man? What is this? What? What is this? Striker? Cloud Ripper? Cloud Ripper. And if Damn, the number of charge like... strike exceeds 55, the damage is increased again. I, I, I guess the name is like Splendor Skills. Recharge using strikes. Like, what is a strike? Is a strike just a hit? A strike. Recharging uses strikes. With the damage yeah, increasing the strike. more strikes consumed. That sounds Wait, like hit then. Is, are these strikes? Your LMB strike? These are strikes. Oh, these are called strikes. Oh. oh the exact That's strike the value strike. is the place on the edge of the sword and the blade glow. So, so when you play glow. That number is That's so small, strike. you can barely read it. <laughs> 60, I guess One. I can. I guess I can kind of read it on my screen, but like since the, I, yeah, because the stream is at 720p, because yeah, I'm not I a partner. Read what the fuck it says. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a partner, so I can only stream at 720p. But I guess I can kind of see that it says 20 here. So what is it? Five recharge to earn one strike. Well, it looks like. So. Uh, regenerates points for strikes. So it looks like if I have... It doesn't say how many per strike, but it's up to 20% depending on how many strikes. And mm -hmm. if the charts are... And if I use more than 55, then it's another 24%. I okay. see. Okay. And now... And then the big number is the amount of phantoms that you pull yeah. out when you do your strike thing. No, that's the number yeah. of phantoms I have, I think. So yeah. if I do like, so if I do like, if I do E right now, it goes up to four. So I have four phantoms right now. That's the number of phantoms I control at the moment, I think. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. And then I guess like Vortex style and Overlord style, I haven't unlocked these two yet because I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. No, I I think you you can only choose one, either Vortex or Overlord. Hmm. If my Astro Blessing is War Disease. Oh. Yeah, Maybe? so I think Overlord style might be like your tank style, and then Vortex style will be like later on when you start getting Astro points. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. But Astro Blessing, though, is uh, useless anyways, because it's only for PvE, so I guess I don't have to but worry this, about that if that's the case. This game looks like it's more of a PvE game that's got PvP tacked on. Really? Because right. there yeah. was supposed to be a lot of PvP, PvP stuff to do, I heard. Well, just that whole astral thing, like, to have that not be a part of PvP and be a core part of the game, kind of, it is, a lot. It is pretty weird. Alright, I'm going Berserker, Wayne. You copy me. Uh... I mean, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I started first, so now you're copying what? me. Nah, nah, so... it's because it's it's you have a day off. <laughs> Alright. That one. Because you have a day off. I don't know about that one. The damage dealt when the Phantom disappears is increased by 50%. Holy shit, the character design is so in depth. The second stack of Phantom Stone. Well, yeah, I said it was kind of like BDO, but Wally well, said every game has that, but I, I'm pretty sure none of the MMOs we've been playing oh. has, has this. I don't so. think. <laughs> yeah. Like, Eldian didn't have it, uh, Bless didn't have it, Lost Ark didn't have it, what, what else? I don't think, I don't know if New World had it. Didn't play New World. No, New World didn't have it. It's not ex extensive as this. Yeah, I don't think a lot of games, like, other than BDO and this game so far, lets you modify the face individual. Damn, I guess it's time to make myself smaller. But so I don't think there's I... a lot of, I don't think you can modify the hair, though, in this game. Or can you? No, really not the hair. Yeah, so it's still not as in depth as video. But I mean, there's like a lot of body type in depth. And then the damage dealt when the phantom disappears increased by 50%. The second stack of phantom store causes the phantom to charge at targets. Which is what? This one? To charge at targets. Dealing AoE damage. What? How is that different? Flying feather. Oh, I guess. So if I use this, this increases that. And if I use this, then this increases RMB. I don't know. I guess I'll just use this for now. It doesn't really matter. 
They're both passives, it looks like. Okay. So guys, what's uh, what's the story about? Did you seriously just ask that question? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on, what's the story about? <laughs> Bruh. Alright, so I completed everything. And I'm leaving the instance now. But see, I don't... The quest is still here. Is it? Wayne, what is the biography at, tutorial crap? What, look at yeah? the top on uh -huh. the red cloud. Yeah. Was I supposed to press this one? And then, and then, yeah, and then click and take the um the collect reward. Damn. No, but see, it's it still says zero out of one. Like this quest is still not completed. What is an instance exploration? It completes for me, so it might be glitched for you or something. Bro, log off the we, we fuck. Lock. Re -lock? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. There might be something else you need to pull up. So you click on all the red things on the left side of that um, window. No, no, no. Like the cultivation window. Uh huh. Wait. Cultivation take, daily Take events. all the things you need to collect. Take all the things you need to collect. Wait, that was what I needed to do? Bro, can it be any See? more confusing? Yeah. There, it's gone. Like, damn. This is this is like a calendar. This is for events. Why is why <laughs> is my quest in here? Yeah, it's hard to navigate. I don't really get it. Like, are you? Is that like a daily thing? Is that a daily quest you're supposed to do? I don't know. It says daily, but I don't know. It doesn't make sense to keep exploring the same thing. But this is a finished content. A lot of you so are there. You find prices, level, distance, complete events. I think that was a one-time thing, though. But no. But there's this is a like daily this... event. There's this biography tutorial thing too, and I don't get what you're supposed to do for that. All right, let's see here. Hmm, I guess this is uh. Okay then. I guess that's master. master please don't leave me. It's ahead of you. I can create intoxicating dreams. I can't say a single word <laughs> to her. What? <laughs> How'd you do it? Uh, that's definitely a euphemism for something. Start biography. Yeah, and then I start it, and then I get a quest, and then I just don't know what to do. In progress, master, please don't leave me. When you try out the Lunar Mirror of Instant Dreams. So. You want to know how far into the past it can see? This might be a story quest. Where are you supposed to go? Go to the terrace okay, of the Hanging Sword and Cloud Rats. Look for Moses. Okay, so I'm here. In Cloud, the Terrace of the Hanging Sword in Cloud Rats. Can you squad people? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Wait, what, what level are you? I think I'm level 16. Alright. And you said level, and I think like, what's what, level 30? 36. To PvP? 36? To PvP? Yeah. Same thing as Elyon. What? That's gonna take forever. It's been three hours. I'm still only 16. Not even halfway. Oh. Okay, so I want to go back to Cloud Rise, which I have to do by traveling through the portal. So I guess there is. Yeah. It's kind of My like. Uh, it's like a. What's, what do they call it? Theme Park MMO, I guess. 
Mm -hmm. You have different, different, uh, completely different places you go through by portals. I'm gonna travel to Podrest. Still weird that you can do suicide here, though. In the safe zone. All right. <laughs> So I want to go here, and I want to go to the Terrace of the Hanging Sword, which is here. Okay, I guess we'll just go there and figure, figure it out. Finally, an auto path. I see. Auto path. At least you can fly here. Yeah, it shows it like um. A bit more bearable. Well, it's not auto path. It just shows where you should go. So because. For some reason, that disappeared halfway through my game. And then it's back yeah. Home. I think it doesn't show the autopath if you're not in the right place. I think it only shows the autopath if you're yeah. in the same map. Okay, so I'm here. Um. Oh, and that's the biography quest. Hmm. Uh, so, okay, so that's just like a story quest, I think. And then I also have to. Yeah, it was confusing because I didn't get the auto path thing. Ah, so okay. Now it makes sense. And then also fed, fed my pet. Come back, pet skills. Press P. Do I need to upgrade the skill again? Already did it. Oh wait, hover over the mouse over inactive skills to show the requirements for getting them. Okay, I didn't even notice this one actually has tutorial. Did right. you get your purple gear from the from the from dungeon? Maybe? Yeah, you inventory? have to open the boxes. Yeah, you have to open like some things. Oh. Yeah. This is a fucking rock. <laughs> You're supposed to get things that give you at least two purple equipment. <laughs> what? Uh, can you click on the red cloud again? You go. missed your thing. Oh, there we go. Never mind. There we go. Here's the purple gear, even though they were fucking rocks. How, how was I supposed to know that rocks has gear in them? Because the first technically, time you're supposed to right click everything that's new to you, and then when it says you can't click, then you just don't click it. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess Sun Wukong was born in a rock, so it makes sense that you can have gear inside rocks. What? Yeah, you know, Sun Wukong was born in the side of rock. Really? Yeah. What, Damn, you, you I'm didn't only... know? You never nope. heard of the origin story of Sun Wukong? No, I, I only know about Journey of the West. But you have to know his origin story. That's part of the journey of the West. Oh, I guess I don't remember. Damn. All right. So, what am I supposed to do? I have to collect more than one form echo from the small magic item series. What is it talking about? What is the small magic item series? You have to collect it. Come on, Wayne. What? I... Okay, you can eat, I, I feed my pets. Wait, time for me to buy pet? some You have received a Millennium Engagement Forest? Wait... I can feed my pet or I can... No, this is for feeding my pet, right? Yeah, but then increases destiny for all characters in the Book of Aeons? What is the Book of Aeons? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> why, like, why is it introducing all these concepts so early on that the game hasn't really taught me about? Okay. All right, whatever. I was just ignore it for. for I was just ignore it for now. Um, mysterious parchments. Auction. Hey, Tony. How are you doing? Astral Shard is a mysterious Ernest. message. Collect enough them to reveal a secret. Well. Oh, I guess this is crafting material? Oh. Yeah, this is, I guess, crafting material for like high level gear or something. Oh. 
House SOL? Oh, I, I think officially they call it Solo. <laughs> SOL makes it sound like shit out of luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now... Yeah, because if you say SOL, I think people might think it's shit out of luck. <laughs> um, I mean, right now it seems okay. But it's just uh, not a really good first impression because... The story doesn't really teach you anything about the game itself. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get into the PvP right now. And I'm only level 16, and apparently you have to be 36 in order to PvP. And it's already been uh, almost four hours, so it's still there a long way a, to go. There's a technical PvP tutorial. I, I didn't see that there was a PvP tutorial, but it, it's like I have to reach the Realm of Enlightenment, and I don't even know what that means. Like the, it's like when the, you get to, le to level 36. Is that what it is? Yeah. Once you reach to enlightenment, you will be level one student. Oh, okay. okay I mean, so the, the, main, the main game. thing right now is just that like a lot of the UI is like pretty confusing. It doesn't really explain anything too well. Like it's using oh, they all say these things. It's doesn't... still like translating stuff. So like, everything is not really. I mean, I guess. You know. Where it is. But they're already charging you money, so. Well, it's beta. <laughs> and this is so this is crafting material. So I go to my pets. And then I guess <clears throat> I just feed it the old gear that I don't need anymore. Bro, my my, 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 my little brother money? came up to me and told me he spent a hundred dollars already. Well, I spent a hundred dollars already, so you can play this game. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Check of you. Oh, did, did you get your outfit um, yet? Did I get my outfit? I mean, maybe? I think this is just armor. Or, or are you talking about the outfit I get from pre ordering? Yeah, the outfit you get. In which case, I don't even know where I get it from. Isn't it usually from mail? Usually, yeah, but. Like, where, where is the mailbox? It's not M, that's for sure. Inbox? It's here. Achievement reward. Wayne, the mail, the mail is M above the chat box. There's like an envelope sign. What? M. Inbox. Okay, yeah, so it's this thing. But then this is like, you have attained for the travel report. Like what is what is travel report? There are also three icons in the on the left of the mail that you can click, so maybe um tied to your character. Uh, Wait, what? I just get an I got an avatar. That's useless. What? Um Do you think you can test out the PvP before beta ends? Well that's kind of the plan, I think. I'm trying to test out the PvP as soon as possible. Uh, so we can kind of like get a idea of whether this game is good or not. All right, Wayne, we we can do. So I'm so I'm pretty much skipping all the stories right now. We I don't even duel. know what the avatar did. It's not like here. What do you mean we can duel? How do we duel? What do you mean? What do we want to duel? How? By oh, you sending duel. you a duel request. You could duel. Damn, I guess already better than Elyon. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's or... a lot of these quests where you just like go here or... and then press F a Wait bunch of times. Wait the second host beta. Second host beta, they will include the PvP map. The P like the open world PvP map? Yeah, they have like Pacific PvP map. Oh, but there's arenas though, so we can test that. Yeah, out, I, I mean, yeah. But I don't even know how to go into the arena right now, or maybe I can't. Maybe you we can't. Need you 36, need to use 36. Yeah, 36. Yeah. We have like what four days? Four days, there, and then day. four days, and then the next host beta is like a week away from that. What? A week away? That's so. That's yeah. so short in between each other. I believe so. What do you mean? It's just like Alien, isn't it? I was in like Elion. El when is the next close beta for Elion? I don't know. Exactly, so it's not like Elion. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many UI pop up every time I kill a mob. Yeah, the UI is certainly... 
they, as they much need to, to be like desired. We ban with the Sunday. I mean, we can set it like BDO. If you go to exit and interface setting, you can change everything. No, but you can't though, because you can't close any of this. Like if you don't want it, for example, it's you can't you can't remove it. You can just make it smaller, and that's it. Oh. Wait, where's my quest log? Damn. What's the button for quest? Damn. Was it I O U P? It's L. Wait, I have no quest now. What the fuck? Okay, so I go back to cultivation. I guess I just do the next part of this. Yeah, guys. I guess. I guess this is the main story now. Like my cultivation. You got so. Like I guess I don't have a story anymore. I'm just doing cultivation now or something. I don't really get it. Fuck. My FPS is only a hundred. What the fuck? Wait, where do you see your FPS? Oh, I guess you're using the... Thing oh, again. I have 50. My FPS is only 50. 50? Oh. Are you yeah. playing on Ultra? <laughs> it doesn't matter on Ultra or um, Low, it's all the same. <laughs> are you sure you don't have it limited? You know, are you sure like you don't have it limited here? In the foreground FPS limit? In game Wait, game? your FPS is 59, so it's not that much better. Where does it say my FPS? Right at the top. Look, top left. Oh, that's the FPS? Yeah. Yeah, FPS right beside ping. I didn't even know it says FPS. Well, what's Wait, do I have it limited? Oh, yours, Wayne's about the same as me. Wait, let me I mean, see if I have it's only, If it's only 60 FPS, it actually feels fine, I think. It doesn't really feel laggy at 60. Even though oh, I'm not this game hertz. is not FPS based, so... It's not like video where you... Like, have an advantage. Like, I guess first. here it feels laggy. Like, it, it feels like when it drops below 60, I guess. But at 60, it doesn't feel that laggy. Oh, which man, is interesting. So. Usually you would expect it to be like 144 for it to not be laggy. Because I'm a 144 hertz monitor. Mm -hmm. Played your like out uh, here when it says upgrade level zero out of one. How do you make it one out of one? All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. All right, I'm back. back. Thank you. All right, so where are we? I guess Let's see. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's fine. These are just all solo quests, anyways, right now. And yeah, I don't know where where, where, where was my pre-order fashion. Maybe you don't get the pre-order fashion. As a part of the um, close beta, I think maybe you only get them during the main yeah. game. Maybe from the shop. The what? The shop, like um, the um, clothes button underneath the map. Yeah, the I think it's you, right? But I don't. I didn't get my pre-order bonus though. Like I'm supposed to get things for pre-ordering. I think. I don't see any of that. Actually, there's like multiple different currency there's like the crimson coin and there's the points and then there's uh, the, the crystal yeah. dust <laughs> like well, what? the crimson the crimson is uh is real money currency yeah that's what i'm assuming but then there's like yeah. points and then there's like crystal dust mm -hmm. like what the fuck this points is... are earned for what? You earn points for spending crimson coins? <laughs> so it's, it's like, like loyalty, loyalty points. points. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess this game also have it too. Also, time for RMB. One minute is one point. What's RMB? What? Wait, where did it say that? What? Uh, on the stream. You oh, see how it says for crimson coin? One crimson coin is one point. Yeah. But 10 yeah. minutes is one point. What, what does that even mean? R&B. R&B. What is R&B? Right mouse button. <laughs> and then it? Crystal Dust. With, we, oh, so you can recycle the the uh, fashion you bought into dust. And then you can use it to buy more fashion. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty... That's a good... Uh... Mm, I mean, debatable. 
Yeah, I it, well, it, it depends. We'll we'll, we'll see. Like About maybe it. maybe you get bored of the fashion, you recycle it, and then you decide mm -hmm. you want it again, and you have to rebuy it <laughs> for full uh, price. Uh, I think it's just to troll you. But yeah, I, I didn't get anything on pre-order though, so I think I got it. Uh, it's kind of sucks. So I'm not even gonna get to test my pre-ordered items. Or what, maybe what maybe to claim it somehow. I don't know. You have to claim it somewhere then. What, but where? Let me see. Where would I claim that? Hmm. Uh. All right. We complete this. Who am I sitting with? The real map of the five sacred mountain takes you to the Tongsu Tai. Tongsu Tai. That's Where's Tongnan, that? Tongnan foothills. I guess I unlocked a new place. Wait, right, I think I just unlocked it, right? I'm pretty sure I only had here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Let's click that by accident. Oh. I thought you had to click it and then. Click a different button to teleport. But now I'm here. Now I have to go back. Is yeah. this a new place? No. no, that was the same place. I clicked I clicked on the wrong place and then it teleported me. And now I have to walk all the way back to where the map was. Wherever well, that was. Where was where was I, I even at? I guess you got meme. <laughs> I I don't even remember where the map was now. Alright, let's see here. Hanging sword. Yo, what the heck? How do I activate the map? Show location. That's a show and sweet this place. Where's the teleporter? Bro, I mean myself. What the fuck? How's this possible? Okay, so it's not here. Oh no, it's here. Okay, what does this icon looks like? It looks like... This looks like a mountain? Okay. I mean, map of the upper world. Alright, so I'm going here. See, when I click here... There was like two options, but when I clicked here, it just teleported me instantly. That's so. That's how I got memed. Wait, what did Wally PM? The EU server is back online. All right. Um. All right. So I'm at where I'm uh, supposed to be, and I'm supposed to find Yang Li. Yang Li. I gotta get a new weapon. The Devastators. Zombies are Devastators. I click here. 
And now we have to go to another NPC. Press F again. This is press F simulator, man. If effluent corpse odor. Hold this position and protect the village. Temporal prestige. Alright. I guess now we get some combat. Maybe. What is the what's the effluent corpse odor supposed to be? It's an odor. <laughs> but why are they like why is it pointing to them and saying it? Like like why why are they saying that? Wait, do you have a gift code for your um fashion do I have your order? Because there's a button that you can click to redeem a gift pack. Yeah, Wayne Wayne bought the collector edition. Yeah. Is there like a, a code or something that you get so you can put it in the game? Uh, let me take a look. Let me see that golden gear, Wayne. Solo. Oh, you got it? Nope. Alright, you PvP ready now? You ready to roll? Ready to kill shit? What are you talking about? Like level 16. Oh. Didn't Van said you have to be level 36. Or mm -hmm. some shit like that. 36. No, I don't I don't actually have a code. For uh for gifts. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll figure it out later. It doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just fashion, right? We don't really need fashion. Nah, you need fashion. Where we is it? We find don't really need fashion. It's somewhere there, bro. We don't really need fashion. All right, you, you find it for me then. We don't, we don't oh need fashion. Oh my god. Fuck fashion. We're just, we're, we just need to get 36. So we so we can prove whether this game is this game is uh, good at PvP, you know. This coil only plays for two hours. He hasn't even tried out the PvP yet. I think he already quit. So we have it's to like try it out. Be bad. <laughs> like literally, like after like the first ten minutes of this game, I could tell like okay, this game's gonna be shit. Oh, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's gonna be dead before it even launches, and then they're gonna come with, like, Swordsman oh. Online Unleashed Online 2.0. Oh, wait, you, you can't, you you can't get like it. think it's gonna be, like, Bless? Yeah, I, this is, this is, a, this is a, just another but, Bless. I mean, Bless? I don't know. I didn't actually manage to even get to play Bless, that's the thing. Bro, Bless was so ass, I, I quit the next day. Well, you played Bless Unleashed. Or did you play the original Bless? Uh, I, I, I play Unleash. Yeah, but Unleash was different from the original, though, I think. Yeah, they were both horrible. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't able to even play it. I wasn't able to get into the game. It's just the server uh, was locked me out. And then I by the time the I actual. could get in, everyone, like, there was apparently FPS issues, so I just refunded it. So I got in at the launch of Bless, and day one there was a server issue, but I was able to get in and I was able to start playing as a mage. Do 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 go around, and PvP was pretty good because it was pretty quick. Uh, a damage was really fast, like it, it was pretty quick that you went through everything. But mages were retarded OP. Mages were OP. Yeah, because like mages were literally three skilling people and killing them. Oh, See, that's maybe that's first. maybe that's fine though, you know. <laughs> maybe the game itself isn't bad; it's not balanced. So maybe... And then, so what they did is about like a month after launch, they went and then they reduced everything. They like they pretty much reduced damage across all classes by about seventy percent. What? In PvP and PvE. I mean, it's a bad balancing, I guess. 
so you went from like three shotting mobs to like having to do full DPS rotation <laughs> on a mob that on like a single mob that was running around and you're like you were almost dying to it. Okay, maybe that wasn't really the smartest idea. <laughs> and then so after that was like the first month. And then you went uh, to endgame content, and there was literally no endgame content. Like, you went to, like, the endgame dungeon, and halfway through, the, the dungeon just disappeared. What do you mean the dungeon like, it, disappeared? Like, you, like, the dungeon wasn't complete. What? Like, the whole the instance wasn't even complete. <laughs> Wait, what? So you couldn't complete it? You couldn't complete it! The fuck? <laughs> Wait, how did they release that then? <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> and, then, and then they tried to patch it and they finally completed the end game dungeon. But by then, everybody was like, fuck this, the game's dead. I feel like they're, that, that must be a meme. <laughs> it, it was so bad, dude. It, it got memed on so hard. Like, you would go to end game areas and it was literally just like non textured landscape. How is that even possible? And no mobs, no trees, no nothing. It was just like literally like just just like 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 three-dimensional terrain with like nothing no grass no nothing <laughs> wait but how did they decide that was okay to release that's so weird yeah it, 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 that, that's a game dude that has already tried to release in four other regions previously but, like you would think that in the time it takes them to release in four regions they would have time to complete it did they just fire all their developers and it just decides it's gonna release it anyways. I think what ended up happening was is that the game got they, they essentially sold the game as is to another publishing company and just gave them all the assets and then they tried to release the game. And then they realized <laughs> that this was like a really bad idea. So then they went and they took the existing assets and tried to finish it all off and make Bless Unleashed and then release it again. But by that point, like the, the, the name's cursed. Right? Like... <laughs> yeah, they could just rename it. But Bless Unleashed was actually just bad, though, so... Like, I think, uh, I don't know, I feel like Bless Unleashed was probably worse than the original. Yeah, it was. It, it, it was... They, they were all just... It was just... But the thing is, like, this to me feels like Bless. Bless. This game like, right now? The, yeah. Like, the genericness of it. Not necessarily anything other, like... The storyline, but just the generic. But I mean, if you had immediate PvP and you could kill people fast, then I think it would have been I, fine. Just uh, just nerf the mages, you know, and then it would have been fine. But uh, you had uh, you could do dueling right away in Bless, so you had like some sort of like kind of like PvP so, where you so could do already it. better than Elion. Yeah. And doing Elion. What's up with that? I feel like that's like a major feature. No dueling allowed, alright? Well, just the 1v1 arena. Peaceful only. Yeah, but you can't, like, duel someone who you, like, duel your friend. Like, that's... I feel like that's a yeah. major feature. See, and I think that's a downside and a positive at the same time. Because I think one of the reasons why BDO is such a toxic community is because it's not faction-based. If the PvP in that game was more faction-based, rather than just guild versus guild, or not even guild versus guild, but just, like, Anybody can flag on anybody what? at that's, any given point in time. That's just internet in general. But I think, no, but like you take a look at games that have more faction based combat where it's not just every man for himself. Those those games create more of a, of a community within those two sides. Yeah, but then the two sides will hate each other. Exactly, <laughs> but it's only two sides hating each other as opposed to everybody hating each other. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't really see that as really being too much of a benefit, though, personally. I mainly just, just creates, play solo uh, skirmishes, anyways. It just creates like that, like like that kind of like that, uh, like 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 the drama between. Rather than having drama between like small groups, it's got like that wide drama between the two sides battling each other out. Instead of like, you've got vertex drama versus kill drama versus black rose drama versus this drama versus that drama. Yeah, but maybe you know that's I mean? fine though. Maybe people like drama. Yeah, it just creates <laughs> smaller community though, because now you're only creating a community of a hundred instead of creating a community of two hundred thousand per side. Do you really want community of two hundred thousand though? It helps create the longevity of a game. Mm, I don't know about that. 
like League of Legends is such a popular game, and there's there's no community really. Oh, but that's not. That's you're. That's different. You, you can't compare basketball to soccer and call it the same sport. Mm, I don't know. Is it really that different, though? Well, I think it just really thing. depends on what you're looking for in the game. But, but no, it's... the thing is, the reason why MOBAs are even more toxic is because it's an even smaller community. It's only a team of five. Yeah, but it's still popular, though. No, I'm, well, popularity's gone. Popularity is one thing, but it's that's that in that aspect it works because it's a competitive game where like you've got a lot of these MMOs and stuff where the longevity in it is part of the community, like the kills, the the, the ins doing the instances together, doing all these like doing the big realm versus realms battles where you're it's the two sides fighting each other. Yeah, maybe a competitive game is what I should be playing instead. I should be playing the Rock uh, Playpoint. Yeah, if that's what you're looking for, then that's the kind of game you want, right? If, if the only thing you're focused on is just Damn, why is this fox so hard to kill? Then, like, that's, and I think that's the problem is, is that uh, too many people are trying to pretend that BDO is a fighting game. Well, a lot of people do certainly see it that way. Yeah, they're wrong. But I mean, people. But like at the same time, they do want it to be an esports. That's why we have the best in class arena parts and thing. Yeah, but you can't have an esport in video. Like it, everybody knows that it's a joke. I don't think there's anybody that can actually say that video is uh, a competitive game. Well, as says it isn't. But I mean, it has the potential to be, and that's what people are saying. It, the, like the whole net code would have to get rewritten. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like they would have to do that. That's for sure. Look, look at look at Evo uh, this year. Because of COVID, they had Evo online, but any games that had shit net code were, were not allowed to be a part of it. Only games with good net code was allowed to be a part of Evo online. Pretty much. I mean, that I agree was. And I think even the thing is, I don't know if just changing the having like good thing would really help. Because didn't they say the desync in Korea as well? Like I think they, these things are kind of weird. it's just part of the game, the way they designed it. Is, it is, but it's a lot. It's a lot more. It's a lot smaller. It's like not nearly as noticeable. But even still, it's because like yeah, the MS helps, but it's just a shit netcode. Period. Yeah. They'd have to get rid of resist. They'd have to make it so desync is a thing, and then they'd actually have to do one v one class balancing. But I think they just mean like at the fundamental part, like the whole how the game feels and all that has the potential. And so people want and like are trying to make it into, but like as is, there's just a lot of things that needs to be changed. Yeah, it, it's, it, that doesn't really make much sense to me. The, the only reason why they say that is because it's fast paced combat. Like that's legit the only reason why they say that it's a fighting game is because it's fast paced combat. No, I think people say it's a fighting game because of things like uh, grabs um, and the whole combo and if you if you have to like not get comboed in the first place. Like that's kind of what drags it more towards fighting games because when you think of MMOs, it's usually damage trade. And MMOs generally don't have stuff like blocks, grabs. Uh, uh, and comboing is just really skill rotation, trying to outtrade the other person, rather than like avoiding getting CC'd at all and then trying to combo them. But then at the same time, fighting games you kind of like don't have super armor either, so. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's this weird hybrid. Yeah. Uh, which is which is fair. It, it's its own beast, and because it's its own beast, you can't really say well it should be this or it should be, it should be that because then you're totally changing the core of what the game is. Mm-hmm. Wait, I was able to get Astro style or Vortex style. Just now. What even happened? Oh, wait. Yeah. If I use this, then it actually enables Vortex style. Deploy close boot and status duration. Hmm. 
I'm actually sure. Whirlwind. Wait, what's Whirlwind? You spin. Whirlwind? Resets the Charter Meteor Shower and switches to the Whirlwind state. Oh, it switches to the state where my movement speed is 30% increased. And the base Damn. cooldown, and I summon one Phantom. Damn. And then I guess I'm in this state for 8 seconds. During which, I could do this. And then before. And then, oh shit, it's too slow. Fuck. I can't read the whole thing. I have to like press it and do it one set one at a time. Oh wait, whirling phantom. Oh, there we go. And then I can do, and I can consume the phantoms. No, it doesn't consume the phantoms. Does it uses all my phantoms? Maybe. But it glows blue when I do that, so then I still have to figure out what Overlord style is. Are you going all Overlord? Well, I, I'm just, I don't know what it is. Maybe that's the Drunken Master thing, though. Could Actually. be. Yeah, I think the other one is for your Drunken Master style. Because that totally see... changes your... It changes your whole center icon to have these, like, five orbs. Wait, let's... Oh! Wait, but no. It's it can't be then. Cause see then I have completely different things. Like I have I have a completely different mechanic. So that must be oh. the same mechanic. Yeah, so so it must be, still be the slayer mechanic. But just different or something. Just another yeah, it's just you will probably get another skill later on that does that other one or some shit. But hmm. Yeah, so... I guess I- I guess I don't know. Probably there will be a different one. Where I actually... What's that other style called? The other style is called... Overlord style. Oh, okay. Hmm, I guess I'll figure that out later. Alright. Back to this guy. And make your way further into the Gru, though. And I guess I'm supposed to purify him or something. Wait, what the heck? How come? He, how come he was immune to the stun just now? I actually... Ooh, that, that, that sword attack with all the clothes did a lot of damage. Yeah. Like, that seems to be kind of what this whole class is revolved around. That's why I wonder if, like, it makes more sense to be using this skill. Because if I use this one... Um, or not this one, but, like, this, this one. Because this one generates a phantom every time I use Solar Rider. But how many phantoms can I generate? Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's five. But I run out of edge really quickly. Yeah, it looks like five is the most. No, because I'm running out of edge, I think. Because I need I need edge to use that skill. So I think what I should do instead is that I should start by using this one. Or this one. Which will generate five. Oh fuck, he died. Damn, he died. Astro Temple level plus ten. What the fuck was that? What is an Astro Temple level? That's your location <laughs> for like your different specs, maybe? Oh, another skill. Oh, this one also stuns. For 3 seconds. Slicing through running water is pointless. Seeking comfort at the bottom of a bottle is the better choice. What? That's horrible advice, though. 
<laughs> Examine the lost bamboo tablet. Uh, uh, yep. All right. Try to find and explain to him what's happened to War. Oh, at least I can jump over that. All right. So that guy's just fucked. Leave the Gruto and find him near the camp. I guess we're leaving now. Wait, how do I leave? Am I missing something? Oh, from this side. Fucking auto path. I have what? One, two, three, four, five. Six more skills I can learn. And be filling up all my skill bar at this rate. Wait, that's such a short range, though. Alright, so I I'm gonna try play. this. This generates four. And then I do that. Five, six, seven, eight. I, I think I can actually generate unlimited. And it's. And the only thing that really limits me is. Yeah, the edge, I think. Is there a potion for edge? No, I think- no, I have to attack to generate edge. Oh. Alright, well, at least you're not too OP. So there's going to be some sort of, like, like middle ground where it's like, how- what's the optimum amount of summons before you blow all your cooldown? Yeah, that might be. you start resetting. It could be like idea. that. Um, oh, and I guess I should be using this. Wait, I should be improving the quality of my wine? Huh? Okay, wait, hold on. The light focus crystal instrument. For a berserker, it improves the level of my Sea of Fog wine equipment. So I should be using it on this. Which does what now? It gave me more stats. Okay. Your physical attack and agility one now. I guess it just gave me I guess that's like that's how you upgrade your gear maybe? You use that? Uh, all right, and then I have fortune points. Oh, wait, it consumes three fortune points. Where do I see my fortune points? I use three. Okay, so it gave me some pet food. I'm assuming that, wait. This pet? No, this is food for me. I received one key by developing pet energy? Huh? Clean and formless meat. So I receive one key. But what is... Nice. What does it mean I receive one key though? What, what is What is that? I guess I'll, just, I'll upgrade my stuff. So so that's all up. But now... What? I receive one Chi. What does it mean I receive one Chi? Chi League. No, not this. Holy shit, look how many stats there are! <laughs> what the well, fuck? These are every stat in the game, I guess. Yeah, but why? <laughs> like, really? 
All right, well, let's see. What are all the stats? So magic attack, that's that's normal. Physical defense level. Okay, so this is for PvE. This is crit resistance. Prescience. What the fuck is prescience? All right. Uh, so we have what? Tenacity. Reduce damage taken in PvP. They got like mastery it. attributes, which is like defense, attack, increased, increased aggro, healing upgrade. Then there's PvP attributes. Yeah, so this then increases attack your attack in PvP specifically, and this one is just general physical attack. But these also these like are specific to PvP. Yeah, because there's a PvE and PvP stat. But no, but take a look oh. at that. your attack attributes. You've got mastery of four. But then it doesn't seem like that mastery has actually affected your mastery percent up on the other side. Um, no, but the mastery attribute, this is attack upgrade. Yeah, so you've got one type of mastery there, and then you've got another type of mastery under your attack attributes. This improves mastery by 0 0.7. Increase phantom uh... damage. Damn. I don't know what a mastery is. I'm assuming mastery would increase all stats, but it doesn't look like it. Huh. That's weird. What is a mastery? It's such a convoluted stat system. Holy I wonder shit. if mastery affects your skills, maybe? Like, are any of these based on mastery? It doesn't look like that. No, I think, like, the mastery in this seems to me like a lot like WoW mastery, where it's like, each mastery for each class is different. And Maybe. The, like, the mastery for you is increasing your clone damage, whereas the mastery for Spear Master will increase something that he does or some shit. Yeah, so it, it definitely says increases the phantom damage and the damage of Tian Long. Well, I don't know what skill that is, and also Cloud Rivers, this skill. I don't know what the Tianlong skill is though. Tianlong. Maybe the wolf skill? Or it could be under your uh, drunken master side. Oh, it could be, yeah. But I don't see it. Okay. And then. But then it also increases mastery in general by 0.7%, so I don't yeah. know what that means. <laughs> So mastery increases mastery. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is like tank a mastery. mastery. Wait, is this, is this being attacked here? What the fuck? Which, like, and, which is weird because you would think you've got mastery points on that other side, so that would actually affect that mastery attribute. Maybe it's just bad translation. Like maybe it's not supposed to say mastery. It's supposed to say something else. I wonder. And then what Ow. do we have? We have like Dreamwalker attack, which increases attack by zero in the instance locations. So these are like specific to the Dreamwalker instance. Yeah, so weird. So these are like PvE only stats, but only for instance, not open world. Yeah, only for Dreamwalker shit. And then you have movement. That's okay. Regeneration. I guess passive heal fortune. I guess you can increase your item drop rates like that. Yeah. Experience gain. Okay, so these are just elixir boost, food effects. Wait. That's that seems to me like that's all your uh crafting stats. Yeah, but you can like you have a stat that increases your food effect. So your food that increases that something, that then you can increase the food. What? Effects of cooking, master chef, number of meals. So this, so this is like life skill, I think. Yeah, yeah. Food duration. And then, wait, of the four C's? What is that? Is that sailing content? I mean, that's some sort of instance, right? Gold of the four C's. And more increased loot from harvesting, so that's gathering, I guess. That's life skill. Chance of getting high-quality product, chance to receive building materials, acuity. What the fuck is acuity duration? It increases acuity. <laughs> Didn't you know, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it affects your acuity in real life. 
Is she dying in game? You're dying in real life. <laughs> Your treasure map accuracy? <laughs> what the fuck? Mate. Treasure map accuracy. Okay. Oh, I guess like there's probably treasure maps and it kind of like gives you a random general area. And if you have this, it gives you a more specific area <laughs> that it's at or something like that. All right. I mean, I guess all of these stats don't really affect combat, though, so maybe it's fine. So, like, you can pretty much ignore everything, like, under here. Like, under these ones, I guess. So, may so maybe it's not that bad, but... I guess we'll see. What's perception? Perception? Where did it say that? Hit your uh, character, that, that screen you were just at. Wait, what? No, uh, just back one. I go back. Oh, one to it increases the concentration by 33 points. What's what's concentration do? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying, I'm looking for it. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ, this game is bad, man. Just just give us basic shit like what I. I don't know why the concentration is so bad. Like, the, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm over it. Honestly, doesn't Arcage have a lot of stats as well? Yeah. It, has, it was really convoluted too. But Arcage is considered a, a good game. Maybe. No, it was, it was considered oh, pay to win. Like, by it people was, who played it. It didn't a pay to win game. Yeah, but people said it they, was good if you like... Like, uh, like the game itself was good, didn't they say that or something? Yeah, the gameplay itself was actually pretty fun, but the fact that, like, the original Arcage, not, like, the revamped one that they did, but the original one actually had the BIS items could only be enhanced with an item that you bought in the cash shop. Yeah, but I think people hated the new one because it was all daily quests. Yeah, it was all daily quests. It just meant yeah. the same shit, bullshit again. Uh, so, I guess, if I predict the enemy's attack... It reduces their damage by 70%. What does that even mean? How do you predict? Like you... I guess this I guess it helps me predict their attack? What? <laughs> what? Time for support, mastery, spirit, sprint? Increases the sprint level. I guess this is... Wait. The sprint level reduces skill cooldown and increases edge regeneration and reduces charge time? What? Oh, that's what sprint does? What? Weird. Uh... And fortune increases concentration. Concentration is health, right? I assume. No, that would be constitution. Would be health. I think stamina is health. Stamina is health? Well, oh yeah. I think so. Yeah, it is. But I mean, like, the word constitution is what they generally use for health. Mm -hmm. Oh well, at least you can switch different gear gear loadouts. Good luck, good luck. Yeah, I can't tell if it's like just bad translation or, or what. Because like it says concentration, but what is concentration? Like I don't know if it's bad translation or it's just the mechanics we haven't unlocked yet. That's the thing that's hard to tell right now. Well, like most games, they kind of tell you this as you gotta go through. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but actually, most games I think don't really explain the stats, though. To be fair. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Then, well, because most of the time they're pretty self-explanatory. Wait, what did I just press? I received a world item. But nothing happened. Huh? Huh? What? Why is my HP low? All of a sudden.
What the hell? Right, let's let's just complete this. I'm gonna play some Total War while I watch this. Total War? Yeah, yeah Warhammer 2, man. Love that Damn. Gym. Damn, I played Three Kingdom. I got Three Kingdoms too. Damn. But I like uh, Warhammer 2 more. What even is that? Like a strategy game? Right strategy Yeah, game? it's uh, it's it's kind of like a mix between like a tabletop, um, uh, turn-based where you do your movement and like travel the world map and stuff, and then it's got RTS strategy with like actual uh, RPG shit. All right. How long have have, have, have you been playing? Oh, I've been playing. I've, I've had this since like I've been playing since the first Total War. Warhammer. Oh, I guess I can activate this point so I can respawn here in the future if I die. Maybe. Wait, what? It's got some of the best story. Uh, campaigns I don't know what that really did. I I, I started when Rome. Oh, I get a better quest gear. Oh, okay. That's always nice. I actually really. Have you played uh, Warhammer Two? No, I I the the only franchise I don't play is Warhammer. Oh, I like this one more because the the unit variety is a lot more in depth. Oh, like there's they like the way that the, each faction fights can dramatically change. Wait, hold up. A small clay pot and the gold thread. Wait, these are inventory expansion slot items. Like it's an item to expand the inventory. It's not like practice. Like wow. What the heck? But then this is completely useless. Then this is a small clay pot. This is a small purse. But they both expand six slots. Yeah. So, so they're all exactly the same. So you'll get ones later on, which will be like twenty slots each. But why? Why? Why call them different things then? And it's gotta have fucking composition. This is pretty weird already. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's kind of like, like they have the mechanic enforcement online as well, so it's not. It's and not like something I can't like... accept. It's just I don't know why it's different things that give the same amount. Yeah, usually they have different names for like ones can only do like crafting mats or whatever. Yeah, but those two look like identical. Yeah, they look. Like the, I don't know why they're separate. For those ones. It doesn't make any sense. All right. What else we got? More quests? More F spam. I should really just be spamming my LMB. Oh shit. I guess this is unskippable. A skippable forced tour of the city. <laughs> Damn. GG. <gasps> this isn't your this is because this isn't a cutscene. This is like you physically being on the on the thing. <laughs> I had this on Swordsman right. too, though. I'm just all time now. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I fell to all my right. death. Congratulations. You also fell to your death. Which makes no sense. I don't know whether it's just because so? I'm at the point where I just don't give a fuck anymore, man, but I don't give games any. I don't give them a chance. Yeah. It's like, I, I see a couple things wrong with it, it's like, boom, alright, you go into the bin. I guess it's gonna be hard to find games now. If you don't give any game a chance. <laughs> oh no, I see, I enjoyed Elyon a lot. Like, I think I'll probably hmm. be meaning Elyon. Interesting I'm decision. like 90% sure. Oh, cool. And yeah. if Lost Star comes out this year, like, between Lost Ark and Elyon, I'll be happy. I don't need to be playing anything else. I mean, Lost Ark seems... Like it would be more competitive from a PvP standpoint, though, but I don't know. They're this is my very first similar. Like, Lost no, Ark no doesn't have a Warlord protected area, so... Uh, it kind of does! It's just, it's just different. Like, I, mean, they I haven't have seen warlords, it. Warlords can do that. They can put up a big shield where they're pretty much immune to damage everybody around them, but... It takes them a while to charge up the meter to be able to use it. It's not like they can use it instantly. 
This is another collectible. Okay, let's close that. Wait, so why is the blue item I just got better than the purple item? What? Is it higher level? That's the difference. Like... Yeah, no, the blue item's higher level. That's quality level 20 versus quality level 15. Oh, wow. Yeah, it might be like different rarity, but the level is, you know, what matters. Yeah, but, but you know, usually a purple rarity is just better than a blue rarity, you know? It is. No, man. Well, if, it... if, if that was quality level 15 blue, that would be weaker than that quality level uh, 15 purple. Maybe. But it's a quality level 20 blue versus a quality level 15 purple. But usually it being purple means that like it should just be boosted higher or something, you know? I don't know. Well, for how, how, how far though, right? Like just in general. It's like, it's like... Yeah, maybe at end game gear where all the quality item it, level is all the same, yeah. Well, no, it's like on BDO, like how, uh, like a Tet Blackstar is equivalent to a Pen Kazarka, you know? And like how, uh, Tet Kazarka is equivalent to like a Pen, uh, Liberto or whatever. Yeah, but you're, but it's, you gotta look at it at, at that, like a plus 10 versus a plus 11. That Maybe. Thing, that's because that's what we're at gearing terms, right? You're only at like plus one, plus two gear right now. But if it's only like plus, but if it's only like that, then maybe it shouldn't be a different color. It should just be the same color. If it's like such well, a small difference. You just difference. gotta get those. Then there's gotta be that feeling that you're getting cool shit. Though, but it, world, but yeah. but actually, it feels like I'm downgrading though because I had purple and now I'm back to blue. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's just no way you can satisfy everybody. And that's all that proves. Bruh. I mean, if the dungeon gear is worse than the story gear, why did you even do the dungeon? You should have just kept doing the story. You can say that about a lot of the stuff in this game. <laughs> well, in dungeon, Damn. it guarantee you I'll eat this game so item. much. No, I'm just going. Oh, am, am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> am I really wrong? Come on now. <laughs> Damn, I guess he does. What level are you at, man? I'm almost level 9. Damn, level 9. He's been playing for like 5 hours. He's been level 17. Because Wayne re-skills and shit. Well, of course. What do you mean? Why would you not read your skills? I, I only read skill when I'm max level. <laughs> only when you're max level, okay. Yep. Watch this, you guys are gonna keep doing this and you're not even gonna get high enough level for PvP before the CBT one ends. <laughs> I mean, it's four, there's four days. No, I, I, I'm just joking. There's four days. Funny if that was true. Nah. Why yeah, it, it wouldn't be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think by tomorrow we should be able to reach max. You think so? Tomorrow? Yeah. Damn, it's already been four hours though. We're almost five hours now. What the fuck? Oh, that's your fault. It's been so long. Yeah, well, you had to do that dungeon like three times or some shit, right? Well, only twice, but I think that's technically because the first time I didn't, I didn't understand how you were supposed to do it. So you were supposed to like go into the. Oh, well. And then you got lost. Because no, we're around. supposed to go here and then go here to complete it. Damn, I guess Wayne got lost. What is this? This is really, really weird. Yeah, he jumped down that cliff and couldn't get back up, so he had to escape. He got lost on the instant. But then I, I got back. I got back up. I'm just saying, like the amount of time that yeah. you, that you get through is, is not optimal for leveling. Uh, well, like, I get. Just, well, I guess that's like a, fine. That's like. Now that you know how to level in the uh, closed beta, you'll be uh, able to speedrun it for the open beta. Yeah. So it's just like how we can speedrun uh, level on Eldeon now if we do decide to play it. Actually, I tried to speedrun it on my gunner and it's not worth speedrunning. And you're better off to go and do all the side quests. Why? Because you don't have enough fucking silver to do all your enhancing and shit. I thought you just grind it for them. No, oh, you don't get good silver from mobs though, like, unless you have, like, good gear. Like, your lower level gear, like, that leveling thing, man, like, 
I tried to do it through Gunner with just doing the most minimal quests, and I had the most shittiest runes. It sucked. Because I had no silver. Oh, so it's better and... to like do quests early on and then grind later? Yeah, like you're just better off to like for that whole leveling process. It takes hardly any time to do those side quests, and you get like four times the amount of gold. Like, I had maybe 20,000 gold when I hit level 35 on my gunner, where mm -hmm. I had like 200,000 on my mystic. Yeah, but at least you'll be able to speedrun the quest now. I guess yeah. there's also that. Yeah. You know, it just, I was, I was rather upset. Because you don't get all the runes, you don't get those bags of gold, you don't get any of that shit. You're kind of left with a real shitty uh, time. Until you start doing a couple days with the dungeons. Yeah. And even then, like, you're still locked out because you got daily dungeon lockouts. But then, like, once you run out of daily dungeons, then you just have to grind, I guess. So, like, it's still, like, BDO then. <laughs> It's all gonna oh, be well, whoever has the most time to cry. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I found in that game is that, like, you can grind, but it's the amount of time that you have to waste to make money versus just, like, doing the dailies on multiple characters and then abusing the marketplace is looked, looked like it was a lot faster to me. Abusing the marketplace? Yeah, because uh, in that game, gold uh, or uh, value prices of items aren't fixed. You can put whatever value you want on any item. So like, I guess I'm gonna be a list. merchant. Yeah, so you can do you can have multiple characters and then just sell items or transfer gold between one character to the other by min max shit items. Like sell like a basic item for five hundred billion gold and then buy it on the other account because nobody else would pay for it. Why would you play multiple characters? Because it seemed like that would be a faster way to gain silver um, than grinding. Like one hour of so you can doing like what spam dailies. dungeons? Yeah, spam your dungeon. Then it's because the daily quests each day in those two areas or whichever areas that you're in, you can get those daily quests. And those daily quests uh, was probably doing about 100 to 120 thousand gold, from what I could tell. Uh, when I was doing it on my Mystic, uh -huh. and then for me to grind for an hour, like I was grinding some areas and I was only making like 50,000 in like an Damn. hour. So it was like, whereas like, doing all those dailies only took me like a, like an hour, so you do then, that on each character. But then that's kind of bad though, that's going to be like the Arcage meta, where in order to progress you have to have multiple characters <laughs> doing dailies every day. <laughs> it's the same thing with Lost Ark though. Lost Ark, you got daily lockouts as well. Yeah, but Lost Ark, you don't really need gear because it's uh, gear equalized. Depending yeah. on what you want to do. The arena portions. Well, because there's open world PvP in Lost Ark as well. Mm. Uh, there's island PvP. Mm. The only thing that's got normalized gear is the arena shit. I mean, it's arena or I open know. world, so. Well, there's arena, there's open world, and then there's also Guild Wars. The fuck is Guild Wars? In Lost Ark, uh, it's like 10 v 10, kind of like a like a like a kind of like a Node War kind of thingy type, where it's Guild versus Guild and more like objective combat. Really? Yeah. I know it just doesn't and feel that... like Lost Ark works with too many people though, because of the way it's designed. Like it's kind of like it's... I don't know, isometric. Like it feels like it was probably better if it's like in the arena rather than something like open world or 10v10. Well, I had fun when I was doing Diablo PvP back in the day. That's isometric. Wait, there was PvP on Diablo? Oh yeah! Damn, I didn't know that. I didn't know the I thought Diablo was a PvE game. It there was there was player killings. There there was PKers. Um, and then what was that other game I played for a while that was actually really fun was MXM. That had, uh, PvP in it too. Huh. I think if you go beyond, like, 10v10, it does get to be a bit of a clusterfuck. Well, I guess it also is kind of like... Maybe, maybe, maybe like, when I was doing the PvE, the maps just kind of felt cramped. Like, maybe that's why. Like, maybe, maybe there's, uh, the... PvP map is going to be more open. Well, also, you got uh, bigger bigger screens better in Lost Ark.
Oh, sorry, what'd you say? I missed that. You actually ha uh, get an advantage of having, like, an uh, ultra wide water in that game. Get yeah, the advantage of having what in that game? Ultra, ultra monitor. wide monitor. Oh, yeah. That's also gonna be a problem. And there's some skills that can go past a, uh, a 16 by 9 screen in that game that you won't be able to see coming. Yeah, that I feel like might be problematic for, like, adoption, though. Yeah, I don't think most people are gonna get a white ultra white to play that game. I already have one, man. <laughs> yeah, but like most people though, probably won't. That could be problematic. Well, it's just gonna be the people that do have it have an advantage. Well, I mean, and, and that means you have to get it though. Like you're you're forced to get it because of the advantage. Exactly. So that so that might make it hard for people to like get into the game because they're probably not going to want to have to do that. Well, most most shooter games, people who've got widescreen monitors have an advantage regardless, and it's standard now. Is it? I don't no, it's standard that most FPS games support ultra wide resolutions. Yeah, but I don't think most people have ultra wide. It's just to, like I don't think it's a significant advantage. Is mean? it? It's a huge advantage. Oh yeah, dude. You, you get to see more on your screen without having to move your mouse. At any given point in time. But like, everyone who streams... Like, uh, Valorant or whatever. They, they all stream on 1080p. Which means, like, it's, it's, it's regular... Some games... Some games you can't, and also, I'm pretty sure Twitch doesn't even support ultra-wide streaming. I know, but like, the thing is... If it, it it's not distorted when you look at it, which means they're just playing on the standard monitor. Like if it was ultra wide and you tried to stream it, like either the sides would be cut off or it would be like squished or whatever. Mm. And their stream looks just fine, so that would kind of indicate they're not streaming on the ultra wide. Mm -hmm. Because they think that getting uh, more FPS is more important. So a lot of people that are playing those lower res games, like Counter Strike players. Counter Strike players would rather play at 1920 by 1080 at 300 FPS than play at 4K with 120 FPS. Yep. Yeah. So then maybe it's not really that that standard then. It, it's it's very much game dependent. Game dependent where that that those FPS frames can actually give you an advantage. Then yeah, you're better off to do that. But a lot of games you don't get that advantage because of things like inherent. The, the time it takes for you to actually scope down your gun, reaction times that are built into the game don't give you that advantage. Whereas Counter-Strike and Valorant, everything's instant. Like as soon as you uh, right-click to scope, it's instant. There's no time to mantle like there is in Call of Duty or more realistic shooting games. So what, do you think people play ultra wide on Call of Duty more than Valorant? I do. I, oh yeah, because FPS isn't really determined with Call of Duty. There's so much secondary yeah, shit going on in Call of Duty that your frames are never, are, aren't going to be crazy, crazy fast anyways. Just, but, like, does, wait, does, but does Call of Duty even have an esports? I don't think there's any Call of Duty esports. Oh yeah, there is. There's is competitive that? Call of Duty. And they all oh, play, yeah. and they all play in the Ultra Mine? No, um, I'm pretty sure that actually in tournament Call of Duty, it, that's banned. Only 16-9 resolution is allowed. Oh, I mean, then that's not standard, then, I guess. Well, in competitive play, it's banned. In, in regular play, it's not. Which is, like, a lot of people. Like, mm. esports rules are completely different. Like, esports rules, everybody has to play on the same hardware. Everybody has to play, like, relatively on the same hardware. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, but, like... And that's one of the reasons why Overwatch never implemented uh, ultra wide in their game is because they wanted to make theirs an esport game. Yeah, but I mean, if if you have a like, I would assume that if you're trying to like do esports, you would practice like at home on um, kind of in the same under the same condition as you would in the tournament of so. course so I'm not saying that but like that's that's a very small percentage of the population that's doing it for esports for the but, everyday joe blow guy like me i'd rather just have the extra field advantage and have the mm. have better uh 
chances of seeing more when I'm playing at home. Because I'm never going to be in the competitive scene. Well, I, I guess you're also not a streamer. Because, like, I would no. if you're streaming, you would also have to not use Ultra White, because otherwise uh, your stream's not going to look good on Twitch. Exactly. So then it's like, I don't know. But I make YouTube videos and my content looks fine. I mean, it's noticeably cut off though at the side, so I don't know what to say about that. On my content? All my stuff renders in full ultra wide and in 4K. That's it? Wait, I, I, yeah. I, maybe, maybe you have a recent video. Hold on. What's your channel again? Uh, I could just call Yoza. Yeah, see here, let me, let me sh screenshot this. Yeah, so that's kind of like what it looks like on my screen. Like, I don't see it as full screen when I view it from my monitor. Like, that's what I mean. I, uh, I pinged you on Discord. That's the Shaky Bay one? Yeah, that's the Shaky Bay one. Okay, so that one there... Did you set it to... Okay, yeah, that one there got all fucked up for some reason. Oh. Not to... That was a bad one? Here. Okay. Let me take a look here. I think this one here is the one that got it right. Oh, that one's... It was... That had to do something with my uploading. And I fucked it up. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out... Alright. video. Uh, let me let me know which one I should look at. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> so the one that okay, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. So the bottom uh -huh. one where it's got the top and bottom cut off. Yeah. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. The reason why it's got the top and bottom cut off is because I'm in ultra wide at 4K. That's my actual resolution. Yeah, I know. But that's what I'm saying, like, like to it's a. It's cut off because it's wide. Yeah, but like to a someone, to someone with like a standard resolution, it would look it would look weird yeah. because of that. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm saying, like, if to someone's like a streamer, I would imagine they wouldn't really be able to do that in order to make it look proper. Exactly. That's so... why I just upload to YouTube rather than streaming it. But at the it, same it, time, it, it if you're like, weird. if someone's looking at YouTube, it's still <laughs> not ideal, though. I feel like. If they're on an ultra wide monitor, it fills it up completely. Yeah. If they're on a regular monitor, you have the black bars on the top and bottom. Yeah. Which is yeah, so it feels so that's kind of like a limiting thing. Like you have to have an ultra wide for it to look properly, which kind of sucks. But I guess it is what it is. Otherwise it just looks like you're watching a movie. Mmm, it does. But I think Because it's the like, same resolution. Than it. Like the aspect ratio, that's movie aspect ratio. Yeah. Although I think when people convert movie to like something you can view on the screen, doesn't don't don't they like change the resolution? Or do they not? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Widescreen format never. Hmm, alright. Bro, I can't believe I'm still doing quests. <laughs> like Yeah, a, a lot of people was complaining about and, slow level and I can't even like I can't even fly here for some reason. No, you can't seem to fly in any of the towns. I know, like, but like just... that's kind of the whole point of having the ability to fly. I is know. to make things faster, but then you can't fly where it matters. And they don't even have auto path though, that's the thing. Like if they had auto path it wouldn't be nearly as annoying. I feel like then I could yeah. just press the button and then sit back. Mountain movement speed it doesn't feel that much faster. It's only Man. faster if you can fly. Yeah. Like, if you can't fly, it's a lot faster. As walking. 
yeah. Like, I don't know why they limit you from flying when that's kind of the whole point of getting this mount in the first place. Uh, and there's no auto path. Okay, where am I going now? Damn. No, I'm I'm not I I was so not sold on this. They they, they said the leveling is a lot faster than the actual, but like really? Why yeah. why would they make it so slow during close beta then? Because they said like in the Chinese version you can hit from one to thirty in like three four hours, a couple oh. hours, and oh. not like this I don't know about that. This to me doesn't feel like a beta test. Like I don't feel like I'm testing anything. I'm just running around doing quests. So which like, version are we getting? Like are we getting the Chinese version where it's fast or are we getting this version which is slow? In the uh, end. This? I don't know. Like the final version? Know. Oh. I have yeah. no idea. Yeah, like I feel like if it's a beta test, it would be more incentive for them to make it fast so people can like at least Hurry up and test the PvP and all that. Rather and and than... go get the testing areas, not this shit, right? <laughs> yeah, like you're just testing whether your F button on your keyboard works or not. <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> like everything they've done here just makes it zero, like they have zero idea what the fuck they're doing. The fact that they've done how slow this is, and then the whole cash shop bullshit, like that really pissed me off when I saw that. <laughs> That is definitely a pretty weird champ move. Did, did you hear about that, Van? Van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my little brother bought a hundred dollars <laughs> worth of coins because yeah, he, he heard about it. Oh. I I mean he he he's gonna keep playing this game after open beta, so. Wait, he already decided that he likes this game. Yeah. Ow. So he spent money. I I I don't know. I don't know. There's That's been the only questing so far. There's. I I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> Interesting decision. Well, he he told me it reminded him of like Swordsman Online and J Dynasty, so he he, he likes it. I think leveling in Swordsman Online was faster than this, though. I was able to get to forty in Swordsman Online in like a few hours. Mm. Yeah, man. That's that's why I made like one ca character of every class on Swordsman. Damn. Damn. I remember that. See, that's what I enjoyed about playing uh, Elyon too. Is I was able to. I made a Mystic, uh, a Gunner, and an Elementalist. And I got my Mystic to 40 something, Gunner to 38, and then Elementalist like 35. Oh, well, you were pretty hardcore then. Oh, yeah. I, I, I fucking bombed through that. Like, in my gunner, I got leveled up really fast, but, like, yeah, I, I shot myself in the foot by leveling up the way I did. I mean, after you level like three characters, after... I only leveled one. Well, I like how after you, well, the thing about that is that when you, after your first character, you can skip the first 20 levels. Wait, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. So you start off at level 20 and just do your, the 20 to 35 quest shit. It only took a couple hours. Damn, I didn't know that. I should have tested that. Then. Tested the other classes. You'll be able to for the next one. Cause I got heart stuck level thirty six. Hmm? I was I, I was heart stuck level thirty six on my assassin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You either had to go grind mobs or fucking you had nothing really to do. That's what I mean, like, after my but, first day of hitting 36 on my Mystic, I was just doing the daily shit each day, and by the time, at the end of it, I was 41. Well, you actually did dailies? I didn't feel like doing any of that. Well, that's the only way you could get money and, and XP really fast, uh, outside the grinding. Is just do your four dungeons and do all your daily quests. I guess that's why I'm hard stuck. I guess I will... Probably. I guess that'll be on a game for me, because I'll just be level 36 forever. <laughs> Damn. But the, the cool thing with that though is that the, the, the daily shit, everybody was doing the daily quest. So you could just run around and tag each mob and get completion on it. Oh yeah, I remember doing that. But then like, 
I remember doing like the dimension portal thing and I just tagged each mob, but then I died somehow and then everyone just disappeared and I couldn't finish it. <laughs> that that dimension dungeon was fucking stressful because the fucking XP loss on death was pretty chunky. If you got uh -huh. killed by a mob. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I like ended up losing more XP after 36 than I ever got. Yeah, that's where you have I, to go do the dailies. But what I didn't really understand though was like how to get past the poison room. Because as soon as I entered the poison room, I was just dying. Which were you doing the the the, the dragons one or the one after the, dragon the dragons one. one? The I don't think I had to deal with. That. I didn't have any issues with that because I had heals. Oh really? Oh, damn. Yeah, because as soon as I entered that room, I was just constant. I was just poisoned. I was just taking damage over time, and there was nothing I could do. And so I didn't really get how to like actually survive in that room. I finished that dragon dimension one, and I got to the next one after that one. Wait, you have to finish one to unlock the next one? No, there's there's access like so you don't have to like finish it, but there's once you get high enough gear, uh, you can go to the next one. Oh. Like, I think there's like four or five different dimensional portal like areas. Okay, that's probably also why, because I was level 36 forever, so <laughs> I don't ever got to do the first do that one. Yeah. There's I think there's four or five of them in the game so far, and they plan on doing much more. But I couldn't even complete that one, so. Well, you don't really complete it. Like, you literally go there just to farm. Because each time you do the quest, the quests give you gold and experience. But not only that, each mob you kill gave you mana XP. And the mana XP increased your mana tree. Wait, don't you complete it by making it to the end? Well, there's all... They're just like the portal quests that are to do. But you can like literally stay down there and, and even if you got those because those quests that we were doing, those are daily quests. Um one one set. Sorry, what were you saying? I think don't you don't you complete the um dungeon quest by going to the end? Because I, I remember getting a quest and there was like ten parts to it. No, no, there it's a whole it's a it's a daily repeatable quest chain. Yeah. So you can do that once a day, do that whole quest chain over and over and over and over again. And that's just a place to go and to get your like that's another one of your dailies that you have to do is complete that whole quest chain each day. If you can. Mm. Yeah, so I saw like the whole point was to do the quest chain, and then you get to the end, and that's how you complete it, right? Yeah. So were, were you just supposed you to that. grind? No, no, no. Like it's, it's both, really. Like it's if both? you were to go in there and get all the the dailies done in like the first time the rift opens up, and you can bang it all out, awesome. And then the next time it opens up again, you can go down there just to farm mobs and grease people. E oh. Even still, you're going down there to grind mobs and to get more mana XP. Because mana XP is locked, or resets every season. What? And those mana tree, yeah, your mana XP resets every season, and those mana trees that we got, like those three different tech trees that you can go up, that resets every season. And each season, it can change. Like, some seasons, you may get a tech tree, which makes Mystics OP for that season. The next season, you may get a tech tree, which means Gunner's OP for that season. Uh, that doesn't sound like a nice, good design, though. Of course it does. It's great. It all what? makes it so that it's always... It makes it so that the meta is always shifting. No, that's just <laughs> the flavor of the month. Ah, it's just the money yeah. grab. It makes people reroll to whatever's good best class for that season. No, I don't think so. Because like, it's like... The way that I, it was explained to me is that like it's not gonna make it so like they're like they're broken. It's just gonna give them special advantages. Mm, I don't see how that's a good thing. People are still gonna rewrote the player of the month. I don't know. I don't know 
if it will because it, it's gonna take with all of your equipment and even your weapons and everything being locked to your character to have to rebuild all that all over again that's a lot of fucking work because it's not even like bdo where your weapons are the same or like your armor and shit's all the same and you can like transfer your armor between characters nothing is the same maybe but i mean people have the money people have the time so uh, people who have the money Ooh. are just gonna be spending all their money on it. I guess. Oh, wait, I have to. I have to like do this thing in order to be able to kill it, or else it doesn't even die. I mean, it's it's all about whales, right? Like you don't really need most people to be able to make new characters just need like one or two people who are addicted and will always go for failure of the month to spend all their money and then that's just huge profit for them so I, I don't know about that i would rather have that where the game is in the constant state where people just know that their classes are going to be good and bad at different points and and just roll with it rather than a meadow where it's like they don't do anything and one class is just OP for fucking two years. Hmm. You know, they could also just like have the game be balanced so every class is good rather than have force some classes to be OP and some classes to be balanced. I'm, I'm gonna have to see how it actually impacts Elyon a lot more because of the fact that combat's so much slower and everything. I don't know if it's going to be that drastic of an impact. Because, like, with the tech trees that we had, they those mana trees, we didn't get far enough up them to really make a difference to anybody. And we could already see that in the, the build that we got, Warlords and Mystics were definitely over too. Yeah, it did seem like that way. Yeah. But I don't think... I think uh, they're going to be over tuned regardless of whether the Awakening stuff, though. I can see that, but that's where I, I don't think that's right, because like when I was watching that interview with uh, some of the KR players, streamers, like uh -huh. they were saying Assassin is top tier in open world. Like really? they're the best in the game. And then, on the flip side, they're also the worst class for Arena. Hmm. But why? Because Arena, uh, Assassins rely very much on a runaway and gank, a hit and run style. And Arena isn't big enough for them to really be able to run away far enough to be able to get their shit off a cooldown again. Hmm. So I guess they go in, kill, and then run away for cool and wait for cooldown. Essentially. Yeah, it's like they're they're a gank, they're the gank class. Hmm. So I guess like high burst to instantly kill one person and then get away kind of thing, instant is essentially, or something like that, or what? Yeah, well, it's a mix from it's a. I like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't actually get to see any of the gameplay. It was just more what he was saying, like in the in the video. Oh, okay. Just how where where the class is safe. Hmm. And like right now in the KR build, Elementalist is pretty much top tier for everything. Um, Mystic is pretty much second tier uh, for across the board. Warlord is considered top tier for open world, and uh, but they're not that great in arena, and they're not that great at PVE. So then I guess people saying Mystics are OP are just bad, or maybe we don't have enough gear to kill them, or what? Yeah, it, it, the problem is, is that a lot of people that are saying Mystics are OP right now is because of the build that we're seeing, and the fact that he, that our, our, the damage output of everybody is so low that Mystics healing is just out healing the damage output. Hmm. So wait, <clears throat> do the damage of Elden gets higher later on? Yeah. Damage gets way higher. Hmm. But see, that's kind of like bad, though. I guess because already we have people who don't like Elion because the damage is so low. 
Like Dante. Well, I, I kind of, I kind of like the increasing ramp up in damage from beginning end game to late end game, so that you can actually get to figure out the mechanics of the game and how things work and survive to be able to know what works and doesn't work, rather than just getting too comboed and out of nowhere and then dying. Because you don't learn anything at that point. But if they two combo you, you can two combo them. You know. Yeah, but even still, like I think that either way, I think that's a shitty way to learn the game. Whereas if you have a very well, more forgiving PvP system at the beginning, so that you can actually figure out how things work, and then once you get to the 600 gear score, you are able to combo kill each other. That makes a lot more sense. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I think people it, rather kinda, kill. Maybe. It, it, it's it's a more of an approximation to real life and when it comes to fighting. Because, like, when you're a beginner fighter, when two beginner fighters are going at each other, they're not going to be able to friggin' KO punch each other. They're going to be figuring things out. They're going to be making mistakes. They're going to be seeing what works, what doesn't work. They're going to be doing stupid shit, making themselves look like an idiot. And it's not until you get to the professional levels where you get to see the the crazy skill and people just getting fucking wombo combo. Yeah, but I think people like killing though. Like that's why you have like grenade launchers and stuff where you can just instantly kill someone, even if you're bad at the game. And like Call of Duty. Yeah, well, I don't really like. Like, like I think it's it's just like, like you can't kill anyone. Like even if you're tanky, you're eventually still gonna die without killing them. I don't know if people necessarily like that. But, and that's the one I thing I noticed, that when I got later on, on Mystic, up to 41, and I started getting a lot of skill points and could come up with a proper build, I was able to kill people relatively easy. As a damage Mystic, not even really relying on my heal. Just my one damage shield, which a lot of classes get us uh, some sort of a damage shield, regardless if they're a healer or not. <laughs> So that, that's kind of the way I was I was taking it, is that like, heck, later on, like, hey, I can go out and I can actually kill people by myself. I don't need to rely on a team. So, the fact that everybody was still around that 35 level area and not really getting... Like, that's only beginning PvP. Like, you still don't have a lot of your skills unlocked. And you still don't have any of the crazy skill attributes that you can do. Yeah, but I think, like, it the was, beginning should kind of give... So it kind of feel good, so people will want to play until later, or at least give an impression of how it is later. I don't know. Like BDO was good right from the start, kind of. BDO was BDO had the opposite polarity for me. Is that I liked it at the beginning, but the more I played it, the more I hated it. Hmm. Well. I think if they gear capped it to like 269 AP maximum, then that would be a good meta. Like, I would say two years ago, I probably would have recommended BDO. Uh, in its current state, I wouldn't recommend BDO to anyone. Like, it shouldn't have gone above 269 base. Like, that meta. I probably stayed it's, in that meta. It's not even the, the gear that's the issue. Like, gearing aside, I. I I honestly think that gearing is probably the the most meaningless now in BDO that ever has been ever. Like literally, fifty DP at this moment means nothing. It literally means nothing on 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 the wrong class. And so then what do you mean then? So which means that like gearing is absolutely meaningless at this point. So there's no point in getting all that gear. Which makes it so that the end game, there's zero reward for all of the time that you've invested into it. So it feels that the time that you've spent is meaningful. Well, it's really meaningful if you out them, though. I mean, that but 50 that's DP, what I mean. It's gonna that, that 50 DP a in, in a, That 50 DP in a 1v1 right now doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's it going really to matter doesn't. a lot against someone who doesn't have 50 DP. Not, like, maybe in the trade, but in the catch? No, it doesn't. Like, dude, I'm dying at 402 DP on my Sage Evasion to, like, 280 AP now. Like, I how mean, does that make sense? I, th I think that makes plenty of sense. <laughs> <laughs> makes zero sense. 
That that so that that investment is absolutely meaningless. If it doesn't increase my survivability, then how should why would I invest in it? But it's the it's the trade meta itself that's also bad now. Yeah, well, it's that's what I mean. Like that's that's only one part of the problem. Like it's the fact that all the classes just do way too much damage. There's way too much protected CCs. There's desync, and then there's resist. And when you combine all that together in a game which is meant to be group PvP, and your players don't render unless they're right on top of you, and you're already dead. Like fuck off, game. I mean, I guess, aside from Awakening Core skill, isn't that, like, the only protected CC they added? Everything else is still, like, how it was, Most I guess. Protected CCs to begin with. Wait, what? Most classes have protected CCs to begin with already. Yeah. Although, well, I mean, two years ago they had that, too, so... But they didn't have success. Two, two years ago, trade so, Oh, yeah. The SA trade is a huge problem. It's just the game's not in a good state right now at all. It's, it's probably in the worst state I've seen it since pre-CC changes. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess this just, it just shouldn't have SA training. That kind of removes the whole point of SA and FG. Well, the reason why they need SA training is because that's the only way they know how to make large scale work without everybody not dropping over. Are they dropping over? What do you mean? Well, because if you don't have SA trade, how do you do damage and combo each other in large scale? By just comboing like you do in 1v1? I don't know. You, you can't because anytime you try, if your combo isn't protected, you're just going to get CC'd and then just die. But lots of people have protected combos. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I guess I'm a ninja. Uh, yeah, maybe your ninja does, but not a lot of classes do. Like, Maybe. there's there's, that, there's the reason why Guardian and, and Mages are so freaking strong, you know? It's because their damage is pretty much all protected, and it's all CC. Like, you don't see hmm. any of the catch have, the, the catch meta classes doing well in Node Wars. Heck, like, even ninjas don't even do that great in Node Wars. But, th but that's because it's better to SA trade right now than to cash, so... It's because of this... It, for me, the reason why the SA trade came to be a thing is because there were so many protected CCs. If there wasn't so many protected CCs, then you wouldn't need to focus on an SA trade heavy. But even if there wasn't protected CC, SA trading would still probably be better, right, in, like, in, in the current state. In, in large because... scale, of course, 100%. Well, not even... Just in large scale, even in like 1v1, you could do that. Well, but large scale, especially for sure. Yeah, it's, it's hard to do anything other than just protected damage in large scale. Like, because, because there's so much AoE CC and damage flying around, like, it's not like you can even outplay it when you've got a. Uh, a mage coming out of nowhere and TP Voltaic right on your face. Yeah. Like, how do you all play that? Well, it used to be like... If you get SA traded, it, won't, it was like only half the damage compared to like, comboing or maybe even less. So... Yeah. Welcome to the chat room. Wait, why did I get welcome to the chat room? I think part of the issue with that is that um, is the whole back attack damage thing is like mages getting back attack damage. I think Paul really made a big difference. Well, I don't know why, but like combo damage isn't doesn't seem to be as good as it used to be. Well, it's because there's so much AO. Like combo damage used to be. A big thing because down attack damage and, and stuff like that was was a big factor. Like down attack damage was huge, and a lot like most yeah. of the range passes had to rely on the down attack or the combo thing. But now mages don't even need to do that. They can literally TP behind you 
and will take your back for insane damage. Yeah, I don't I don't know why down attack doesn't matter as much now though. That's I don't know what how they change how they fuck that up. Because com because classes like mages don't need uh all their attacks go through back attack. Or they do back attack now. Whereas old mages and archers and shit couldn't do back attack from range. Really? Old yeah, mages don't back attack? Yeah, but like, old mages can't back, like their ranged attacks don't back attack. Wait, I didn't know that. Now everything succession mages do has back attack. I didn't, I didn't actually know that. Hmm. That's interesting. Ah, uh, damn, I can't believe I'm still doing quests. Why are these mobs so, so hard to kill now, though, all of a sudden? Oh, uh, suddenly these mobs are like, takes multiple hits now, and I don't think... Oh, I, I can up, 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 open this gear now. The outfit box. Oh, I can use an outfit. Wait. Better move somewhere here. Um. Wait, where did my stuff go? What? I got outfit, but it, it disappeared. Where did it go? GG? Yeah, what the heck? Why does your stream say streaming swordsman online? Oh, no, it doesn't. streaming swordsman online player takes the <laughs> first look at Swords of Legend. Okay. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't say swordsman online. <laughs> exactly. It's it's because I am a swordsman online player. How can you be a player of a game that you can't play anymore? Uh, since I can't play it anymore, I will always be a player. Because yeah, it's impossible for me to quit it now. You know? Retired. Be retired swordsman online player. Nah, but see, it's impossible to quit. So I am always playing now. But playing indicates the act of, like, you're in the moment of doing. Damn. Maybe. Playing, playing is is mean. Played is is the past tense. Playing or player is current. Hmm. So you 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 gotta go back to ESL school. Sorry. You're <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh wait, I guess I can change my outfit like that. I still don't know what outfit I just got though. Like I just got that thing and it just disappeared. That's so weird. Maybe it's in a wardrobe. Like are these all things I can use? No, because I would have to buy it says. Like this is something I can use right now. But this I would have to buy. So I think these are the things I can use, no? Wait, what? So these are outloaded. Yeah, but I would still have to buy it. What? I don't get it. Oh, you're getting mean then. Oh, but this costs in-game currency to buy. Maybe. Bro, honestly, this is... I don't... I don't... I don't get it. What is... What is this... Like, why do you think this? You get things and it just disappears into, like, nowhere. It's, 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 just, it's just so weird. Alright, finally, finish the quest. Damn, level 19 only. And it's been Nine. 5 17. hours and 30 minutes. What do you mean? 17 one level? You're almost there, buddy. Is it 36 for PvP? Mm -hmm. That's what Van said. It oh, is. gross. With the speed of this, <laughs> it is gross. Yeah. I'm so glad I quit before two hours hit. <laughs> <laughs> what? But what if but the GP is actually good, though, you know? It's not going to be good. And you, you never know. 
<laughs> I, I'm, you never know. I'm, I, I've been around the block a couple of times, boys. I'm pretty sure I know. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's what people said about Swordsman online. The van can attest that Swordsman online was a uh, good game. Yeah, but does Swordsman Online feel like a cash grab the first day you started playing it? No. <laughs> Until they release Lost Art. Until they release Lost Arts, I guess. Yep. Damn, yeah. man. Bro, ever since they released the, the bundle for you to unlock Lost Art, well, it, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's like uh, those RNG bundle, like if you open it, you have a chance to get lost art. And man, bro, people spent thousands just to get those skills. Damn, really? Mm -hmm. Damn, I just remember, stole remember that, others. Remember <laughs> that guy named Nur, the Shaolin guy? Uh huh. Bro, he spent like $600 just to get that, uh, that Buddha palm. Uh, well, I guess Is still that a swordsman? I think it's still less than what people spent on uh, BDO though. Yeah, yeah, it's just as hard. Still less than what people spent on BDO. So maybe oh, it's actually fine though. Yeah, BDO <laughs> is next level now. Oh yeah, like that, that game is such like... A, a BDO is probably the worst for someone who is an addict. Oh like, man. Like there's people in forums complaining about how outfit in source in source of legend costs twenty dollars. I'm like, bro, have you never played BDO? BDO? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Like a twenty dollar outfit? That's actually cheap. <laughs> Well, maybe swords and it's not at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, it, it really isn't at all, to be honest. Like, it's not cheap. It's just, we've it's been just... conditioning ourselves to fucking think that $20 is cheap. Because we used to pay $30 fucking $4 for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, on PWI, it's like $5. But... I guess people will buy it, though, you know? People want outfit. Of course. They, they, they just need a few whales. I want you to buy a skin on League of Legends, though. Less than ten dollars? Yeah, I think I thought it was around ten bucks. Ten dollars, damn. Is hey, that's like the same price as Spellbreak? Or maybe Spellbreak is more expensive. I've never paid money for a cosmetics that didn't serve a purpose. Like BDO kind of forces you to because of the crystal slot if you want to mid max. But Achilles suit, I guess. Yeah. I know. No, well, I... not even the Achilles suit. Like, I'd rather go with the crystal slot for the extra two movement speed than Achilles. Damn. I actually don't know if the movement slot even does anything on Ninja. Apparently, it doesn't. So, that's pretty funny. Yeah. So, Gilly would be better for you then, because the fucking iframes and bullshit. But I don't, I don't like how Gilly's look though, you know? Yeah. I, I actually bought cosmetics on uh, Spellbreak. Even though it doesn't do anything. Honestly, I would rather have cosmetics that doesn't do it. That doesn't have PvP impacts though. Because they yeah, kind of too. like design it the way you want it to. <laughs> yeah. Than and then if that was the case, ones. I would never have to spend money on cosmetics. Well... I mean, I guess you don't really have to right now, but... Oh, I don't care. Like, for me, it's more about, uh... Functional reform. Yeah. I guess. But I feel like I have to play better when the form is good. So I don't know. Uh, that, that's placebo effect. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Go back, get to care of a few things, I'll come back in a bit and see you still running around questing for the next three days. 
I know, like, why, why am I still only level 19? It's like 5 hours and 30 minutes. Damn, maybe I need to go get some coffee. Maybe it's time for a break, Wayne. It's time to go get some coffee. Such a long questing phase. Well, this, I mean, this place does look kind of like places in swordsman online, but it's still like, so I'm pretty sure at, at this point in swordsman will already be level 40 or something. All right, be right back. I'm gonna get some coffee. All right. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Ah, thank you. I'm doing the instant thing. What level are you at? I'm almost 15. Wait, how I'm are you leveling faster than me? I'm doing the instant. What do you mean? You're just slow. What? That's impossible. Not possible. How can I be slow? I'm, it's... I'm, I'm skipping all the stories. <sighs> oh, I guess. <laughs> what? I guess uh, how, I'm, how I'm so faster. Well, I, I I guess we're both fast, but I'm just faster, so you're slow. But how to how to get oh, how oh. to be faster than this? Oh, I don't know. I drop down. I have to read the letter in order to do the next part of the quest. Uh, how many letters have I read already? Damn. Okay. Go to the thing. I have so many quests that I take that like it's in my quest backlog right now. I don't even know where they're supposed to be. Where I'm supposed to complete them from. I need to speed run this to thirty to thirty six. Got tap uh, tap F harder. Yep. That's the way. It should really be titled a speedrun stream. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I wonder if there will be a thing where people speedrun <laughs> leveling up on MFOs. Probably. I guess technically I have the world record if I do it, because no one else does it. Oh, I, I wonder okay. if you can power level. Um, maybe. I mean, I would assume the quest probably gives more XP though. Oh, I guess these scars actually fight back. That's pretty annoying. I have to actually kill them. My LMB does no damage. It's really my RMB and my uh my R does damage. What does Shift R do? It reduces Your the speed. Your fan Phantom Storm. Yeah. Then my Shift R reduces their speed. What's the point of reducing their speed? Run away. What? I'm not a runaway class, I'm Berserker. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in there. In the fight. But maybe it's for catching people who are running away from me. I guess so. I think maybe if I read the quest more, then I would know exactly what to do. Rather than just... Going to the thing and then pressing the button. But who knows? Maybe maybe this is effective. It's worked so far. I'm level 20 already. Damn. <clears throat> Actually, where even is my EXP bar? I don't even see any EXP bar. It's right below. Right below what? The 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 non-lighting bars. What? Oh the I, didn't even, I didn't even notice there was a bar <laughs> at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. 
See, what am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to, I guess, go in here. Okay. We have to read the quest, because the auto path doesn't bring me this way. The auto path show was showing me the completely opposite direction. Alright, so I break this. And I break this. And I break this. And then I have to kill eight bandits. Maybe I'm not just like not AOEing them enough, you know? Yeah, like I need to I need to just be going here. Maybe it's time for you to use your cloud ripper more. Okay, I, I need to just be like BDO. Group or group group these mobs together. And then I go here. Oh wait, wait so I, I I just knocked all the mobs back. I finished the instant, but how 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 come it's not finishing it on my quest? Yeah, see, that's that's the problem I had as well. So what you need to do is you need to press this cloud icon, and then go to cultivation. Oh. Damn. Yeah, see, it's a trick. They don't tell you this. Until after you do it. They meme me. Oh no, it's- I don't- I know, it's just like hidden in such a weird place. Because mm -hmm. like, you would think that it would be a quest, but instead it's like in the calendar itself. It just seems- it's just out of place from where you would normally expect it. Nice, I'm level 16. Like, this is like events, like, but it's in- you, you have to like complete the event for the quest or something. Mm -hmm. Just not where you would expect it to be. What the fuck? People have already bought mount already. You get, I think you get one for free. No, no, I'm talking about like, no, there's like the the wing, gold, golden wing. Wait, isn't that but, one of the ones that we get for the pre-order? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm I'm talking about like the the fire spirit mount that this guy bought. The fire spirit mount. Yeah, it's called Black Flame Killy and the uh, Thunder Rapier. Hmm. Right, I see like four people with that Black Flame Killy already. I mean, I have a, I have a Dark Hoof, but I don't know how you got, how they got those. Like I did pre-order is... though. Like, oh, I, maybe I should. Maybe I, uh... I should supposed to get the pre-order mount from somewhere. No, no, I, I, I asked one of the. Community manager, they said you get it at launch. So then, how did they get the pre-order ones? No, that's not pre-order. They Wait, they what? spend money. Oh my god, for real? They spent money. You can't work with differing viewpoints, they say. Yeah. Is there like a quest lock where I know like all my quests are available? Uh, yeah, there is. I forget what the button is though. Oh my god, Wayne. What? What? <laughs> you... I'm not supposed to remember this. You're supposed to know this, man. No, you you I'm play not. this game like three hours longer than me. No, I'm not. Just press all the buttons. Okay, it's L. There you go. Just press all the buttons, man. Wait, but but if, when I press L, there's like no mission. Then you don't have any missions. <gasps> what can I say? How is it possible I play for three hours longer than you, but I'm only five levels ahead? Like I said. How is that possible? You are fast, but not fast enough. How is that possible? You are fast, but not fast enough. <laughs> but that's impossible. <laughs> How is that impossible? Because I play ninja. What? Fastest class in the game. <sighs> Ninja. 
Yep, the has the fastest skills, you know. Yeah. You just press it and it just activates instantly. Why you do do you get like not constant pin? Like sometimes my ping goes to like ninety, but sometimes it goes down to like forty. I think so. But maybe that's just the uh, because their servers are not stable. I think so. So it might be fine. Maybe you don't have to worry too much about it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't get any lag or anything, but I'm just curious about that. Uh, I guess we'll see if it matters in actual combat. I guess. Hopefully, we'll it see. doesn't. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my pain is pretty unstable as well. Oh, if this server is east, then we should get like 40 something, I think. Well, I don't know. Oh, if it's east, maybe I should be getting zero FPS, you know? Nah, it's probably in like somewhere. I think it's central. Yeah, it could be. Because if it's west, then I would be like 80. If it's east, probably like 10 for me. Mm -hmm. I've got new gear. Fuck these herbs. Damn, if it, if it really only takes like one hour in China, then why did they not give us that version of the game? Uh, I don't know. Also, these mobs' names are so long. <laughs> oh. I don't know, the, the translation is not that great, honestly. I, th well, I think it's because they're translating literally. Oh. Or it's just, or they, so they don't really need to do that. Like, you don't need... A mob's name called Brutal Bandit in the Wood of Veracity. Like, you could just call it Bandit or something. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm level 16, but I don't see any quests. If they publish Game Force, they should know these stuff. Bro, I went to a different. Uh, somehow I got. Go, went from the, completing that quest. Following the waypoint, now I'm on a completely different quest. And that quest, I'm still at 4 out of 5. What? Yeah, like, the No Pain, No Friends Gain quest. I was trying to dig 5 herbs. But now suddenly I'm here at the Nectar for Sleeping, instead of uh, that. Like, I don't know how I swapped from that quest instantly to this quest. They're in the same area or something, I guess. But I was just following the waypoints. Damn, the person Damn. says. Uh, I guess I am bad at PVE. So, so this need to be level twenty-four student to open world. What what is the twenty-four student? So so am I almost at level twenty-four student and almost the open world? No, you're level thirty. No, you you're level twenty beginners. What? What does that mean? So so every time when you reach level six, you 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 reach enlightenment. What level six? What do you mean level six? I'm no, level twenty. Level thirty six. Every time you level reach level thirty six, you reach enlightenment. What? So then, yeah. So I have to be level thirty six and then get twenty more levels on top of that. Yep. Impossible. There's no way that's true. GG. Well, that's a, that's that's what the world chat said, but I, that, I don't know. That would be fucked. We would never be able to PvP in this beta, if that's the case. I mean, by that time, our gear would be decent, I think. By what? At least by that time, our gear will be decent. Our gear will be decent? Hopefully. Who cares about gear? In PvP? Damn. No, oh my god. I mean, the gear is supposed to be PvP gear anyway. That doesn't work in yeah. PvE, so, like, we don't, it doesn't really matter what the gear is. I feel like all that really matters is 
getting the level. Yeah. But that also means, like, is there gonna be open world? That's also another question. They, they haven't even released, like, most of the features. Like what? Like Alien. I don't know. What feature are we missing still? I guess there's the open world map. Like, not yeah. all maps can be pvp right? I like, think there's only certain maps they, that has PvP. They, they didn't release open world map. And, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's check the documents. Yeah, but like I saw, there was like a know. long list of things, dude, apparently. Mm -hmm. But so far, all we've been doing is questing. Unfortunately. Fuck is this person? Oof. I completed two quests at the same time, maybe? No, there's still I still had to kill a mud dragon. Oh, it's Damn. this thing. Fuck. Mud dragon. Fuck, I didn't kill that guy. I have to patrol I guess it translated werewolf to Longren. Even though Longren means werewolf. It's <laughs> bad translation. But they don't even translate the words. They just, they just used the opinion. You, you got the quest to who am I sitting with, right? Do you remember that quest? Uh, did I? Damn, I guess not. Where am I sitting with? I don't know. I've just been spamming out quests to the point I don't even know what quest I done or what didn't do. Oh fuck, I can talk to my pet. Yep. Wait, how the fuck just do you like, talk to your pet? Just like in real life. You can talk to your pet in real life. How the fuck do you talk to your pet? It's the same way you do it in real life. What do you mean, how? <laughs> you you open your mouth. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Watch it when you dare someone to be. Wait, how? Wayne? What? How the fuck do you talk to hey, your pet? You open your mouth. And speak the words you need to say. <laughs> What? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it either. What? You you did the damn quest already. <laughs> what? No, I did it. Yes, you did. Wait, w when did I do that? Oh my god. What? When did I do the quest? Wait, which quest are you talking about? I'm doing the... Oh wait, never mind, never mind. This fucking game, man. It's not talk to your own pet, it's talk to someone's pet. <laughs> That's funny. Fuck, I need to just sit here and wait for the mob to respawn. Are you kidding me? There's not enough mobs by itself that I have to sit here and wait. Damn. Maybe, uh, maybe I should play Spearman next. Why? You, you think Spearman is better than Berserker? Who knows? Because this doesn't really feel like a Berserker, per se. Well, we haven't even reached a specialized class yet, so. Well, I mean, I'm already a Slayer. I could also be a Drunk Master. But they say Drunk Master is more defensive, and Spearman is more, or... Slayer is more offensive, so I guess I keep the Spearman for Slayer. I see. How is this a mud dragon? This is clearly a wolf. This is clearly not a dragon. I guess. Like, what is going on? Why is this called a mud dragon? <laughs> what kind of translation is this? Unless its name is mud dragon. Mm -hmm. But then... I've never heard of someone being called 
a month's rack. <laughs> so. It's kind of questionable if that's really how it how they meant it. Alright, this girl is weird. Heavenly Council's number three. Heavenly Council number three. What? What? That's so weird. She's from the Heavenly Council. I guess that's yep. why she's able to vanish at will. Damn. She will be. I, I need to, like, AOE some mobs. I need, I need to, like, I need to come here and AOE some mobs. Need to do more Cloud Ripple, man. Yep, like, right here. AOE. I need to grind these mobs faster than this. This is slow as fuck. Right here. Just gonna join in. Wait. Damn, I didn't get the kill on that one. What? Wait, under what conditions do you not get the kill? I got the kill now. Wait, what? How come I didn't get those skills earlier? Who knows? Takes so long to summon the mount, though. I feel I sometimes feel like it might be faster to not summon the mount, depending on how like, close it is. <laughs> or a second. Yeah. Who knows, though. All right. Also, why does it keep putting me to like minimal zoom? Why the fuck does it say I'm out of breath? Maybe you are out of breath. Damn, that guy say a pig was about to die. I just saved him by accident. What the heck? Why is this guy not taking damage? He's, he says prescience minus 19. What the hell is that? The hell is prescience? What's this guy not taking damage now? What is going on? Alright, so I done that. Now I need to do what? Search for equipment. Armor chest. And... Where's the last one? Over here? Nice. Alright, complete it here. I only level 20. So, uh, wait, so how long have you been playing then? You said you've been- I said, you said I've been playing three hours more than you? Yeah. So what level are you now? Uh, 18. How is that possible? I'm only level 21. GG. What? How can you already be 18? Maybe... I'm just too quick for you. If you catch up, then I have to quit the game, I guess. What? Why? Uh, it's just, it's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice but to quit the game. Damn. <laughs> I guess too, 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 uh... Humiliated. So, uh, <laughs> we need to quit the game. Because I'm leveling too quick. <laughs> no, because the game will be too... It's, the game's too hard for me. Okay, cannot bear the simulation. The game's just too hard for me, that's what it is. Damn. It's not about humiliation, it's just about difficulty. 
No, I don't understand how to play the game. I have to now to jump back up. Or fly back up here. Maybe I should actually just focus on RMB style. Fuck the fuck the summons. I just RMB them. Yeah. You know? What if I just RMB them? I just use this, and I use this. And I just go and I just go ahead and RMB them. Like maybe maybe this is just as effective. Uh -huh. What does this do anyway? Like, it doesn't really do anything. It deals two levels of damage. Shell low. What? Shell low. I guess that means range. When it says shell is low. Still level. Yep, I just Hot go. With, I just go with this. I just pull the mobs. Mm. Pull that mob. Wait, I can only pull. I guess I only get to pull this guy. Alright, now, where do I go? The real map of the Five Sacred Mountain takes you to Hongzhu Tai. Damn, I'm, I'm like at half ah, hell. These mobs actually hit hard as well. What's going on? Wait, how the hell do I get to Zongnam Foothill? I think you have to talk to the map. Oh. This game definitely looks like FF14, does it? I have no idea what FF14 combat is. Oh, we never play FF14. Yeah. So yeah. I can't really say if it does or doesn't. I mean... I feel like a lot of action combat games are kind of like this, though. Kind of just, like, able to move around and attack, but at the same time, it's like... Should I be dodging that? Oh no, you can CC this mob. But oh, you can CC the boss. Or it's I guess it's a mini boss. Usually you can't CC bosses. Bro, where's my mount, bro? Why why do they they only give me a sword to fly? Because the sword is how you fall, how you is your mount, you know. Okay, yes, I have to spend money. I have F five. I have my horse on my mount. I have my horse mount. Oh wait, this is the real mount. There we go. Accept the quest. I guess also accept this quest. Damn, I've just been doing side quests all day. These aren't even really story quests. These are all really technically a side quest. Is this Splendor? The spin move? I don't really think it's Splendor. This is kind of like... I don't know, it has like some summon classes. Kind of like some sort of summon, weird summon thing. Because what I can do is like I can do this. It like summons a bunch of clones. And I can like kind of command the clone to attack. Damn, a striker again. I can feel the energy. So I don't I don't really know how that how like that really works. Wu Tang? Maybe. But Wu Tang you don't really summon the clone. Like Wu Tang you kinda of play around the sword feel itself, I guess. You summon swords. Yeah, and like that kind of is like 
your damage mechanic. But I, th I feel like for the clones, it's more like your um, like your damage and rather than CC. Why are these mobs so strong? What the fuck? I guess I have to actually like be CCing them. Cause I can't even like skill them normally or else they actually do damage now. Oh fuck, why there's so many skills? Mobs actually do damage. Like yeah, with Wu-Tang, you kind of want to stay in your sword field when you, when you lay it down. Because your sword field provides the CC. Whereas with this class, you still have the CCs yourself. And the, and the point of using the summons, I think it's mostly for damage, as far as I can tell. Like, they don't do any CCs or anything like that, other than they just help you DPS. Damn, what the heck? And they don't even CC, really. I can dodge, blowing in the wind. Damn. And it's kind of like a boost to your damage. Why are these mobs all of a sudden so strong? Like, like I actually have to unlock them now, or else before I could just auto attack. Alright, let me just, uh, I think I'm done that quest. Damn, why you wait for me? Come on, man. No. I'm almost level 19. No, I'm gonna have to quit the game soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. Can't, 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 can't let you catch up. <laughs> I guess <laughs> quitting game. <laughs> yep. It's what they say, quit while you're ahead. <laughs> that bad, huh? It is, cause... It's been fucking six hours already, and I'm still only level 21, and you're telling me I need to be 36 plus 20 you know, to PvP. No, that's, that, that's open world PvP, but open world PvP is not... It's not on this close beta. Oh, so you can still do arena, I guess. Yeah, you, you, you can only do arena right now. <laughs> That's still so far away, though. Forget side quest, but isn't side quest the main way to level? I don't really even know what... I don't even have a main quest. Like, I don't even have a main quest. All of... <laughs> everything is a side quest. Do you have a main quest, man? Mm, doctors are kind-hearted. That's what I'm doing right now. But is that the main quest? Because I don't even I don't even have a main quest. Really? At least I can't tell if any of these are main quests. So I'm not sure I'm doing something wrong. Okay, if if you go to map, uh huh, and then you go to world map, yeah, and then you see on the left side it says prologue, the key leak. Yeah. And you see campaign, the word campaign, C-A-M-P-A-I-N-G. I don't. What? Oh, over here. Okay, I see it. Yeah, that's that's all your main quests. So from chapter so, one, two, three. So what I meant, it's all completed, right? Or what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so, so whatever is... Yeah, I don't know. So chapter three is all done. So I'm yeah, at chapter, chapter four three. now. Exactly. And if it's, it's like also... Final Fantasy main quest gives more EXP side quest is if you hit the leveling wall. But I don't even but like where is... which one is my main quest though? Like like it says I'm at one hundred and one of one thirty five. Right? Oh. So that's just everything. So everything is a main quest or what? Let me see. Like are these all main quests? 100. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Yeah, the UI looks bad. That is for sure. It does. It needs to be. It needs to be way more. Yeah. Uh, it's probably because they um localized it from Chinese to English, and <laughs> without like actually adjusting it for English. Like in Chinese, you only need like. 
if it's in Chinese, then the size is perfect, right? But if it's in English, the words are way longer. So you can't just do this. Way too long. But they just replace the text without actually accounting for whether it fits or not. So that's a huge issue. Are you sure these aren't achievements? I don't know. Well, it says campaign, so that's what I'm thinking. But I, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Oh, right. Current quest. Monster hunt in the mountain forest completed. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Alright, <laughs> maybe I should be doing this. Beginner. Like, what if I should be doing this? Writing as a Taoist approach. Endless Tao. I, I get like 30 FPS more. But this doesn't really high, give me that higher. much EXP though. Like, this gives what? 3,000, 3, right? Whereas if I were to do like, like this quest, it's almost 2,000, almost 3,000. So like the biography quest is almost the same on the UXC as us doing these quests. It doesn't seem like there's really any story quest per se. It looks like all of these are both story quest and side quest at the same time, so I don't really get it. It just seems like I'm just supposed to do all of them. But it's also hey. just super slow at the same time. Oh. How, how are you leveling so fast? Man? Are you just doing all the quests or what? Yeah. Uh, what I'm fuck? doing it at a unimaginable speed. How is that possible though? What's your stats? What do you mean? What's your physical attack? <laughs> Only yours is probably higher than me. What if yours You're is higher than mine? Because... Nah, that's impossible. No, that's the only explanation. <laughs> How else can you no. be faster? That's impossible. Mm, that's the only explanation. <laughs> What's your stat? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Alright, well, well, what do you want to know? Physical attack? Yeah, physical attack. Uh, 62. Damn. I'm at 88. See? You're like way high, bro. But how is that possible? <laughs> uh, bro, that's impossible. It's alright, man. Life is not fair. It has nothing to do with fairness, it's about possibility. You're breaking the laws of physics. What? It's against the law. You can't do things that are illegal. Someone who starts first cannot be slower than someone who starts second. Uh, or even the value are using ping advantage. What? What do you mean? What do you mean ping advantage? Let's you complete the quest faster. Ping advantage. No such thing. How else I do you think... explain it then? I think you are hallucinating, Wayne. <laughs> but how else do you explain it? What? Oh, that's, that's sick! I have a skill that can counter, and then it CC some if I if it counter? I mean, I guess that's what you're looking for. You're, you want to be in infinity. Yeah. But the counter's attack only um, reduces damage taken. It's crazy the phantom, though. Well, no. Well, it CC them, too. Are you it, sure? It, it knocks them down. It yeah. It doesn't say that. I mean... I mean... Damn, it Let's doesn't see. even say that. If you are attacking and cancel, you heard you saw a counter sound and clear fence. I guess it secretly CCs with those. No, because wh wh when I try on the mob, it CCs them. I guess it just doesn't tell you that it CCs them. It's hidden. Hidden mechanic. Yeah, it CCs them. See? Hidden mechanic, I guess. Well, the, the, the fucking skill like description, I, I don't think it tells everything. Damn. Damn. 
These mobs are actually difficult to kill now. Like the skill. Alright, kill three. Let's just say like the, three more. Like the skill water division? Strike the target with the hick of hill of the sword. Oh, I, I guess that's it, CC. Only two. Just like that. Mm -hmm. I need one more. Here we go. But see, if I CC them, then I wouldn't be. I can't activate the counter. Maybe this costs too much like an infinity. Damn, I guess Wayne's not playing sorry Berserker anymore because it's Infinity. Infinity was my worst class. Damn. Infinity was my tier one god level class. How am I only at 600 HP hey. now? What the fuck is this? It's called Swords of Legend Online. What's up? I'm watching your stream. What's up? Sword of Legend Online. Yep. It looks like a. It looks like a. A slightly more graphically advanced version of SMO. I don't think it feels like SMO at all. No, yeah. Because you can kind of attack and move at the same time. It's kind of like that weird kind of action combat, but also kind of just like tap target with movement at the same time kind of feel. It's like you're playing Stormbringer on PWI, basically. Oh, yo. Video better. Uh, but I don't really know how the combat is, because we're like at level 21 after playing for uh, 6 hours, and you need to be 36 to PvP. So I don't know, maybe it takes like 2 days at this rate, to even get into a stage where you can enter the arena. Is there a flight or just like a dash with the sword? I mean, this you is like, it's just a mount, it's just to make you go faster. It's not really, like, it's not really flight. Wait, so you can't do air combat? There, uh, there's no air combat as far as I'm aware. Oh. Is this, this is just to help you get from place to place. And you can't even use this in certain locations, which kind of defeats the entire purpose. Oof. Like, the whole point is to make it go, to let you go faster. But then it doesn't let you go faster in places where you need it to go faster. <laughs> What class is this? It's a giant fucking sword. Uh, it's called a it. Berserker. Which I guess is a great sword class, I don't know. I guess yeah. technically Wu-Tang also used great swords, so... GG, I guess all of your characters look the same no matter what game you play. What does that mean? <laughs> it's, a, it's a black haired Asian girl with long hair. No, pretty sure I had white hair on PWI and on... Um, and on Outleon. Uh, just go for that classic uh, Asian beauty look. Check. <laughs> I don't think it's Asian beauty. I think that's just how people look in Asia. In general. At least in my experience, at least. Bro, there's so many fucking gathering quests in this game. Oh, hey, it's Rafi. Is this game worth playing? I don't know how yet. What the fuck do I even know? I mean, I, I, like, I don't want to be, like, judging a book by its cover, you know? So that's why I feel like in order to truly say for sure whether it's good or not, you have to at least get to the stage where you can actually pvp but for sure the early levels there's nothing uh, like a really bad impression right now so i would imagine someone only plays up to this point they would definitely not like the game really much it's just questing really it's just like every other mmo bigger numbers are better numbers well it's not really just questing oh i'm level 22 now Damn, Wayne's way ahead of it's me It's just now. that even the quest itself 
is not very engaging. Most of the quests are just like fetch quests. Like you go here, talk to this NPC, spam F a few times, spam F a few more times, and just accept another quest, you know. Interesting. Then I go here. And then let's see, where's another place I need to go? Just follow the auto path? I guess I go here. Alright, what do we have here? Alright, this is another place where I come here and I uh, press F to interact. I got here at some point, equip that. Alright, so that's done. And then I and then I uh come here. Oh, I guess there's some mobs here. But they're not quest mobs. I guess I just ignore them. Oh, and then I press F here. Okay. Where are, the, where are the next ones? I guess it looks like I have to go up there. Where's my, wait, why can't I sprint in combat? Oh, why am I out of breath? What? Wait. I guess you can't sprint while in combat. Oh, wait, you can't sprint while in combat. W, w tap means it's like makes you dash instead. That's why it says out of breath. <laughs> like, just why is there so many quests where you just go to this place, press F, and then go to the next place and press F? Like, it's, like... both, it's, it's, it's a story quest. This game is because the story is based on like a novel. <laughs> a source of legend, man. But then I would have just read the novel. Well, this is more, you know, maybe a bigger immersion instead of reading the novels. I don't know. Is it though? Regeneration of strengths when casting killing as all traces increase 30 points. Uh, killing solo traits does not consume any edge. I guess I guess I'll just get this whatever. We'll look at the combat when we get to thirty six. Like for an MMO, you should at least have some combat, right? But there's I feel like I've been pressing F more than I've been actually killing mobs. At least on PDO, it emphasizes the combat. What, what even is this now? Like, what is this? What is going on? Let's see, what the hell is Wayne doing? I'm just floating on the flower. <laughs> and then it has these forced cutscenes. Where he's just like... I guess I just take the hand off the keyboard now. And just absorb in the scenery. Damn. I mean, waiting for sure tomorrow we can PvP. Why, what level are you? I mean, I'm level something. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you hiding your level? I'm not. Then what level are you? I'm level 19. <laughs> How do you know we're gonna PvP tomorrow? Oh, come on. That's like guarantee. Oh, wow. I came all the way here just to press F more times. God dang it. I mean, I guess with the combat, with how many, how long the skill cooldowns are, and how you sometimes just have to hold down RMB, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is almost as good as the combat. Who knows? I, I wish if they didn't care much about the PVE, then they just go straight into the PVP. Then, like if you're not gonna spend effort on the PVE, 
They want you to finish. Just do the PVE. Just give us the PVE. Chapter one. Chapter nine. So then you know the story. Just give us the PVP right away. It's not like you spent effort on it. I'm making it engaging. But some people feel like this game more than FF14. Yep, so that's what it does. This game feels more fun <laughs> yep. than FF14. Yep, I see it. Oh wow, I guess there was this mob right here. All right. Kind of annoying that he was right there in the grave, I guess. Interrupted my uh, pressing F. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I was supposed to talk to this guy. Oh wait, these are all ghosts. It's a lot of ghosts in this game. Back on the battlefield. Oh, Damn. This a magical formation. See, people are saying the end game stuff is fun though. On World Chat. So it's like they better be right. They better be or fucking right. Be pretty papega. <laughs> Oh wait, there's actual combat quest here. I might as well do this. Yeah, I got a horse. You have a horse queen? Yeah. Fuck. Why? Why fuck? <laughs> you don't want me to have a horse? I thought I was special. Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> Let's see. But I started the game first, so you copied me. Nah. You, you only started the game first because you got no work. You could have took the day off as well. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take off when the open beta happens. Why do most of the skills do no damage though? I don't get it. Like I'm just I'm just holding down R and B. That's my DPS. And then so, and then occasionally I have to press E. Like I think there's like I think out of all the skills, like maybe only three of them does damage, and then the other ones are I don't know CCs I guess. Like I guess like, I guess this is like useful for CC. I can use it to interrupt and I use this to CC them. And then it's just like I chain lock stun lock them, I guess. And then I just try to DPS. It's like I'm just waiting. The CC. Build up my charge. Summon some E. I feel like I really need to be AoEing the mobs. Like, like the, this is where I really need to be good at AoE, unlike on BDO, where the mobs are already nicely grouped together. But here the mobs are all spread out apart, which makes it harder to even really group like even two of them together. They're so spread. Like with how spread out they are, killing like eight mobs takes as long as killing like fifty on video. Alright, more Gazzery. Damn, pe people was like, what the fuck do I do at their level 16? GG? What do you mean? Do people more... not check the map? It's just do more quests, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
20. What the, what, I mean, the, the quest doesn't, like, start bring you automatically there, though. That's the thing. Like, you have to, like, actually physically press the thing and then go to the place in order to do the quest. Like, you have to go to your uh, biography or whatever. How do you... I don't even know how I activated that. Was it like... But it was like J. You go into your J menu. In order to get to the place where you need to be for the next quest. Alright, got five out of five weapons. Yeah. Wayne's OP. I guess he's level one clicker for me. How? Damn. I'm a little quicker than you. You're too quick, man. Mm, I don't think so. If I was quick, I would already be level 36. We need to. This, this needs to be a speed run. Like someone needs to just plot out the optimal routing for all of these quests and then figure out how to speed run this. Or we just need that. CN buff. I don't want to take one hour to level up. A CN buff is not coming to open beta. It's not? How is that possible? Who knows? I think people are going to quit this game. Just because of this? Probably. I mean, Koi yeah. already quit. Well, he see a different view in this game. I mean, I just don't know, like, how many people are really playing this game for the story? Like, if you're, if you're, if you're on the story, this isn't even, like, delivered in a good format, though, is it? Like, why don't you just read the book? Or watch an anime? Trying to learn how to cook. You're trying to learn how to cook in real life? Nice. No, no, like in game. Nah, in real life. Oh, I acquired six ghost grass. Am I like actually making progress on these side quests? It feels like I still have just as many side quests as before. I'm still just the same level as I was. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What happened? Oh shit, I'm cooking. Oh shit. Wait, you're cooking? No how way. Come, how come I didn't need to cook? I don't know. What quest are you even doing? I didn't need to cook at all. It is what it is. Rice, wild, and lean bone. Like, how did you even get to a quest where you need to cook? I never even saw that quest. Damn. Oh, I mean, sorry. You, 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 you don't need to cook. What if what if that's your secret to leveling up? Oh, it's what not. If cooking is the secret secret sauce to get max EXP, and you're, you've just been doing that without telling me. Well, I've been here doing what are quests, you talking about? which is actually I'm not. slow. Ah, where the hell did I get lean bone meat? Oh fuck, I just cancelled it by accident. Oh, and they're launching this summer. Why is every game launching this summer? There's so many games launching this summer. What happened to last year? There was like nothing last year. 
I guess COVID, so none, they couldn't launch anything last year. Could be. What the fuck? There's already people at level like 26 or something. Well, maybe they started as early as Wally did. I can't do anything. I accidentally used my shit. What do you mean you accidentally used their shit? Where do I get lean boneless meat? Also, how do you even heal up in this game anyways? By meditating or press F4? Yeah, is there no pots I can use? There is. Go buy them yourself. What? You don't get any from quests? That's BS. Know. Quest Arts always gives you pots in other games. Rock. Uh... Oh. I guess I'm supposed to... So the go... Oops. So the ghost corrupted by negative chi is fighting the Imperial Guard. But they're both aggressive. But I'm supposed to clean the ghost corrupted, but the guard Imperial Guards are hostile. Yes. This doesn't really make much sense to me. This is bad translation, I guess. Like whose side am I on? I guess I would have to figure read the story to figure out. But I'm not doing that. Of course you're not. Well, why don't you read the story and tell me? What? Yeah, read the um, story. I can't read. I don't know how to read. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you play Striker. You forget how to read. Mm -hmm. Damn. Sucks, man. Is that bad? What the fuck? What kind of attack is that? for a quest nice and i and uh i'm upgrading my envoy of the on way of tortoise led tortoise lantern or whatever <laughs> can't even say it Damn. life's end I guess people are already making guilds. Mm -hmm. I guess people like every MMO out there. Yep. No they start making guilds in beta. It's crazy. But that's what you have to do. You have to you have to make your guild in beta so that you can uh, become a top guild when the game starts. If you make it too it late, like that? yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. You know, you know, on PWI, Calamity was the top guild on Dreamweaver, and they were the first guild. To be made when the first skill to be made, so you know, the earlier you oh. make your guild, the more likely it is you become oh. a top guild. We're not top, so I guess can't make, can't make. Well, you are top because you're you're leveling faster than me, I guess. What? No, you're way ahead of me. Wow, you're three levels ahead of me. I mean, it's I've been, but I also been playing three hours longer, so like that's only one level per hour, that's nothing. GG. One level per hour is nothing. Uh, 
些遗骨上的邪气，在我体内激荡出。I mean, I feel like this isn't really a pet. If it can talk to you, though, like what's it called, a pet? That it should be called a... fairy, maybe. That would be a name that makes more sense. Oh, level twenty-three. Woohoo! Oh wait, I don't want to go to the village yet, right? I have I still have quests I can complete here. I guess so. Oh, but there's also quests I haven't I haven't took yet. So what's more worth it? Do I go to the next area? I guess the I guess I should go to the next area as soon as possible, right? Because that means that um I'll be doing harder quests, which gives more EXP compared to staying here and doing quests, yeah. which are probably less EXP. I think that's how it works. Generally. I don't know. But what about all these quests that I still have? Open your inventory. Collect click extraction. Right kick light focus crystal. Open the sea. Sea of fog wine. Can't be useful writing, I'll just dismount. Okay. Upgrade this. What is extraction? Extract the night scent. Oh. And now it becomes spoiled night scent. What? Why was that a good thing? I'll go here. Well, what's it a good thing to turn the night scent to spoiled night scent? I thought we don't want things to be spoiled. <laughs> isn't 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 it bad that it's spoiled? Mm-hmm. I don't know. All right. Oh, I got several more avatars. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What are the avatars even used for? I don't even see where I put them on. What do you mean? You click on your thing. I don't know. What? What, what are you talking okay, about? Okay. Okay. Move your cursor over the badge. The badge? What badge? You, you see that culture one that you have near your name and level? That uh huh. Have... Alright. A title right accolade. No, no, no. The, the, the other one. The other one. The one. Here, here. Wait, wait. Go. Put uh... your cursor on your name. The, the, the other name. The other one. Top left. Top left. Oh, where, where all your buffs is? Yeah, you have go. got to be kidding me. I just that's so meme. Oh. That's so meme. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just like, I don't know, some sort of buffs or something. Because, like, here's your buff. So, I thought that was another buff. How was I supposed to know that's the avatar? God damn it. What's the avatar even for? It's oh, so the... when someone clicks on you, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, this it's frame not even. Avatar. Really? Wait, but when I click on someone, it doesn't even... Okay, no, they have to set it. Okay, yeah, it is for when someone clicks on you. You can see their avatar. Oh, Man. wait. We... we can start du dueling right now. It's crazy. All right, I'll duel you. Where are Wait, you? Devastator Pioneer, unchallenged. I guess there's world bosses. Wait, where are you? I'm at the uh, Wage One. Wait, Wage One. Wage okay. One. What the I fuck? Miss. Can you come to me? I'm, I'm still in the city. I don't know. Where are you? Uh, Cloud. 
district of Chang'e. Huh? Oh, I see it. But how do I get there, though? You go, you go to the map, and then you. It's it's not easy to get there. What? What are you talking? About? How do I get to you? Alright, wait, where, where, where are you right now? I'm at Wei Twin Highlands. Wei Twin Highlands, maybe. I. Oh, which one Highland? Damn, I have not unlocked that place yet. Damn. See, you oh, two ahead wait. of me. You can you can press V to emote. That's how you know this game is good. I guess you can press V and meme them after you kill them in PvP. Yeah, because it's a quick slot, you know. If if it's a quick slot, you know it's good. Damn. <laughs> I guess you can teabag. Not not sure if that will provoke uh uh more oh, for PK. Sure. For sure, it definitely looks <laughs> BK. I get that's that's a good thing. Uh, well, I don't know if it's it's if this is gonna be an arena game, then it might be not. But we'll see. We'll see when the we'll open see if world... it's an arena game or not, or an open world game. I have to open the Tianquan Bag One. What? What the fuck is Tianquan Bag 1? So that's just supposed to be inventory? The night sent you extracted and received the... Or... What? What? But I got night sent spoiled. It says I'm supposed to receive night sent refined. Nice. Or night sent excellent. So I have to, it's not have to get more night sent. But where did I get the night sent from, even? I don't even remember anymore. You got to be kidding me. Do you talk to a bird? I talk to a bird? Yeah. Not really. Normal Little people, rascal. Damn. People don't usually talk to birds. Damn. Oh, I got PvP seal stone. I can now upgrade my PvP weapon. Wait, what? That's not fair. What? What? What if you use that when we duel? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh. That's very bad. You know, that's that's encourage unfairness. But I don't even have a PvP weapon, I don't think. So how right, would that, I upgrade it? Alright, that's good to hear. Like I can't even use it right now. I don't even know how you use it actually. Well, I mean it's probably more better to put it in a PvP weapon than a PvE. Mm, nah. Damn. You have to get the advantage early when no one has the weapon, so you can quit while you're ahead. Oh, it's like arcade, you know. We should have quit after wrecking everyone on day one, rather than keep playing it. <laughs> Where, yeah, whereas us get wrecked in the final zone. <laughs> <laughs> but see, in this game, there's no PvP early on, even so, you can't even wreck people. Well, I mean, I think they want you to get like all the skill first, then you can PvP. All right, then just give us all the skill right now, easy. And you need to be high level. Oh. All right, then just give us the level right now, easy. Damn. Pooping. Mm. I guess this guy's called Sundery. Mm -hmm. Damn, people. Wait, how is this guy's name so long? Instrumental Warlord 420. 
What? You haven't, you haven't had that many characters in your name? I think so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Damn, that's 20. so long. 20 character it's... name. Damn, I've never seen that before. It's, it's usually maximum 14. Yeah, I've never seen that long of a name before. Damn. Maybe the game is good. Oh, we just have to see. Because the longer the name, the better the game is. Damn. I think just steal their moths. Fuck it. I mean, I guess it's shared anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. Okay. I'm actually gonna hide the pet. Wait, that's not where you hide it. The fuck? Where do you hide it? Wait a minute. Because the pen is just here. It looks kind of weird on my screen. Does this have it be there? Oh, fuck. Have they killed 16 of these? Yeah. Well, everyone is competing for them. Wait a minute. At least it's shared and you don't have to be in a party. I guess that's kind of a thing that games do, do these days as well compared to back in the day, so you have to be in the party. Now you just like just fight. You just instantly I, uh, I, I, get I guess in, you, but... you press G you 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 auto run. Oh. Well that's good to know. Wait, am I done the quest? What happened? No, wait, I, I wasn't done the quest. Wait, is this this world quest or what? Let me see. I think... I'm I confused. don't know. Wait, I think I only... I can only do the quest if I'm like over here. Oh, this is a zone quest. I have to be here. To do it. It's like a... It's like a time limited thing where I have to be in the zone to do. Okay, that's interesting. Wayne, how how do you use the uh, the outfit that they give you? I don't know. I was trying to figure that out myself, but then oh, I was just like, I just said screw it. It didn't really matter that much. We don't really need outfits right now. Did you do Nightmare of the Temple? I don't know what that is. Oh, you, you didn't do the, the other instant? Nope, I only did the beginning instance. Why, should I do the other instance? No, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just curious. Oh, okay. Oh, I can press F3 to rapidly heal for every two minutes. What? You didn't know about that? But, but wait, but it uses a potency though. Yeah, but you can just regenerate. It becomes less potent over time. How do you increase the potency? I don't know. Is that how I'm supposed to heal though? Yeah. Huh? Are you sure? No, just, just, you know what? Just meditate. <laughs> Why are these swamps so tanky right now? That's a good question. Oh damn, these swamps are tanky. I'm supposed to kill 16 of them? See, I don't like how some of these skills you still need target to use. 
Really? Yeah, some of these skills you have you still have your targets to use them. So it's I guess it's not really true action combat, so. Wait, how, are, how is this guy doing so much damage? You're you're missing something there. Ow. How can I be missing things? What, what, what level is that guy? Check, How do I check, check him? Check him. He's level 27? What? What's he what? doing? Damn, and he's doing that quest? How is this possible? Not crazy. Wait, how are these people so much higher level already? And why are they here? Actually, now that I think about it, these boss are level 25. And I'm only level 23. So why am I here? Why are you there? And why am I here? Wait, why did my stun not work on this guy? Oh, what level is this guy? Wait, these guys are level 25. What's going on? Wayne fucked up somewhere. Are they all are they all two levels higher than me, at least? You skipped something somewhere. But how? I don't know. I just been doing quests. How could I have skipped anything? I don't know to be honest with you. I'm just being mean by you again. How? I don't know. Just saying, I skip things. <laughs> Alright, let me just kill this guy and maybe I go back to where I was. It's so weird that these guys have say have emotes when they say stuff. I know, it, it does feel weird. It's, <laughs> it's so cheesy. <laughs> Alright, so I completed that. An area quest, and I got what? I got 100 Cloud Rider. What the fuck did that even do? You're a cloud. Yeah, we, 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 all we get is like this 10 point cloud stuff. What is that shit? Okay, I think maybe I go backwards to the previous region and complete all the side quests, or I don't know, side quest slash main quest there. Maybe. How do I go back? Here we go. Let's see. All right. Okay, so yeah, I see a bunch of explanation mark. So maybe those are the quests I need to accomplish first. And maybe also Nightmare Temple of Mercy? Should I be yeah. doing these ones? Mm-hmm, that's the one. Oh, wait, it's a team instance. Yep. Why? Should we be doing them? Yeah, or we what? should be doing them. Wow, right, they give like... How do, do them? How do we do them? Go, go to Chang'e. But how? By going to Chang'e. Alright, wait. Let me look. Okay, I, 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 I see Chang'an City. Yeah. That's the one. All right, going there. All right. Bro, this is oh, so hey far away. Uh, duel? We're going to do team dungeon, I think. Or maybe we're going to duel, who knows.
All right, I I guess I'm coming up to District of Chang'an. All right. Where you at? I am. I'm now hopping on my sword. I guess at this point I switch to my belt. Where you at, man? Hey, wait one second. I'm at. South. East. So 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 you see Eastern Market. Uh huh. Keep uh south of that. Oh. What are you called? You see the Temple of Mercy? Yeah. Yeah, go there. <coughs> so what oh, are you I'm called? Doing, I'm do I'll be on the sky. Damn. I guess going back to the classic name, the famous name. Damn, what the fuck? The pop only takes no more damage. It's one of this fucking quest. I don't see you. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I was doing a quest. Oh, there you are. Damn. Alright. Square up. Except my friend request. I did. How do you duel? Square up. Let's go. Nice. Square up. Let's go. Six. <laughs> wait, wait. What? I need five players. What? You cheater. How did I cheat? <laughs> oh I, my I god. Stun wait, we're doing no damage. <laughs> Wait, we're doing no damage. What is going on? I don't know. What is going on? Bro, we don't even have enough. I know. Yo, we just. <laughs> Wait, what is this? You, you, you got. Uh... I I I, I parry you. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna kill that you that. Like that? There yeah. You See, you can parry yeah. me. But I guess I'm just gonna summon that to you. What the fuck? Why why do you do more damage to me? <laughs> I don't what? know. Higher level, I guess. This bullshit, bro. He's cheating. <laughs> it's just like it's just like how you cheated. When, Bro, uh, I do 17 damage to you. What the just fuck? Like how you cheated. <laughs> just like how you cheated by getting higher level than me. Nah. Or by, by catching up to me in the sa same amount of time it took me to get to this level. That's also cheating. Oh my god, this guy cheated. <laughs> Damn, you do no damage. Wait, what's the what's It's what's only a three level, level difference. What's your physical attack? It is... What the fuck? Where is it? It's 97. Oh my god, I have 70. That's not even a huge difference, though. Yes, it is! Alright, wait, wait. Here, here, here. Wait. What? Let me me meditate. Meditate? Fuck, man. I, we need to level up our meditate skills. It takes so fucking long. How do you level up your meditate skill? I don't know. Interesting. Alright. Alright. Let me send duel again. Alright. Alright. Alright, wait. Alright, so, so let's uh, let's see how, how, how much damage we do. Alright. Let me uh, let me auto attack you. Alright. Prescience. Wait, That's I think prescience. It's like the thing, uh, my mitigation, my SMO, where, where it's like chance to take half damage. Yeah, bro, you do. I, I do 11 damage, you do 14. Wait, is this you, the 24 then? That was a crit. You do so much more. But, See? No, but like, how? But like, 
But why do I still do so much more though? Because you have more physical attack. But it's such a but it's such a small amount of physical attack. All right, all right. I'm, I'm gonna try R and Z. Okay. 10, and 17, 21, 142, 42, 42. All, all right, right, let me try it. 194. Yeah, you do like 10. Five to ten more damage each skill. But you said 42, 42, 42. Well, maybe I crit. Maybe. What is this? That's like oh, five. That's... But it stuns. And then. Oh, this stunned me. Can you get, can you get out of that or what? No, it's a fucking four second stun. What the fuck? Okay, but what if you use your uh, shared device? My what? Shared device. Where CC me? Uh, Wait, CC me? I... Oh shit, my right. Yeah, wait, I can get out of that. Shared, shared demise. demise. Wait. Shared Do demise. I have that skill? You should. Wait, or... Wait, are there... Actually, I don't know. When did... when did I learn it? Oh, no, I... I, I, I don't have that skill equipped. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oh, you don't have any equipped. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know about it. Damn. So wait, that skill removes CC? Remove CC and makes me immune to CC for six seconds. Oh, that's good. But that's broken though. That's like uh, Elyon, all over again. Wait, how do I remove skill from skill bar? Uh, you have to hold down right mouse button. Wait. What? what? It doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? So, so hold down right mouse button and then track it. Oh, okay, now it works. This is dumb. GG. <laughs> alright, all right, wait, wait, alright, it's so. Let's, let's see how much it's nice cloud. Alright, negative two, two. Let's see how much you're doing. I did the uh, three. Four. Wait, so when I attack you, I see all of my damage combined together, but when you attack me, I see them as individual hits. Yeah. So how much did I do? Like. Like, I did, uh, 149 there. Wait, try, try again, try again, try again. Let's see. One, 176. Eight. Uh... Eight, one, two, eight. 167. 176. Yeah. 148. Oh, what the heck? That's so weird. 168. There's a huge so variance. No, no. So for you, you yeah. see, like, full damage. Yeah, I do. For me, I see like each hit. That that's literally what I just said. Oh, I I didn't hear you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah. So like, so how much do you do on me? I uh negative one thirty four. One thirty four. Yeah. Yeah, but it's but a huge variance though. 91. What the fuck? I did so low. Like, that was 188 right there. But then this time, it's 150. Wait, so what? It varies a lot. What What makes it varies? That's, uh, uh, that's why I, I, I want to know. Wait, wait. Let, let me try this. So I'm going to charge up my strike. I don't know. Alright, ready? Ready? What? Uh huh. What about now? I don't know. How much did you do? Uh, negative two hundred and ninety. Was that a crit? Uh, no, I I charged up my. Strike. Oh, you charged it up. Oh, okay. I can I can I, I can charge it up and see what happens. All right, this is a full charge. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you died. Oh, fuck. I couldn't see. Damn. Oh my god, it's fucking game. After today's duel, it has become clear to me that there are still many training partners who are stronger than me. I have more training to do. <laughs> My fucking character told me. <laughs> this is really addictive. That is pretty mean. Oh my god. I like how it says that automatically. <laughs> to discourage people dueling, I guess. Alright, ready? 
So you, so you can't you can't trash talk someone after dueling them because your character will automatically say that instead. Mm -hmm. It prevents you from trash talking. I um. I, I will charge it up. I right, charge it up. I right, you right. should be. Three forty-seven. Oh my god. What, wait, wait, you're two ninety? Uh, negative two eighty-eight. I did three seventy-four, so I'm like a whole, you like, almost a hundred yeah. damage more, I guess. Yeah, you like twenty percent dam damage more than me. But how does it scale like that? I don't know. Cause I only have ninety-seven physical attack, and I have seventy. So when I uh, hover hover over the skill. It says from 178 to 595. Oh, that's such a big scale. difference. That's such a diff big difference. But what does it mean? I guess we have to figure like, out, someone needs to figure out how the attack formula works in this game. I right, wait, charge, charge up and do your, your highest damage, Phantom Storm. Look, this, this does like no damage. Charge up what? Phantom Storm? Oh, right. First, power charge up your strike and then do Phantom Storm. I, I just want to see how much Wait, but charging do. up my strike doesn't affect Phantom Storm, though. Storm, though. Cloud I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Cloud Ripper, then? I think it only affects Cloud Ripper. Because this is Phantom Storm. And it does 197. And it didn't consume my strike at all. Let's see. I think Phantom Storm is like different mechanic. All right, let's stop. But uh, what I want to see is, what if I do this? Wait, hold on. Right. Like I do this. Right, there's really no combos, right? And then I go, and then I do this, and then I activate this, right? And I do that. That was 170, 171, and then 186. Okay. All right, let's let's, let's stop figuring out <laughs> combo. Right. We, we we need to get to level thirty. All Next. right. All right. I I know the PVP is fun, but relax. All right. Go end it. Go end it then. All right. How right. do you end it? Go go out of the zone. Oh, go out of the zone. Okay. You left dueling. Return dueling within eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three. All right. Wait. Damn. I guess. I guess. I, I guess lost. I won because you because, left first. Yeah. Yeah, alright, whatever. Damn, you got scammed. Um... Uh, let's join party. Where's my friends list? I don't know. Why do you have my friends list? Oh, oh. Oh. Wait, this is like exactly the same as the source of an online friends list. Damn, you can blacklist someone? Alright, team. You got the invite? Wait, what is my acquaintances? The fuck? Isn't that like your lover? No. Harsh spring. Look. That, that's like the exact opposite to me. Really? Damn. Acquaintances means someone who you met but don't really know. Oh. Make friends. Must exchange harsh spring. Why is this why is this person my acquaintance? I don't even get it. Damn. I friends. have no acquaintance. I went. You, yeah. you ready? You ready to go? I guess you can. You can have a friendship symbol. You know, you can be like friendship bracelet, like in high school. Wait, where do we I, go? Come here. We, we'll oh, do Nightmare drill. Temple of Mercy. Mm -hmm. We we'll do drill. Level yeah. eighteen, wreck man. In the child's absurd dreams, the peace of the temple is lost forever. It seems to have become an inescapable hell. The source of all these sins is the stranger's sword shrouded in negativity. What? <laughs> Damn, this dungeon only gives 8,400 EXP. Wait, so that's like bad that? then. Well, you, 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 you don't have the quest, do you? What quest? 
you, I'm just trying to have you, a quest. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I think you do have the quest. Yeah, I have like three quests, right? Is that what you have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then, then we get more than that. We get like 20,000 with the quest. All right. All right. 20,000? That's OP. All right. That's here, you know, here, collect all them. And then we'll do Cloud Whipper. All right. Damn. Yeah. I, I guess we're resolving the painful memory by killing them. Mm -hmm. If only things were that simple wait, in real wait, life. Wait, remember to do your quest. Wait, what? Yeah. I am coming. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, your quest. Oh, right. Bruh. These things. Yeah, man. What's wait, this what? happen? Why is there a cutscene? What? What? We're fighting a uh, mini oh. boss already? I'm not gonna finish the quest then. Damn. Damn, if only you can fight your nightmares in real life and, and then just resolve them that way, you know? Nah, but in game you have to fight against them. Just, just punch, the, punch your problems away. Damn. I guess just punch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> punch away your problems. Like he said, go with the violent solution. Yeah, just just like Manhas. Mm, no, no, that's not <laughs> what I meant. So Alright. There's All right. this guy. Damn, this guy Damn. is trash. So easy. Oh, th th this is practice mode. True. We need level 45 for the normal mode, apparently. 45? That's what it said. No, we, we need level 36 for the normal. For the hard mode, 45. Really? I thought it said 45. No, uh, no, 45 is the uh, hard mode. Damn. I, I could have sworn. But uh, who knows? Oh, this fucking oh. guy, man. Wait, dude, that wasn't even a mini boss. That was Wait, just a generic it's... mob. Damn. We got scammed. Wait, what? Why can't this guy be stunned? Oh, there we go. Honestly, that parry's OP. I'm not gonna lie. Our parry is just so good. Damn, infinity main. Mm -hmm. Bruh, it's like... I don't know though. You, you counter attack right away. But I guess all they have to do is stop spamming skills. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I mean the parry, it doesn't work but again. I guess, I guess you can uh, cancel that at any time, just like infinity. But wait, it can't... But see, it consumes edge though, so you can't like use it forever. You know, that's the problem. Well, the, the point is to get them like in your first when they do like right away, so then you you won't consume a lot of edge. I guess you just have to. Uh... Oh, Paul of Damn. You have that to time it to their attack. Yeah, yeah, time it. Damn, even in like the dungeon, all we do is press F. We're collecting stuff. And we have to do this like a total of 10 times. Are you ready? Yep. Alright. Probably gonna be pretty easy though. <laughs> I guess. We can just CC it, you know. Oh wait, what's going on now? Did they have multiple phases? It looked like it died for a second there, but then it suddenly had it regained all of its health. Everybody's just crazy. Who knows? Who knows? It's, it's, it's still gonna die either way. Alright, so it's like dying now, right? It's like almost dead, isn't it? Okay, yeah. no, it's okay. Dead. 
All right, let's see what do we get. I like how you kick the chest to open it. <laughs> That's like so fucking weird. So Papega. All right, uh, what do we go next? I think this oh. way, right? Wait, what's what's what, what's? Oh yeah, it is. It is. Oh. Wait, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's a spawn point. Oh. What are these things? Like, just people. Like, what is this? Wait, so what do I do with like trash to your cook? Can I like dismantle them? Uh, yeah, you can feed them to your pets. What? Yeah, it's like fairy on BDO. Really, should have just been called a fairy though. It's not really a pet. It's, it actually is like able to have a conversation with you. It's more like a fairy or a guide or something than a pet. Mm -hmm. Probably a guy, honestly. You know, it's like a fairy in uh, Zelda or something. I don't know. Mm -mm. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back in a minute. One sec. All right. Should I kill these mobs or no? Uh, go ahead if you want. Doesn't matter. I don't know if you're gonna be you're gonna get it though. That's what I'm wondering. Like, what what if you have to kill them yourself, or do DPS to actually get it for the quest? Like doing a wipe before the release. It looks like. What they're asking. I think they're doing a wipe before before the release though. I mean, I would hope they do. Alright. Um I guess I will just lure them off too bad. Maybe that maybe that's how we uh make sure he gets the kill. Gets the credit. Oh wait, I can actually just sneak past him and do these ones first. Like these ones don't even see me. <laughs> they're red, me, which means they're supposed to be aggressive. Oh, there they, there we go. Fuck, oh, they slow me down immediately. What the hell? Oh, I guess I have no choice. It is starting now. What is what is this? Oh, that just tells you. Where the skill is gonna happen. Alright, well, I guess no choice but to aggro them all. I sure hope he got those quests, because otherwise, that would be pretty unfortunate. Alright, I'm back. Did you, get was, the, uh... did you get the kills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, good. I was afraid you wouldn't get them. Nah, we're in the same team, so we should. Oh, who knows? Sometimes uh, you I'll... have to hit it. I was showing my parents how to use the... The... Like... Air conditioners. What? Well, they they don't know how to use the air conditioner? No. Damn. Well, well, cause we, we, we moved to a new place and it has like a... Like a centralized air conditioner where you can like... Control which room is hot and heat, you know? Damn. Alright. I thought you I thought you moved out by yourself. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I guess you just moved <laughs> with your parents. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. So 
so so I guess we we should charge our strike and then do cloud ripper for more damage or what? Maybe. But at the same time, it's like just it's just like your normal strikes does so little damage. I wonder if it's actually worth charging in PVE. Like you should just just be just holding spamming R RMB at all times. Maybe. You think RMB? I don't. I don't really know. Like I don't know if if that what's more often in PVE. Like I'm assuming in PVP, yeah, you would probably want to like charge them for burst damage. But like I in PVE, die. I don't know. I go all of them. The fuck are they shooting laser? No, that's just an indicator of where they're gonna attack next. Oh, okay. Like what the fuck? What kind of ancient fucking mob is this? It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's not very, it's not very explanatory. Damn. Wait, we only got forty nine. No, no, there's there's there's, there's oh. more. One more, I think, huh? And I, I I think that's the the boss. I don't know. This guy's from EU. Is one twenty ping. Why oh, is he from EU? This is the NA server. On the wrong server, man. Oh, some people just like playing on uh, NA or I don't know. Damn. Damn, this boss has one horn. We're already fighting the boss. That means uh, we're we're just one mob away from finishing the quest. We're not going to finish it. Uh, I I mean, we can just reset, join in, and then we kill one mob and then we leave. <laughs> What the hell is this thing? It's a starry sky. What are you sprinting? Yeah. But I'm but why? I'm not. And I'm almost as fast as you are. What the fuck? Why why are you not sprinting? That's weird. Alright, let's go. Damn, I didn't even do a lot of damage. I only did like ten percent. <laughs> and then we can always just stun lock it. Oh wait, we can't. St we have to wait for one stun to be over before doing the next stun. Stun doesn't stack. Or st wait, I don't get it. It doesn't stack. No, but sometimes it stacks though. Like sometimes what? it doesn't. Wait, so so when when I do the phantom thing, am I like safe or CC for like one second? So oh, we finished the mob quest. Killing without a trace makes you invincible while you do it. So maybe it says it makes you invincible. Yeah, so it should be an iframe. It could be. Why did it not work for you? No, it, it did. I'm just curious. Oh. Was... Well, let's see what you get. Damn, that's it. Well, no, we we see we get rocks and there's gear in the rock, you know. Really? Yeah, there's gear in the rocks. So you have to open this. And what do we get? We get I got a headgear. Oh, what? I got a headgear. What's it called? Starfrost brocade headgear. What? You got the same thing as me. What? Wait, how do you get the exact same thing? How's that possible? What? Alright, let's, let's leave and complete our quest. But how do we complete the quest? We go outside and talk to people. What? No, but there, there was one more kill. We only got 49 out of 50. No, no, we, we, we got the 50. Wait, did we? Yeah, the boss was the last mob. The boss was the last mob? What kind of meme is this? Well, it is what it is. How can the boss be a mob? Oh, just do your quest, man. I'm being trolled. Oh, fuck! What? Collect two swan symptom. I need one more. Let me re -enter. What? Let me re-enter. I, I guess you don't really need me to re-enter. You can just do that by yourself. That's pretty simple, right? Let's go in and no. collect. 
Wait, where is it? Oh my god, is that a specific spot? You're kidding me. Wait. <laughs> what? You oh can't, you my. can't just collect the first one? No. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I guess I won't go in with you. Alright, just, 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 just go in and redo this again. Okay, who cares? Uh, what the fuck? How Listen, you... we, we get a purple key at the end, right? <laughs> How did you fuck up? That badly. Wait, is it better to do dungeon than quest? Because look, what? if we finish the dungeon, we get nine thousand exp every time. Yeah, every time. Impossible. Okay, wait. All right, all right. Where does it say that? All right, wait, wait. My exp is fifteen thousand right now. All right. Uh huh. So let's uh, let's finish this dungeon and then we'll see. Okay, but where did you see it says nine thousand though? I, I don't know, I just guessed. What? what do you mean you just guessed? Yeah. How how do you guess how much EXP? Alright, wait, 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 what what's your ESP at right now? It is at thirty-four thousand four hundred and fifty-four. Alright. Now let's let's finish this dungeon and see what what, what happened. Alright, let me type this. In... All right. 4,454. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. Alright. What the fuck? What was that? This I don't know. Wait, that's, that's so random. Their body is a rag though after dying. Do you see this? Yep. That's so that's random. What people said. But that's so random. People said that after they die, you get a responsive uh, mob. <laughs> but that's so random, though. It fuck is. Fuck you, dude. Alright, fuck you, too, Chase. Oh, damn. I what guess did I, Chase... What did I do to you? Shantongdur. <laughs> No, I didn't. You gave away the code yourself. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Alright, see? See how the bar is, like, depleted? It has, like, two bars. Mm -hmm. That's what That's what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. But you know, to be honest, Chase, I don't think you would be able to do play this game anyways. The quest, the questing is probably too hard for you. So, it's, you know, probably is. I think I uh, did you a favor. To be fair. Damn, I told that's so you, so I, I gave it to Sasu. No, you told me to give it to Sasu. I followed your instructions, How, so you gave it away. I wouldn't have given it away if you didn't tell me to give it to her. Hey, GTX Titan is here. I wonder if that's the same GTX Titan from BDO. Where? How? Oh, Who? Rock chat. How the come I, I don't... Well, you probably weren't paying attention to World Chat. The game looks like trash. Yeah, like, the, like for sure the first impression of the game is probably... Not gonna be good for people. That's the that's. The well, thing. well, if you compare it to BDO, of course it's trash. This BDO is a custom engine. Well, I mean, also the fact that like the questing sucks, though. Mm -hmm. But all that depends is whether this is going to be a combo game or an SA trade game. Oh, it's right here. That's what I missed. Damn. Damn. Nice. Now I finish. Why are these nightmare? 
guards. They uh, they prevent you from destroying your nightmares. No, but see, they they're they're saying that they don't want to kill anyone. To be honest, it looks very nice. Uh, yeah, I don't think like the graphics itself is bad per se. It's just that some people who have uh, played BDO might, if they compare it to BDO, just, then just it's kind of come here. We'll kill the not boss. a fair comparison. Is W O Bunny in this Discord? What? I don't think so. Um, What's up, well, I, I disagree with you, W O Bunny. Like this game looks trash, bro. What? I mean, I think people will probably have their own opinion. But like, I don't want to judge a game. Just looking at the PVE, I'm really here to see how the game PvE looks. Is going trash to be, than, so. uh, perfect. This game looks trashier than the Perfect World. What? A oh, perfect world is okay. I think the key, in terms of graphics, this game probably has a better graphics engine. Oh, this game's RTX. Uh... Grab back. Coming from a veteran MMO player, I've seen it all. Uh, well, did you play like what Skyforge or something, bro? Look, Wayne. What? Priceless technique from Bloss Art. See that? From Bloss Art. From oh, Swordsman Online. Oh, yeah. Traceless technique. <laughs> At least uh, a shadow behind. Alright. Yeah, for me personally, I mainly just played like maybe Perfect Girl for most of the time. Probably like only one or two MMOs. Mainly been focusing on uh, PvP. Yeah, that's what that's mainly what I'm looking at myself as well. But I'm sure some people will probably take a look at the graphics. So like some for some people, first impression mean, means a lot. You oh, bunny, you must have a you must be playing on like a laptop. Hello. With, uh, hey, what's integrated up, Wally? graphics. Hey, Wally. I guess my um, heater is currently unlit. Water right. heater. Wait, what's what's your? Okay. So are you guys playing solo or still? Why are you so loud? One sec, one sec. Oh no no no! Don't touch it. I I'm testing random settings. Oh, is it? Here I put my Bunny. back down. Bunny, I, I disagree with you because I think you. you're... I, I I don't know how many words I'm are being cut out for me right now. <laughs> Um, Wayne, I'm not. I'm not hearing anything cut out right now. Oh God, is that fucking? I think, I think it's fine. Ding dong, dang, dumbass. It's, What's your? I guess I have to do Yeah, Wayne. So okay, so so right now I'm at a forty-two point nine k. So I I did see the plus eight thousand. I I think that was what we got after killing the last guy, right? Yeah. Why are the numbers so big? So what, do you think just running the dungeon is faster than doing quests? Good question. I don't know. How How long did it take us? I guess we can time it. Like speed run the dungeon compared to doing a few All right, quests. Let's speed run it. Let's speed run it. Let's see who it. is faster. Uh, yeah, but I, some of these games, you're always locked behind doing the questing to get to that shit. So you may have to do questing regardless. So you think we have to do quests in order to unlock the um, ability to PvP? Well, like a lot of the times, all that shit's gated behind quests and progression anyways. It could be. But when I press L, or not L, press J and look at tactical PvP, it says, I have to reach the Realm of Enlightenment. And Ben was saying that it just means I have to reach level 36. Yeah, which is level 36. So if it's yeah, only but is that the realm of, of enlightenment? Is that like a place? No, no. Once you read level thirty-six, you do a quest, and then it will reset you back to level thirty-one. What? And then you reach enlightenment. That's pretty weird. Oh, and I got a ring this time. Damn, lucky you. Played an old ass MMO, MMO called Show Online, any an Asian one, Chinese mythology, so give me some nostalgia. All right, Wayne, you, you, you ready? Uh, We've got to do a speedrun this time. Okay, we can do a speedrun this time. Check. 
Koyo, uh, what do I do on stage? Do I you, just you have time already? Yeah, well, I'm hoping this one turns turns out to be good. Like, of course, what Mostly, I hope the game itself will be good. We're awakening sage. Do I just have to see how it is? Grab shift R and B and go for the. Yeah, let, let's go to audio file and I can tell you real quick. Wait, where are you, Ben? Uh, are are you inside? I am inside. Oh, all right. Tell me when you start the timer. Um, one sec. Let me grab a. Chase, what does that even mean? Someone isn't a noob just because they uh like the game. And you hate the game. It's just difference of opinion. All right. Starting now. All right, let's go. All right, time to All speed right, so, run, I guess. So don't don't kill this mob. Just collect them. Just collect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, for you, you shouldn't have. You haven't even played the game yet. So how how would you know the game is is bad? And then we'll keep going. Wait, do these all have infinite aggro range? Yep. All right, ready? Come here, come here. All right, go. All right. Use your eyes. All right, skip. Take a bit longer to kill, I think. All right, let's go. So that's one minute so far. Oh. What the fuck is Poptropia? What are you even talking about? I want to activate this. I think this one is like good extra DPS. And I can CC it to interrupt the attacks. Why? What's what's this skill call? Uh, it's just my six second stun. I think you can use that to oh, interrupt. That one? Yeah. Uh, then you don't have to dodge it. I open the chest. Oh my I mean, God, Chase, if you're it. trying to compare the game to BDO, like, not every game can be at BDO's level of graphics, but I don't think it really matters if they're not. I mean, your your favorite game is PWI, Chase, and that has 2008 graphics. Alright, let's keep going. We'll grab all this and then we'll go straight to the he didn't because he didn't get key. Yeah, he, 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 he didn't get key. That is, you are right on that, actually. How did you guess? Fuck, they, they slow you down. God damn. Okay, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll just collect them all right here and then we'll kill them. And they do pretty high damage. We're not gonna... Oh shit, your HP is pretty low now. Alright. All right. I'm gonna meditate. Don't need a key to play a game that looks like 2003. All right. Well, you know, you can always watch the stream instead of uh, playing it yourself. So that All works right. for you as well. You don't have to play it. No one's forcing you to play it. Okay. I guess we'll sort of group them. Is this guy bug? Is it? Do we have? To, wait, do we even have to kill all of them? No, I don't think so. As long as we complete the dungeon. Oh, okay.
So it's already been four minutes, actually. Uh, so... Well, the last boss is right after this, so... True. I guess... Less than ten minutes, I would say? But do we even need There's... to kill all these mobs, though? Yeah, we have to. We have to kill to progress? Yeah. Oh, I think... I, 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 I don't know, I'm not sure. What wait, class wait, am I one playing? One. I'm playing a class called Berserker. It's like, uh, I have a great sword, but I can also, like, summon these mirror images or whatever. And then I can kind of control them to attack the enemy, which helps with DPS. So it kind of looks like I have to control my uh, skills in order to have a balance between mirror images it's and DPS normally or something like that. Unskippable, unfortunately. Damn. That's cutting into our speedrun times. Mm -hmm. They have five minutes. Alright, time for traceless technique. How do, you know, how do you know traceless technique? You didn't have that on SMO. No, but, but pe people that uh, pay to win use it, so I know about <laughs> it. Alright. Alright, come on. Mm -hmm. Why, did, did you have that skill? Nope. If you play games with how they look, then you truly have zero clues about games. Yeah, for sure. And plus, one of the popular games these days is Among Us. Like, yeah, yeah. It has no graphics. So for people who care so much about graphics, it's kind of weird. Wait, do you hear me? I, I, yeah, I hear you now. Alright, alright. In games you every player, I doubt it. Alright, what, what's their time? What's their time? We're at uh, 6 minutes 30 seconds. I mean, I, I offered you a key and you said you didn't want it and, to, and you said I can give it away, so I don't know what to tell you. Damn, Chase is just... ...memeing? I don't know what to tell you, man. You said you didn't want it. Uh... So I don't know, we got like 8.4k EXP. Is it better than doing us? Because like... I don't know. I don't know. What's what level is the next dungeon? Like, what, like what was that? Almost like almost seven minutes. The only real thing we got is that I guess we can. We're we're getting gear from it. Did do you get any decent gear? I got a belt this time. Oh, nice. Let's see what did I get again. Oh, I got boots. You got boots this time? Yeah. That's a duplicate, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, at least I already had the boots. I don't know about you. Um. But then, okay, so, but then if we were to do quests, like, can we do like multiple quests in the time it takes us to do one dungeon run? I don't really know. See, hey, I'm I'm trying to get a weapon. <laughs> oh. So what, do you want you to are... keep doing the runs until we get all the gear pieces and then do quests or what? Yeah, yeah, let's do that because maybe it'll be... If we can get a, like, a weapon, that would be really amazing. Hmm. I wish I... you can run, in the, like you can sprint in the dungeon, that would make it faster. Well, no games will allow you to sprint in the dungeon, that's just... <laughs> what do you mean? Alright. It's just, it's just because sprinting is like not a actual part of the combat mechanic. It's just kind of something they put in yeah. for you to get to places faster. You can't even sprint in combat. It's like Blade and Souls. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least we have dash. 
We do. I don't actually know what the dash. It's like it's the dash and knife frame. I'm assuming it is. That's a good question. I don't know. Wait, why did I take so much damage? I don't know. I pulled the mobs. Oh. I don't understand. I think I can actually control the summons while I'm moving and attacking at the same time. Yeah, I believe so. Damn, if only one of us is, is a tank. Why? So then... You, I don't take a lot of damage, but it's whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, we'll, we'll both do high damage so we kill quicker. Yep. You can press your 3 to uh, increase your tankiness for... Uh... Six seconds, you know. And then, you, and then you can stun them to interrupt his uh, attacks. Is, is, is there? A, we we haven't found pot in this game yet. Well, I, I... do we really need pots when you can meditate and rapid heal? Nothing good, I guess. What is Ching Chingling Elementary? Um, I have no idea. I think. Uh. And then, like, here, how can you increase it? Can be used to like increase the XP of your companion. So wait, what is to increase our friendship level? Is that what it is? Damn. Like, what is the companion? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, what was the you? Oh, it was O, right? And then if you go into friends, no way, that's not it. How do I make you my friend? What do you mean? I am your friend. No, no, like like friend friendship. Like there's a column for friendship. Oh, that yeah. See, it must be exchanged for a promise in the heartstring shop. Damn. They go to heartstring shop. But what's the difference between friend and friend? Like, well, maybe we get like. 10% we, we get a we get a friendship yeah. bracelet. Yes. Wait, you got the same weapon as me. Well, why, why why do you have more physical? Maybe higher level? Oh yeah, that's true. But still, it's just the level itself affected so much. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be level up soon, so we'll see. Damn, that was not a good pull. No. Damn. The fact that they slow you as you walk into them. Makes it difficult. Damn, this guy's 39, he can't grind this on 144p. No man, I'm out I'm actually at like 110 FPS right now. I mean it's playable. It's totally playable. Well as as long as it's not BDO, I'm sure the FPS doesn't matter. Or, at least I hope it doesn't. BDO is like the only game I saw where FPS actually has a real in-game effect. The fuck is that like? Is this... Man, my ping is like 110. I think I'm at 62. Damn, maybe it's just my shitty router. I'm at 31, 56. Maybe it's worth investing in a good router. Yeah. Just, just, just uh, come, come, come to the boss. Bring, bring, bring everyone here. All right.
Here, you know what? Let's uh, let's let's leave them. Let's leave them. I'll go, go see if you, I can you go. Sure? I'm gonna see if we can go here. All right, try it. Yeah, we can. We can. Really? We can. Leave them. Yeah. Wait. Oh my god, it's a fucking cutscene. Come on! Please! Wait. How come you teleported? I got the cutscene, but I'm still not teleported. Yeah. So now so now I'm just behind. Wait, how are you already over there? Keck. What? <laughs> how am I so slow? Oh. See this? See, like, I told you, you're cheating. You have, you <laughs> oh, have, like, I'm cheating. speed hat. No, I don't. How see, look at ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just like how you are already caught up to me in levels, even though I started earlier. Nah. It is regular. Oh fuck! I just wasted that. Oh. I I I wonder what level we get specialist skills. Yeah, what? The the drunken master skill. Um. Is that a skill or is that? The, the like the style. Maybe style. I don't I'm pretty know. sure you can already do it. Really? Yeah. So press right, K. Level Twenty-one. Press K, right? Yeah. And then you see how at the top there's a button that says switch. Mm -hmm. So press that. Oh. All right. Congratulations. You can now be a drunken master. Wait, wait. What? What's your physical attack? It is ninety-eight. What the fuck? What? I I I I didn't gain that much. Oh. What are you at? I'm at seventy-seven still. Like that's so low. Really? Hmm. Oh, I got the necklace this time. Wait, we're getting unique gear every time. Are you getting yeah. unique here every time? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Like, is that just good luck? Because I would have thought that we would see some duplicates by now, but if, like, the game actually keeps track of what gear you already has and then makes it so that you don't get repeats, that would actually be really good. That is would be really good. Not yeah. a lot of fucking game do that. I, I, actually, no I, game I do that. it's just good RNG that we, we I, haven't gotten a single repeat yet. Should, should I try Drunken Master? If you want to. Alright, let's I'm gonna try it. What time is it? Ten o'clock? Alright, I'll sleep at twelve today. <laughs> Damn. Uh you wanna do one or two more? Maybe, maybe we can get a weapon. I, how, I, how do I don't you even know. know it drops a weapon? That's the thing. We'll just have to find out. Alright, I guess we're just gonna keep doing it until we get every single piece of gear. <laughs> And you know the thing what? is? What? The quest gear is going to be better. The I'm what? calling it. The quest gear is going to be better. You're calling it? Mm hmm. Alright, let's fucking do it. I will we'll do it until we get a weapon. No, th like, th that's what I'm betting on. I'm betting the quest gear is going to be better because you, earlier I, I did the other dungeon and then I got like, two, like two, three pieces of purple. And then every quest gear I got was better. Fuck, are you inside already? Oh shit. I'm behind. So, it's, so it just turns out that... Like, it might not even be worth it to grind this place for gear. Oh, well, maybe it's worth it for EXP, but I don't know. Just the, the main quest EXP is just so little. But well, that's what also what we're trying to figure out right now, right? But see, it takes like six minutes to do one run. Whereas for the main quest, maybe we can do like in less time. You think so? I don't know. Maybe. 
Right. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll do one more run after this and then... We'll how, what do you feel? Like, how long do you feel like it takes you to do like three quests of the main quest line? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't keep track. Man. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? This cliff? What? This what? cliff will increase your skill. What do you mean? I didn't see anything. If you press K and then you go top, no, bottom right, it shows cliff. I guess you were pressing K while in combat with this guy. Yep. Ow. I need to see what else. Like I said, what cheating. What? How were you fighting while, while, while looking at the K menu? What do you mean? Where's Glyphs? Press K and then see Glyphs. Glyphs or whatever you call them. Huh? Oh, down here. Oh, wait, what the heck? Yeah, so if you score, it says replace ship skill shadow. Like it changed the skill or make the skill better. Hmm. That's. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to affect how you play the class a lot. Like maybe different people have different play style. Depending yeah. on what glyphs they use. But they're all locked, so we can't really tell anything right now. But that could actually, um, I don't know, end up being... Pretty high skill cap, or it could just end up being a, one. One might just be the meta. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I hate this slow debuff. Uh huh. I'll, I'll call and meditate 10 seconds. Alright. I guess I should pull the next one then. Sure. Wait, what the heck? My, my things disappeared. But see, I wonder if we can just sneak by them. No, we not. can't. They're, they're red. Uh... I don't know. Early, I was able to sneak by a bunch of them. Really? Yep. Just while you were away. I did not know that. We, 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 we could try it in our last attempt. I wonder if you still get the same amount of EXP. If you sneak by right, them, Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't attack them. Don't uh -huh. attack them. Alright, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just... No, no. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Yep. All right, all right. Can you go? Well, wait, I can't. Cause I'm no, combat. okay, let's let's let's. let's no, okay. no, we have to. Let's so we have to kill these two, right? We kill these two guys. Mhm. Mm all right. And then we can... So we actually we just go? skipped all those guys. Oh! The fuck? Alright. New speedrun strategy? <laughs> just sneak by the mobs instead of fighting them. We don't get EXP from the mobs, do we? No, we don't. We, we only get EXP from finishing the dungeon. Hmm. That's, that's one thing. That is bad about, I think. Damn, why does it look like your character is dropping? Like it's about to fall off. Damn, why are you so slow? Am I dropping? Can I actually fall off? Try Fuck. it. I dare you. What? Oh my <laughs> god, Wayne. What? You, you said to try it. Bro, I blame you. 
What? What do you mean? What are you, you talking You said about? to try it, so I did. Nah. Nah. Where did that even respawn? Wait, I respawned all the way back here. What? I respawned all the way back to the previous portal. I have no comment. Did I lose the XP? I didn't lose the XP at least. Wait, well, no, no, we have we have a buff that says no. We we, we have the novice buff. What's that? I don't know. Uh, now I'm just sneak past people? these mobs. All right, that was a success. How do you use PVE seal stone? Ready? Alright, I'm here. I think that's probably to like enhance your gear or something. Yeah, but how do we add it? I have no idea. Yeah. I'm guessing there will be an NPC that maybe lets us use it to enhance or something later on. Oh, maybe it's time to check the blacksmith. Think it's gonna be at the blacksmith? Could be. This is falling at RMB. Alright, so I leveled to 24. Nice. Okay. Let's see what I get. I guess there's no real limits, right? To how many dungeons run we can do. No. Oh, I got two this time. And I got a boot and I got a trouser. Wait, these are actually unique though. Like so far I've not gotten a single repeat. Wait, you got two? Uh-huh. The fuck I didn't get two. I got two and not a single repeat. I guess we keep doing it or until we Yeah. We see what happens when you get everything. Alright. See, I should be the one getting weapon. You you don't need a new weapon. GG? Well, I haven't gotten a weapon either, so... What do you mean? You have like 90 physical attack. But I don't have a weapon. What? Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah. So it's the one you're holding right now. What's your weapon? Hmm. Oh, wait, I can check your gear when you get here, right? I check it. Well, bro, we have the same one. I shit you not, is it? Let's see. Show info. I can make you my apprentice. I can make you my apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> wait, how do you check gear? Show. Click show info. Oh, show info. Bro, we have the same gear. But why do you have more? Oh, damn! You, I'm higher level. Ring? I guess I'm just higher level than you. Man, it's fucking bullshit. Fuck, I hate this game. Do I have a better ring than you? Don't you have the same ring? No, I I, I think one of your rings is better than mine. Really? Yeah. But your ring is purple as well. Did you not no, get it but, from but... this place? Uh, no, I don't from think somewhere so. else? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. So, like, can we sneak past the, these guys? Alright, alright. No. No, we can't. You're already attacked. You fucked Damn. up. <laughs> Alright. 
What? People's what? OE level 36? What? Look, it says looking for four players, all normal dungeon. Where? Rank student. No, look, I got the longest name in the game. They're doing normal dungeon already, which is high, which is level 36. What if they're just doing it when they're not level 36, though? Eh, yeah, come true. They could be like level 34 or something. Damn. So I, I, I don't think difference. I, I don't think normal is that hard. What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it said level 45 for normal, though. Are you sure no, it said 36? Alright, alright. Well, 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 all right. Once we go out, we'll check. Alright. Damn, someone's getting low FPS. And then Ooh. the guy says, have you tried lower settings? I mean, it's a good question, I guess. <sighs> I'm on ultra right now. Me too. Damn, what's your FPS? Uh, right now, 120. What? How's that possible? Well, I, I, I'm not kidding you. I guess I have lower... Maybe because I'm streaming, I have lower FPS. Yeah. Because my GPU is the same as your GPU, so... Mm -hmm. Better believe it. Oh, now I'm getting 120. Alright. Alright, I guess we see, have to do er this. See, early I was able to sneak past them by going like here. Like, I just went here. Really? No way. And they didn't what? aggro me earlier. All right, here. Let's just let's, 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 let's just kill them. Oh, but I guess wait, I can't wait. go here because if I go here, they these ones aggro me. So I guess I can't really get past all of them. I can only get yeah. past like a few of them at the start. But that one, that guy over there, we got past. Oh, I mean, I guess since they don't give exp, we will try our best to uh, not get. Discover. Shit. Well, these guys we can't. We can't do anything about these guys. We oh, have yeah, to. Yep. All right. I guess we don't have to kill. Oh, never mind. You're, you already killed us. Now we have to. We yeah, have we, to. We didn't. We didn't have to kill that guy. Oh my god. All right, this one we don't have to. We'll, we'll like the, the two will show up and then, but don't don't hit them. We'll, we'll do the portal. What if we what if we dash at the right time to prevent them from aggroing? What are you farming for? Exp gear. Um, for gear, we're also trying to see like whether it's faster to actually just level up by farming dungeons rather than doing quests, because we're not really sure what the fastest way to level up right now is, and questing has been pretty slow. Like, I've been here for how long? Eight hours? And I'm still only level 24. I was trying to get 36 so I can actually PvP, because apparently that's the level where you can do arena. So both of us were trying to figure out how to get to 36 as fast as possible. That's what we really want to see how the PvP in this game is. We're mainly PvP players. Yes. But, um... The good thing is, like, if this doesn't work out, at least we have the gear. PvP has ranks. Uh, that's what I read. Like, I haven't played the game uh, when it was in China, but I did read that it's ranked PvP, starting from... Bronze. Bronze or something. Yeah, like, there, there's, like, bronze, silver, or something like that. It's like the typical League of Legends. <laughs> But to do in the first have to even get into arena. And which has been kind of tedious so far. Alright, no problem. We're, we're just starting to figure out everything out as well ourselves. So, it's definitely a process of discovery. 
Of course, don't quote me on it, because I haven't actually been there yet. I'm just telling you what, I, what I've been reading from other people as well. Okay. Oh, I got the weapon this time. No way, really? No fucking way. Yep, I got the weapon. Wait, I fucking hate you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Alright, I'm at 102 physical attack. And this puts me at 107. What? That's only 5 physical attacks. That gave me 5 physical attack. How good no, is 5 physical attack? Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? Body bonus. No, bro, your gear is like so much better. It gives you mastery. And it gives you... Yeah, mastery, like 11.12. Oh. And well, yeah. what's mastery again? So, it, okay, so mastery makes like this skill, or not that skill. Fuck. This, like, makes the phantoms do more damage. Yeah, that's good. Which is the, my main DPS, I guess, and that skill. Man, it's fucking bullshit. That is good, but it doesn't, like, affect my auto attack. So, I'm, I'm wondering if, like, the phantom and my RMB is, is gonna be, like, how I do DPS, and that's it. And everything else is a CC, maybe? I don't, I don't really know. Uh, so what are you want gonna... one more? One more? <laughs> so you can get the weapon? One more, yeah. All right. At least we can just immediately enter. We don't have to like reset it or anything. Just go back in. Damn, that's crazy. People are doing like normal. Difficulty engine. You level to 36 and ascend to student. Yep. You reach enlightenment. That's so weird. You ascend to a student. Don't, shouldn't you start off as a student? No, you start off as a beginner. A, what's the difference? <laughs> well, a beginner does not know anything. A student knows something. I mean, if it's your first day of school, maybe not. Oh my god. If it's a, if it's your first day of school, you're both a student and a beginner at the same time. Alright, let's see if we can uh No, no, it's not possible. Not not here. Go we'll stealth game in this one. Wait, wait, come here, come here, come here. We'll, 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 we'll only it, it, like can contest that mob. Okay. Alright, should be able to go. Orso is looking for active player. Press H to apply. Oh, there's a lot of guild recruiting already. Oh, like, they're, they're trying to make you join Discord, so then when it's in beta, you know. Uh huh. You rejoin back. Well, like I said, you gotta get ready for the guild early on, so then you can become the best guild when the game actually starts. Alright, out of all the guild you're looking at, the guild page, who do you think will make it? Alright. <laughs> Whoever do you, do you really think that's gonna be an who will make it? prediction? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll join them quickly right now. Why do you want to be in the top guild anyway? It's better to be in the second top guild, actually. So that you actually have people to fight. Wait, go superb PvP. Who the hell is... Is it... Wait, is that the same guy from SMO? Wasn't there a guy called Ghost superb PvP on SMO? Really? Do you remember that? No. Really? There was a Shaolin huh? when we were playing Swordsman. Called Ghost superb PvP. No. I have no memory. And he's the I'll leader of arrogance. Arrogance. Damn, if Tony was here, I'm sure he would remember. Fuck! They caught me. Not stealthy enough. 
Actually, I wonder if we played Reaper, would we be able to just sneak past all of these? Because Reapers have stealth, right? Alright, mm -hmm. Wayne. It's time for you to go to your Assassin's class. Wait, wait. Come, come, come back here. Come back. Yeah, but as you know, I am the Assassin who never uses stealth. So, there you go. It's not gonna work for me. I don't don't try to aggro the the other one. So what do we do? We just keep going. This is hard to sneak yeah. past. I will we'll, we'll just fight who whoever came here. Alright. I swear we we'll, we're breaking records right here. Maybe now we have to dash. Fuck, I can't dash. Fuck. Bruh, it's not po it's not possible. We have to fight them. Uh, maybe we're just not good enough. Damn. Oh, you, you, you can dash into your cloud ripples. No, you can dash and then use cloud what? ripples. Oh. Alright, alright, look. Hold down your cloud ripple. And and then dash. Wait, so you can pre-charge it? Yeah. What? That's OP. That's like Sork on BDO. GG. When they pre-charge the Green Reaper's Judgment. I tried try it. So, and then dash. What? See? Not working. What? Wait, that's oh a dash? Oh my god. You're just doing it wrong. Whatever. No, but that's such a small dash, though. No, but it's still something. No, that's nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean? That's that's not something, that's nothing. Alright, hold on, let uh, me do it again. Alright, here, here, come come, come here, come here. Alright. What do you mean? That's that's a big dash. Well you have to dash three times in a row, I guess. Alright, alright. But wait, every time you dash. Wait, what? What the hell is a wind shard? After dodging several times, you become temporarily unable to dodge. What? Okay, whatever. That's just, that's just, okay, so you can dash three times, basically. That's it. And then you will become exhausted. Made this made this seem more complicated than it was. Because it, it gave a buff and all. It forced me to read. <laughs> And people are actually like committed to like the group members. What do you mean group members? Like they're doing like world chat every like five minutes. Well, yeah, you have to you have to recruit you have to recruit when early. Actually, I can't sort the guild list by members though for some reason. Really? Yeah. Oh, Wayne, I got it. The weapon? Yeah. Uh, fuck. Congratulations. Yeah. Like why why can't you why can't you sort the uh alliance list? Well maybe we don't have that option yet. Or not not even oh well, yeah, I get sort. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's go okay. do class. I get an amulet and I get a bracer. There's been literally zero duplicates. Alright, let's go do quests. In fact, I have almost I have almost every piece except for like a robe mm -hmm. and an amulet and another ring. Let's go do quests. Fuck. You think, I'm you think it's going to be faster to do quests now? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Alright, I guess let's time it. But first, what? let me feed everything to my pet. What? What? Your pet? Yeah. Bro, like, look at this guy. This guy have a fashion already. What's wrong with that? Look at this. Like, yo, there's people buying fashion. I'm just gonna feed this. Look at this. Look at this chick. 
Japan Japanese style. Wait, what? How do I? Oh, oh shift confirm feed. It's higher than the highest. Okay, wait. What? Oh, it says right here, find blacksmith and then upgrade your item using PVE seal stone. Okay. The long path amulet equipment you want to use that suite is higher than the highest quality level gear in this slot for the one mastery. What does that even mean? That's... What does that mean? What is this grammar? <laughs> <laughs> it's higher than the highest quality level gear in this slot for the one mastery? Highest? What is the highest of the highest? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I have so many soul keys. GG. Okay, I maxed my skill. Oh, here you can upgrade at blacksmith. Where? At at the blacksmith. Where you at? You can upgrade using PVE seal stone. Right here, man. Look, look at the map. Why can't I see you on the map? Bro, it's like a blue oh, there dot. You are. Bro, it's so small. How was I supposed I to see that? Oh, it's actually pretty cheap. It's literally upgrade. smaller than the NPC icon. Damn, I can only upgrade once. Is that what? Is the weapon that bad? Damn, these two are dueling. What level are they? What the heck? Can't even click on them. Oh, oh, they're okay. like level 18. Damn, it's crazy. Yeah, we do like no damage at this level. Yeah, we do. We do it early. Oh, shit. Oh, here. Alright. Wait. Bro, this guy. Oh. oh my god. I mean, how was I supposed to know? The other the other thing looked like a forge as well. But uh, the stat doesn't really make much difference. It's like zero point something. So we can strengthen with PvE soul stone. But it only lets us do with PvE because I guess we have this PvE, is PvE gear. gear. Wait, maybe that's why we do no damage, because we have PvE gear. The PvE yeah, gear is supposed to yeah. just do damage in pvp right exactly i guess that makes sense then oh so should we have strengthened these Why not it gives 0.3 <sighs> i know trash oh but you can only do it once anyways yeah i did plus one it's already max level Oh, fuck it then. Might as well, right? Might as well. It's only plus one. Like, plus one is the highest you can do, so might as well do just plus one it. Uh, <clears throat> my next quest place is going to be Wei Chuan Highland. We'll go there. It's not like, I work, it's not like we're spending our money on anything else right now. Except for this one, I'm guessing the robe is going to be better later on. We need a better quest item, so I won't do that. I already strengthened everything else, though. Mm -hmm. Alright. Where was I? Way Chun Highlands. Yeah, I was there, right? Yeah, you were doing quests there. Actually, I never completed this one quest. Farewell to the Li Li Chuan village. Alright, well, I guess you have to go there. But how do I get here? I hate this map. 
Sí. I just want to get. I just want to complete that quest so it's out of the way, so I don't have to uh, have that in my quest log. Yeah. All right. So I'm almost level twenty three. You should be almost level twenty five. Hold up. Where am I going? Where are you going? Wait, wait, on oh, on the mountain, can you sprint? Or no. no. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> it is bad. I, oh, wait, I, I, it... I'm supposed to go to the Lee Chuan village. Which is like... What about Mount? Songnan foothills. But how do you, how do you get here? Oh, you can go from Chang'an City to Zhongnan Foothills. Damn, I, I guess mount in the shop moves quicker. It's, it's oh, it's here, it's here. All right. I feel the I, wait. Is it the mount in the shop moves quicker? Yeah, by ten percent. Mm. Well, I mean, this that's pretty standard. Most most uh games have something like this where if you pay money, you get faster mounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's only a problem where if the mount is like an integral part of PvP, then it becomes pay to win. But if it's just moving faster in quest, it's not a huge difference most of the time, at least. I mean, if it was like a game like BDO, then for sure it would be a huge though. Yep, BDO is a big factor in the movement speed. I feel like this map is more convoluted than it has to be. Oh. Like, I want to figure out where I were to go to a place. But I have to, like, look at which place it leads me to from. I have to go here. So I'm here. Okay. Okay, I kind of I kind of see what this one means now. So this is like the current map. This is like this is like the, like the region, map. yeah, or something. Okay, this and kind of makes a bit of sense now. So I'm here. And now I just want to finish this quest. Which is... Oh, it's here, it's here. Oh wait, that, that wasn't even worth it. That was shitty XP. Should I do the Endless Dao biography? I wonder what that gives me. I don't know. I haven't. Like, I, don't, I don't even know what biography yet. quest is exactly. I have not reached there yet. I guess you had to do it first. I think you should have reached this. Taoism. Isn't it Taoism? Not Taoism? Or is this. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it should be Tao. I believe. Is, is this like some in-game type of martial arts that's kind of like Taoism, but it's Taoism instead? <laughs> Wait, am I even getting anything from doing this? I don't know, let's find out. What do you mean this my reward? Click it. Or do I have to complete every single part before I get any reward? Like one of those quests. Well, at least you get decent amount of XP. Why is there so much quests at Wei Chun Highland? I don't know, maybe that's the part where it truly becomes a side quest fest. Yeah. 
Oh well. Damn, I have to eliminate the pig king. The king of the pigs. Except he's not spawning, he's already dead. Oh wait, you didn't do this? What? I, oh, oh, I, what? I did it already. <laughs> That's what I said. And you're, and you're telling me you didn't do it yet. Damn. I mean, how can you how how do you forget about Taoism? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, here he is. Yeah, you got a pretty decent amount of EXP on that. I acquired a, I acquired his bile. Damn, beat him so hard he puked. What? I don't want to collect that. Is, is there any point in using Mal? Because the sword is just much quicker. Uh, it's a very good question, to be honest. I'm, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess in places where you can't fly, then it's faster to use the mount, maybe. Maybe. Bro, I just completed it. What did I even get? I didn't say I, got, I didn't say I got any reward. What? Really? I got like uh, heaven's uh, children level, or something. I don't require any. I, I got coin. I got amulet coin for he heaven. I am the protagonist. Uh, wait, your your stream. Okay, wait now. My stream what delay? Oh yeah, yeah. It was just. Uh, oh, click, click on that cloud. Near your map, and then maybe see if there's a little boy there. Oh, of course, it's fuck. See, this is so tricky. You have oh, to go... there you go. Writing as weekly... a Taoist. It's a weekly event, but you have to complete like that's your quest is a weekly event. But was that worth it? Yeah, you you got like eight thousand exp. I didn't even know this. Yeah. Then I got. Yeah, the more companion, companion thing again. Wait, did you forget what the companion thing that is? Oh, we need to exchange stuff in our string somewhere. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't know if that's actually the same thing, though. The companion thing might be something completely different from the friendship thing. Hmm. Except, I'm like, I'm wondering if companion means pets, but maybe not. I don't think so. Huh. All right, it's time for me to check the cash shop. Let's see how much is 1,000 coins. Wait, how do you have 1,000 coins already? No, no, I want to see how much is 1,000. Oh, you want to see how much is 1,000? Well, nothing. Like every outfit costs like at least 2,000. Some of them even uh, 2.75. So, you're going to be spending oh. a lot if you... So, 26 Canadian dollars. So that's twenty dollars US. Right? Damn. Yeah, so yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 a little bit less than BDO, but still a bit. A less. little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Oh wait, this just drops a bunch of stuff on the ground. I got a bunch of food. Heck. I guess these are buffs I can use. But so I never figure out what is like receive one chi by developing pet energy. What does that even mean? What is receiving one chi? I I don't I have no idea. Like what does it mean to receive one chi why, by developing pet energy? Like the translation oh, so, is so confusing. So it so chi is so chi. So if so if you press P. Uh huh. And then you see available Sochi. Yeah. That's it. That's what it is. Mm, that's impossible. All right. So 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 use something to gain Chi. Like I can. Okay. So like I can consume this piece of equipment. 
And then we'll just instantly give me like 200. And you're telling me this gives me one. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? But that's shit then. There's no way that's the per intended use, right? Is it? No, that's not the intended use. See, I can consume it myself, and it gives me a, bo a buff. That's the intended use. Consume it yourself? How the hell do you use it to do that? Look, see, I just eat my vegetables. See? Now I have healing effects plus two. Yeah, you're supposed to eat it yourself. You're not supposed to give it to your pet. Because it's so shit to give it to your pet. Because it gives one, whereas a piece of item gives like 200 easily. Wait. No, but maybe for because look, look. What? If, if, if you go to pet, right? Uh huh. You go to skill. Uh huh. And you have a skill called marble. Yeah. Read, read that skill. Increase the speed for favorite points. Increases the max number of favorite points that can be won by defeating a boss or killing other character. But what is a favorite point? <laughs> you know. <clears throat> That's what I was complaining about earlier. Like, what are these mechanics? Oh, man, this, this this bad fucking... I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. We just have to wait. It's it's just scuffed because... One thing refers to another thing, and then you have to go on the search to see what is this other thing. And this other thing will probably refer to a yet another thing. Like, like you have to just put everything relevant and maybe... Kind of like explain it, I don't know. Everything's too scuffed right now. I don't know. But yeah. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to feed these to your pets. Because it's definitely a waste to feed it to your pet, I think. Alright. Which means... What we need to do is, can be used to increase the XP of companions. Yeah, what is that? I need to know that. See, that's the other thing we need to figure out. What is the companion? We need, we need the item called Promise. It's, it's a miscellaneous item. Promise? Yeah, Where so are you, you press O? No, is it yeah. you? No, you as the shop. Yeah, and then you see that item called Promise? No. It's O. Press O. Promise. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I, I, we, we need that item, and then we'll connect together, and then we'll use I am the... very glad you have met you in the game. Yes. <sighs> okay, but I don't think that's Companion, though. Like... A companion has to be some sort of mechanics, right? Oh, what is a companion? Oh, all for more information. Can be looted in certain places. No, that doesn't It doesn't help. tell you anything. See, they give us 178, 9 of them already. Right? Mm -hmm. So it can't be... Something simple. There, it must be something we already have. May, I, uh, I wonder if it maybe explained it in one of the story quests. Right, so shoved it in there, and then we skipped them. All right, hold on. Let me may, check. Maybe, these. maybe it's like a pattern. Let me check these or... shortcut settings. GG. Let's see. Toggle the companion window. Maybe. Oh fuck, this is a non-skippable cutscene. God damn it. Uh system interface. Uh none of these are it. Let's see down here. The dungeon codex. Character pet astro scale. Inventory missions. Crafting. Wait, companion recruitment. Wait. 
What? What? When did we have that? <laughs> what? What? So this is have something new. Elong. With her cool allure, she was eventually Wait. considered the most beautiful woman of Wu Zhao. She is the daughter of the king of Wu Zhao. Oh. And his. Huh? How do we summon her? Wait. What? Wait. She is the daughter of the king of Wu Zhao and his lover, who came from the common folk? What? This has to be poor grammar, right? She is the daughter of the king and his lover at the same time? This has to be poor grammar, right? This has to be a mistranslation. Yep. yep. Use their dad, or maybe that's just what people did back then. Who knows? Oh, this is God. this is like a game based on the old days, right? <laughs> I guess so. Wait, so how how do we use her? So let's see. Although she is affectionately called Il Ilarasi. Ila, Ila Rossi, also known as meaning princess, due to the king's and her brother's fondness for her. And on account of her exceptional beauty, this name is effectively worse as she has no claim to power. After Wu Zhao's demise, duh. After Wu Zhao's demise, duh. What? Nice. what does that mean? Duh. It's just duh. After Wu Zhao's oh. demise, stuff. <laughs> so, so, so how do we uh, use it? Life. I can't drag the skill into the bar or anything. I can upgrade already. Seductive eyebrow. Law. Oh. Wait, but yeah, so like, how do we how do we uh, summon the companion? Cars. You know. See, maybe this is why I'm leveling so slow. Cause I'm trying to figure out shit like this. Like, what the fuck are companions? Rather than uh, doing quest to level. I'm just being sent on wild goose, goose, ch goose chases. <laughs> Wait, how the fuck? Prestige. Why did you, you... I'm assuming you, you don't know. I don't know, aren't you a master of uh, going to Google? Whenever there's something we can't figure out though. No. <laughs> Companion. Bro, there's like nothing about companion. Alright, what if I just what if I just like get the upgrade, you know? I like, mean like, like, the, upgrade, the upgrade is meant for companion, so you might as well, but like Like I'm still about 79, so I so I don't have two stacks in my inventory and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so level 23. But that didn't that did not do anything for me. Oh wait, what? Summon battle companion. Wait, what? Where? This button here. But what did that do? Wait, Start wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, we can summon it in dungeon? Is that what you mean? Is it? Wait, wait, what, what? What did you press? Do you see this button? Do you have this button? Uh, right here. No, I don't. You don't have it. Wait, what? What's the button? Show, show me again. Look, look at my screen. Right here. Oh, I do. Right I, here. I, I do have. I, I do have it. But I just pressed it and it went on cooldown and nothing happened. So I just wasted a 10 minute cooldown. Just like that. And what? You press start attack? I didn't. Pr I'm... Oh, shit. 
I didn't press anything. I just look, wasted look, a look, 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 look. Look at what? What am I they looking at? They can enter dungeon with us. So it's basically a PvE mechanic? Mm-hmm. Sheet. So we can just do a dungeon with the companion. Mm -hmm. Every every ten minutes. Yeah. Like so no, basically, no consequences for that. So basically, if you can't find a party, you can do it with a companion. Wait, instead of a party? Yeah, isn't this supposed to be? Uh, I don't know. I thought it would be like. Who knows? Like maybe instead of uh. Oh wait! Look, I I summon her. How? I press start attack. Look! 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 Look at the party. I don't see anything on the party though. Oh, I guess they only show it for me. What? Here. Here. This is so meme. And Rock. No nothing happened for she, me. She's helping me roll. Wait, this are you in the dungeon? Are you in the dungeon right now? No, no, I'm, I'm outside in the open world. She's oh, helping maybe me that's killing why. Mob. She's helping me killing mobs. Uh, all right. Time for me to go to the place, the uh, Weichun Highland. But see, how do how do I get there? Like I have to actually figure this out. Like can't just auto path. Like you have to no, look. Go, go, go to. Uh, are are you still in district? Yeah. No, I'm in the foothills. So go back to Chang Chang Chang'an City. So here, here, wait, go, go, mm. go, go to map. Oh, 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 yeah. I'll show you right away. What? Uh, go to map and then click on Chang'an City. Yeah. Wait. And then on the east side, you see. Uh huh. The. Uh, Washang Highland East yeah, Side. Yeah, I, I, I see that. All right, yeah, just do that, and then. But I have to go there manually. Oh, it is what it is. Mm, but I don't want it to be like that, though. Oh. You know, I, I want to see if there's a way I can just teleport. But well, it doesn't look like it. Actually. Oh, uh, you can only actually. summon your... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I go to Cloud Rise, right? E and shift Q. Echo of soul. And then... I go to the world map. Which is... Here. I go to yeah. the map. I guess. And then... You, you, Wait, you really... it, it doesn't let me teleport everywhere. It only lets me teleport to major cities. What? I got scammed. Oh, you scammed yourself. Nothing I, I can got, do. I got scammed. Wait, that can't be right. God damn it, man. Oh, see? You should have listened to me. See, this wouldn't have happened. Maybe you just listen. How is this possible? There has ah. to be. There has to be a better way. You're, you you listen. expect me to believe that I'm supposed to walk manually all the way there? Yes. What if I go here? Oh my god, you're still not doing it? Oh. <gasps> Bruh. Why is there no way to teleport? Because you you haven't fully finished. 
the Waycon Highland yet, so you can't teleport there. Come on. Come on, just go on your sword and then teleport. But see, this isn't even really an open world game, though. Now, this is a theme park M M MMO. You should be able to teleport, I feel like. Alright, fine. Second from the top, Yak. I think these names are great. With 20 characters, you can come up with pretty creative names. See, that's why I didn't like to go into the city, because you can't fly in the city. Oh. You have to walk the peasant way. That's why Mount is there. See? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's maybe that's why Mount is useful in the city. No, because it takes five seconds to get on the Mount. <laughs> you have to be a peasant and walk rather than fly. Oh my god, this fucking boss spawned already. GG. I guess you're doing a boss already. I guess you're already ahead of me. What level are you now? 20, 22? I'm only 22, relax. Bro, you're ahead of me now. You? No, you're 25. No, I'm 24. You're ahead of me now. What? No. Yeah, we, there, there was a three level difference earlier, and now it's only two level difference. You're ahead of me now, brah. No, I'm not. This, this should not be allowed. We can't, this cannot <laughs> happen. What do you mean? I, I, you only... This, this, this is just why you need to speed up. You, you should have listened to me from the start. You, you could have been a wish on Highland already. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know to catch a rabbit, you throw the trap at them. This is the first time today I learned. I thought, you know, you're supposed to put it down, put a carrot in there and bait it in. But no, you just throw the trap at the rabbit. Yep. It just hits them on the head. What the heck? Why is, it, why is he not getting caught? What? This guy bugged? Oh wait, the other guy caught him. Wait, it's not my loot. God damn it. You've got to be kidding me. GG. I guess this mechanic is slightly better. And just pressing F everywhere. But it's still kind of not really that much better. Mm -hmm. There's too much focus on mini games in this game. Damn, I guess mini games not good. I mean are you here to play to do combat or are you here to play mini games, you know? You can only pick one. Damn. Well, you, it's not that you can only pick one, but like, if you're doing only mini games, you're not really getting the combat experience. Killing without trace. <laughs> DC modes. Why is all my skill is like level one? Why how how do I increase it? Maybe you can't. Are are you sure we can increase the level? Maybe it's like SMO, where you have to get gear to increase the skill level. 
Let me try. The fox escapes? Why do we have to... What? So we fed the fox, it escapes, and now we want to get the fox. I guess the fox is under the influence of negative chi. And now we have to kill the fox. Bruh. Seriously? He stole, he stole our food. Ran away. And then <laughs> attacks us. Pretty sad. Oh damn. How it? All right, that quest is done. I don't know, is it worth it so far? I only got 2k, 2k XP. I don't know, man. All right, this guy now. Oh, wait, what? We just talked to this guy, I guess. Talk to him, talk to him. And then... Go here. Wait, what? This quest seems kind of sketchy. Damn, how is this game? <laughs> this quest is pretty sketchy. Why? Because we just brought this guy to like a back alley and then we uh, cursed him with a rune. And then he's like, he'll be unconscious when he wakes up. He, like, and then he's gonna forget everything when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the game so far, I don't know. I really want to see how the PvP is, but it's just so impossible to do that right now. Because of how long Damn. it takes to get through all the quests. I guess I'm, you're a wizard. I'm only at level 24, and we need level 36. Oh, yeah. It's been afraid. 9 hours since we started. Oh, it's so, been supposedly bad. the PvP is good though, because there's actual me. there's like ranks, so like if there's ranks, then that seems like it, they ha it has some potential to go somewhere. So I don't know why they gated behind like a whole day of questing. Although the combat itself so far is so it's like. Kind of like you just are able to attack and move at the same time. So it's kind of action combat, but it's also doesn't seem to be. See, the real on, question like, is that. Game style can you attack in air? No. Damn. It's, it's, grand, it's grand combat. Damn. But so far, it seems like it's a lot of damage trade. Uh, it doesn't look like it's like on, uh, on some on some fighting games where you block. Yeah, and, I just saw uh, the grab or anything like that. So, so far it looks like action combat, but with that, but damage trait fighting style. Damn! At least you fly pretty fast. I mean, it's just to help me get from place to place. Actually, I need I need to get some coffee real quick. Give me a sec. I, I won't be right back. Getting coffee at like eleven p.m. <laughs> Bruh, don't, oh hit my my don't, don't hit on my VR. Don't hit on my VR screen. Bruh, are you literally standing in the door waiting it to hit zero? What do you mean? I just got back. What? It literally just hit zero. I guess I just have that good of a timing. That's why I'm best player on PWI. Oh what can I God. say? That's how you get good at PWI. You have to have good timing. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. It, it, it costs money to make it look good, okay? I know it's a black screen, don't make fun of me. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you even have one. What do you mean? It's easy to have <laughs> one. <laughs> look at Chase's one. Is it right just <laughs> his empty chair and a locked screen? 
It's, wait, is Chase streaming right now? No. Oh. Wait, let me check if he is. I have no idea. I don't think Chase has a BRB screen. He's just uh, goes AFK. Wait. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing here, man? Chair. I mean, chair is the best BRB screen, though, to be fair. Like, if you see a chair, you know for a fact that they're not there. <laughs> You know you need a screen, it's just undeniable when you see the chair. But since I don't have a chair, I have to have a Lord BRB screen. Bandit. Damn, maybe my BRB screen should just be the empty chair. Like an empty chair. Perhaps. That's the background, that's the screen. Yeah. <laughs> that's the BRB screen. Dude, cat loving game to design community. it. What cat loving game community? Ben, what uh, are you now? Twenty two. Probably twenty three now. I bet. What? Nah. You have you're using speed hats. I'm oh, not. Man, Wayne, 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 Wayne's complaining to me that I'm using hack. Yeah. Cause see, he got he got to like he caught up Fine to me to rock, and like bro. he caught up to me and took him like three minutes le like three hours less than what it took me. Damn, I guess you're doing all the side quests and Wayne uh, Van is only doing the main quest. But there is no main quest though. That's the thing. Like every Damn. quest well, I... is a main quest or something. I don't even know. I guess it's just nitpicking the high XP quests. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? In the cavern of mushrooms. Wait, that's not even where the quest is. Like, I thought the quest was here, but apparently it's not. I guess you actually have to, like, go down here or something. How do, you get, how do you even get to the quest? Oh, here it is. Alright. Damn, is that 4 damage? No, I don't think so. As we all Damn. know, if you are either a magician or a wuxia swordsman, you do not take fall damage. Damn. Because when you are one of those two, you have the ability to defy the laws of physics. Yeah. By having chi surge through your body. It's basically magic. Damn! What is what is it called? Like, oh, like what, the the official technique? Like it's something cat, cat something technique, cat walking technique. What? Fuck! I forgot. Wait, is it? I actually don't. I don't know. <laughs> I actually I actually don't read the uh, Wuxia stuff. So. No, I just remember this from like when I was like three, and my mom's telling me stories and stuff. Damn. But it was like... I don't know, it's like... The, the technique in Chinese, I'm trying to translate it in English, but I can't even remember the technique in Chinese name. What I, I can mean, remember it was like light treading or something. Yeah, I mean, light treading. Th doesn't, isn't, isn't that uh, PWI assassin passive though? Are you thinking of that? What? Is it? I think so. Go, go search it up, I, think, I guess. I'm what what sure passive P is this? I'm pretty sure PWI Assassin has a passive that's called like that. Why did do you unlock Blade Heart skill yet? Blade Hurl? Blade what? Heart. Blade Heart. Press K and then it's under control. Blade Heart. Huh? Do you unlock it yet? I don't see it. That like tread. Yeah. Bro, I know what skill we're talking about, man. No, it's it's not a skill. It's it's it's, it's a cat category. It's a cap. Oh no! All right. It's Eat a cat the world. Huh? Eat the world. <laughs> oh, wait, what is that? I have another team instance thing. Really? Yeah, Which Ghost one? of Dissonance, the what Monsters what? Underground Stash. What's, Follow the forbidden what's the, path. What's the level recommendation? 
Hmm. That's a good question. How do I how do I access the dungeon menu though? Yeah, how do you like do the that? The dungeon codex, the frostbitten path, location on the map. Oh shit! You have to go to specific places. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. Dungeon Codex. Frostbitten Path. Damn, I... Location on the map. That's not the location. Where's the location? What the fuck? <laughs> it, it brought me to the map, but it didn't give me the location. Where? What? What am I looking at? Look at the thing on top. There, there was like a red flashing thing. That's like what is... the war boss, I think. Oh. Damn. Wait, you get 7,000 gold? That's actually pretty good then. What, you get 1,000 gold? 7,000 gold. 7,000. Oh, that's pretty good then. Isn't that, what wait, the isn't that very good? Because one, one gold is 1,000 silver. Wait, and you killed world boss? What? Wait. Is this gold or is this bronze? I'm, I'm assuming this is gold, right? It looks kind of bronze to me. Well, there's no way one bronze is a thousand silver. So it could, it's yeah, but this gold. could, but maybe that's tin though. Maybe that's not silver, you know? Maybe this is actually tin. Maybe this is bronze, this is tin. Bro, why is there like 600 currencies? Tin, copper, silver, gold, <laughs> platinum, diamond. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe the currency is just like uh, league ranks. Oh and the, my and then god. The, the best currency is the challenger currency. Damn, maybe it's time to make an MMO that uses crypto as currency. Damn. Did you know there's a new game called Crypto Simulator? <laughs> what is this? Or like, oh, it was, yeah, I think it was Crypto Simulator. It was a Bitcoin simulator. Yeah, it was, what, it's, you, it's, it's, it, you farm, uh, you mine Bitcoins in the game. What the fuck? It simulates uh, you being a Bitcoin miner and setting up a Bitcoin farm. Damn. So, so you can uh, do that in game to see how, how good it will be in real life. And if it's worth it, you can do that in real life instead of in game. Damn. I, I thought you just get like 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 a random 100k and then you just buy coins. That's what most trading simulators are like. <laughs> Damn. That's that's like an actual simulator. I'm talking about the game. <laughs> I'm talking about a game that's designed Fair for enough. you to play called that, not like an actual simulator. <laughs> Complete the quest as described in the description in the log. Bro, they, they need help with this localization. Damn, there's already people PvPing. What the fuck? They had 2,000 rank already? That means they're like... How? Like, silver 1 already. Fucking Wait, hell. how are we, how are we so slow? I don't get it. What are we missing? I don't know. <laughs> Damn. What are what are we missing? Why are, why are we so slow? Oh, here is the here here it is. I just I see the marker just now. Damn, that's so small. Do you think do you think they're running dungeons or what? Like how are they I leveling think, so well, fast? What are we missing? Time to time to do a dungeon to see. We, we were doing dungeons earlier, but then it, Wait, it was what? like, we couldn't figure out if doing dungeons was worth it compared to doing quests. There's a player that has 4,000 gold. I'm not sure if that's like a GM or a hacker. Uh, geez. It might be a, like a... Okay, so in RuneScape, there's this mode called Dead Man Mode. And basically what's happening is there's basically like 30 people playing on one account. The fuck? So if one goes to sleep, the other one logs on and continues playing. 
I, I guess Deadman Man is kind of like seasonal in BTO, where everything is reset and you have to start from scratch. But essentially what's happening is like 30 people are just playing on one account. The other 28 might be uh, playing on their own account, but all the stuff goes to the, to the one guy. Why? I don't know, it's just some sort of like... Oh, it's like, like a competition? So it's, like, it's like approved? Yeah, it's like a competition. Oh, okay. I guess it would be Damn. bannable if it wasn't. I, I guess people was already learning how to PvP. And Bro, why are we so slow? How do we... Where is the fucking quest? <laughs> well, that's why it's slow, I guess. Can't find the quest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Where where is the where's the dungeon on the map? <laughs> Teleport point, Porto. Wait, there's auto path. Auto by the water. Wait, there is auto path. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> Damn, Damn, we just hung out. What, you, you knew that and never told me? No, no, I I, I, I didn't know. I... Oh, okay. <laughs> no, oh, but... okay. How do you I, all of that? You have to click on specific waypoints where, it's, where it, looks, it looks like a cloud. If you click on that, that's how you auto path. Damn, I guess you can auto path to the dungeon. Where the hell is the dungeon? <laughs> Maybe well, it's it says, it, it says it's here. Where? <laughs> Even Vaughn's confused. What? Wait, wait, wait. Peng Wu, what is Korea. the call? It's... See... The instance is called Follow the Frostbitten Path. Or it's... No, it's just called the Frostbitten Path. Maybe it's time to find a path covered in frost. Bruh. How can Maybe we find the path covered in frost like when it's fucking autumn? Unlock it? You see yet? this? This is fucking autumn. Well, you never know. <laughs> what, do you think we, there might be permafrost in the Arctic? Indeed. Oh, I think it's up north where the Black Shroom Forest is. Sure. Well, I guess I just collect the fucking... Fuck is that? Some fucking sort of tumbleweed. Flat. I just got tumbleweed. This is this is like the Wild West. There's no snow Damn. here. Yeah. Oh my god. Bro, when can we level up our skill? Like all my skills still level one. This is bullshit. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't get so to level damaged. up your skills. What am I missing? Like, what am I Whoa. missing right now? Maybe it's here. This looks like the Iceland. Damn, this person fucking like went all out and bought like a fucking $30 outfit. I mean, it, it would make sense it's here, but that's not where it said it would be. Like when I press the get the location thing. So like, if I press, so like, if I go to the dungeon codex, right, and I go to, um, this, no, not this, this thing that we were just at, and I go to Nightmare Temple, I go to location, yeah, it tells me it's here, and this is where we were at, except on the map, it doesn't actually show you. Damn, can't even okay, see so the that's wind. that's what it looks like. It looks like a red thing. Okay. Okay. So we have to look for that that small red thing on this. Man, this is so terrible. Okay, here's what we wait a minute. There is no instance entrance here. Untick display or markers. No, but look, there is no in entrance here. See? Yeah, but you're looking for the red thing, right? 
I know, but like, for example, if I go here, it has the instance entrance in the in the markers. Oh, so that it? means so that means there oh, is an instance there, and like here, there's an Damn. instance entrance here. But if I go here, there is no instant entrance. Like there is no marker for that. So that means there's no instance here. Damn. I guess it's not here. So I'm getting <laughs> trolled. Because it fucking says what? it's here. I'm getting trolled. Damn. I'm just, I'm just getting trolled. Maybe you have to unlock it. I don't know. Unlock it? Like, discover Maybe it's time happen. to actually read the law. <laughs> yeah, somebody broke Wayne. Wayne is broken. Fuck, but see, if you mouse over this place, it says right here, Instance Frost Entrance, Bidden. Frostbitten Path. So that means it is here. What is going on? Damn. I'm getting fucking trolled. Maybe it's time to skip this quest. Do we have to discover it? Yeah, I, I think you had to discover it. I don't know. There's like, no did, way. Did, did, do you have quests for it though? I do. Did you get? Did you not get quests for it? No. Maybe we're not high enough level yet. Yeah. Did Did you finish like killing patrols and bandit? Patrols and bandits. Yeah. He was killing bandits earlier. I, probably. I don't. I don't see any other quests here where I'm at. Yeah. Then you probably had to meet him. Uh. All right. You know what? I'm just going to go to the next place. Where? Where, where is the next place? Is it here? Oh, the world boss is dead. What? No, it isn't. It says on this it is. It's live, Wait, man. it's gray. Maybe we Update. just lost. Maybe we just lost sight of him. Oh, damn. But it says unchallenged. All right, man. When you find the dungeon entrance, let me know. Yeah, of course. What level are you? Twenty-three. Yeah. How is it possible that Van already caught up? And I started three hours earlier than he did. Damn. Bro, fuck me. Swipe, bro. Bro. That's not life. That's fucking PvE. Drunk Frank. All right. I remember I had quests here. Except I don't. Wait, I can't. I don't think I can go. I don't think I can pr proceed with the quest. I need to be level 25. <laughs> Damn. What's your EXP by anyway? It's like all the way down here. It's hidden. It kind of, it kind of, oh, you know, like okay. it kind of looks like it's just like a border, but it's actually the EXP bar. <laughs> okay, oh, it's right here, bro. Bro, it's right here. Where? Where I am. Damn. Where this spawn just found it in two minutes. In Damn, Wake how, did, how did you find it? Wait, wait, wait. I see it. I see it. I know, but that's because he discovered it. He I discovered it. He had to discover it for me to see it. How did you how how did you find it so fast? By following the main quest. I also followed the main yeah. quest. 
GG. I, I guess Vaughn actually read the what law. What the hell? Imagine if it's actually, like, a path covered in frost. What the hell? Wait. Wait, how come it just disappeared oh, just oh, now? It... Wait, why did it disappear just now? It was there, I guess it's... it's gone. I guess it's masked by the, um, the, uh, the blue icon. Really? Alright, I'm gonna go hey, there. Hey, Vaughn, is, is it a path covered in frost? Damn, See, this guy on the world map there. is confused as well. Where's the frost in the path instance? It's not just me who can't find it. <laughs> Damn, his Vaughn is next it's, level. It's not my fault. I think Van's cheating. What? <laughs> Damn. I think Van's just cheating. Damn. Number one cheater. Wait, I was here. Wait, I was here though. Oh my god, it's a portal. <laughs> Wait, I was here though. What the fuck? Oh my god. How come I couldn't see it then? I was already here. <laughs> Damn, I guess Wayne was lying. Bruh. Also, I can't summon my companion now. How did... Companion? What the fuck? How did, you, how did you summon the companion, man? I'll press summon. It does, uh, the button's gone. What? Why yeah, is it gone? The button's gone. Nah, you fucked up somewhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> My button is not gone. Hmm, that's impossible. Alright, let me leave. Wait, I can summon it only outside? Really? I thought you could summon it in the dungeon. Nope, only in only on the outside. I will let me do my quest Elan. and then I'll get the dungeon quest. Wait, I summoned it, I pressed start attack, and nothing happened. I still don't have the companion. Damn, Wait, that's, that's this is Damn. so confusing. And and I and, and it went down another 10 minute cooldown, so I don't even know what happened. Damn man, I'm off so fucking hard. Only Damn. authorized personnel may enter. Damn, I'm just burning their stuff. I guess we Damn. don't like raccoons. Qing Lian Zha Chai. Qing Lian I don't know what that means. Qing Lian. Hey, Noodle Ming. Wait, Ming. From BDO, I think, right? How are you doing? Wait, what, what, what quest? Uh, I only sometimes stream. Damn, where were I think the last time I streamed was Elyon. So, just looking at some, uh, some of these new MMOs. Since, uh, I haven't really been playing BDO these days, you know. Am I related to Chris? <laughs> like... As brothers? <laughs> Not really, but I've known him for a long time. Probably known him since, um, I don't know, like in high school. I was like 18 or something. Wait, why do you ask?
I mean, at this point, we might as well be related. <laughs> Damn. I guess this is a boss. Yeah, maybe. Actually, it ha it's a boss because it has two HP bars. That's how you know it's a boss. Yeah, planes are we doing it? I, I still need to do my main quest. I, 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 I have to I have to uh, beat you to the level 36. Like you started three hours later than me. Damn. You, you, it's not allowed for you to be ahead. Damn. But you see, the problem with Vaughn is that he needs to sleep soon. Yes. And I don't? Yes. What? We, Where did we you get all that know that you don't sleep. <laughs> of course I sleep. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course I sleep. <laughs> I made it to combo too. Damn. Uh, I mean, at least you can CC the bosses. Wait, can I CC them? I was able to see some earlier bosses. Wait, now I'm stunned. What? Oh wait, this guy I can't CC. That's a, that's annoying. Just send me R and B though. Oh, I'm just curious. I think I read some things that might have hinted you guys had known each other. Yeah. S since uh, since the days we played Perfect World together, really. <laughs> that was uh, like what? Bro, why is the and, uh, following me? I mean, that was before I went to university, even. Yo, you guys see this shit? What? What? I'm not a seeing bunch anything. Of, a bunch of raccoons following me. <laughs> and nothing wrong with it's that. It's your Disney princess now. Um... Damn, Maybe I should heal up first. Health? I think I just meditate. Damn! That mechanic's still in the games. Yep. But this is fast meditate. Recover 161 every time. Damn. But what if you're dying to a boss? How do you heal? Be better at the game, I guess. <laughs> Just don't die. Yeah. I don't think there's even a boss. Damn. No, probably not. Whatever. I... How far are you now, man? I unlocked the quest there now. I'm, I'm gonna go do the dungeon. Damn, I guess you're going to join the dungeon midway so you get the completion. Boy, well, he doesn't have, have the work. No, no, we redo everything. I'm just kidding. He doesn't have to defeat Huang something. No, he got <gasps> well, he doesn't need that. Damn. Because still, because the EX, you get the EXP at the end of the dungeon. No matter the mobs themselves don't really give you any EXP. Damn. Maybe that's how people are level thirty six. They got twenty people to just do the dungeon until like the last mob. You think people can do that? Who knows. Like just hire people. To run through the dungeon and wait at the end, and then you just cycle through squads, joining the dungeon, claiming the EXP. GG! I, I wouldn't say they need to hire, they just have helpers. Ah. Uh, yes. 
just like on video, people they don't hire fan noise, they just help them. You know the fan noise services have already started like looking at Elyon and it's only the close beta? Nice. Crazy. Like they're they're on top of things. And I think I press F3 to heal quickly as well. Damn, what, what a day to be Pinoy. Make a living... Make a living more than like basically most of your... Most of these standard people in your country. Just by I mean, on, only, only if you actually enjoy grinding though. <laughs> like most people don't enjoy grinding at all. That's kind of why they get hired other people to do it for them. Well, the thing is, like, what would you rather do? Would you rather grind for a living, or would you rather work a full-time job? Mm, who knows? Maybe sometimes grinding is worse than doing a full-time job. Do I know Truth, though? No, I don't know them. Probably, probably Neil maybe knows them, but personally, I don't. <laughs> Or new, when I say new, I mean Fred. That's that's uh that's my problem. Truthful is uh is senpai Yamate, right? At least that's that's kind of that's one person I know. What the fuck? Oh yeah, Neo Neo talked about him. So I kind of, so I kind of like heard of him, but I don't think I ever really even interacted with interacted with him personally. Wayne, there's a guy that's max level already. Damn. Wait, what is the max level? Right now, uh, level thirty-six. He's right here. How is that yeah. possible? I don't know. I, I don't know how. Should we just be grinding dungeons to level? Oh, a lot of people's that done. What the fuck? I just... What the fuck was that? They're frozen. Dirty water sprite. I attacked him and I instantly got frozen. Maybe it was designed to be like a sneak. See? See? If I attack him, I get frozen. Me. Maybe it is supposed to be a sneak obstacle. But why though? I mean, I'm sure I can just kill them. They don't even hit hard. Yeah, but they freeze you. That's the only Man, uh, this, this downside. Game has, this game just has like too many mechanics that's not combat. Like sometimes I just want to, I just want to kill monks. I just want to <laughs> fight. <laughs> All right, calm down, my ass. Bruh, why do you keep? <laughs> no, just because I want to fight has nothing to do with man has. I know, just kidding. <sighs> Alright, here are some quests. Young Spirit Shroomkin. I guess I'll just say what you do. Is this a boss? No, it's not. Just like a champion type mob. This monster has even more energy than I do. Yep. 
I guess we're a monster to them, which I guess makes sense. Technically, we're a different species. Wait, are you we meet aliens, we're also the alien. Maybe. Uh, if you spend $280, you get 200% more coins. 200% more What's coins. What's the point of work? having more coins than beta? Just disappear. Uh, I, I don't know, it's kind, of, it's kind of sketchy. So basically, if you want to test the cash shop right now, you actually have to pay real money to get the in-game currency. And then they will give you a refund all of it when the actual game comes out and give you a bonus for every every uh, dollar you bought. Which is kind of Damn. kind of sketchy to be honest. And honestly, there's like not them much. saying like you better like they want you to spend money as soon as possible in case the game dies. So th so they're trying to like milk everyone right now, right away. So that that like that part, I don't really know how to feel about that. <sighs> This game won't die. Damn, Bond's confidence. It's it's, mm. it's 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 potential. It has some potential. Only if they uh, streamline the quest. Mm. The quest is really a big burden. Yep. Damn. Is that the last boss win? Maybe. Damn, he's two percent three. Damn, it's big giant toll. And Wayne's actually avoiding damage. What do you mean? You're, you have to avoid damage, don't you? <laughs> what do you mean actually avoiding <laughs> damage? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? That's a weird attack. Damn, he's stunned. Oh fuck it, I got the ad. Rip and it's ranged. Oh. It's shooting you from the distance. God damn it. I think I just fucked myself. I think I just fucked myself. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I just fucked myself and not killing the ads first. All right, Chase, come down. Oh, it's Chase here. I think I still have to mute it. <laughs> Damn. Go well, see. When I when I see someone join leave join leave, it's either me or Chase. <laughs> And since I'm already here, then it's impossible to be me. Damn. Damn, I guess you're about fucking to die. tracks you. Oh my god. Heck. The the, the oh arena. Oh my god. Close at 1 oh a.m. Oh my god. An aggro and meditate. I can't even unaggro it. Oh my god. I guess you're forced to die. Oh my god. How is, uh, new game? I fucking died to the boss because I aggroed ads. Are you supposed to do it without aggroing ads? Well, I was trying to do the speed run it, you know? So I didn't want to kill the ads. Uh, I'm pretty sure this game forces you to kill the ads anyways. Well, not, not, if, I, not if I did an aggro then. No, actually, you, you can sk skip stages. But now I guess I have to kill it. All right. Damn. What's the punishment for dying? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> okay. Which I get, which I'm, which I'm fine with. <laughs> Oh, 
Swing left and right. Like, I don't think he actually dodges auto attacks, or can you? I think you can. Like, these things track you, even. If it's like, if it's, if the engine is like FF14, then auto attacks are literally a DLT. But I don't think it's like FF14. I don't know what you mean, auto attacks are a DLT. Well, on FF14, you're, as long as you've cast a skill at the enemy and you're holding LMB. I mean, you're not even, you're just in range, your character will just have auto attacks, whether or not they're even visible. Maybe it's that. Because I have noticed getting auto attacks. I can't even dodge this, it's just tracking. No, no, you need to dodge later. I don't know if the dodge counts as an iframe, though. But thoughts on the game as a whole, though? I hate the questing. That's all I can say so far. I'm pretty sure I dodged that, but I still took damage. Yeah, I think the autos just are invisible, like FF autos. Which is not the best. Okay. I got I got 10 K EXP. Really boring plus ten. Heck. Who said really boring plus ten? You're gonna There's zero P two W because he's already tried. Yeah. Spend seventy dollars on cosmetics. Who are you guys talking to? No, it's the chat. Oh, no P2 when I melt, fuck that. Hyperion God. Hey, was Wayne done yet? Wait, Wayne actually has viewers, Pog. Let's leave map. Alright. Wait, who's Nudo Ming? Uh, Ming from uh, BDO. Oh, okay, the, the Zerker player. I guess someone told, must have told you that, told him that you were all up in skill. Um, well, I'm, I'm still in the skirmish discord, actually. Oh, okay. So if you click on my name, you can actually see, uh, my stream. Hi, right, Wayne, you ready? Yep. Damn. Now the question is, uh, does the, uh, Wait, here's instance my, here's the battle shared. companion. Wait, that's not my battle companion, right? How do we summon the battle companion, man? Uh, by by adding it. Hey, here, here's PTX Titan. Okay, so I press summon, right? And I press add. Now what? Mm -hmm. Add. And then you should be able to just press start attack. Start attack. No, 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 don't, 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 wait, wait. Bro, you just, yeah. you just fucked me. I press start attack. What the stream is like the label, like I I can't. You, you said to press start attack though. You're trolling me. Fuck it, you know. Let's you, you, go. It, fine, you summon it. I did. Come in. Where? Okay. It doesn't matter if there was a stream delay. I still I still did what you said. What? Oh, GG. How did you summon it? That's why I said, oh, no. Bro, you're, I, you're, I, you're fucking trolling me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I, I, I guess we have to kill this. Bro, you're trolling me. Oh, my God. I don't believe this. An hour in and still no PvP, eh? Level 25. You know, some people are already 36, though, so they know something we don't, clearly. Well, yeah, they just woke up. Got in at 8 a.m. and start. I've been grinding ever since. Yeah, like if I kept on playing, I would be probably around there. No, but it's been 10 hours for me now. So how? So it's, like, 
So like what, like, take like hours. six hours on top of me or what? Oh yeah, you <laughs> logged in at like, he pl started playing at like six Eastern. Yeah, it, it's it, I've been playing for like 12, 12. hours. Cause it, yeah. it, it was six, uh, oh. six or 5 a.m. Uh, PST, it became available. It was 8 a.m. It was available 8 a.m. Uh, EST if you had it pre-am. Okay, well, I got up at 2 p.m. So from 2 p.m. to 8 a.m., that's like 10 hours hour difference. So they got so they got 10 hours on me. Yeah. Wait, Damn, that's not 10 hours. You should have woke up at 8. It's 6. I believe. I don't know. But still, 6 hours long. Damn. And they're not, uh, you know, sitting there talking. They're full optimizing, trying harding. What do you mean? I, I, I'm, tr I'm trying. What do you mean I'm talking? You were talking to us. These people no, aren't I was talking. No, I was talking while grinding. You don't, you don't need to focus to grind. It's fucking PVE. Nah, you do need no, to focus. No, you don't. Fuck. You gotta mid max, bro. You gotta mid max <laughs> no, your EXP. That. What you are have you to min -max talking your about? EXP per second, okay? What are you so talking you're... about? If you're not I actually can't EXP. even I can't even watch um streams while doing polyforce because then I know I'm going to like <laughs> you're not you fall back okay, like, fall oh, behind on my like, I actually have very tight I usually develop these super tight uh, poly rotations that involve like, you know, using the exact same skills on the same pack. When I was yeah, grinding so wizard. That way you're... In one hour, you know, if you're not min-maxing, that could be like 16 skill points you're not getting in that hour because of you were being inefficient. As if people By already watching. know how to min-max. Yeah, on this the game. game's been out in China. No. In China, they have the faster level. It's a, so it's but completely the different. are the same, though. So, so they're, yeah, they're strategies are the same. No. You just do more of it. No. It means it's a different strategy because it's faster. It's like that's like saying uh, leveling on PWI before the uh, Frost Cover City days. It's the same, you know. Like before Frost Cover City, you would do Zen. Yeah, but they don't like have Frost like Cover a different. City, you do Frost Cover City. Damn, this companion's fucking OP. It's not that you have a different leveling system. You literally just. You don't know all, you, all it was is you just have um, more EXP. You don't know that. Maybe it is a different level system. Also, do you really think people will sit here and play for 16 hours already? Oh yeah, dude. Easy. Damn. When I was lo when I logged in, it was there was a, quite a few people, and I was like pretty early. I think I jumped on at like seven my time, so they're yeah. for an hour. So, but like I'm a morning person. I'm always not usually up at like five or six in the morning. <sighs> I'm five or six in the morning. That's when I go oh, to sleep. Yeah. That's when we're in sleep. I go to bed at like 11, 12. <laughs> 11, 12. Damn, that's like... I guess you're like, man. What was it better than 11? The van is determined to play for... Until 12 today. See that uh, Twitch drama about that dude that uh, did the um, no damage speed run in Grand Theft Auto 5? There. Why, why would there be Twitch drama? Because uh, there's two guys on Twitch that were trying to do it. And one dude did it using the other dude's tips because he was posting like how to like like a guides on it all. And the other so dude he, got pissed off. The other dude got pissed off because 
the other dude who actually completed it, he didn't share any of his tips to his whole process. He was just using the other guy's tips. Okay, so maybe the other guy should not have posted his secret. (laughs) That's That's exactly uh, it. That's that's pretty standard. I feel like he only gets himself to blame. Wait, Wayne, you you aggro them. (laughs) If you're going to post all your shit online, you you can't be pissed off that somebody else is fucking... Wait, how did he aggro? How did he aggro them? What the fuck? No, you didn't aggro them. The uh, companion did. Really? Bro. Yes, I saw the pop-up. Ven- Ven oh. trolled me. GG. Ven trolled me again. Damn. See, I thought them perfectly this time. <laughs> Sorry. My my opinion's OP. Companion, I mean. So what do you think of the game so far, man? Uh, it's alright. Bon likes it. I mean, I mean, right now this isn't even the tutorial. This is like before the game starts. This isn't even the game yet. Yeah. No, so you're just getting uh, an understanding of the mechanics and stuff. No, That's you're getting you're getting an understanding of the world building. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think the oh, game what? has even started yet. This is just a very long cutscene right now. There. Maybe maybe soon the P- soon we will actually learn about the mechanics when the PvP starts. There's already people in, in like. Cause you know the whole training Sil- thing we saw earlier. Silver League. Yeah, that's like mechanic. Damn, how are they so fast? Also, I don't even know if holding out RMB is the correct way to combo. But it feels like it's what does the most damage right now. Yeah, that's why I feel like... Well, we haven't unlocked the Blade Heart yet, so... Let's see. Blade Heart? What, do, what does that do? I go the mobs. Yeah, we should, because early I died for not killing the mobs. Yeah. So who knows? But then again, with two people, maybe we don't have to. Oh fuck! Hey. I heard the boss. Damn. I guess now we're screwed. That's, that's true. Yep. Damn, what's the companion do? DPS, I guess? Stand there. Yeah. He's oh. I was companion. doing something. What? He did Your time has come. Yep, it's time to die. Guan Da Zun. Is that the name? Oh, that's your 10k EXP. Thanks. Damn, but it barely moved for you. Or did you level up? I'm at 25. Oh well, yeah, it's a yeah, good it bar. Like what, I need 78k? So we need to do this another... Like, 7 times. Just for one level, brah. Alright, maybe maybe it's time for us to do this 7 more times. Alright, let's do it. Right. I mean, maybe it's time for me to time you how long it takes to do a dungeon. The last dungeon we got 6 minutes and 30 seconds. You guys should start uh, recording this and start running, uh, doing speedrun guides. <laughs> <laughs> what I like though is that it's for some reason it seems like all of these the gears that we get from dungeon is unique. Damn. Like there's there's we have not seen any duplicates so far. So there's just a re- a lot of useless purple gear. Is what you're telling me? No, I'm saying that it keeps track of what gear you already got and doesn't give it to you a second time. Nice. Oh, that's not bad. You know, maybe the meta to do dungeons is to just pull all the mobs and suicide at the closest respawn point. I went, so to add your... your... companion, so you press enter an instant. You press add, and then select your companion, and then start attack. One sec. Wait, so I, so I got gear. 
Wait, what the heck? Why, why did this one item increase my mastery so much? <laughs> Damn. Huh? Okay, whatever. What's it? For some, like earlier, I saw that like I had less mastery after equipping everything, but now it's fine now, I guess. Maybe because like these ones aren't refined. Oh, sorry. Okay, so what do we do then? So we'll go go to the portal. Uh huh. Press entering instant. Uh huh. Press add. So so like your companion. Wait, what? I pressed enter instance. Now I teleported in immediately. No, you have to press add. <laughs> what? Hold on. I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Bonnie, you should watch the stream. I mean, Van was watching the stream and he still trolled me earlier. Alright, you ready? One sec. Alright, so portal. Mm hmm. Entering instant. Entering Click add. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, you see this, right? Mm-hmm. Where's right. add? Oh, you click entering instant. Let's this button, right? Happens. Yeah. See my mouse? Mm. Do you see it? The button? Yeah. I click it, right? Mm. Okay, I clicked it. You see what happened? <laughs> Heck. You see what happened? Wait. Wait, then that means only the party leader can do it then. Damn, really? Yeah, then that means only two party leader can do it then. Damn, so my companion is just useless. Alright, time for you to okay. upgrade your companion. Alright. Because you're the party leader, you have to carry. Alright, I guess so. <laughs> Alright, time for you to upgrade it. Alright, well, it is upgraded to the max. See, here's the question is, do you get the 10k XP only if you kill all three bosses, or the last one? Only the last one. I think you have to kill all three bosses to get to the last one. Oh, does it work like that? Because yeah, I feel like you can just suicide with all the mobs and reset them. No, because you can only respawn at certain points, like this point here. Like, this is where yeah, you respawn. Yeah, you just do it, die. like... You just do it to the uh, closest to the boss. Hmm. But you can't. I don't think it lets. You can't teleport when you're in combat. I think. We can try this. Actually, no, you, you just suicide to the mobs. I mean, we can try this. Like, what do you mean suicide to the mobs? Just keep going. Yeah, you just drag the whole instance and then just die. Like, like just go, go to the um respawn point. Um, set the point and then just die. No, but see, like so what happens? So here's the so here's the boss, right? Yeah, just walk past him. Like, if if only the third one gives XP, but, then. Yeah, see, I can't I can't pass through because I have to first leave combat. It says, like I can't oh. teleport while in combat. Damn, that's unfortunate. Yeah, they already thought of this strategy. Uh, outplayed by the devs, I'm afraid. Unfortunate. Shout them out. Shout them out. I don't know, man. It's just that the voice is uh, cringy. Well, I mean, I think this is this is kind of standard with how what they do in the movies, though. Damn, I forgot the time. It's not that cringy, maybe. How do we get more uh, enhancement stuff, though? More of these oh, no, PvE maybe. seal stones. Uh, I'm not sure. Gotta swipe, bro. Bruh. <laughs> it's gonna swipe, I guess. No, there's no way. That's why you need to test the cash shop out, because you can't gain uh, end game stuff unless you use the cash <laughs> shop, I guess. There's no way. <laughs> I don't know, Archage was like that. <laughs> Before it went uh, uh, free to play. <laughs> actually, I don't really see anything uh, that you uh, affects pay to win right now in those cash out. Actually, let me take a look. I should take a look regardless. 
but I didn't see anything. So like, this is our outfit. This is also. Oh fuck. All fashion. This is fashion. This is our outfit. This is your appearance. This is a mount. So this like. Wait, what? Why am I entering combat? Damn, I guess Van aggroed the mobs, and it brought me into what? combat as well. Damn, what the fuck? If the threat monitor is up, that means I'm in combat. Damn. I guess I'll wait for you. Nah, right, we killed the mobs. How right, we'll, do you put we'll your companion boss, away? Alright, let's kill him. Can you stow your companion? After this. I don't. I think it's here for the entire instance. Damn. I guess you have to pull the uh, the sentry mobs. Damn. Why even add sentry mechanic if your companion's just gonna aggro it? I think maybe there's a setting to make an auto attack though. Maybe Vance just needs to press that. I don't know how to but do it. You can't control how it walks, right? Yeah. No. He, he uh, just he you, just walks into the I mean, uh maybe, the it could. There. maybe you can make it follow you. Alright, let's see here. The only thing that looks like you could like all like none of these seem to really be pay to win right now. What about the mount? The mount it makes you go faster, I think, but that's not pay yeah, to win. By ten percent. Damn, only ten percent. I mean, yeah, like I if like... dungeons is actually the better way to level over doing quests, then it would actually not be pay to win at all. But I don't know if dungeons better than quest or not, though. What? Like leveling up, like we're getting ten k exp per run in the dungeon, compared to like. I don't know, like 2 to 3k after doing a long uh, gathering errand as quest. So if it's like more worth it to level through dungeon, then having movement speed on a mount actually doesn't matter at all. The thing that I'm going to be wanting to know is, is I'm wondering if the quest that you have is going to be gated behind the storyline. That's my only concern. We will see. If it is, then... Oof. <sighs> Then I don't. Then I don't get how people are leveling, though. You know, like, like there's no way they're level 36 through quests, right? Like, how can they be level 36? That makes no sense. I doubt it. I think they just did dungeons with they like can't have five dungeons. Probably did dungeons. It, it could have been like certain key quests could give you a buttload of of XP. True. Like that, that's what it is in a lot of games where you've got like the main story quest. That's how they. They've got it tuned is that each one of those gives like 10 times more XP than all the little side quests. So, in theory, but I have not seen a single main story quest so far. Every quest I've got are side quests right now. So, that, oh. that I don't really know what's going on there. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize that because uh, for a story driven game, usually that's everything's tied to the story, right? I know. Like, so. that's what that's why I'm confused about. Like, where is the story? I can't find the story anymore. <laughs> oh wait! Did you read the source novel this game is probably based on? No. <laughs> Granted, it's probably the same shit as like ten thousand other movies. Yeah, I don't. I don't have time to read. Anything. Also, I guess I. I guess soap and vibe just farmed me for like twenty minutes at Holly Node. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Someone's Video. farming you at Polly. Oh, well, they already left. I got farmed and then good fighter. Oh, what? <laughs> Why did you get farmed? Well, it was two v one, and then I have like an hour, like two hours of experience on Sage. But don't you have a uh, three hundred AP and four hundred DP? Well, so does Soap. What the fuck is Soap? No, that's bring your Soap from Corrupt. I have no idea who that is. Wayne, Wayne from the older gen, gen <laughs> AP. Yep. No, he's in the Siege. He's in like Siege scene. That's. Wayne didn't ever siege. Then what are the chances of two siege players simultaneously doing Polyphorus though? Uh, very high because they're these are the only players that are ever out of safe zone now. You think so? Yeah. 
everyone else just grinds like off on um, non Arsha servers. Maybe that's why I couldn't find any PvP before I quit. Yeah, the only Arsha PvP now is Hadoom. And even then, it's usually like. It's Cho, Tex, yeah, and yeah. BR, basically. Yeah, and it's like groups of like four of them stomping on people grinding. I don't know, maybe they, they need to bring back Seasonal. I, I feel like Seasonal actually has potential as like a PvP server, though. So do you know what, from, from my understanding, the reason why Seasonal got shut down is because there was a way that people were exploiting the free accounts with Seasonal characters and I getting land. silver and making money somehow. I'm gonna go now. Alright, see ya. Damn, see I'm still you. level oh, 25. Tomorrow. Well, when I wake up, I'll be 36, so it's okay. What? How will you be 36 when you wake up? I'm just he's pinnoing. He's pinnoing a beta. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking with you guys. Come on. Yeah, he's pinnoing the beta. <laughs> Looking for ego to hug me as a fox later. What? Oh, you know, there's a site where it's you can get people to play games with you for money. I did hear about that one. Yes. Damn. I don't know. Maybe it's better than OnlyFans though. Damn. What a time to be a girl. Yeah, so much waste. Just, uh, Wait, be I a just, I just right, reported Ban by accident. <laughs> oh, because he's, well, I mean, he's, he was, um, annoying, uh, beta, so maybe he should. <laughs> True. But yeah, I just, uh, gotta learn three languages, learn to sing, learn to dance, learn to draw at a near professional level, and then you can be a VTuber, I guess. What? Or do none of them. Why go through that effort? Just... Yeah, just... Well, why Time watch up. normal streamers when I watch... When I can watch someone who can do all of that? Because most what? people don't care about all of that. I actually do care. I am tired of watching normal Pog champions on Twitch. I, well, well, most people I actually just wanted... To... Damn. A lot of people clearly do. I, given I the fucking so. size of it. In NA, maybe. Like, I legit just want to watch idols now. I don't care about watching normal streamers. Okay, but most people don't care about that. I guess you guys are still playing. Yep. Indeed. To get Wayne is determined to get his money's worth, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> He's determined to get his money's worth. I mean, you can't judge a game by the PvE, though. You know, like, SMO had bad PvE, but it had good PvP. That's what, that's what I always say. Although SMO also had overall PvP at like level 30. Who is Yi Lang? I don't know. That's his wife. That's my companion. Is this open beta or what? This is close beta. OP. Paid this way is too big. You paid for this? Yeah, you had to pay. You had to pay for this. How much was open beta? You yeah, we paid a hundred dollars for it. One hundred dollars? Yeah, US dollars? US dollars? US dollars? US beta? The game package so he could play the beta oh. is what he did. He could, so he could fund all of our packs. What the, yeah, that's what I had to do in order to get four uh, beta codes. See, now I feel bad that I'm not, I'm not I'm playing DDO. Why do you feel bad? Because Wayne spent a hundred dollars on this. Bro, I don't care. 100 US dollars. So I spent more on BDO. Damn. GG, I just uh, had a very interesting experience. In terms of what? I did a interview as a uh, doctor to a patient, except the patient wasn't AI. So it was having conversation with me using neural networks. Congratulations. Damn. It was uh, very Lelo. They told me that their uh, their sister passed away very recently, and I was like, I'm sorry to hear that. And they were like, thank you. Congratulations. I heard uh, GPQ3 is actually pretty advanced now. Is that the algorithm? I'm not sure. It didn't specify. Oh, okay. I believe GPQ3 is like the, um, st like the standard right now. But it was kind of low because uh, it graded me 
at the ends, unlike the conversation points that I gave it. And it apparently just like forgot about stuff that I did or said. Yeah, that so was, I didn't really yeah, that was the problem. That's the problem with that AI. I was playing around with it and it was just frequently like after every few sentences it would lose track of what's going on. You can yeah. actually you can actually play with that AI for free. Like someone has has a game where you can just Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have a short term memory, it's really annoying. It's called uh AI Dungeon. Lalo. I guess this is Wayne's version of a sex dungeon. What? Yeah. It's called- <laughs> What? I said the game itself is called AI Dungeon, if you want to look at it. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Law. Alright, let me heal to full. I kinda wanna go to sleep. But I don't wanna go to sleep. Damn, sounds like me every day. Unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. How to live like that? It's pretty convenient to fit into AoE exactly where I'm not at. Uh, fucking hell. Wait, do you still have your uh, BDO account, or do you end up getting rid of it? I play on it. I, I, I duel on trial character on Wayne's account. Oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> I, I loaned it to Neo temporarily. Yes. I, I still need it to make uh, videos, you know? I thought you were going to become a pro uh, Swordsman Online player and make this content now. <laughs> I mean, who knows? You have to you have to play the game to know if it's good or not. You can't just play two hours and look at the PvE and say the PvP is bad, you know? Oh, I just looked at everything from the game and it <laughs> felt like... Insert generic title MMO number 10 here. See... I, mean, I like BDO's combat the best, but I still get tilted by resist. I, it's more than that that's generic. tilting me now. Like, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting ready to sell my account. GG, I guess uh, that's the BDO character arc. What? Yeah, Play game, get tilted, <laughs> sell account? Yeah. Of course. It, there's so many things that I just don't like that that bug me about the game. Like resist being one, desync being another. Um, how Super there's, like there's zero class balancing whatsoever. I feel that the class is classes are more imbalanced now than they've ever been since the pre CC changes. Um, and then and still like large scale having shit not render and then having things render on top of me and I'm dead sucks. G fucking G. Damn. Well, oh. that's, I guess uh, I don't place siege enough to have that happen to me at least. At the last, the last point. At least I can always see my enemy. Well, I wasn't even playing siege. Like I'm playing on freaking. It, it's Calpheon seems to be the worst. Like really? it doesn't matter. Oh, Calpheon is like horrifically. Bad. Yeah, it's it, it's I have the worst loading issues in Calpheon than I do any other region. For some reason, I never had loading issues before on video. And then rubber banding on invisible buildings and barricades and shit. Like fuck me. Although I did have weird issues where like people would disappear in the middle of a fight, even though it's a one v one. I had that before, but I never had like loading issue in large scale, interestingly enough. I guess it's just been lucky. It only happens to me in Calpheon. Any every other region is not so bad. Oh, okay. Like Calpheon siege is horrible. It's it's probably the worst fucking siege in the entire game.
I guess I'm doing more damage to it now thanks to the new weapon I got from this dungeon. But maybe it wasn't really worth it for him to enhance this weapon though, because I can so easily just get better ones. But I want, then I wonder when would it be time to enhance. Because like, just like one hour ago I got gears with Van from the other dungeon, and already I, the dungeon, the gear in this dungeon is better. Even despite having enhanced the other gear to plus one. Maybe well, that's kind of like that. 36. I guess yeah, 36 like these are all enhance. usually like leveling dungeons, right? Where the gear is, you're not supposed to be doing it all. The only way to, for that, for like leveling gear to stay relevant, is if uh, if you like artificially slow down the rate of progression. I mean, if it's for leveling, then why why give gear at all? Well, I know, like in Guild Wars Two and in BNS, you pretty much were to like not use any of your enhancing shit until you got to end game because it just you got gear was just continuously given to you. So yeah, there was but then no real point. might as well make the early gear unenhanceable then. Why even give the option to enhance? Or why even drop gear from the dungeon? It's just uh, make everything quest gear. I don't know. Wait, I guess I got the first duplicate. Or did I? No, wait. Oh, I can equip two rings, so it's not a duplicate, actually. Mass PvP gear level increased to three, what? But th th this is PvE gear, how did I get max PvP gear level increase? Right, let me just get rid of some of these stuff by feeding it to the pet. Um. All right, time to get rid of these old things. I still haven't unlocked any of these skills, and I'm already maxed on this skill. Should I even be feeding it food at this point, or should I be like able to get a better pet or something? I don't even know. Um, I guess I don't really need money, right? I think I can just feed it all to the pen and just sell it for money. I don't know what this means. It's higher than the highest quality level gear in this for the one mastery. That translation is so bad right now. I'll just keep it for now. Oh yeah, and for the companion, I guess I might as well max it. What if you pick a harder level? Do you get more XP? Potentially, but it also says here, it is recommended that you take on this mastery after your level reaches 45. It what? It is recommended that you had challenged this mastery once you have reached the spell level of 1. So it's recommending I get at least level 45 before I do the uh, normal difficulty. Yeah. Try those anyway, see what happens. I don't know. Die horribly? Oh, no, you can't. I don't know if they'll even let you. Oh, wait. I have to be at least student playing one to even do it. Damn. Damn, I can't even do it, eh? I don't even meet the minimum level requirement. But this is actually still pretty slow leveling, though. Maybe I should just go back to doing quests. Because I'm level 25 now. And the only reason I couldn't do quests earlier was because one of the quests had a minimum level cap of 25. So technically, now that I'm 25, I should be able to go back and start doing the quests. 
I guess that's. Well, it. last time you took you line. eight minutes and thirty seconds. For me to solo it. Yes. With Vano, it's more like six. I mean, that's also not bad. At least it's not double the time. Like that's still pretty. Well, yeah, but most of the time it's probably spent running around, like this, right, like right now. Wait, why are they stunned? Nice. Oh, I guess my companion stuns, stuns them from that range. Yeah, my companion's so key. He just so he just soloed all the mobs. <laughs> <laughs> just have challenging and there. engaging yeah. game. My companion is actually stronger than I am. <laughs> Damn. Damn. After leveling my companion, he's higher level than me now. Or I guess she's higher level than me now. Time for the new re new record. I'm pretty sure I killed that one that boss much faster as well. Damn. You need to be keep keeping track of like each uh, each category, like the first uh, time to first boss, time to second boss, time to third boss. You know, like a true speed run. Damn. Oh fuck! These mobs slow me down. Wait, where's my companion going? He's just <laughs> going all the way there, soloing all the mobs now. Just Damn. completely ignore these ones. Oh wait, he's actually dying though. No, he, he looks fine. Damn, I'm dying. It's OP heal. Damn, this heal too full. What the fuck? This is the most OP pet I've seen. I think it's stronger than uh, Hercules on PWI that Venomancers have. Automatically pulls for you as well. So it's yeah. like a Bob Wizard. Not only like, one. like you physically like. It's doing the dungeon for me. <laughs> just AFK and see if you just. <laughs> All right, let's see if I meditate. We'll see if I meditate here. I guess it doesn't go ahead and start attacking the boss, unfortunately. So I can't just stay here and watch it, but kill the boss. No, well, what if you meditate in range? Because if he gets aggroed, you get locked out. Oh, oh, there we go. No, it's attacking. How much damage does it do? Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this went did like 30% HP in that one skill. Holy shit! It's already down to like 60%, just from the companion attacking by itself. Alright. Holy shit. It's doing more damage than I'm doing. Like, it's damn, just the 30% no. right there. What the <laughs> fuck? Eating the shit out of it. <laughs> this companion's OP. Damn. So in reality, you only need like two people. Just get the companions. Just need, you just oh, need yourself. Yeah, one. You just need yourself plus the companion. Damn. I'm going to stay here and hope it doesn't aggro, I guess. Wait, what's our invisible wall? Alright, I guess, I, guess, I guess we go this way. Oh. Alright, I guess we go this way. I right, see, that's a good way.
Dude, maybe your job is just to pour the mobs. <laughs> just maybe. Keep running. At this Let point. The companion do the work. That's what it seems like. And it's, and not only does it kill those mobs, it also stuns these ones down back here. Even though it has like, like when it's not even in range to get hit. Yeah, this is like a Phoenix bleed on external. What the hell is Phoenix bleed on external? Oh, because we. We coded it to be so fucking overtuned that it reminds us of like 2008. Wait, what the hell is Phoenix Fleet on external? What do you mean? It's it's the um. It's yeah, we made Phoenix, the Phoenix. We we made the Phoenix um bleed as hit as hard as it did in 2005. Remember the Venom pet? Oh, that's Phoenix. <laughs> But on external? I don't, no one had the Phoenix on like external. What? Yes, they did. What? Really? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, GM accounts. Wait, what? Oh, external. Like, <laughs> not. External. People had external. Phoenix on external? Yes. I didn't know that. I guess I must Damn. have not played external much. That does seem to be the case. That does seem to be the case. I like how I kicked the chest, that's just hilarious. Also, the sorting animation. Alright, I guess I got... A chess piece this time. What else am I missing? I'm still missing this one piece. Oh, I might as well just might as well just do it until 36. At this point. Well, maybe there's a higher level dungeon there. You think so? Like just like speed. Do you think? You th but you oh, see, right. is the reason why a pet doing that much damage is because he literally fed it like three thousand times earlier? I mean, maybe. My pet is literally higher level than me. I'm level 25. He's like 36. Or I guess it's a she. Damn. He's, oh, he's 32. He's higher level than me. I, I guess in PvP, it's literally just companion versus companion. I'm assuming companion can be you, someone It's PvP. actually Pokemon, but you are the Pokemon. What? <laughs> what? What kind of meme is this? Beginner 25. Uh, Alright, I'm wondering if I should be like... Maybe doing this? Like maybe, maybe 1, I should be doing this. XP. But it's 1000 XP. I know, but that it's like... Bounty Hunter quest though. Damn. Like you, like you think like bounty hunter is uh, supposed to be a lot of XP, right? Damn. Okay, oh, like that guy bought a how bounty hunter quest work. That guy bought a mount. Wait, what the fuck? Why is my game lagging? You're flying too fast. Damn. The game can't render fast enough, I guess. Damn. I guess there's actually no point in buying a mount. Render speed can't keep up. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is like the... Probably like where you... Maybe get a bunch of quests in one place, but it doesn't look like it. I guess I'll just follow and go to the place and see what happens.
Wait, why is it lag? Why does it lag when I like go through the go across the bridge on the on my flying sword? <laughs> What's talking about? Literally underground? What? Oh, I got a heart string? Yeah. Huh? Tumbleweed. What did I even get? What the fuck? What did Yo. I even get? What did I even get? These are life skill items. Listen to the music. Damn, I can play cards. I can play card games. Damn. Damn, can we play Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> what? They should let us play Yu-Gi-Oh. Damn, two games in one. Actually getting money's worth. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? What? Oh, he just disappeared and appeared. Yeah, it's kind of weird quest thing. Yeah, this is what Neo wants to look like. What, this person? This man, this man right here. I don't know, does Neo want long hair though? And the ponytail? Well, you can change your hairstyle, but you know, this is the no, face that he wants. The hairstyle makes the face. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, if you cut off all of your hair, you'll look different. Yeah. The hair makes the face. Ancestral record, another mechanic. Maybe this is why games, when they release, they start off with, like, minimal mechanics. Because this game is bloated as fuck. Oh, it's not exactly a new game at this point. Yeah, but they should probably release yeah. the first version of the game to start off with. Okay, so they consider bounty hunting quest their ultimate objective. Um, uh, lar largest organization of bounty hunter in Central Plain. Whenever the mission becomes available, give it to the bounty hunter quest to complete it. What the hell is Student Plane 1? I think that's... So, like, I think how level works is that, according to Van, every time you reach level 36, you, like, kind of prestige and reset back to 1, but you also get a rank upgrade. So, instead of beginner, you become a student. So, for, so beginner 36, mm. you, you go up into student 1, and then you go back to student 36, and it gets to the next level after that, or something like that. I see. It's like reawakening, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they choose to do it that way, though. That's pretty weird. Like, what am I looking at? I guess let's just do this. Not yet activated. Yes, you can't do that. Wait, what are these things? The blood barrier? Oh, wait. Is this what I'm supposed to... Is this how the bounty hunter quests work? Like, you're supposed to actually find the mob you need to kill? Damn, an so actual like, bounty hunter. Like, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to go here. And I have to do this. You actually summon the mob? Or something? And then... I do this. And then I guess this is the bounty hunter quest. Bro. Damn, what's your I, I, I guess I guess the mob makes you feel bad for killing it. <laughs> Alright, so I killed that. I guess you're actually a bad guy because you're killing trees. 
who are who, are, who can feel pain and is protesting against you killing it. If you kill it anyways. Man. It's against your values. Time to quit the game. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Book of Eons. I I don't know what the fuck that is. Wait, what was the button I pressed to open the bounty hunter thing? Fuck, I already forgot. GG. Ancestral Records is what it's called. Okay, so now I have to go to this person. Damn, instead of a sword, they should have just gave a cloud. Yeah, but, you know... They write sword back in the days. Cloud would be like Sun Wukong. This is, yeah, exactly. uh, this is martial arts, not journey to the west. There's a huge <laughs> difference, you know. I guess, I guess uh, people flew on swords back then. Yep. Did not know that. Well, in the martial arts universe, they fly on swords. In the journey to the yeah, west in... universe, they fly on cloud, you know? There's a huge difference. I literally didn't know that. But <laughs> I thought they... I, I don't they know, just actually. Yeah, I, I think they just literally floated. The like gravity doesn't isn't a thing for them. They can turn it off and on at will. GG. I mean, sucks. Uh, when people when uh, Isaac Newton invented gravity, right? <laughs> Before that, we didn't have to deal with it. I guess now I have to go to the. Quasia Village. Which is here. I feel like Damn. when people first start playing this game, the first thing they need to do is like watch a tutorial video of how the interface even works. Damn. Didn't Shaky Bay quit because the interface was bad? It was that bad that people quit over it. Damn. God of War. Recruiting members who don't take something seriously. Don't take them too seriously. And we want a lot of drama. Sounds like a uh, guild for Chase. So now, I have to seek out the evil spirit. By using the... What even is this? Demon seeking lan turquoise lantern. Yeah. As you do. Is this the evil spirit? I guess I detected the evil spirit. Damn. What? Wait, that, that's not part of the Bounty Hunter quest. Bro, what is this? This is so disjointed. I guess that's not the evil spirit. Or is it? That was, well, it said evil ghost. It doesn't look but evil. But what's the difference between a spirit and a ghost? I mean, like, see that that looks like that looks pretty evil, right? <laughs> I, yes, I guess, indeed. So, so I guess but... that was good then. I found the evil spirit and I completed the quest. Whereas that guy there was just normal, or that girl there was just normal. So then I guess I go to this person. This person is normal too. 
是不得安宁了。And I acquired a vegetable seed somehow. I don't even know how. I guess this person has an evil spirit. I guess I'm just exercising evil spirits right now. Indeed. I guess they used a lantern back in the day instead of a cross. Yeah, see, they use cross in America, but in China they use the lantern. Damn. You no, know, they're different. Different locations also has uh, different types of spirits as well. American spirits are afraid of crosses, but Chinese spirits are afraid of lanterns. Bro, this is that uh, literally fifty percent of the people in this village is evil. They're not evil. Guy's... They have an evil spirit. Search them all. Them. The Lord knows his own. They have a spirit. Look, this one's gonna them. be evil. No, but see, see? we, we are it's cleansing. We're cleansing them off the evil spirit, though. So they're not evil. The spirit within them is evil. They're possessed. No, there's yeah, a well, difference. If you are not a peasant in the village, you you wouldn't really care about the difference. You just want the evil people to be gone. Yeah, well, eat well, the chickens in the enclosure. Well, I guess no, you're so, a farmer so we're, now. So we're helping them. They're not Bro, evil. It's, that's not a chicken. That's a rooster. What do you mean? Chickens aren't chickens roosters? Mm, chicken well, typically refers to female, the female bird. And chicken is more valuable than the rooster because uh, wait, I thought hen. I thought hen was a female chicken. There's more than one word that can. Rooster is a male chicken, and hen is a female chicken, right? Isn't chicken the species, and rooster and hen is what refers to male it's and female? It's not that clearly clearly delineated. Really? Damn. Damn, that's too complicated for me then. If it's not clearly delineated. Actually, I mean, it could. It should probably oh, the be difference hen. is is that a hen is a mature female chicken. <laughs> the hen what? refers to a term specifically for females that are old enough to lay eggs. Nice. What? So then, when you eat chicken wings, are you only eating specifically female ones? Or are you also no. eating roosters? <laughs> uh, meat chickens are, I believe, mostly roosters. It was a mixture. Damn, then the search should be called rooster wing, not chicken wings. Yeah. Learned well, I think there, it depends though, because there's like, there's like chicken farms where they're specifically produced just for slaughter. And then there's ones that are used specifically for egg laying. I'm pretty uh, sure. Have you, guys, have you guys seen the YouTube video where it's like a chicken factory? And they have like a bunch of these little chicks on like a conveyor belt. And they're sorting yeah. the eggs based on male or female, and the male ones literally get sent down a grinder. No, I'm not seeing that one. Because I'm pretty sure the male, like, roosters don't have, like, the breast meat like female chickens do. They're oh, built fuck different. cooking. Fuck cooking. Damn. Cooking is too confusing. There's a fast food chain in Australia called Red Rooster. Damn. Like, Maybe that's what Kentucky Fried Chicken should be called. Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, there's KFC as well, but you know, now that we are talking about it, maybe uh, we should. Uh, maybe I should uh, give Red Rooster my patronage because <laughs> you know, oh, somebody's gonna think about the roosters. I'm supposed you to go all on a about soul journey. Chicken. I'm gonna go on a soul journey, man. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Bro, how the fuck do I go on a soul journey? Use the underworld lantern. Oh, here's the underworld lantern. Bro. Wait, I guess there's different ways. Like, or, like on the first one. I had to use the banner to kill a tree, and now here, I'm about to use an underworld lantern to enter the spirit world and kill some ghosts or something. Bruh. Damn. This is so bloated. Yeah, now, now I'm here. Damn. 
I'm in the spirit world. And now what do I do? Oh, the guy, guy saying, guys here, it's in the well. Inside the well, there is a big boss, he says. No, I, I think... Escape from the well. Wait, what? It says escape from the well, though. That's probably the chain. Wait, but can they see me? Because I'm in the spirit world right now. Maybe they are also in the spirit world. Hold on. Wait. I oh, can, what the hell is that? I can, I can attack it. Can they even see me? I'm confused. Yes, you're all in the spirit world. Spirits can see each other. No, but I can also see people not in the spirit world, though. Well, I guess uh, that's the only benefit of being in the spirit world. Yeah, but I don't know if they can see me. That's the thing. But the... Just because I can see them, doesn't that doesn't But, but these people around me. you, they might be in the spirit world as well. They could They're not be. just in the normal world. Yeah, they could be. I don't know if they are, though. How, I don't know if, how to tell. GG? Damn, I thought you knew. Oh, well, I yeah, see I... a lantern next to their name, so it could be. Maybe the lantern means that they are also in the spirit world. I thought that was your land. Oh wait, there's two no, lands. They, all of them has a lantern next to their name. Damn, this boss is Damn. hard to kill. Where's your companion? I can't summon the companion outside, I think. Or can Damn, I? I guess your companion does no, have a can't. spirit. No, like I can't summon in the open world. I think the companion is only for inside the uh, dungeons. Mm. Oh, I can't Maybe see it was guy. a temporary thing. No, I think it's only for in the dungeon. I can summon it when I go into a dungeon right later. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is it's like a temporary mechanic because they might think if it's a closed beta, then people wouldn't be doing dungeons together. No, I'm pretty sure the companion is going to be in the main game as well. I highly Damn. doubt they actually plan anything for the closed beta. Because if they Damn. did, it wouldn't take so long to level up. It was just give us the China version where it's like apparently one hour to level up to 36. And I've been here for, for 11 hours and I'm still 25. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Fuck, I just took damage. I just took a lot of damage, actually. Personal soul I liberation. soul increased. value 20. 20. Oh, look, you have a uh, turquoise lantern skills. What? Oh, that the boss didn't give me shit. Like, what is this? Personal soul liberation? What the fuck does that mean? There's just so many fucking stats and mechanics in this game. I'm so confused. What is going on? <laughs> like, some like uh, we we need a video tutorial of literally everything in this game. I I don't I don't get how this is possible. Every, everything you do just brings up more questions rather than answering. I don't get how this is possible. But yeah, I think right here what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to like... Seek... The demon I'm supposed to kill, maybe. But see... There was a spirit that escaped from the fountain, so I'm not supposed to go in there, because he's already escaped. So I'm actually supposed to go all the way up there. I think. Bam. Yeah, I'm supposed to kill this guy. Everyone's ganking him. Okay. Yep, that was what one thing I needed to do. See, and I get soul liberation points as well, whatever that means. Yeah. Maybe it's for this? Like upgrade reward? Uh doesn't look like it. And then Ying Fi disturbs the shadows. I'm supposed to kill another one, right? 
Oh, I guess that was the guy in the well. No, that was. I don't think that was the guy in the well. He escaped from the well. Oh. So. so he couldn't be in the well. So I'm just done here? But it's only 1000 XP, that's a. Uh... Damn. Alright, time to exit the spirit world, I guess. Or do I or do I do this? Nope. This is to catch ghosts. Damn. Nope, this Store is also, this is to, also catch to catch ghosts. Yeah, these are to catch ghosts. Yeah, that's not useful. I, okay, time to leave the spirit world, I guess. Yeah. Actually this isn't really the spirit world. I think. Or is it? No way Soul it is. journey. No way it is, because those mobs, those NPCs disappeared. Yeah, so that is a different world entirely. So what did I do? Like, what did that give me just now? Nothing? Anything? <laughs> <laughs> Bounty Hunter, I completed this. What else did I... Complete a turquoise standard quest. Those are cultivation one time. I don't see, I don't oh, see you... anything. Damn, 15k XP. Complete a turquoise lantern quest under cultivation one time. But this is cultivation, and I don't see a turquoise lantern quest. Maybe I'm supposed to complete this first. I'm supposed to do this before I do the turquoise lantern quest, maybe. Or maybe. I'm supposed to, or I'm supposed to No no not that. Okay, so I go to Wei Chuan Plain and use the Akabane Jin Lane. Where the hell is Wei Chuan Why does Plain? listening to YouTube play the game give me such a fucking headache with all the different terms? Wait, what? <laughs> Like, all the terms in this game, just listening to you describe it give me a fucking headache. <laughs> Why? There's so much bullshit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? Like, there's so many different nerds. <laughs> I mean... You know, it, 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 that means we need, a, we need a video guide that explains every single term in the game. A comprehensive guide to every mechanic on Source of Legend Online. Damn, maybe time to look up a Chinese guide. No, trust me. So here's the thing, right? Chinese Chuan, people have this. I think it is. You have to realize Chinese people have a fucking vendetta against using uh, proper nouns. What? Literally every word they use in the guide is going to be like a slang or a euphemism. They'll, they'll never call it, they'll never call something what it actually is. Damn, I guess Damn. the culture has changed since I left. It's just net culture. I guess it's changed since I left though. Back in, back in my days, the internet stuff was still pretty comprehensible. I should, but I guess nowadays it's different. <laughs> For example, instead of saying YouTube, they say oil pipe. Oh yeah, they have like a bunch of uh, different weird terminology for like StarCraft Two mobs as well. Or uh, they Minnesota. they have oh, yeah. this. They absolutely will never call a League champion. They call League champions by their titles, not their names. I mean by their titles, Damn, like Obama. Names. Yeah, Lucian. Uh, they call instead of saying Lucian, they say Obama. Because he's black. Because he's black. <laughs> what? Yeah, the the black. Wait, but how's, that, how's, that, their, how's that his title though? Like, well, is he no. known as so for example, for something? example, um, no, for example, um, what's Anthony? What's a good? What's a good term? Well, like Koki as airplane. Uh, yes. Wukong is brother monkey. 
I mean, it makes sense if you speak the language. Alistair is Cal, right? Or is it Cal Bell? <laughs> uh, Leona is just tank girl, female tank. I guess. See, see, the real question is, what are they calling Senna? Are they calling it like Michelle? I have no idea. Wait, why are you, why are you guys even like reading the Chinese the Chinese terminology from though? Oh, um, watching LPL. Oh. I guess they use the Chinese terminology there. Yeah, even the casters. The casters Damn. don't even call the champions by their actual names. For example, like you know how like one of the VTubers I watch is being like was getting constantly botted. They call instead of calling the bot a bot, they call the bot a wheelbarrow. Damn. The fuck? <laughs> the bot. I I don't know. I guess. I guess it's because they're pushing the view count up. No fucking idea. It's like it's like pushing the view. view no, count it's up. it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I I don't know why they call it real barrel. I mean, I guess brother monkey makes sense though. Yeah, so that that makes sense. Monkey. Like if you know the if you know the if you know the thing that they're referring to it makes super sense if you don't know what the fuck that is. I think they call it zerglings on a StarCraft Two little dogs though. Little dogs. They call <laughs> mutilists flying dragons. Oh yeah, yeah. They um they call um, That's pretty Kha'zix. They call Kha'zix <laughs> praying mantis. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh yeah, Kha'zix. It does actually look like. I mean, like the names, like they're descriptive. Flying dragons. Damn! How Damn. did they? How did they come to this? Why? What? I swear to God, the only reason why I know flying dragons are muted is because of Arsten. Arsten. Iotis. <laughs> yeah, but why that one did, episode? I, huh? The the all no it's like two episodes but oh. I swear to God all the inbound complaints from Chinese players are about Zerg, so um, I only know what flying dragons and little dogs and yeah, shit. Well, well, maybe but I don't Zerg know what Zerg is called. Maybe Zerg is Simba. I mean, if if everyone if even the Chinese I mean, are complaining about it, you know. Is yeah, Zerg Simba? It could be. Well, you see, there was one episode where the person who submitted. A inbound request, but he was playing Zerg, so he actually got a reversal card from Hearthstone where it's saying not only is the opposing race not inbound, you are actually abusing all the inbound mechanics of Zerg, so you are inbound. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if that's a win or a fail though. I feel like that might be a kind of a win. But it's a Uno reversal card. Yes. Alright, so I have completed the cultivation or some some shit bro I, I don't even remember which which tab i just opened where was the where was the fucking tab again it was like n j it was fucking j okay i completed Damn. this and i'm now 26. oh wait this gave what? me one point for 14.8k what nice Time to do it again. But I can't. What? Damn. And I just got a bunch of... That I don't even know. Like, what the fuck is... Driven Token... The fuck is Cloud Rider Command? Amulet Coin Heaven? Blood Ruvia? <laughs> Damn. Okay... You <laughs> shift E. Okay. Shift Damn. And yet I still haven't managed to complete the turquoise lantern quest. How do I even activate the turquoise lantern quest though? Well, you get yourself a turquoise lantern. Maybe it's a quest you have to take in the spirit world. Damn, maybe I should go back then. Can't you enter the spirit world from here? I could. Negative key intrusion. What the fuck? But I, but I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be though. Ah, oh, who knows? 
Basically, there, there's nothing here. <sighs> Let me go back. Right. Oh, wait. There's a bunch of headless generals and evil specters. Huh. That may be time to go to one. But the challenge skill is a team. You need a team to challenge it? Difficulty one. Time to find a team. All right. I'm, I'm going to go to, I guess, this one. Just to see. Difficulty one. So maybe I can actually beat it. And it's been unchallenged. Should I move OS over to NVMe? I have it installed now. Is it already on an SSD? It's on an, a SATA SSD. I think the difference will probably be minimal. Um, but if you are bored, you could go ahead and reinstall your PC, I guess. Although... It is true. It already it already mm -hmm. um, boots pretty quickly. Yeah. Like as NVMe as my and game. SSD, the difference isn't nearly as much as HDD versus SSD. So. Yeah. I guess it's, I shouldn't even. F I bought a. Was you know, like a Gen Four um, SSD, expecting eventually to upgrade uh, motherboard. Because I was Gen go? Three motherboard. How did that go? So uh, well, so it's just you. I'm only gonna get um, Gen Three performance on the SSD, on the card, obviously. Oh. Oh, I summoned my companion. Damn, Let's this guy. It's 108k HP. Yeah, why, why are Chinese games numbers so much? Am I, am I gonna be able to kill this guy solo? I don't think so. Oh wait, but my companion does good damage. Well, I guess just companion carried. Are companion you even the main carried. character? Are you even the main character or is the companion the main Damn, character? my companion does so much damage. Oh wait, but he's... Well, like, he, he can't... He only like... He said it's time to go back. What does that mean? He's trash talking the mob. Oh. Time to go back to hell. Damn. Companion carried right now. Maybe I'm not the main character. The companion is the main character. Damn, it's, he's just permanently stun locked. Oh, he got out. So this game is pet difference instead of gear difference. Or PvE, maybe. Damn, this companion is just stun locking him. Damn, he's I mean, that died. sounds absolutely retarded, and if I, I guess. Wait, he died, but I didn't get anything. What? Do you have? Did you? Do you have to land a hit without your companion? Maybe. Damn. Bro, what? I didn't get anything. What the fuck is going on? Are you not? Are you not allowed to kill it with the companion? I feel like Maybe. any uh, no game that makes that. sense would tell you if it even ever made such an arbitrary thing. Concerning what you're basically describing is not allowing you to use a core game feature. Wait, but I didn't get I didn't get anything from that. What is going on? Worst use of $100 oh, is to what date is going so far? On? I'm so confused. Worst use of $100 to date so far, do you think? Nah. When it's just that loaded. $100? It's nothing. Well, he never told us, but he actually became a millionaire on crypto. No? Yes. Yeah, game, games used to cost like single player games used to cost like uh, sixty dollars back in the days. Anyways, you know, it's pretty much on par with the course. Uh, okay, be right back. I'm gonna go and see, try maybe the other compa the other mob, and see if only with Zelda uh, companion does anything. I doubt it. Uh, be right back though. One sec. All right, what's up? Back early. <laughs> see. If you can't figure out the game, maybe you just have to be better.
rather than playing the game, you know? Where's PvP? Good question. I'm level 26. I'm trying to complete this quest. But I don't know how. Damn, I'm doing so much less damage without my companion. Oh, but wait. Maybe I can do this? Damn, I'm just CCing him somehow. Stop at level 17. I've been on all day. I'm only 26. Van said you have to be 36 to PvP. I'm 26. 10 more levels to go. And it's been 11 hours and 30 minutes. So... Yeah, but the thing is, I don't want to, like, not play the game just because the PvE is bad, if, in case the PvE, PvP is good, you know? Damn, I'm just perma CC in this boss. How is this possible? This is perma CC. Let's hope we have no time to explore the PvP. Well, apparently, some people are already 36 in PvP. I don't know how they're doing it so fast, though. That's the thing. Like, we're actually slow. Some people are Silver League already in battle right now. According to Van. So either we're missing something, or Days has been on for like 24 hours by now or something like that. Yep. Need to get good. But how to get good? Also, how am I just completely wrecking this guy, this mini boss or whatever? He's like not even able to attack. He's just perma CC. This is supposed to be a boss. How am I even doing this? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just... RMB, OMB. You just can't do anything at all. Berserk by 10%? It better not. This is supposed to be an easy difficulty boss. Also... It better give me something. 11 hours still no PvP for me, but apparently some people are already PvP. So I don't know how they're doing it. They're, they clearly got know something I don't. Either that or they've just been playing for 24 hours instead of only 11. Okay, so I had to kill it without the companion. But earlier I killed this with the companion I got nothing. But now I got blue notice blue lotus notes. An envoy of the Turquoise Lantern levels. And then I guess I'm supposed to what? Collect this? Hmm. I guess I did Damn. that. Soul liberation points. I guess I liberated his soul. 
I got scammed for $40? No. How did I get scammed? There's still like four more days. And people are already higher level. And so this means I'm not good enough. That's, that's the only thing. Repeat rewards. I guess I could keep killing him. Okay, so I have... I guess I leveled up my turquoise lantern level. But what the fuck did that even do? <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm leaving the, uh... I'm leaving the spirit world. Sally came and failed BM. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Pray again. I don't know what that does. Oh, I get a check in box and I get heart strings. Bro, why, why, why do I- why are there so many quests where I don't know how to complete? Like, really, I couldn't complete that quest, and now I don't know how to complete this quest. Complete the turquoise lantern quest under cultivation. But this time, there's nothing under the cultivation for the turquoise lantern. Maybe I'm supposed to go here? Wait, where is this? I'm supposed to go to Cloud Rise, maybe. Uh, you have to, if you want to use the key, you have to download it from the client, not from Steam. <whistles> or you have to download the client from their website, I've downloaded their client. It's a game forged client. Yeah. I have mail. It's probably some fucking avatar again. Yep, avatar. Also, I lag every time I cross this fucking bridge. What is this? I can obtain... Used to obtain, very interesting. I can obtain, very interesting, yes. fucking translation. <laughs> very interesting. That I just obtained very interesting. <laughs> I, I literally obtained very interesting itself. Like the adjective. I obtained the adjective. It's not a what, it's just Damn. the, the this concept. This guy bought the $100. It's the manifestation, the idea of very interesting. And I, and I, own, that, I own that concept now. I own the adjective. Bro, I didn't even- I don't even know what that fucking did. Like, literally, what did that do? Right, this is a collection. This is a collectible. This is our avatar. Uh, I actually thought that was a title, but apparently not. That's not even a title. 
I, I got very interesting. That's that's it. I now have a very interesting. Holy fuck. Yeah, I don't I don't get it either. Yeah, I I don't get it either. All right. You know what? Let's just let's just go let's just go to the thing. Wait, I want to close this. Close this. Guys, nice ledger. I guess we're accountants now. Getting back his ledger. Unjust world. Um. Fuck. Let me go. Let me go to Cloud Rise. Why do I go back to Cloud Rise? What if this cheap, clearly ported mobile MMO is just a way for the Chinese government to put spyware on American citizens' PC? <laughs> Stay woke. But the publisher... Isn't the publisher German, though? Unless you think the spyware is in the game itself. Which I guess is not impossible. But... Didn't they say... That uh, the USA has actually uh, been been doing all the practices that they've been accusing other countries of, anyways. So I guess it goes both ways. Where do you put the code? Uh, I guess Sasu can help you. She already did that. I don't actually know because I just got the game. Like it's just it was just activated for me right away. I didn't need a code for myself. If. Uh... I don't go back to Cloud Rise though. Maybe I go back to base. Okay, let's go back to base. Or not base, my school. Oh, but I can only do one every, 20, every uh, 10 seconds or 10 minutes. Redeem coupon? Maybe. I guess it is kind of like a coupon. And then I go to Cloud Rise this way. Nice. It worked. Alright, congrats. Now you two can experience the questing and the translation of this game. Now you can decide whether uh, Shaky Bay quitting was justified or not. By seeing it for yourself. Yep, 80 gigabytes. Was it 80 gigabytes actually? Wait. I think it was. Yeah, it was 80 gigabytes. <laughs> More than BDO, I think. Video is only what forty? Yeah, video is only forty. <laughs> Probably because it has so many fucking mechanics in this game. Every single quest is a unique mechanic. For some reason. Spyware? Well spyware doesn't Well see the thing is spyware should be small though. Like, if it's large, it would actually be less likely to be spyware. Because if it's spyware, you want it to be installed on everyone's PC, so it should be as small as possible. 
Whereas with being big, so it's just more uh, incompetent programming, I guess. Or, or either that or incompetent design. But probably not spyware. Spyware, you want to be inconspicuous. Not obvious. Hmm, so I'm back here, but I actually don't see the thing that it told me to do. Did I make this marker by accident? Ooh. Damn, I came here for no reason. I guess it highlights some NPCs that are relevant, or what? No? No, I was born in China, actually. I haven't completed the tutorial yet? What the fuck does that mean? Probably like... Back in, uh... Was it like grade 5 or something like that? So it was a while ago. That's for sure. The fuck, fuck it. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do Untrust World. I, I don't, I don't get this fucking turquoise lantern cultivation quest. Not there. Wait, what's this? Probably not there. What do you mean I've been so westernized, damn? Because I've been here for a long time? And then is that a good thing or a bad thing? I guess I've been westernized enough for you to think I'm fully Canadian. <laughs> oh wait, what is this? There are some, uh... Spirits here that I guess I can do for the bounty hunter. Damn, time to do those. But these ones are hard. These ones are level 31. Level 34 in ones. I don't think I can kill them. Damn. But the question is, can the companion kill them? I don't think I get anything from if the companion kills them. That's what I noticed. Oh, really? Not sure if it's good or bad. Right, that's okay. See... I don't actually know what I got to get, get out of this, though. I, I thought you got 15k XP. I did. But that was... I wasn't sure... It's it's so... It's confusing. Like, I don't know if that was, like, a quest. Damn. I thought it was a quest. 
14 k XP. It's just killing them. Because, like, I killed one spirit thing and I got, like, 460. Highest level 3 or whatever. What the fuck? But I don't, I don't get what the good that did me. I don't know if that did any good for me at all. Damn. You could have been uh, level uh, 27 by now. Sticking to the good old dungeon. <laughs> Oh wait, why did Archie hold on the art for one second? Wait, what the fuck? I can't turn off the RGB on my headphone. Alright, there we go. I needed to turn off the RGB on my headphone because it was running out of battery. Damn. It, it turned on by itself. Oh, I, was, I was just curious why you were uh, why you uh said I've been so westernized. All right, the horrors. Mimosa wood. I guess this is for a quest? Yep. Uh, it's going back to doing quests because I couldn't figure out the fucking turquoise lantern thing. Damn. Like maybe I'm supposed to go to the uh, envoy. Like maybe I have to like get this leveled up all the way and then that gets me EXP or something, but. Hmm. Let's just do quests. I think I think if it's not going to give me EXP right away, we can just ignore it. It's only because I, I had a quest here. Like I have this quest that gives me 5k, but I couldn't. I can't figure out how to complete it, so that's useless to me. <laughs> GG. Damn. Well, it's 5k only. Oh yeah, it is. It's it's not worth to spend the time figuring it out. But I wanted to trigger that. I thought it, I thought it would be simpler than that. But Maybe I, it's I time to I've ask chat. I've been wrong. And how come your character doesn't have like pants? What do you mean? There's pants. And it has underwear. That's, it's it's called shorts. Yeah, but it's not matching the rest of your black outfit. Hmm. You see, I would imagine you you would be expected to have a black set of pants. Debatable. <laughs> the shoes are pink too, actually. Damn, do you even have shoes? Like, actual gear? Of course I have shoes. See, I think this only changes the upper body. So I need to, like, wear this to change the bracer. I need to wear this to change the shoes. What? And then I can wear... Okay, that's like Damn. a cape. And then... Oh wait, so the shoes and the pants kind of could go together. I see. Oh wait. So it's basically lower body. This is this is what I have, actually. Lotus Blossom in the Rain. Okay. And then you can go with this. I guess, it, I guess the, it's just... The, the outfit I was wearing just didn't really match. So, so I can, it's actually like this, if I go here and then here. That's kind of... This is like the complete outfit. I guess. <laughs> Damn, okay, that makes more sense. Alright, fine, I'll, I will fix it. Fuck! <laughs> I can't buy this? I thought it was your gear. It's not. Like, Damn, I guess you were using fashion. What? Damn, had to, had to have falling stars. Wait. How come... So I'm <laughs> only able to use the, the, this one? And this one. And this one. But I can't use this one. Okay, Damn. so I'm only able to use like the first set. Everything else I have to buy. What? Is that a little house on your back? What? There was a little house on your back. Like from a button you were clicking. 
this thing? No. No, 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 no. You clicked something. There was a house on oh. your back. No, that's a cape. No, this thing. This thing. Oh, there. Yeah, this. I think what it's the like fuck? a tendon. The sword looks really cool. Maybe that's why I say the gig might spill off the sword. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Damn. The big ass sword as well. And I can I can actually equip a uh, fashion for the sword as well, I think. Again. Damn, sword fashion, I guess. Weapon fashion. Oh, it's weapon fashion. Weapon skin? Okay, so I can Damn. just equip this. So at least I have a matching outfit, I guess. What? Damn. Damn. Oh, and I guess I oh can. Oh my god. I can have butterflies around me. <laughs> Damn. Alright, fuck it. I guess we slap out 27 today. I feel like the reason why it's slower when I do quests is because there's so many fucking mechanics and some of the quests are fake busts. Like they say you can complete it, but then you can't. <laughs> Fake quests, I guess. Yep. They try to. They pretend you can complete it, but you actually can't. I'm gonna get level 27, and then I think I go sleep. Maybe. It's getting. It's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> Damn! I thought you was you sleep at six. Well, I get ready to sleep at two, and then I, and then eventually I fall asleep at six. I guess I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Literally preparing to sleep, like <laughs> Neil prepares for his exams. Four hour of preparation. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Anthony is hilarious. Yep. Good memes. Yeah, but my eyes are getting kind of tired as well, so I should definitely finish off soon. Damn, too bad Anthony is uh, only just waking up. So he could, so he missed like all of the glorious questing I did earlier. Unfortunate. Thirty percent. Damn, you didn't pre-download it. Wait, are you just waking up, Dante? You didn't know you could pre-download? Oh, we have been talking about that. What weapon is this guy using? Damn, didn't read the info. Ah, we gave the info. You just didn't see it, I guess. What can I say? I think he's using a pickaxe, actually. What the fuck? What, have you played Minecraft? Yeah, but it's a bandit. Oh. What is this guy? This guy's like, oh my god, I'm so tired of my daily job of mining. <laughs> I'm just gonna rob people. <laughs> isn't isn't that how it works? What? It's not? I thought that's how it works. I, I mean, I, I imagine they would actually, you know, use a knife. <laughs> but what if they don't have knives? That they are like a miner. They only have their pickaxe. I mean, they have a kitchen knife. <laughs> What if That's they... probably still more effective. I don't know, maybe they don't know how to cook. What maybe the they, maybe fuck? Maybe they don't have a kitchen. They just, they just oh hang out at the God. bar and drink all day or something, I don't know. Damn. So the Charles Chase company about Cody didn't want. <laughs> that is true. 
Well, I'm not blaming you, but it is what it is, I'm afraid. That's okay, though. Damn. Since you just woke up, I guess, uh... <laughs> you complained about Cody, didn't watch. <laughs> Damn, has Chase even been on here today? It's been yeah. awfully quiet. Yeah, I had to mute him earlier, because he was, uh... Damn, was he complaining he was about not getting a code? Yeah, he was. <laughs> But I guess he uh, going to sleep now. Damn. Shit. I'm so far away from 27, actually. I'm not even close to 27 right now. <laughs> Maybe it's time to go back to the dungeon. At least you can sleep in like 40 minutes. Oh. But these quests the XP actually isn't that bad either, though. It's just... Wait, what? What is this? Wait, I didn't do this quest? Free the bride? Three out of five. Wait, what? Did I not? I didn't do this quest? Okay, I'll complete it's that. Not... I'll, I'll complete that after. Damn, the I'm bandits are kidnapping brides. The question is not how... just women, just brides. How are there so many brides? Like, I guess well, they must know the exact status of everyone, whether they're getting married or not. You kidnap indeed. them in advance. Because they, they won't kidnap them before. They have to wait until they become a bride to kidnap them. Well, it does make sense. Because you kidnap Ow. any random woman, the only uh, affected fellow is probably their family. But if you kidnap a bride, then it's two families, because you have to include the groom's family. How did they know? Get when, more money. How, did, how did they know when all of them are getting married, though? I don't know. They uh, go to a uh, like a like whatever Chinese people do in the morning. They look around. They see a couple, and they uh, remember their face. Oops. But how do they know when they're getting married? How do they know uh, their marriage date? You know. Who knows. <laughs> Maybe they make educated guesses. Or oh, they're yeah. actually, you know, like friends of the family. You can just see who Because it is one village. You can just look at the... Wait. No, they're bandits. They don't live in the village. If they're well, bandits, they would be exiled from the village. Well, they might be bandits from the village. They just... People just don't know their real identity. I don't, I don't think that's a real thing. Damn, for real? Is that a real I thing? would imagine there's gonna be a lot of thieves in the in villages that nobody knows. I mean, if you're a known mm. thief, then uh, I don't think you're doing your job well. A thief is one thing, but a bandit is a different thing, though, I feel like. Like, you can steal stuff without being discovered, but as soon as you get discovered, you're just gonna be exiled from the village. Yes. So it's kind of like, if but you're you kidnapping see, yeah. people, then there's, then, like, it's gonna be pretty identifiable, I think. Like, like Panda needs to like robbing them face to face. Yeah, but, but you're not showing your face. Mm. I guess they can identify you based By on your voice? voice. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, you can just distort your voice. Hmm. Or maybe they have an inside man in the village. The bandit just kidnapped someone who was walking home one day. Damn. He said, hey man, we're gonna let you go. But you gotta tell us who's getting married. Damn, I guess I don't know how bandits work back in those days, you know? Isn't there like bandit camps? Which kind of implies that the bandits live in their own camp? I don't know. Bandit camp. Yeah, bandit camps. That might be like a group of people. Or a group of bandits that go to village from village stealing stuff. Damn, I didn't know how bandits were. I don't know how bandits work back in those days, man. That's unfortunate. Damn. Damn. I guess killing bears instead of saving brides. Well, apparently you need to get their bile. To make them puke or whatever. 
bamboo forest bear. Is that supposed to be a panda? No, pandas are black and white. No, but I mean bamboo forest bear is basically panda. Hmm. <laughs> Don't they have to have, like, oh. specific qualities to be considered a panda? Well, like, I mean... Pandas aren't bears, if, right? I, I thought they were. Really? But I thought they were actually, like, part of the bear species. Huh. I, I, have, I right. have no idea, then. Is panda a bear? Or a raccoon? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Is a panda a bear? Or is it its own species? It's like how zebras aren't horses. Species Ursidae. Which is bear. Damn. Yeah, they're, so they're bear. This is just a really dumb bear. Wait, isn't it illegal to um to even talk about killing pandas in China? I have no idea. If it is, then that could be uh, the reason why they're called bears instead of pandas then. Damn, bamboo forest no, bear. That would actually be a good reason. If that was true. The quality light focus crystal tool received. The quality oh, of sea of fox herbs can be improved. What the fuck is a sea of fox herb? Is it this thing? It's fucking this thing. What even is this though? Be a fuck. Why why is this called oh, I'm too tired to question it. The gear is called a uh, sea of fog herbs now. It is what it is. Alright, see this quest actually gives me 5k. That ain't bad. And then this quest That's really is gonna give me what? Another a 7k. And Damn. then here we here is another 3k. So I don't know, it's kind of like kind of equivalent to like doing several dungeons already, I guess. Damn. I don't know if it's been faster or slower though. Probably around the same speed. Hmm. But at least you get variety. Do I though? <laughs> wow, better than doing the same dungeon for like 300 times. I mean, I don't know. Pressing F on a bunch of things a few times is kind of not really variety either. But variety isn't really good though. You know, there's there's there was there's so much variety in this game already. I don't really think we want more variety. To be fair. <laughs> Damn. I... I already have more questions than I have answers. Ban a chieftain. Especially when like half the starting quest already doesn't Dude, even The bride is complaining. Wait, Why did you that. rescue me? I'd rather be a bandit's wife. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> That's funny. Who are you? Why didn't my husband come himself? <laughs> what the fuck? What is well, this? Well, I guess, I guess it somewhat makes sense because women mean? are after men with power, right? And that guy that was next to him was the chieftain. So it made sense that she wanted to be someone with power's bandit. wife. Yes, but at least it's a chieftain. Better than some peasant, you see. I don't know, a chieftain of bandits isn't really better than a chieftain of a village, though. No, but you don't know if she was uh, destined to be with the chieftain of a village. It might be just some ordinary peasant. I'm not debatable. Life and death too. What's next? Rescue the grooms? Uh, Takes okay. the medicine. 
Why is it calling you brother Meng? I think that's probably because it's um like you're doing the quest for brother Meng, maybe. I think that's kind of how the story goes. Good people too. Damn. Bro, these people don't even stand up when talking to you. I mean, How rude, Bryce, bro. If the Bryce didn't want to be rescued, why, did they, why were they in cages? Maybe it's a Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> See, that's the thing. If they were actually going to be the wife of a bandit, they wouldn't, I don't think they would be in cages at that point. Okay, just where we put animals. Highly poisonous spider mother. <laughs> what kind of name is this? Well, I think I think like like I was saying earlier, I feel like these names are probably fully translated directly without like caring about the um, length or whatever. Like in Chinese, it would probably be just like three or four characters, but when it's puts put it into English and you translate it directly, it's just overly convoluted and Damn. too long. Damn. But see, it's actually venomous, not poisonous, because you're not exactly going to eat the spiders. Hmm, but what if it's actually poisonous, though, and the spider is not venomous? So maybe well, maybe, maybe that's why it's harmless, though. Like, maybe people would hardly... in this village are eating spiders. Damn! Then why are you killing them? Because You're these are the poisonous ones. We need to get rid of the mean? poisonous ones, so they can eat the non-poisonous ones. Damn. See, they weren't smart enough to figure out which ones were poisonous and which ones were safe to eat, so we just have to get rid of the poisonous ones so they can just eat whatever spiders they see. Damn. I guess it makes sense from that, that, a uh, that would, that would perspective. Make sense. Better not to teach them how to identify spiders, so you get repeated service, so you get more XP. <laughs> and gold. I don't think we're ever coming back here. Unfortunate. I guess this village is gonna die off. Yep. I feel like we're just here. Probably as we're passing by. That's kind of how these stories go, right? We're not really... We don't really live here. We're just, we're just we're passing by. Damn, that was a big spider. Out maybe of that breath. Was, that, was the, that was the spider mother, maybe. I guess you're out of breath. Well, oh, now, now you have breath, I guess. I've been, cause what? I've been running too much. Yeah, see, I, can, I, I, I can't dash twice. There's a dodge cooldown when it says out of breath. I accidentally pressed dodge instead of sprint. Oh, I completed the area quest by accident. That wasn't even part of my quest I was supposed to do for EXP. What the fuck? Oh, here is the spider muzzer. Damn. Alright. We killed the spider muzzer. We need to obtain... What else do we need to do here? Oh. Hamid Stream Investigation Point heading south. What? You also need sea pearls. I do need sea pearls. But why do spiders have sea pearls? Well, see, these spiders live in the water. Like, That's called see, a crab. You see how there's so many. <laughs> what? Wait, crabs are crabs? underwater spiders. Crabs only have six legs, right? What? I thought they had eight. Wait, do they? Fuck. I don't know my animals. Bro, how Damn, many legs do, you spider, you would... do you have crabs have? I thought you would eat crabs. Just because I eat crabs doesn't mean I know how many legs they have. Someone else cooks them for me, so when I get them, you know, they're already chopped up. Wait, the question is, do you count the pincers as legs? 
Ooh, that's a good question. But I, I don't think so. Right? Because they don't walk on their pincers. So those are hands. But oh. you know the flat parts? Like, the, the, like you know how um, the legs? Some of them are spiky. And yeah. some of them is like, they have a paddle thing. Yeah, I know. Are those, do those kind of legs? Maybe? Wait, what the fuck? What happened? Why can't I move? There we go. I think if they walk on it, they count as legs, right? <laughs> oh, damn. Do they even walk on it, then? Damn. We, we also need to know how they walk. Never seen a spider walk before, or a crab walk before. Damn. Alright. But at least spiders can walk forward and backward, right? True. But the crab can't. So I guess uh, crabs are actually superior spiders then. What do you mean? It's the other way around. Or, yeah, because, spiders uh, are superior crabs. Well, right. I guess it makes sense because uh, everything started in the water and then they evolved to be on the land. That's a, well, that's assuming spiders even are. That's assuming crabs even have eight legs. They now, do have like, eight legs. Did you Google that just now? Yes, I, I gave you two pictures of crabs, come on. Bro, I'm not looking at that. I'm in game right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn. They actually have eight legs. Oh, darn <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Alright, oh, it's been, it's been 12 hours. And I'm level 27. Okay, it's time to sleep. Yeah, alright. Been too tired. Too tired now. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> Only 27. Fuck, I still gotta like, get nine levels to PvP. Maybe maybe do that by tomorrow, hopefully. But, uh... Damn. Maybe but, yeah. time to hire Finoy. Yep. Alright, good night, Dante. Right. Good night, Anthony. I'm gonna go sleep now. All right. Good night, stream. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Take care. And good night. Gonna be ending now.